I just bought a bottle of otaku happiness water, but ended up driving an $80 million Lamborghini, bought a serving of grilled cold noodles, and instantly received $10 billion in my bank account, bought a chocolate, and now I own $300 billion in real estate shares, all because I met a gold digger during a blind date, got angry and bought a bottle of cola to calm down, but unexpectedly awakened the money spending system that made me rich overnight. Ding, the money spending system for getting rich quick has been activated. You have successfully spent 3 yuan to purchase a bottle of Coca-Cola, and as a reward, you have won a Lamborghini Venom worth 80 million yuan. As I reached into my pocket, I suddenly found a key, which almost made me spray my coke all over the girl at the front desk. I hurriedly walked towards the exit of the store, and as soon as I reached the door, I saw a group of people gathering around. I could faintly hear them marveling at the luxury car. With trembling hands, I pressed the Lamborghini car key, and boom, the roaring sound of the supercar starting instantly filled the air, causing the crowd to step back in astonishment. Then, their envious gazes all converged on me. Is this Lamborghini Venom his? In the land of Shanghai, where every inch of land is precious, there are luxury cars worth millions running everywhere, but supercars worth tens of millions are extremely rare. Is it really true? I silently put away the car keys, took a deep breath. Could it be that my life is really about to undergo a tremendous change? Yi Yang, it's actually you. At that moment, a sweet voice interrupted my thoughts. I turned my head and saw a pure and beautiful girl, Lin Shuer, looking at me with surprise. She was the high school beauty that I secretly admired, and we unexpectedly met here after four years. I was also surprised and waved my hand towards the innocent and lovely girl in front of me. Long time no see. I didn't expect you to be driving a luxury car now. Lin Shuer looked at me with envy. After graduating from college, she started her own live streaming business. Today, she happened to be doing street photography and came over out of curiosity when she heard the sound of a supercar revving. Unexpectedly, she ran into the once admired heartthrob. Ha ha, soso. I laughed. The anchor unexpectedly knows such a wealthy old classmate. Schwerer, if you can get close to this old classmate, it would be more impressive than being a popular internet celebrity with millions of fans. Is this the future brother-in-law? Big brother Bangy is probably going to be furious when he comes back tonight. The live broadcast room exploded instantly. Lamborghini Venom is limited to only 20 units worldwide. Being able to get hold of this top-tier supercar not only represents immense wealth but also signifies significant influence. Don't talk nonsense, she's just an ordinary old classmate. Lin Schwer blushed directly when she was mentioned. At this moment, a rough and loud sound of a door opening came, and a heavily made-up and flamboyant person angrily ran out. Hello, you poor loser. Stinky scum man, we were on a blind date and you actually ran away without paying for the meal. Are you even a man? Zhang Yan was cursing loudly, but halfway through, she suddenly went silent, her eyes fixed on the supercar in front of her. Today, I'm really lucky, ha ha ha, no matter what, I'm going to ride in this luxury car today. Materialistic woman Zhang Yan felt her mouth dry. After all, the opportunity to change her life was right in front of her. Who are you, and why are you insulting me? Yi Gij? Oh, where did this little scumbag come from? How dare you criticize me? But today I'm in a good mood, so I won't argue with you. By the way, let me kindly tell you, don't have any feelings for this poor loser. If a woman doesn't marry someone rich, she'll regret it. Even those who drive Lamborghinis and wear designer clothes are now being called losers. Damn it. Yeah, they don't even realize they look like a black potato. The onlookers were all shocked by this statement. Has this woman gone crazy? What are you guys talking about? How could someone who drives a supercar be this loser? Zhang Yin sneered, feeling that the surrounding audience was extremely foolish. You, you, you. Lin Shuer clenched her silver teeth tightly, but her knowledge and cultivation prevented her from engaging in a street argument. She was just a brain-dead girl soaked in toxic chicken soup, not worth paying attention to. I haven't eaten yet, so I can treat you. It's been several years since we last met, so this time, I'll treat you. I waved my hand indifferently and opened the door of the luxury car. Is it really possible? Lin Shuer looked at the luxury car in front of her and felt a hint of embarrassment in her heart. Isn't a car meant for driving? Come on in. I waved repeatedly. Yi Gij, then I won't be polite. After Lin Shuer got in the car, I stepped on the accelerator, and the roar of the sports car echoed through the entire street. In an instant, it disappeared from sight, leaving only a stunned Jiang Yan kneeling on the ground, crying in disarray. Ha ha. This little black potato really brought it upon themselves, such an outstanding young gentleman in front of her, yet she doesn't appreciate the opportunity given to her. The people around clearly see the truth of the matter. What's your business? This godlike prodigal is definitely mine. Zhang Yan shouted hysterically, but she was dragged back by the cashier who came to collect the bill. A 
A roadside stall selling grilled cold noodles, I got off the car with Lin Schwer, although I was just rewarded with a luxury car. My pockets were empty. I really couldn't afford to treat her to a big meal. I was about to apologize when the barrage on the live broadcast suddenly exploded. Wow, the taste of the rich and powerful is truly different. They actually come to eat at roadside stalls like ordinary people. Is this the down-to-earth rich and powerful young master? He looks so handsome. I'm in love. Originally, on the way when I was leaving Lin Schwer, the number of viewers in the live stream skyrocketed by over a hundred thousand because a low-key wealthy man publicly humiliated a materialistic woman on the street. Rarely does the number of viewers in the live broadcast room increase so dramatically. And Lin Schwer is also reluctant to close the live broadcast room. Brother Yi, don't mind what they say. I shook my head indifferently and directly said to the roadside stall owner, Boss, give us two servings of grilled cold noodles, with everything, and one with extra sweet and sour sauce. I didn't expect that Brother Yi would still remember that I love sweet and sour dishes. Lin Schwer was deeply moved. Oh, so you're also willing to eat more sweet and sour dishes. I scratched my head. Then let's have two servings of extra sweet and sour. Lin Schwer couldn't help but laugh and cry, realizing that she had been overly sentimental. Ding, the host spent 20 yuan to buy grilled cold noodles and received a cash reward of 10 billion. My hands trembled as I just received the grilled cold noodles. The previous Lamborghini luxury car was already extravagant enough, but now buying a grilled cold noodles actually rewarded me with 10 billion. This is truly reaching for the sky. I quickly opened my phone and saw the balance in my bank account. My heart was filled with joy. It's actually real. Ha ha. I'm in a good mood today. After eating grilled cold noodles, I will treat you to a milk tea. I said with great enthusiasm. Now, after verifying cash and luxury cars, I can get rich by spending money. Why not find a reason to spend more money? Damn. The rich young master actually took the initiative to treat us to food and drinks. The boss must be furious when he sees this. Who cares about the boss? This is a super rich person who can afford a Lamborghini Venom. Why would he be jealous? Yeah. That's right, but it seems like Xiao Xiuwei is really getting rich. The live stream room is getting hotter, with over 300, 000 viewers. Then we went to a high-end milk tea shop next to us. Brother Yi, you paid for the food, and I'll pay for the drinks. I can't let you keep spending money. Lin Shuer said shyly, if you want to treat me, let's have a big meal in a few days. We can chat on WeChat anytime. I smiled slightly. Now that I've just obtained the system to get rich by spending money, why not spend some money and enjoy it? The boss lady also has good taste. Seeing this handsome couple coming in, she directly recommended the latest summer couple milk tea. Hey, even an intern like you has such a beautiful girlfriend. It's really a waste. Just as I was about to pay, a sarcastic voice came from behind. I turned my head and saw a despicable man standing behind me. His name is Jean Bujung, the team leader of the software company I joined. He takes advantage of his connections and acts arrogantly every day. He has caused me a lot of trouble because he has a crush on the intern girl, and he admires me because of my handsome appearance. You haven't received your internship salary this month, right? You don't even have any money in your pocket, and you dare to come out and pick up girls like others? After seeing Lin Schwer's high appearance, he became even more furious. What kind of milk tea did he just order? Childhood sweetheart, right? Okay, I'll pay for all the milk teas of this kind in your shop today. That's too much. Lin Schwer kept saying, and the live stream room exploded. This person is so arrogant. It's unbelievable. Acting cool in front of a super rich person. Is he out of his mind? Yeah, that's right. Spending a few thousand bucks and acting all proud. It's really hilarious. I'm looking forward to Yishin how giving him a slap in the face. I smirked, turned around, and confidently said to the boss lady, I'll pay for all the milk teas here. It's worthy of Yishin how. He's really generous. It's so cool. What? Are you crazy? Can you afford this money? Jean Bujing was confused. He knows Yi Yang too well. This month, Yi Yang doesn't have any money. He's waiting for his salary next month to help him out of his financial difficulties. Now he has to spend tens of thousands to pay for all the milk teas in the shop. How dare he? After thinking about it, he calmed down and sneered. It's just for the sake of face. I want to see if you can afford your big talk. It's embarrassing for a poor loser like you to lose face in front of a goddess. Brother Yi, let's forget it. I smiled and shook my head, directly handing my bank card to the boss lady. Swipe the card. This, 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 young man, I can sell nearly 100, 000 of this milk tea in a day. I'll give you a discount, but it's still 80, 000. If not, forget it. It's not worth it for a moment of pride. Don't give me a discount. The more I spend now, the greater the reward. If I get a discount, I'll lose a lot of money, right? Ha ha ha. This is what a rich person is like. Even getting a discount feels like an insult. 
It's so desirable. Yeah, when can I live such a luxurious life? Oh my, this guy actually swiped his card. Jean Bujang was dumbfounded. A small intern, where did he get so much money? I must be dreaming. He shook his head, unable to believe it, feeling a burning sensation on his face. This, this, this. Well, the boss lady forced a smile and swiped her card. Today, all the ingredients in the shop are used up. Only for you to make. I casually pointed at Jean Bujang. Except for this person. You can sell anyone you want. Ding. Detected that the host spent 100. 000 yuan to purchase the operating rights of the milk tea shop for one day. Rewarded with the ownership of the entire Modu Empire commercial building. The Empire commercial building. Isn't that the commercial building where my company is located? A playful look immediately appeared in my eyes. You are openly opposing me. Jean Bujin was completely furious. Feeling a burning sensation on his face. Opposing me? You're worthy? I shook my head and smiled. Completely ignoring him. Let me tell you. You're finished. Tomorrow. When I go to work. I'll have my little nephew fire you directly. I shrugged, took the milk tea and Lin Shuer out of the milk tea shop, started the sports car, and Lin Shuer laughed uncontrollably beside me. Brother Yi, you're really amazing. Look at how angry that scumbag is. He's just one step away from throwing his phone. It's no big deal. I chuckled. The real show starts tomorrow. After sending Lin Shuer home, I returned to the rental house and paid the landlady and 5. 000 yuan in rent. Ding. Detected that the host spent 5. 000 yuan to pay the rent. Rewarded with a villa in the Modu Cloud Peak Villa area worth 880 million yuan. A top level mountain villa. Half an hour later, I arrived at the Cloud Peak Villa area. What's going on? Looking at the front of the villa area, there were many beautiful women in black stockings. Oh no. It was the black stockings beauties group of the villa area property. Is it Mr. Yi Yang? Asked one of the security guards respectfully. It's me. Congratulations on purchasing the king of the Cloud Peak area villas. Villa No. 1 Cloud Peak. Our Cloud Peak property company has specially organized a welcome ceremony to give you the experience of returning home as an emperor. I was surrounded by the Black Stockings Beauties Group and was savoring the wine when I didn't know that the Moto Empire commercial building had already exploded. All the financial giants worked overnight and held meetings without rest. Have you heard? Mr. Lee, the owner of the building, sold the building for 300 billion yuan this afternoon to a mysterious Mr. Yi. Now, Mr. Yi has officially become the owner of the Modu Empire commercial building. That's right. This Mr. Yi is incredibly mysterious. The only relevant information we can find is that he bought the Villa King in the Cloud Peak Mountain. It's the Super Villa King that neither of the two horse bosses could sell. The chairman present all took a cold breath. How terrifying must the power behind this Mr. Yi be? All right. Top tenant. The chairman of the heavyweight financial company knocked on the table. We're having this meeting today to select a representative to contact Mr. Yi, if we contact him one by one, we might annoy him and get kicked out of the commercial building. The lease of the commercial building costs over 10 billion yuan every 10 years. Once Yi Yang kicks them out of the building, he can easily cut off their funding chain. Next month is the start of the next 10-year lease term. We must please Mr. Yi, finalize the contract first. This is all the information we can find about Mr. Yi. We will officially contact Mr. Yi tomorrow. The chairman of the heavyweight financial company placed a thin sheet of paper on the table. A very thin page that caused countless exclamations and gasps. This. He's too young. In the villa. I turned on my trembling voice and opened Lin Schwer's live broadcast room. I found that the fans were all asking Lin Schwer about me. Schwer. Schwer. What's your relationship with that rich guy during the day? Surprisingly. It's a Lamborghini Venom. Yes. Yes. The video of this 70 million luxury car is now going viral. Everyone is discussing the true identity of this down-to-earth billionaire. Who is this wealthy third generation from a hidden family? Ah, uh, Lin Schwer looked at the barrage, feeling a mixture of joy and jealousy. Congratulations to Hauga for giving away a helicopter. Ha ha, Hauga is here. The show is about to begin. Ha ha ha, Hauga has always been the top brother, chasing after Schwer for a long time. Now seeing everyone brushing Yi Shenhao, I'm afraid his blood pressure is soaring. Lin Schwer was also slightly stunned. How did this annoying ghost come again? In a small villa somewhere in Kyoto. How Gu Zhang Haochen was sitting on a leather sofa. His visibly hollow eyes shining as he looked at Lin Shuer. This kind of fresh and untainted pure beauty. Even with his experience. Was the first time he had ever seen it in his life? Every day. He would crazily send her gifts. Preparing to use money to crush her. But today. As soon as he entered the live broadcast room. Everyone was discussing not him. The big local tyrant. But some bullshit Yi Shenhao. Just as he was about to curse out who the hell Yishenhao was, 
A level 1 account named Ji Shinhao entered the scene. At this moment, Lin Shui's live broadcast room instantly became fervent. Chapter 9 Carnival Battle Directly on the hot search list, 1. Brother Yi Seeing Yi Yang come in, Lin Shui's eyes also lit up as she said in succession. Jung Toheo sat on the sofa, his face turned vermilion red with anger, I brushed thousands of gifts for you and you ignored me. And now that this district level 1 trumpet came in and didn't do anything, you're here with a mouthful of a brother. Jealousy makes Zhang Tuheo's face completely different. Gnashing his teeth, you a bumpkin that came out of nowhere. Let's see me smash your momentum with gifts. Congratulations, brother Hao has sent Carnival Asterisk 1. A full live broadcast announcement has been made. Just as everyone was asking if the Yi Shinhao level 1 number that came in was the same Shinhao himself during the day. The Carnival special effects, too, covered the screen. I'm going, brother Hao's atmosphere. 666. 666. The live broadcast room began a wave of touting the rhythm of list 1. Good evening Schwer. Level 1 trumpet Yi Shinhao sent an ill-timed greeting amidst the screen full of 666. Wow, Yi Shinhao is talking to the anchor. First time I've gotten this close to Godho. I'm going to faint from happiness. Is Yi Shinhao short of maids? I look good in women's clothing. Oin oin. It's you again. You disgusting guy. Get out of here. Don't rob my male god. Yi Yang's one sentence directly overshadowed Carnival's power and began to make the rhythm of the live broadcast room reverse again. Crap. Jung Tuheo was completely confused. What is this? One sentence is more powerful than my Carnival. What the hell is this guy's origin? He wasn't stupid. And at this moment, he also realized that Yi Yang might really be a strong opponent that needed to be taken seriously. The one called Yi Yang. You're quite hung, do you dare to compare? He directly spoke and started to challenge. I'll go. Brother Hao is jealous. I've long said that if Brother Hao knew about the existence of Yi Shinhao, his blood pressure would have spiked right then and there. Ha ha. I don't know which one of these two is a bit more Ho compared to the other. Is the God Ho battle about to start? I caught up with the very beginning. Move your small bench and watch from the front row. Come, come. Front row sells peanuts and melon seeds. The water friends were all watching and flirting with each other in a conspiratorial manner. Yi Yang took a sip of Roman Conti. A cold smile crossed the corner of his mouth. He was worried that there was no place for him to spend his money, and this came to his door. What is Carnival? He casually took a sip of Roman Conti. He didn't know how many carnivals it was, just in time to make some more gift money for his old classmates. Excuse me. Simply typing out two words caused a climax in the live broadcast room. Yi Shinhao is truly worthy of being a top divine hero, speaking all high and concise, like a domineering president, so happy. It's on, it's on, ha ha, there's a good show, great. Jung Tuheo excitedly sat up from the sofa, his face leaping to action. You, Master Zhang, I've never lost when I've gone head to head. He clicked his fingers frantically and typed out a cocky declaration of war. Good, we're not going to play tricks, we're going to be simple and brutal, we're only going to use the most expensive carnival. So let's see who can use it more. Don't lose your pants later. You can't even lift your pants. Shame on you. Ooh, brother Hao is so confident. It looks like he's filled up a lot of money today. Yi Hao is in danger. Upstairs, I'm afraid I'm a fool. Yi Hao is a super rich kid who drives a tens of millions of dollars in a luxury car. Wimpy ho this old melon skin. Ha ha ha. There was a burst of laughter in the live broadcast room. Looking forward to the start of the God Ho battle. Yi Yang. On the other hand, smiled slightly and casually typed out, the original words, crap, how dare you talk back, Zhang Taheo had long been infuriated to the point where his face was red, and at this moment, he completely lost his mind and directly adjusted the carnival quota to 10, da 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 da, the finger tapped 10 times in a row, and all of a sudden, a hundred carnival was swiped out, crap, 100 carnival, brother how is so generous, one carnival cost 2 to 3 thousand dollars, if you swipe a hundred together, that's two to three hundred thousand dollars. Burning away the majority of people's half-life savings in a few seconds made the crowd of aquatic friends in the live broadcast room all red-eyed and envious. How about it? I'll make you unable to keep up with the first wave. A youngster also dares to compete with me in terms of financial strength? How much pocket money can your father give you? Zhang Taheo didn't think that Yi Yang had money in the slightest, and if he did, it was also from his father. On the Becker's sofa, Yi Yang shook his head and smiled faintly as he adjusted the carnival amount directly to 100. After tapping it, he swiped another one individually. 101 carnival. Just the right amount to press Zheng Tuheo for one. Ha ha ha. Yi Shinhao's operation is also too flirty. 6666. Just the right amount of pressure on him. Lin Shuer looked at the carnival that simply couldn't stop on that screen and watched with a shocked heart. In the blink of an eye, four to five hundred thousand cash gifts floated past. 
She wasn't interested in paying attention to Zhang Tuohao, but Yi Yang was her male god, how could she let her male god break the bank like this? Why don't we forget about it brother Yi? She softly said, I'll hang your mom. Zheng Taheo exploded with anger, dare to hit me in the face huh? I'll let you take a good look at your master Zhang's financial power. Saying that, he once again filled his account with a few million tremendous coins. A godly battle. I came from next door specifically to watch the live battle ah, is there any kicker who knows the cause? The battle between the two sides of the divine greats instantly caused the heat of the live broadcast room to soar past 1 million. This topic, also very quickly climbed on the trembling hot search list. The duel, a touch of, chapter 10 chapter 10 in the name of godly heroes, overnight 5 million fans. I came in by looking at the hot search list, where's the god ho battle? Yi Shen Hao, is that the super god ho who drives a Lamborghini Venom during the day? but accompanies his goddess to eat ground floor roasted cold noodles. That video is hot on the internet. The heat in the live broadcast room actually reached a staggering 2 million people after it made it to the hot list. Countless people frantically liked the video, begging for the landlord carnival battle to be more violent. Want to pretend with Lao Zi? You're still tender. Zheng Taheo looked at his huge sound wave and was confident. 100 more carnivals and crush you to death. Oh, Yi Yang raised an eyebrow and once again came with a 101 carnival. Just bet on him alone every time. Zheng Taheo's face was red, although he had charged several hundred thousand. But according to this brush, two or three waves would be at the bottom. Yi Yang, on the other hand, looks like a bottomless pit. No matter how much he brushes, he can gently press himself right on the head. Gulp. He felt afraid. Once the fear was born, his brain, dominated by exuberant hormones, gradually cooled down. Hiss. Not right. Am I being tricked? Zheng Taheo hesitated. Pacing in the hall for a long time before he was gritting his teeth and said angrily, Whatever, I don't fucking believe it. I've lived for more than 30 years and I'm not even as good as a hairy child. After saying that, he swiped out all the remaining sound waves in one brain. Congratulations, Brother Hao sent out Carnival Asterisk 199. Whoa shit, is Brother Hao going to power up? Can Yi Shen Hao keep up? 199 carnivals. That's nearly half a million Chinese coins. That's not a small amount. It's a lot of money. That's great. If I were that rich, I'd be so lucky. This wave of carnival instantly pushed the atmosphere to a climax. And while the crowd was all excited, Yi Yang was shaking his head. If it was before, he might have marveled and envied when he saw someone throwing away hundreds of thousands of dollars. But for him today, this really wasn't a big scene. Casually tapping out a wave of 999 carnival, Yi Yang then casually threw his cell phone aside, because he knew that the opposite side of the hoe collapsed and could not possibly follow up. The moment 999 carnivals were seen floating by, everyone was dumbfounded. The live room of 2 million people was instantly as quiet as a haunted house. Lin Shuer also covered her mouth. Her eyes glazed over. 999 carnivals. 2 million. This was simply. After a long time. It was only then that someone in the live broadcast room reacted and knocked down a pop-up screen with trembling fingers. Is this a divine hero? I'm kneeling. The pop-up screen also followed the brush for a long, long time kneel. It's horrible. Two million dollars went out with the touch of a finger. This is simply inhumane. Okay? Zheng Tuheo was also paralyzed on the sofa. Completely gave up struggling. Before his guess was right, he met the real super rich second generation. Although he is rich, but also a small boss in the capital just, the assets add up to just a few hundred million. Just now all of a sudden brush out millions, are already by the anger and Lin Shuer's beauty blinded the mind. Bear the pain of the brush. Alas. Kick the iron plate ah. He silently opened the trill and covered his face, not daring to see anyone. Just now he also taunted the other party not to run away with his tail between his legs in the gray. And now only less than 10 minutes later, this was slapped back in his face as is, snapping. Ha, huh, how come brother how is mute? No movement for half a day? Ha ha, can't you see that he's no longer in the watch list above? He ran away long ago. Ha ha ha, I thought he was going to backhand a shocking four-figure carnival blow-up. Trash, it's our Yishin Hao's handwriting that's too big. It just directly scared him to tears. Ha ha. This godly ho battle. It ended with Yi Yang's 999 carnivals. And tonight, it would also be the battle that sealed Yi Yang as a god in the entire tremendous live streaming world. The name of Yi Shen Hao also managed to reach the top of the tremolo hot search list. Super god ho appeared. 2 million a second. Behind the 999 carnivals. What profound meanings are hidden? The divine hero battle surprises the king of the road. 999 carnivals helped the beautiful anchor woman increase her fans by 3 million in one night. An unknown number of people came to follow Yi Yang directly. In one night, Yi Yang's fans broke through 5 million, directly surpassing Lin Shuer, who was originally an anchor, which made both of them cry and laugh. 
Could it be that money is more attractive than beauty? Yi Yang shook his head and smiled as he looked at the sudden surge of 5 million fans. He might be the first on the whole network, without sending a single video, to have a super oddball netizen with 5 million followers in the trembling. In the list, countless girls were taking the initiative to send their own cool photos, and then frantically sent private chat messages to Yi Yang with the intention of catching Yi Yang's attention. Yi Yang even suspected that if his address was exposed, then all these women would have to stuff their number one villa. It's horrible. Yi Yang was not able to win and directly turned on the privacy settings to block out these brainless girls who had their brains gouged out by their goal-worshipping desires. Today is really troublesome for brother Yi. After getting off the air, Lin Shuera continuously explained to Yi Yang on WeChat, why don't I directly take the money you rewarded? Yi Yang's reward was really too much. She simply couldn't accept it without fear. She never wanted brother Yi to think she was a gold-digging woman. Ha ha, don't talk about this. Didn't you say you're going to treat me to dinner back? Use the meal money to make up for it. After Yi Yang casually sent a message, he lazily returned to the master bedroom upstairs. After ending the tense and exciting day, the Romane Conti's wine slowly came to his head, and he slept beautifully on this. Ending the first day of being rich. Chapter 11 Chapter 11 I don't really know how rich I am. Why don't you count it for me? Phew. The next day, waking up in the tens of millions of dollars worth of Dubord's pure handmade cherry wood king-sized bed. The sunlight shone through the huge floor-to-ceiling windows, shining on Yi Yang's face, making him feel an incomparable cozy warmth. Is this the security of a godly man? In his previous life, Yi Yang was worried about making money all the time. It seemed that from today onwards, he was going to start worrying about how to spend his money. Although it was the same sorrow, but, it was always a happy sorrow. Right, after rewarding so much money last night, there should be some kind of reward. Right, last night, he was too drunk by the Roman Conti that wanted tens of thousands of dollars in one sip, and he missed the system beep. The aftertaste of this wine is really a bit strong. However, after waking up one can feel incomparable comfort instead of a headache. Perhaps, this is where the true charm of Roman Conti, which is known as the supreme red wine, lies. Wait, I remembered. Yi Yang suddenly tapped his head, last night, in the moment before the red wine went to his head and he passed out. The system's rewarding beep. Ding, it has been detected that you consumed 268W for rewarding, triggering a special reward, proficiency in Chinese national art. It's hard to believe that my headache doesn't hurt not because the wine is good, but because my physical fitness has gotten stronger? Yi Yang leapt up and found himself as light as a swallow, almost hitting the nearly 4 meter high bedroom roof. I go, it's still true, he didn't even need to test his stature anymore. This casual jump was over 4 meters high, the world record was only 3 meters. This already belonged to the category of beyond normal. This feeling of being mentally energized and fighting for seven days and seven nights in a row without feeling tired. It's really good. Yi Yang clenched his fist, feeling the sense of energy in his body that was abundant to the extreme. His self-confidence exploded. Sleeping for a while is refreshing. Now that it's so hard to get rich, it's time to return the favor to my parents. Yi Yang murmured. He had also planned to take half of his first month's internship salary to buy some gifts for his parents but now it was not necessary to save. The massage chair that mom has been in love with for years but never said anything about it. Dad has always wanted to have the top professional fishing rod. Old sister has always wanted to replace the old laptop. All bye bye bye. Yi Yang open taba is a meal order. I believe that mom, dad and old sister will be very happy when they see these gifts. Although these things are not cheap for ordinary people, but together they are only a few tens of thousands of dollars. Yi Yang is not satisfied. How much is not much to give back to mom and dad? This time, the system only gave a deposit reward of $100 million. It seems that the rewards given by the system is that the more you spend the more you give. Within the amount that has already been spent, it's all randomly given rewards. It seems that how to spend money is indeed a discipline. Yi Yang listened to the rewards in his ears and also pondered over the system's reward laws. The bank card should also send over $200,000 to mom and dad. Yi Yang made up his mind in his mind. It just so happened that he was going to the Empire State Building today to look at his newly acquired real estate. And on the way, he also went to the bank to transfer an account to his parents. The reason why he transferred 200,000 is not because he is stingy. In case he really transferred 1 million, I am afraid that these two old people will worry that he has done something bad in Magic City and teach himself to behave properly with a loving education. Dongfa Bank, Rainbow Road Branch, Yi Yang parked the car, is into the window, transferring money? Window clerk Lang may swept a glance at Yi Yang's outfit, apparently not very interested and casually asked, your card transfer limit of 50, 000 dollars a day, more cannot be transferred, once the employee Lang may heard that Yi Yang wanted to transfer 200, 000, 
She skimmed her mouth and indifferently said, Can you raise the limit? Yi Yang frowned. How did Long Mei's tone seem as if he was not a customer, but rather someone who owed her money? Can I how much can I raise? Is 100 million enough? Long Mei rolled her eyes. She had followed a super godly man who could swipe 999 carnivals at once in tremendous sound last night, and even sent two photos to him, almost sending herself to his bed. As a result, the person hard completely ignored her. This made the inferiority complex very angry today, and when she saw this poor loser dressed as a youngster, she couldn't help but sour. What do you mean? Yi Yang frowned and his tone went cold. You also don't look at how much money is in your card? Just learn from other big bosses to raise the cap? Oh, really have a funny. You are not that circle of people. Don't lick your face to squeeze inside. Long Mei explicitly scolded Yi Yang, but secretly, she was actually scolding herself for not competing and not being able to evening out the godly man. I really don't know how much money is in my card. Why don't you help me count it? Yi Yang sneered. Count, you poor little young man. That little bit of crap deposit is still not a glance to the head. Well, crap. Lang Mei hit his eyes and swept the ridiculously long numbers in the balance column, and immediately jumped up from his chair, covering his mouth, completely unable to believe his eyes. One zero, two zeros. This damn, one billion or so. This is a billion or so cash ah. To be able to deposit a billion or so in cash in just one bank card, that asset has to be more than 10 billion, right? His own unintentional inferiority taunt had actually taunted a superb man. Sir, sir I was wrong. She fully understood at this moment that she had incurred a heavenly trouble. The sharp-eyed ones on the side had long ago told the bank president about this. Hearing is offended more than a billion deposits of super large customers. Dongfa branch president hurriedly ran down from the upstairs office. Look woeful, but the face is already hung on the pleasing smile. This customer cannot be ah. Chapter 12 Chapter 12 The Anger of the Past Today 10 times to repay it. Mr. Yi, Mr. Yi, my bank's front desk girl does not know what to do. In a moment I will dismiss her. You do not take offense. Your needs I meet all. And then free of charge to upgrade your card to the Supreme Black Card. The bank president kept saying good words. Although there were a lot of rich people in Magic City, but this was just a branch bank for him. And if a giant customer with more than a billion dollars in deposits were to withdraw their funds, it would already be enough to get him removed and fired from the head office. Therefore, he also disregarded his image and licked Yi Yang as much as he could. Well, Yi Yang nodded slightly, barely satisfied with the branch president's attitude. The gold content of Dongfa Bank's Supreme Black Card was still very high. As long as it was taken out, it was basically proof of identity. The Supreme Black Card has no upper limit on daily transfers, and the annualized rate of deposits is also privately negotiated, usually exceeding ordinary users by several times. Assets over 100 million to qualify for. Almost the cost of processing in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. The money is put in it, and it is guaranteed that there will be tens of millions or even more assets every year. This is the reason why rich people are getting richer and richer. There is no need to do anything. Even if the money is kept in the bank, it will keep appreciating and multiplying. This, Lang Mei was completely dumbfounded. A single slip of the tongue of her own resulted in her losing her job. This kind of bridge that would only be found in a TV show actually happened to her. The energy of this young man was too terrifying. She lowered her head. Her heart went blank and swore that she would never judge a person by their appearance again. Taking the supreme black card. After Yi Yang transferred $200,000 to his parents' card, he went out and got into his Lamborghini poison. La 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 la. Just after sitting on the car, he received a call from his parents. It's true that it's like this. Yi Yang shook his head with a smile and picked up the phone. Little Yang Ah, what's wrong with you? Suddenly have so much money. Your father and I have counted 200,000 several times. Mom's voice came out from the cell phone. Air, I quit my job and started my own business. I made some money. Don't worry about spending it. It's all earned brightly. Yi Yang inner hey laugh. This can be their own hard work to spend money to earn back. Sweat money ah, ah. Over there came the sound of the old couple's discussion. Half a day before they realized what Yi Yang was talking about. Start your own company ah, my son has become a big boss. There is a good fortune. Follow me. From the side came the old man's bold voice. Fuck you. Mom was a little worried. Entrepreneurship is not too stable ah. Not as stable as your own work. You do not get too tired. I know you in the magic city is not easy to buy a house is too much pressure. Or earn some money to come back to it. The old home this side is very good ah. The old home side how good ah. Yi Yang smiled as he listened to his mom's set of love education. If it was before, he would definitely be a little anxious when he heard all this. However, now that he even lived in the Henteing no. One villa. His mindset was completely different. Naturally, he would not feel any discomfort because of this. 
Our company is doing well. There are a few big projects in a few days. After we make it your son and I will become a big boss. Don't worry, when more money is made, I will transfer more money to your old couple. Yi Yan laughed. Don't don't don't. We both what are not lacking. The salary is enough to spend. You have a bit of money don't mess around. Save a little. In the future, but also to buy a house to buy a car to get a daughter-in-law it. Come on, you old lady. You are short-sighted. Our son is doing great things. You are far-sighted. You married me earlier. You let your son just make money and not marry. Don't you want big fat grandchildren? The old couple bickered for a while longer. Yi Yang also smiled as he listened. With his current state of mind, listening to his parents nagging had instead turned into a blessing. Okay mom, I'm still early to get married. The money will be spent first. I'll transfer it to you after a while. I'll hang up first. Yi Yang hung up the phone, the old sisters sighed. Still in high school, it is not suitable to give too much money. He WeChat gave transferred 5,000. I guess she can only see it after school. Well, it's time to look at my real estate. Yi Yang whistled as he drove the Lamborghini Poison towards the Empire State Building. The Empire State Building was his biggest card right now. He purposely checked yesterday. This one building, at least a few hundred billion dollars to sell. With this one building, the assets directly into the middle of the top of the Chinese Forbes list. The development potential is endless. Put there. Nothing to do. Light rental. Every 10 years, their own rent. There are tens of billions of dollars. Simply laying golden eggs chicken. It turns out that between me and the top tycoons in China before, it's actually just a mansion away. Yi Yang drove casually and arrived at the Empire State Building in no time. It was already 10 o'clock in the morning now. After driving his car to the underground parking lot of the building, he walked into the building as usual. Seems like there are still some things in the old company. Resign by the way. Yi Yang had suffered a lot of anger in this internship company this month. The beautiful name was to exercise the newcomers. But in reality, it was to squeeze the newcomers' labor. Coupled with Jin Zhangwei this nothing to find trouble team leader. All the unfair treatment he had received before. Today he was going to return it tenfold. Chapter 13 Chapter 13 What are you doing? You. Don't come over ah. Ding. The sound of the elevator came. Yi Yang lazily entered the company floor internship area. At this time, the people in the internship area were all trembling and whispering. Yesterday, I heard that team leader Jean was hit in the face by Yi Yang at the milk tea store, and is guarding this place to find trouble with him. Today Yi Yang hasn't come until now. Is he afraid? What are you talking about? Yi Yang wouldn't be afraid. The female intern on the side said in dissatisfaction. Then why do you think he hasn't come until now? Ha! Coward. A few jealous male interns also spared no effort in striking out. You. This is the truth. The female interns can't argue. Can only mutter. Maybe simply overslept. Ha. Whatever the reason is. Gene not correctly a foot on the desk. Face anger so that his features are distorted. He grew up. His family conditions are good. Brother-in-law is a company executive. All the way to what have what. Who dares to pretend with him. Yesterday. Not only called Yi Yang this just graduated the brat pretending to be a bully but also pretending to be completely out of temper. That night, the beautiful woman disliked him for being spineless, and directly dumped him. Pretending to be a bully didn't work and he also lost his concubine slash head, which made him directly explode with anger. Messed with me and still dares to be fucking late today. Ha, he's dead I'm telling you. Even if the king of heaven comes, he can't protect him. I, Master Jean, said so. Oh, is that so? Yi Yang's voice came lazily. A few female interns were all bright-eyed and looked at them in succession. But then, they started to worry about Yi Yang. After all, Jean Bujing was really no one in the company dared to mess with. This time, Jean Bujing is obviously really angry. Yi Yang is going to be unlucky. The few who were jealous were all gloating. Only Yi Yang's only true friend present had been giving him a wink. Yi Yang looked at Zhang Xian who had been giving him a wink and telling him to be careful of Jin, and smiled indifferently. Zhang Xian and he had known each other since junior high school and had been his little follower, calling him Boss Yi, and after graduation, he actually found the same company, and the relationship had always been very iron, yo, you're fucking late today, still justified, quite a drag huh, Jin Zhangwei saw his prey coming, directly jumped down from the table, after correcting his gold glasses, he directly leaned up aggressively, the reason why Yi Yang chose to come and resign first instead of revealing his identity to take over the building first, it was for this moment, he knew that with Jin S character, he was bound to find trouble with him today. If he revealed his identity, with his little guts, it would be good if he didn't just kneel down and beg for forgiveness. He wouldn't be able to enjoy the thrill of taking revenge with his own hands. With Yi Yang's current status, to let the other party and the other party's brother-in-law together to get out of this company, it is just a matter of words. 
But such a chastisement was obviously not enough to relieve the anger. Yi Yang is a person. There is a grace gushing spring. There is hatred well. That gushing fist to report. Not spoiled. What? You still want to do it? Yi Yang smiled faintly. What's wrong with beating you? Today I not only want to beat you, I also want you to get out of this company. Jin Zhengwei shouted angrily. Brother Jin, why don't we just forget it? It's not a big deal. Just apologize and be done with it. Zheng Xian looked at the atmosphere was not right, and even got up to adjust the atmosphere. Roll your mom, you count which onion, also dare to say mercy in front of me? Jin Zheng did not even look at Zheng Xian and casually pushed him aside. You, Zheng Xian was also enraged, but in the end, work was important and he didn't dare to strike first. Beat up, then get out of the company. This is a good idea. Suitable for you. Yi Yang grinned. You're fucking stupid, aren't you? Jin Zhangwei was bluffed by Yi Yang's laugh. Don't you pretend here I'm telling you. Ha, security. He wasn't really sure he could beat the tall and tough Yi Yang. That's why he had colluded with the security guards long ago. I'll make you lose face in public today. Feet on your face. I'll see how you can gain a foothold in the circle in the future. Jin Zhangwei waved his hand. The two colluding security guards behind him had long since surrounded them. Alas. Yi Yang sighed. His figure instantly stormed. Turning around. A back sweeping high whip kick. The wind whimpered. This whip leg. Fast into a stump. Equally harsh to the extreme. Palm palm. Before a group of colleagues could see. The two security guards were directly swept away by a whip leg. Kicking directly into the glass door two meters away. Shattering the glass door. Both of them fell into the broken glass ballast and cried out in pain covered in blood. Crap. Crouching. Trough. The crowd of interns present cried out in unison, dumbfounded in the area. Even Zhang Xian, who was just about to help Yi Yang to block the security guards, was dumbfounded, and only after a long time did he react. I say boss Yi, you're deeply hidden, you actually know martial arts. The female interns who had been worrying about Yi Yang were also relieved. Fortunately, the male god was also strong in fighting, or else today would have been dangerous. The sound of glass breaking also attracted other colleagues to rush to watch and someone had already run to the leader's office to report. Fighting. Fighting. Who is it? The original is not correct Jean Ah. That's all right. Every day rely on the brother-in-law fool. This time encountered a tough opponent. Beat him to death. They live a few that. A cranky northeastern old brother waved his fist indignantly. You. What are you going to do? You do not come over Ah. Jin Bean long ago by the power of Yi Yang's leg scared paralyzed to the ground. Buttocks wiping the floor backward. Eyes full of fear. I warn you. My brother-in-law is a high manager. Chapter 14 Chapter 14 The chairman of the board of directors came out in force. The scared and confused chief manager Gao. Same as what you were about to do just now. Yi Yang stomped Jin S face directly underneath his foot. Aren't you very bold? Why can't you get hard? This, boss Yi. This, Zheng Xian was also looking dumbfounded at the side. Yi Yang was also too stiff today. Although the interns and the employees on the side looked incomparably relieved. But, no matter how to say. The other party is behind the power. And I am so small-minded. So treat the other party. I'm afraid to be retaliated ah. Yi Yang. What are you doing? Quickly let go of Jin Jue. The leaders heard that there was a vicious brawl and also rushed to stop it. So what if I don't let go? Yi Yang tightened his leg strength. Nowadays his strength could exceed the normal human category. With a little more strength. It was possible to directly stomp Jin S head flat. Brother-in-law save me. My sister can only me such a brother. I accident she can not spare you. Jin wailed. Let go of him for me. You little employee. Not only are you late. But you're also a vicious brawler and disrespectful to your superiors. I'm going to fire you today. Then I'll twist you to the public security bureau and have you jailed for a few years. Let your future be ruined. Chief Superintendent Gao furiously said. Oh. Yi Yang sneered and slowly loosened his foot. He now had a high esteem status. Naturally he wouldn't really kill Jin in a public place and drop his status. Jin, Jin, rolled and crawled to the back of Chief Executive Gao, his face with conspicuous blood red shoe prints, staring at Yi Yang with ferocity and fear. I'll tell you when you're done. Chief Executive Gao saw that Jin was not right and regained the confidence of holding the power. Sneering, today I'll let you see what is called the means of a rich man. Really? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. You are also worthy to call yourself a rich man in front of me? You. Just when Chief Executive Gao was about to let out his vicious words again, Yi Yang's cell phone also rang. Hello? Yi Yang picked up the phone. Hello? May I ask if this is Yi Yang? Mr. Yi? I'm the chairman of the Empire State Building Chairman's United Organization. And I would like to talk to you about matters regarding the future of the Empire State Building. The other side of the phone was incredibly polite. I'm Yi Yang. No need to talk on the phone. I'm on the 10th floor of the building right now. 
Let's talk face to face. Yi Yang finished casually and hung up the phone without waiting for the other party to reply. What the hell? Shaking people? A kid who just stepped into the society and came to work in Mordor is just a kid. What kind of connections can he have? Pretending is quite decent. The side were all whispering. Oh, Chief Executive Gao also waited with interest. He would like to see the person this little brat is looking for. How much energy can he have? He wouldn't obediently call out to his father when he saw him? This will completely destroy Yi Yang's self-confidence and then send him to jail. But the sense of accomplishment is full. Hundredth floor. Each director's office floor. Mr. He said he came directly to the building for a site visit. Chairman Heavy Hunt said uneasily after putting down the phone. Ah, uh, where is Mr. Yi now? Let's personally drive to pick him up. Must give him enough platitudes. The group of chairmen all said in succession. No need. He is now on the 10th floor. Let us go over for an interview. With a bad tone. It looks like he may have encountered something unhappy. Chairman Heavy Hunt was worried. Numerous directors were looking at Zhang Wanmin, who was originally inconspicuous in the pile of people. I say old Zhang, isn't the 10th floor your software company? It wouldn't be you who messed with Mr. Yi, would it? I wouldn't dare to give me 800 guts, I haven't even met Mr. Yi. Zhang Wanmin's face went white with fear. If it was because of him that Yi Yang made things difficult for the director's union, he was afraid that he would suffer greatly. I hope it's not my men causing trouble. He prayed to God in his heart. What are you waiting for? Why don't you hurry together to the 10th floor to pay your respects to Mr. Yi? Are we waiting for Mr. Yi to come up to meet us personally? Heavy hunting chairman Fawn Lord urged. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry to the 10th floor. Ding. The elevator on the 10th floor opened. The group of executives surrounding Yi Yang also subconsciously looked over. He he, coming so soon, moving fast enough, rushing to shout at my father? The high chief executive sneered. Just as he turned around, his legs went limp and the smile on his face disappeared. Isn't this the chairman of Xian Ming Design Company? It can't be. It's impossible for this kid to know this kind of business magnate who is worth billions and billions of dollars. Next, something even more shocking to the executives appeared. After declaring the chairman of the design company, the chairman of the companies on each floor, fishtailed in from within the staircase, the original godly, cold and mysterious chairman were like dumplings pouring into the 10th floor. Holy shit, what's going on here? The chairman of the entire building, almost all of them are here. Right, everyone was dumbfounded. The aura of dozens of super business giants worth at least billions of dollars descending in unison and coming side by side was just enough to shock the eyeballs. Zhang, chief executive Gao just wanted to go up and ask chairman Zhang Wanmin what had happened. And in the process, pat a wave of ass. But he didn't expect to be directly pushed away by Zhang Wanmin. Seeing a group of chairmen of the board of directors with a respectful face toward, that he completely despised before, determined that he was dead today by the side of, Yi Yang, what is this, situation, not only chief executive Gao, everyone felt that their brains were not functioning, chapter 15 chapter 15 you still want to fire the lord of the mansion, how dare you, oh my god, it's really the chairman of each floor, how could they come to our company together and go straight to Yi Yang, can it be that Yi Yang is actually a hidden super big shot, into this company just to get close to the person of interest? Oops, so shy. Some female interns had already started to brainstorm images and plots in their minds. Only Zhang Xian, who knew Yi Yang the best, scratched his head, increasingly unable to see where the situation was heading today. Mr. Yi, I am the chairman of the heavy hunting company and the organizer of the Empire State Building Chairman's Joint Organization. Lord Fawn was able to mix to tens of billions of assets. Naturally he was a lord among men. Seeing the groaning security guard in the broken glass door on one side and the looks of the people around him, he was able to guess the matter to the best of his ability. At this time, the heart tensed up, angrily cursing these damn small characters, actually dare to provoke the lord of the Empire State Building. None of the chairmen next to them were not the best of men. Naturally, they could also see that something they didn't want to see happened here. And at this time, they were all giving Yi Yang smiles in succession. H.M. Yi Yang nodded slightly. These chairmen of the board of directors were all sending money to themselves for a long period of time in the future. So it was still necessary to have some maintenance. Mr. Yi, but what happened here that made you unhappy? You tell us. We'll do our best to fix it for you. Zhang Wanmin also came up at this time with a great eye and patted his chest to assure him. At this moment, there was no need to guess anymore. These chairmen of the board were the ones who had come to look for Yi Yang. Moreover, the gesture was still very low, as if they had something to ask of Yi Yang. This made everyone present drop their eyes in shock. A trainee who had clocked in and out of work with himself a few days ago, actually made a group of $10 billion bigwigs respect and defer to him. This was simply too much of a challenge to one's worldview. 
Ask him yourself. Yi Yang picked his chin, his eyes cold and sharp as he looked at the high chief executive who was now trembling as if he had lost his soul. Whom? It's really this little fucking brat. Zhang Wanmin's heart trembled as he said something bad in his heart and his face was covered with anger. Gao Shan, explain it to me clearly. How did you offend Mr. Yi? What the fuck is going on here? Chief Executive Gao hissed inwardly, wanting to jump off a building at this moment. He had just said that the person Yi Yang was looking for would have to call out to his father when he came in, but the reality was completely reversed. Yi Yang had actually found a group of super big shots that he would have to call out to his grandfather's generation to come together to calm down the scene. Anyone here, casually move their fingers, can arrange the rest of his life can not take care of themselves. He was afraid, really afraid. The murderous aura from just now instantly disappeared without a trace, and the bottom of his speech was insufficient. Zhang, Zhang chairman of the board of directors, what the hell is the situation ah? What else is the situation? Zhang Wanmin was so angry that his brain produced smoke. This mister, he's standing in front of you is the property owner of the entire Magic City Empire building, assets less than a few hundred billion, you have eaten tens of thousands of bear heart and leopard gall, dare to provoke mister, Yi. what, the owner of the Empire State Building, the entire arena exploded, everyone erupted in shock, what kind of concept was this, this was no longer a rich second generation, this was a super godly rich generation, it was among the top existences in China. The main thing was that such a terrifying big shot was actually a fellow intern that he had always felt free to bully. Well, the female interns were all covering their mouths and looking at Yi Yang with mesmerized eyes. I actually really guessed right by mistake just now ah, so young and handsome, and so rich, my god, too perfect. Just as the crowd upstairs was shocked beyond words, Gao Shan's brain exploded and he stammered repeatedly, Chairman Zhang, you're joking with me, right, ha ha ha, must be joking ah. This kid is just an intern who was going to be fired by us. How can he be some imperial commerce building property owner? Dismissed. Intern. This time it was the chairman's turn to be baffled. What is this situation? I interned here for two months after graduation. Today is considered a long time. Yi Yang shrugged his shoulders and said indifferently. Mr. Yi you are joking. Ha ha. Where would the chairman believe that Yi Yang is really here to be an intern? This kind of super godly man. The temperament is usually strange. Maybe it is just hiding his identity to come to the field. You have an outstanding vision and act out of the ordinary. Truly a rare business magnate in China. Yes, yes, yes. You condescended to come here so far in advance for an on-site inspection. It's really hard for Mr. Yi. The chairman bragged back and forth. Yi Yang was speechless. He was really here for an internship ah. Gao Shan, you son of a bitch give me a clear explanation of what happened. Or we won't spare you. Zhang Wanmin roared angrily scaring Gao Shan to the point where his knees went weak. In the end, unable to resist the chairman's pressure, he told the whole story from beginning to end, in its original form, without any omissions. As he recounted, the chairman of the board on the side listened with a sense of trepidation, bullying Mr. Yi, deducting Mr. Ye's internship wages, he even wanted to find fault with Mr. Ye's dismissal. My god, the most outrageous is actually this what Jean Improper also planning to humiliate Mr. Yi before he leaves to beat him up. Asshole. Zhang Wanmin felt like his lungs were about to explode. How did he get such a bold, stupid, pig-like supervisor under his command? At this moment, he wanted to kick Gao Shan and Jin Zhangwei straight out of the building's window. However, as a great man among men, he also suppressed the fire in his heart and turned around in a pleasant manner. Mr. Yi, Mr. Zhang is here to make amends to you first. You say, no matter how to dispose of it, I'll listen to you. Zhang Mao's mouth. Never half a word of no. Chapter 16 Chapter 16 Rent. 18. 9 billion. Well, then just follow the method he wanted to take care of me before. Yi Yang casually said. Good. Zhang Wanmin directly agreed. It was good that there was a solution. If Yi Yang didn't give a statement today, then his company would be in danger. Thank you, Mr. Yi for giving Zhang this opportunity to turn the tables on him. Zhang Wanmin said with immense gratitude. Chairman Zhang. Zhang. I am a veteran who has followed you for more than 10 years. There's hard work without merit. You can't be like this. Gao Shan completely collapsed. Ha! You stabbed such a big basket for me. I haven't yet found you to settle the score. Zhang Wanmin angrily shouted. The two of you and Jin, from this moment onwards, remove your names from my company. Security guards, twist these two guys together with the two lying on the ground to public slash security. Say that they deliberately caused trouble and almost injured Mr. Yi. After saying that, he also turned around and smiled with Yi Yang. Mr. Yi, how do you see this disposition? I will personally supervise all the things behind. With his means and resources, 
he could naturally have this matter sentenced heavily. At least the charge of colluding to jeopardize the personal safety of a big shot would not be cleared, and at least a few years of jail time would be required before he could come out. H.M. Yi Yang nodded slightly, indicating that he was quite satisfied. Jean, who was twisted away by the security guards, wailed in despair. I'm clearly the one who was violently beaten up. You want to turn black and white upside down. Put, looking at Jin's miserable and aggravated appearance, the crowd beside him couldn't help but erupt in laughter. This bully who usually oppressed the newcomers finally deserved what he got and got what he deserved. He really did steal a chicken today. All right, let's all disperse. Is there all no work on hand? Zhang Wanman looked at the surrounding employees and also spoke to begin to solemnize the atmosphere. The employees saw that the chairman had spoken and did not dare to continue to watch the fun, so they had to disperse, each going to busy themselves. Mr. Yi, please come with us. The cadre of employees were dealt with. Yi Yang was also surrounded by a group of chairmen and went up to the top floor. Wow. Yi Yang and the others had just gotten on the elevator when another fiery discussion erupted on the 10th floor. After all, what happened today was just too shocking, and the various reversals were simply too much to watch. First, Jin Zhangwei arranged for someone to mess with Yi Yang, and everyone thought that Yi Yang was going to be in bad luck. As a result, he easily resolved the danger by virtue of his hidden skills, and backhandedly beat up Jin Zhangwei. Then Mr. Gao appeared, and everyone thought Yi Yang was going to be expelled and sent away, and his future was ruined. A group of chairmen of the board of directors like god soldiers descended from the sky. Yi Yang's identity instantly from ordinary interns into a super god in control of the assets of the entire empire state building. It's too dreamy, I can't even dream of this kind of bridge. Ha ha ha. I've been saying for a long time that Yi Yang is not ordinary. Right. It's a pity that I didn't have the courage at first, to hug his thigh. If I had known that he had this identity, just now I would have said anything to stand up to Jin when he was pretending to be a bully, and help Yi Shen how to beat him up fatly. Come on, you horse's ass. Today's matter is destined to become a legend on the 10th floor, endlessly circulating among new and old employees. The top floor of the Magic City Empire Commerce Building, the chairman's joint office. Yi Yang sat in the main seat, below were the chairman of each floor. Look at this, we are going to renew our contract next month. We also followed the previous boss's contract probably drew up a proposed contract. You have a look through it and see if it can be adopted. Heavy hunting chairman Fong Lord respectfully took out a contract and handed it to Yi Yang with both hands. Yi Yang roughly swept a glance. The previous contract of the imperial commerce and trade he also copied a copy in his carry-on space. Although he did not know how the system got it. But it was roughly similar to this one. And these companies also took the initiative to pay 15% more rent. It was also considered to be full of sincerity. He pretended to read through it. And felt a hint of embarrassment in his heart. It seemed like there was time to acquire a law firm specifically to help him take care of contracts and assets. These contract provisions he studied were not finance. In fact, he couldn't understand them at all. However, after comparing them with the old contract of the carry-on space, he found that apart from the upward adjustment of the rent, everything else was the same. And only then did he dare to confirm that there was no problem with this contract. A group of chairmen were all looking at Yi Yang with bated breath. A super young godly man who had acquired the entire empire commerce building at such a young age must be young and talented, and it was impossible for him not to understand business finance, where would they dare to fool around? After discussing, these chairmen all confirmed that Yi Yang was bound to be a superb man, so they didn't dare to play any tricks in the contract, and even took the initiative to raise the rent, just in case Yi Yang didn't agree. Not bad. Yi Yang closed the contract, his face as bland as ever. Phew. All the chairmen were relieved. Since you guys are so sincere, then follow the content of this contract. The rent for the next 10 years will be credited to my account within 3 days, totaling 18, 9 billion. Okay, okay, don't worry, Mr. Yi, we will definitely do it as soon as possible. The chairman were also happy beyond belief. They didn't expect Yi Yang, the new owner, to be very good at talking and didn't deliberately make things difficult for them. Since the contract has been signed, then I won't stay much longer. Yi Yang stood up. Good. Let's send Mr. Yi off together. The crowd of chairmen were incredibly attentive until they sent Yi Yang to the car and watched Lamborghini Venom arrogantly leave before they finally put their hearts completely inside their stomachs. It's true that he is young and talented. He actually managed to get Lamborghini Venom. For these bosses with billions or tens of billions of dollars, such a top supercar imperial-like, worth nearly 100 million dollars, was also a super luxury. Those who could spend a hundred million dollars on a luxury car without any heartache had assets of at least tens of billions or hundreds of billions. Yi Yang was in a good mood today. The feeling of being greeted by this group of big shots with tens of billions of dollars, 
who only existed on TV news for him, and constantly complimented them, was indeed very refreshing. Coupled with the fact that he had taken care of Jin Zhangwei who had been oppressing him, his entire body felt refreshed. It's also time to go change my outfit. Yi Yang shook his head and smiled as he looked at the clothes and shoes on his body that didn't even add up to $1,000. As a top-tier godly hero, it would be a bit out of character to still wear these. Devil's Sixth Fashion Street is the biggest concentration of luxury stores in Magic City now, so let's go shopping there. Yi Yang made up his mind and stepped on the gas pedal and Lamborghini Venom's powerful supercar engine suddenly let out a roaring sound. It was as if the unbridled and barbaric super beast awakened. Boom! The shadow of the car sped, and the faces of the passers-by swept by the wind brought up by the Lamborghini did not have a trace of unhappiness, and what was left was only endless envy and longing. Chapter 17 Chapter 17 Bye 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 The original luxury goods so cheap. The 6th Magic Capital Luxury Goods Area After parking the car in the luxury area proprietary parking lot, Yi Yang stepped off the Lamborghini Venom and walked into a random store. Welcome sir. The service of the luxury store was still very aristocratic. However, Yi Yang was too poorly dressed. These etiquette ladies just maintained the most basic etiquette. None of them wanted to come up and become Yi Yang's exclusive guide. After all, everyone's time was worth a lot of money. Yi Yang looked like a poor boy who came to the luxury store to open his eyes. Only looking but not buying, wasting time on him, not getting a penny of commission. No one wanted to waste their time on him. Only a new college student cute cute girl shopper saw Yi Yang, eyes lit up. Such a sunny and handsome little brother was left out. She watched and couldn't bear it. What type of goods is this little brother looking at? Yi Yang looked at her badge and knew that the name of the cute girl was Gao Xiaoxin. The eye color of those shoppers beside him he saw in his eyes. But he didn't care. In a while, there would be a time when their intestines would repent. A full set. Take me directly to pick the most expensive. Yi Yang spread his hands signaling that he wanted a full body set. Gao Xiaoxin nodded repeatedly. Then follow me. Put. Those shoppers beside him couldn't help but laugh out. Look. That poor boy really thinks of himself as a big patron who wants to buy clothes. It's a full set of theater. Look at Xiao Xian's happiness. He thought he had met some big customers. Hey. Young Ah. If she has my three or five years of work experience we'll know. With this purely for the sake of opening the eyes to come in the poor loser waste of time. Is simply with the money over. Yeah too young. A few rather experienced shoppers who thought they would never roll over and go out of sight were all skimming their lips, laughing at Gao Xiaoxin for being too young. Men's clothing, our store, the world's top 10 luxury brands are available. The number one ranked Bulioni only accepts private orders. You want to customize if we can help you contact the designers over there, but the clothes arrive at least a month time. What if you want to purchase it today? Armani and Versace have both come out with new models that are perfect for a handsome man like you. Gao Xiaoxin carefully explained. She hadn't failed to see that Yi Yang's dress was poor, but she carefully maintained Yi Yang's face, treating him patiently as a customer who really wanted to buy. Ah, like this ah. Yi Yang scratched his head. Brinio let's customize a 10 sets first, to the highest standard. Unique kind. Two sets each for spring, summer, fall and winter. And by the way, help me with two more sets of interesting matches. Deliver them to me within half a month. The price. It doesn't matter. This. Gao Xiaoxin blinked. Little brother you're not kidding, Brinio's private customization, the highest level, a set of 50, 000 to 60, 000 euros, 10 sets is half a million euros, doubling the price for expedited production, converted to Chinese currency, that's 10 million, 10 million dollars? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows, yes, Gao Xiaoxin nodded her head repeatedly, kindly reminding Yi Yang that he could change the brand if he felt the price was not suitable, 10 sets for only 10 million dollars, it's a bit too cheap. Yi Yang shook his head. With the tyrannical wealth system, spending more to earn more. Ten million dollars was indeed not much. Is Bryonio the world's most expensive customized clothing? Air. Not. Brinio is just the most expensive and highest ranked company for large-scale private customization. And some world-renowned super luxury master studios. Once the most expensive diamond suit suit. It came from the hand of master stewards. Unique in the world. Priced at 100 W dollars. A suit set that sold for over seven million dollars. Yi Yang nodded. This is not bad. You can customize a few sets when you have the chance. Gao Xiaoxin let out a bitter smile. A little disappointed in Yi Yang. If such a handsome little brother could be practical and down to earth, it would be good. Obviously, a seven million dollar set of suits is okay. It must be bragging. In addition to customized, all the rest of your store, all brands of men's clothing, spring, summer, fall, and winter models, all each by two sets. Packaged and send me to the Yunding Mountain Villa No. 1 on the line. 
Yi Yang thought of the amazingly large checkroom in the Yunding Mountain Villa. Even if he bought so many clothes, he was afraid that he could only fill up a small piece inside at most. This, little brother you, Si Yi Yang's look is not at all like joking. Cao Xiaoxin is a little confused. Could it be that he was a moment of goodwill? Really hit the big time and ran into a super god? What are you waiting for? Card. Swipe it. Yi Yang directly threw the supreme black card to Gao Xiaoxin. Gao Xiaoxin took it with her hands and feet. Having interned in a luxury store, she certainly recognized the Dongfa Bank supreme black card. This was only for members of the club with assets over a hundred million dollars. Now, she completely understood. This handsome little brother in front of her was the real deal. A godly man. The few experienced shopping guide masters who came in behind with the new customers and who had previously mocked Yi Yang and Gao Xiaoxin were also dumbfounded at this moment. Supreme black card. He's actually really a divine hero. I actually lost my eyes. These guides were all crying without tears. Just now, Yi Yang's method of buying clothes in general was unheard of and unseen even after they had worked here for several years. How many millions of commission will Gao Xiaoxin get from this wave? It's enough to cover all the commission we've gotten in the past few years. The female shoppers were all regretful, blaming themselves for being blind and not seeing that Yi Yang was a super godly man with a hidden identity. It turns out that luxury goods are not as expensive as I thought. Looking at the more than 8 million dollars that had been swiped from his card, Yi Yang muttered. He had bought more than a hundred sets of clothes and shoes. And on average, a set was only about 80 thousand dollars. It was indeed not expensive. The manager of the luxury store was all startled and ran out in a row. The owner was a mature and delicate black silk young woman with a superb temperament. Although she was a bit different in appearance from Yu Mumo, she had a unique charm. Mr. Yi, we will definitely contact designer Brinio for you as fast as we can. This is our store's black gold card. Please keep it. Just contact designer Brinio and pay the deposit after finalizing the style. At that time, I will personally pay you a visit at the Hentaying Mountain Villa. Let's talk in detail then. Yi Yang nodded his head indifferently. To him, it was just a mere 10 million level of spending. But for Chang Wei, the owner of the luxury store, it was a big business that she didn't dare to ignore at all. Ding, detected that you spent 800 W on clothing, rewarding Stuart's workshop with exclusive all shares. Hmm, quite familiar. Yi Yang remembered. Wasn't Stuart's the super design master who made the world's most expensive suits and was said to be bullish? It's really a wishful thinking ah. Uh. Yi Yang's clothes were all sent to the villa by a special car, and he didn't intend to stay much longer. He directly turned around and went out, ready to go next door to buy a watch, leaving behind only the cadre of shopping guide beauties who were harboring endless remorse and were crying in a storm in their hearts, gazing longingly at his back. Chapter 18 Chapter 18 Speaking, became the largest shareholder of Vacheron Constantine. Poor people play with cars, rich people play with watches. If you don't have a watch on your wrist, then you can't call yourself a godly man, since he decided to change his whole body. He naturally couldn't do without a watch. Vacheron Constantin. Yi Yang looked up at the name of the store. Even though he was just a poor college student before, it didn't stop him from knowing the names of the world's famous watches. Vacheron Constantin was the noble king of watches, the world's top super famous watch. Sir, with a set of Armani suit worth about 100, 000 dollars on his body, the eyes of the guide beauties lit up. All of them scrambled and pounced, fearing that if they were late, Yi Yang, a big customer, would be snatched away. This contrast, but it's a bit obvious ah. Yi Yang slightly smiled in his heart, shook his head and was about to say something. Behind him was an unexpected cry. Yi Yang, raising an eyebrow. Yi Yang turned around, it's actually you? The boy on the opposite side. A set of expensive summer top men's clothes. The girl beside him, also dressed fashionably and decently. Although the appearance is not considered top, but because of the temperament, it can also add a lot of points. These two are Yi Yang University classmates. Male called Su Pengfei, female called Kai Mao Mao. Su Pengfei was the hoariest super rich second generation in his college class, while Kai Mao Mao was the class flower in his class. Kai Mao Mao was said to have a crush on herself before, and she didn't expect to see these two, by the looks of it, come together as a pair. I really didn't expect to actually see you in this kind of luxury store. Su Pengfei naturally also knew that Kai Mao Mao had some fondness for Yi Yang at that time. At this time, there was also some mockery in his tone. The goddess was still a rich second generation after all. The good looking, good learning, but no money, useful. After the university's cloudy green, to the society, still have to look at the family capital. Thinking of this, Su Pengfei's heart burst with confidence. How, is Vacheron Constantine owned by your family? If I had known earlier, I really wouldn't have come. Yi Yang shrugged his shoulders and returned indifferently. Su Pengfei was speechless, although his family was quite rich, 
but Bacheron Constantin. That was a world-famous super watch company. Their family didn't even count as a fart in front of such a super company. Ha, huh? I mean, I'm surprised that you haven't graduated for a few months, and you can actually afford to wear Armani, and dare to step into this store to look at watches. I'm afraid that this money, it's not from a good path, right? When he went to school, Yi Yang shone brightly, but now in society, he still dared to pose with himself and disrespect himself. How could he endure? Therefore, he also directly mocked with cold words. Okay, Peng Fei, say a few words less. Kai Mao Mao on the side shook Su Peng Fei's arm, looking at Yi Yang with a hint of worry and pity in her eyes. She used to like Yi Yang, but after arriving in society and seeing many realities, she could only compromise with the rich second generation. Yi Yang's family condition she is clear. Even if they rely on their own talent to make a small fortune, wear up our money, but, and Su Peng Fei this family business compared, or I do not know how many levels. Ha, <laughs> Su Peng Fei jealousy more thick. Directly sneer, how, see which watch, I'm familiar with this boss, do you want me to buy a good point to send you, don't always look at those hundred thousand level broken watches, otherwise, in the end, it's just a poor loser, he intentionally revealed the Patek Philippe on his wrist that was priced at millions, today, he also brought Kai Mao Mao to open his eyes, if the other party could obediently agree to go to his house at night to rest and complete the last step, when he was in a good mood, he would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy a watch as a reward for Kai Mao Mao, the shopper on the side saw the million dollar luxury watch on Su Pengfei's wrist, and his eyes lit up. This guest, could look even more luxurious than Yi Yang. Luckily I was late before. Ha ha, this is the big patron. A group of shoppers were all directly leaving Yi Yang's side and sticking to Su Pengfei's side. Ha ha ha. The corners of Su Pengfei's mouth raised in suppressed laughter. As if to say, see, in front of absolute strength, you are simply insignificant dust. Yi Yang shrugged his shoulders, but also no longer need to guide. Anyway, the price is here. Directly see which I packing on the end. Anyway, he came here. One is to buy a watch. Two is also convenient for him to spend money. After all, he had to rely on spending money to make money now. Ha! Huh? Seeing that Yi Yang didn't pay attention to himself at all. As if he was a little worm that didn't need to be taken care of at all. Su Pengfei's face also surged with a sense of dryness. His own wave of pretense had completely failed to cause any harm to the other party. Instead, the other party kept ignoring it making himself look like a fool. All right Pengfei, didn't you come to pick a watch for me this time? Don't get angry. Kai Mao Mao persuaded in succession. Well, Su Pengfei extruded a little sound from his nose, also followed Yi Yang into the inner hall. Brat, hair a little crossroads, dare to go to the inner hall. A moment don't be scared to death by the price. Vacheron Constantine's outer halls are all below 1 million, and the series above 1 million are all in the inner hall. Well, only after entering the inner hall. Yi Yang was satisfied and nodded. The price is still appropriate. The watches outside were too cheap, and probably wouldn't give any good rewards. This, 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 and this. Yi Yang casually strolled around, and when he saw a more handsome style, or one that matched his aesthetic, he directly ordered it away. Su Pengfei and a bunch of shopping guide ladies who came in afterward, just came in and saw that they had already taken 7 or 8 collection level supreme watches that were priced at the multi-million level. Crap, what is this kid doing? Su Pengfei directly dumbfounded. He's stocking up here. Thinks these watches don't cost anything. Take them as you see them. He now highly suspected that Yi Yang had myopia and saw the last three digits of the price tag. Otherwise, even his father wouldn't dare to buy watches in such a stocking style. What are you messing around with here? Do you know that each of these watches is worth millions? You touched it and broke it. Can you afford to pay for it? Su Pengfei shouted angrily in annoyance. Yi Yang's action had also alarmed the store manager of the Vacheron Constantine branch. After all, Except for that emerald KV, the other supreme level watches in the store were almost all swept away by Yi Yang, adding up to a value of tens of millions and hundreds of millions. Just these, the others are too ugly. Yi Yang waved his hand and casually said, Ha! Su Pengfei sneered. Pretend, keep pretending, I'll see how long you can pretend, pay in a while and you'll have to reveal yourself. Just as Su Pengfei was about to watch Yi Yang's joke, the system tone came again. Detected that the host spent 7598W to buy an ordinary watch, rewarding 45% of Vacheron Constantine's global shares. Ha! Huh? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. It seemed that his previous guess was right. The system's rewards largely depended on the type of spending he did. He looked at Su Pengfei with some sympathy, and in the time it took him to taunt himself, he had already earned one of the world's top companies. Chapter 19 Chapter 19 Wearing a few million dollar trash watch is an insult to you, 1. Swipe your card, right? Yi Yang casually handed over the supreme black card, the moment he saw the supreme black card, 
Su Pengfei's heart trembled. The black card represented a personal asset of over a hundred million dollars. That was a real bank deposit of over a hundred million dollars. Although he was not a small rich second generation, but to buy a car to buy a watch have to manage the family to ask for. Personal savings, only a poor few million only. Away from the black card privileges, there was still a hundred thousand miles to go. How can he have a black card? Su Pengfei was baffled. Ding. At the time of swiping the card, the Vacheron Constantine Information General Network also suddenly probed the encrypted information. The branch store manager was startled in his heart. It was rare for this to occur. It represented that the owner of the bank card was a super encrypted top level of the entire Vacheron Constantine company. He looked at Yi Yang with some surprise. Mr. Yi, please wait. Ha! Huh? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. This change should be related to the fact that he had just obtained a controlling stake in the Vacheron Constantine company. In this kind of big company, even if it was the chairman, it would be a big deal to have a 20 to 30 shares. He himself had swept 45% of the shares at once, completely becoming the actual controlling person of Vacheron Constantine. Ha 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 ha. Finally revealed himself. Right. Su Pengfei let out a long sigh of relief. Told you this kid was pretending. Ha 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 ha. Kai Mama glanced at Su Pengfei in disgust, doubting his choice more and more. This, 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 this. Gong Xiaoqing, the branch store manager, entered the store manager's password, and after seeing those decrypted messages, fine beads of sweat instantly appeared on her palms. His body was drenched in cold sweat. He got up in a row and bowed respectfully towards Yi Yang. I'm sorry, Yi Dong, I have no eyes. I really didn't know that you are here. He was sincerely terrified. Obviously, he was scared to death. This youth in front of him was actually the actual controller of the entire Vacheron Constantine Global Company, controlling 45% of the equity of Vacheron Constantine. And for such a super godly man to come to his own store and only buy some broken watches that were a few million dollars, was obviously knocking himself out ah, it's my ignorance, he inwardly regretted, Director Yi, I shouldn't have let these low-grade goods stain your eyes, please wait for me, after saying that, he was turning around and turning around in a row to enter the innermost core of the inner room, what, is this, shouldn't it be that he didn't have any money in his card at all, and then he was blasted out by the security guards, and what did he just call him? Yi Dong? He is a poor loser. Also worthy of the name Dong. Su Pengfei completely baffled. The situation in front of him, completely unable to understand. The side of the shoppers are also blinking. If Su Pengfei is only confused, then, they are alarmed. Gong Xiaoqing was one of the three chief executives of Vacheron Constantine's entire Chinese region. It could be said that she had a supreme status and was worth a lot of money. Even a hundred billionaire couldn't possibly make her lower her eyebrows because there was no need to. Even if she met the richest man in China, at most, she would be polite and respectful, and it would be impossible for her to be scared into a cold sweat like she had just seen her father. This young man, exactly what is the identity? Can let store manager gone such a big man have such a huge reaction? They vaguely uneasy to perceive. Just now the choice. Too rash. A super big shot that could make the store manager gone break out in a cold sweat. Then a rich second generation wearing a million level watch, and don't know how many levels higher. Yi Dong. Yi Dong, these shoppers were all muttering, the call-out answer hovering in their minds, but were simply unwilling to believe it, after all, it was too unbelievable, in front of the safe in the inner room, click click click, Gong Xiaoqing opened the safe with preciousness and caution, carefully taking out the purple wood and gold diamond encrusted watch box within it, this watch box alone was worth more than all the watches Yi Yang had just bought combined, who, this then, think will be able to match the identity of Yi Dong, will be this thing offer? Yi Dong should then be able to slightly satisfied. Gong Xiaoqing is now one of the three chief executives of Vacheron Constantine China. The status was transcendent. However, his status was given by Vacheron Constantine. And Yi Yang was the owner of Vacheron Constantine. With a single word, he could be deprived of all his honor and status. How could he dare to be disrespectful? Returning to the front desk, he also smiled and said, Yi Dong, this is the only Vacheron Constantine Penthouse Craftsman Series 80253-000 or 9593-assigned to the Huaxia District. And since you need a watch, this one can barely match your status. Oh, Yi Yang had only heard of some luxury watch names before, and was not too clear about the specific grading. Therefore, there was absolutely no concept of Gong Xiaoqing's words. Vacheron Constantine Attic Artisan Series 80253-000 or 9593-slash? Su Pengfei exclaimed, Mr. Gong, what are you doing? Other people are not clear about the Louboutin 80253. He, a top-ranking rich second generation who plays with watches all the time, can still not know. 
Vacheron Constantin Attic Artisan Series 80253-000 or 9593- Limited to just 6 pieces worldwide. Not 600. Not 60. Only 6. One of them is still in the hands of the Tsarist Lisboa Emperor. The price is no way to describe this watch. Because, this watch can't be bought with money. To wear this watch, you need a supreme status and power. Yi Yang, a poor loser. And the Tsarist Lisboa Emperor. The world's pinnacle of the big brother. Crazy. What for? Mr. Yi is my Vacheron Constantin company's chief controller in the world. Only this kind of dial is worthy of his status. There is no why. Gong Xiaoqing angrily rebuked. He had an impression of Su Pengfei. His father had once had a one-sided acquaintance with him, and at this time rebuking this kid, he was also well-intentioned. Su Pengfei, a small second generation of rich people, in front of Yi Yang, not even a worm. If you really want to make hatred, the whole family will have to get involved. Now he angrily reprimanded the other party, pointing out Yi Yang's identity in passing, but also in order to let Su Pengfei's brain awake a little bit. Don't make a mistake, Mr. Gong, what did you say? Su Pengfei was completely dumbfounded. His entire brain went blank. Vacheron Constantin Global Chief Controller. Even Kai Mao Mao on the side could not help but cover her mouth and exclaimed in shock, looking at Yi Yang with endless vibrations in her eyes. If I had known this, when I was in college, no matter what price I paid, I shouldn't have missed out on this probably the most perfect boyfriend in the world ah. What was Su Pengfei in front of Yi Yang's status? I must be dreaming. Su Pengfei shook his head. Alas, Gong Xiaoqing sighed in his heart. As long as this little brat doesn't cause trouble for himself by continuing to provoke Mr. Yi, everything is fine. He was also realistically taken aback when he realized that such a young youth in front of him was the chief controller. Well, this is good. Quite pretty looking. Yi Yang put on the attic craftsman 80253-000R and nodded to Gong Xiaoqing with satisfaction. You are very understanding. I remember you. Chapter 20 Chapter 20 Purple Pavilion Restaurant, Only 10 People Per Day? After walking out of the Vacheron Constantin store, he wandered around the sides again, buying a new cell phone and some gadgets he was interested in, spending a few million dollars in total. After strolling through the entire Devil's Six Luxury Goods area, Yi Yang had completely changed into a brand new outfit. Armani suit, Vacheron Constantin Louboutin 000R, Lamborghini Venom. Finally some rich people should have the appearance. Yi Yang looked in the rearview mirror and was quite satisfied with his outfit. People rely on clothes. Now the aristocrat clothes in the body, but also has the national arts proficiency temperament edition. Originally handsome sunshine Yi Yang, become dazzling incomparable. Just standing on the street, he attracted the attention of countless beauties. The beauties who could come to the luxury goods area for shopping naturally had a very high vision, but even they could not help but blush at the sight of the dazzling Yi Yang. But seeing Yi Yang in this outfit, all these beauties were ashamed of themselves. This kind of super godly man, where would ordinary beauties dare to come close? At least all of them were super confident in their own face value and conditions. HM, there is new news? Yi Yang opened WeChat and looked at the new message Lin Shuer sent him. Where is brother Yi now? Are you free at night? Said I treat you to dinner cute naughty slash. Yi Yang shook his head. Last night when Lin Shuer saw that he rewarded so much, she wanted to return the reward money to him. He also said half jokingly that he would let her treat him to a meal today, and just pay back the money with the meal money. I didn't expect this little girl to really take it seriously. It's better for me to pick you up. You are responsible for choosing a good place to eat. Yi Yang messaged back. Good drop. I'll wait for you downstairs in my house. He 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 slash naughty. Putting away his cell phone, Yi Yang also drove the car door ready to pick up Lin Shuer. Little brother. You're too handsome. Can you add a WeChat? Ha? Huh? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows turned his head, and his eyes lit up. There were a lot of devils six fashionable beauties, but a girl like this wearing a stunning Chinese dress with an exquisite pebble face was still incomparably bright. Can. It be. The girl was about 19 or so years old, and the color of anticipation was also flashing in her budding big eyes. For such a pure young girl to take the initiative to add WeChat, Yi Yang naturally will not miss, lightly smiled and added WeChat to each other, is driving a Lamborghini Venom, and went away. Too handsome. Yi Yang left a long time later. Ling Shershur face nymphomaniac smile did not dissipate. Now look at those little sisters in the circle who still dare to taunt me for not being able to find a Comic Con CP. If I can hook up with my little brother, I will definitely be able to explode the whole scene. Hiya hiya hiya. In front of the Fu Hua neighborhood. Lin Shuer before going out is also deliberately well dressed up. Cherry red lip makeup. Not flashy, but will be her exquisite face set off a seductive incomparable. Milk white knee length sari swayed with the evening breeze of summer. The back alone is beautiful. 
not like the earth can have. Pedestrians have straightened their eyes in order to look at Lin Shuer, and there are even people who have crashed their electric cars into poles as a result. It's too beautiful. It feels like the stars on TV can't even catch up to her. Alas, obviously has an owner and is waiting for someone. I also don't know which pile of cow dung is called to take up such a beautiful flower. Anyway, it's not you this pile. Ha ha. Roll. The pedestrians were all talking. Lin Shuer was also accustomed to these comments. She was usually well dressed, and was bound to be the center of attention. However, at this time she did not have the heart to pay attention to the surrounding comments, but instead some nervous looking at their toes in brown cowhide high heel sandals, from time to time looking around, until a black shadow drove into her eyes. Only then did this tension and anxiety slowly dissipate from her body. Clicking, the car door opened automatically. Long time waiting. Inside the car, Yi Yang smiled and waved. Come up. Aha. Uh -huh. Lin Shuer nodded repeatedly and got into the Lamborghini Venom. Have you thought about where to eat? Yi Yang asked. I checked half a day last night. The highest spending Michelin three-star restaurant in Magic City is Purple Pavilion. A meal is going to cost a few tens of thousands of dollars, but it still can't offset what you paid last night. Lin Shuer spat out her tongue and laughed with some embarrassment. She really couldn't find a more expensive restaurant. Purple Light Pavilion? Yi Yang nodded slightly. Going to a high-class restaurant like this one, one had to order a meal a while in advance, dialing the official website. Hello sir, this is the Magic City Violet Pavilion Information Office. A sweet female voice rang out over there. Hello, I would like to dine at the Purple Light Pavilion tonight. Call to reserve a dish in advance. Lin Shuer said. I'm sorry, the Violet Light Pavilion only receives 10 guests per day. The number of guests received today is already full. The reservations are now lined up for 10 days later. No matter what your status is, you will have to wait 10 days before you can order a meal. Yi Yang frowned, with his hearing nowadays, he could naturally hear everything, although this waiter appeared to be polite, but in his tone, there was also a pride that made him uncomfortable. A small restaurant, also worthy of posing? He looked at the somewhat embarrassed Lin Shuer and handed the phone over. Tell your boss to pick up the phone, otherwise, he will miss the chance to produce a million dollar feast. Yi Yang frowned and said directly, Hundred, million? The waiter stuttered a little, clearly frightened. The so-called rules of the Violet Pavilion were nothing more than starvation marketing, a meal of tens of thousands of dollars. Even if there was no limit of 10 people a day, there wouldn't be too many people coming to eat, and a month's pure profit would only be a few million. Moreover, listening to this man's tone, a million dollars to eat a luxury meal as if breathing air like casual. She knows, this is a real big shot, do not dare to delay. Directly to the phone to the back of the kitchen is personally cooking Paul Asterisk Pyrotechnics hands. Paul is a French nationality. Itself is the world's top super 7-star chef. Came to Magic City to create the Purple Pavilion, but also for his philosophy and ideals. Only 10 people were entertained a day. And every dish for every person was made by him personally. Didn't I say? Non-essential circumstances. No disturbing me in my sacred moment of cooking. Paul frowned. Very unhappy to be disturbed. Despite his displeasure. He picked up the phone after listening to the female operator's statement. Sir, if you want to insult my dreams with money, then you're talking to the wrong person. Paul righteously said, I would never break the rules of the store even if I were out of business for the day. I'm professional and bottom line. Rules, are rules. Oh, is that so? The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up a hint of a smile. Then, from now on, I'm the boss of Purple Light Pavilion, and the store's rules will be changed to 12 people per day from now on. What kind of crazy talk are you talking about? Is having money a big deal? Paul frowned and wanted to continue stating his ideals, but Yi Yang's next sentence instantly shut him up. 300 million. First, sir, what did you say? Paul was confused. 300 million dollars to buy your purple pavilion. If it's not enough, it's 1 billion dollars. Yi Yang smiled lightly. The more he spent, the better the reward anyway. He wanted to see if Paul's pride was hard, or if 1 billion was harder. Chapter 21 Chapter 21 Originally, I refused, but nay he gave too much. I, this this this. Sir are you kidding? Paul touched his bald Mediterranean head, completely baffled. His purple pavilion property was bought for $100 million, and now with the renovation and external value, it was valued at $150 million. One opening for $300 million? Double the premium to buy Ziguang Pavilion, even before he himself had returned the price. The other party had directly increased it himself to $1 billion. This, he scratched his head, completely hesitant. Yi Yang was also not in a hurry to say anything else, just quietly waiting for the other party to respond. Gulp. With the passage of time, $1 billion was like a giant hammer constantly hitting Paul's mind. Forget it, 
I won't force you if you don't want to sell. Yi Yang said indifferently, don't don't don't, I was just shocked just now, of course sell. Paul's spirit was shocked, and even said, just now the immortal style was thrown away to nowhere, originally I refused, but nay he gave too much ah, boss, aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly, it seems that all the spirits in the world, after all, cannot escape the law of the ultimate true fragrance ah, uh, after a conversation, Paul's proud tone just now had long since vanished, a mouthful of a boss, called can be happy, ye boss, you point, you go to your own store to eat, I will definitely do everything I can to prepare the best for you, boss, do you see this foie gras you need is the one that was flown in from France or the one that was sealed in the fragrant Ana district, boss, alright, you decide what to eat, I'll serve the food when I arrive and it's done, Yi Yang impatiently waved his hand, annoyed enough by Paul's enthusiasm, a mere one billion dollars made the proud chef directly turn into a licking dog, the charm of money was really magical, Lin Shui on the side cried and laughed, I said I'd come to treat brother Yi, but I didn't expect to make brother Yi break the bank again, ha ha, no harm done, I also just bought this restaurant because I see that it has some investment potential, Yi Yang casually snorted and said, as long as Purple Pavilion smashed some money to get the fame and marketing right, and then opened up the limitations of starvation marketing, it would be easy to double the valuation within a year, Paul simply didn't believe in the spending power of Magic City, that's why he did such a failed job, ding, detected that you spent 1 billion dollars to purchase the Purple Pavilion restaurant, rewarding the human extreme level, musical instrument proficiency, oh, Yi Yang was a bit surprised, he had thought that he would also give some company shares, but it was actually a talent, however, the current him had the Empire State Building in Vacheron Constantine head office under his name, with several hundred billion dollars in assets, he was no longer that bad, abilities like proficiency in Chinese national arts and proficiency in top-notch musical instruments were what he would be moved by, these extreme skills couldn't be bought with any amount of money, alright, let's go, the meal money is still on you, Yi Yang laughed in order to make Lin Shui realize her wish of buying her own meal, Lin Shui spat out her tongue and was amused by the serious Yi Yang and snorted, a moment of flavor, also made Yi Yang a little heartbroken, by the way, why didn't you open the live broadcast out today? Yi Yang asked with some doubt. Eating with brother Yi, is a time that belongs only to the two of us ah? Shuer don't want anything else to disturb us. Silly girl. Yi Yang smiled and rubbed Lin Shuer's glossy forehead. You're the one who's stupid. To such an intimate action. Lin Shuer did not dodge in the slightest, but instead took the initiative to lean towards Yi Yang's hand, and a happy smile appeared on her face. The Lamborghini kicked the gas pedal and shot out as a black shadow only leaving behind a group of passers-by who stayed behind Lin Shuer's back, shaking their heads and sighing, as expected, the top beauties are all guests of the godly tycoons, Lamborghini Venom ah, a 70 to 80 million dollar supercar emperor, he he he, of course people's flowers are stuck in crystal vases, is it hard to stick them in cow dung like you, that's not what you just said, Magic City, Marina Road, after parking the Lamborghini in the exclusive parking lot of the Violet Pavilion restaurant, Yi Yang was also leading Lin Shui towards the entrance of Violet Light Pavilion. Hey, you guys are late. At the entrance, a fat man in a suit with gold teeth and holding a black silk sultry beauty said in a conspiratorial manner. Oh, Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. The fat man in a suit with gold teeth looked at Lin Shui with his eyes straight and said with a hefty smile, the purple light pavilion only receives 10 waves of guests a day, and we are the 10th wave. You guys can't get in, but if this little beauty wants to go in and see what's going on, I can bring you in to take a look. As for this gentleman, it's better to go back to wherever you came from. The fat man with gold teeth obviously had his eyes on Lin Shui and wanted to invite her to dine with him, kicking Yi Yang out in the process. This kind of blatant tapping. It was the first time Yi Yang had seen it. No need. Lin Shui obviously didn't have any good feelings towards Fatty Gold Tooth either. Frowning and her voice was cold. Oomph. Simply ungrateful. Fatty Gold Tooth snorted coldly, and then he was able to see the classical doors of the Violet Light Pavilion slowly open. Dozens of attendants walked out from it in a respectful parade. Wow. It's worthy of being a tens of thousands of grand meal. This row is just big. Ha ha ha. I said you guys don't have to welcome me in such a sandwich. I. Hey hey hey. What are you guys doing? The fat man with gold teeth originally thought that such a big battle was prepared for him. I did not expect that when he was preparing to accept dozens of people to wait on him in front and behind. He was directly pushed to the side by these people. Becoming an outsider. Hubby what is this situation? Didn't we say we'd come here to enjoy the general treatment of nobles? The sultry woman on the side instantly quit, daintily shaking the fat man with gold teeth. Gold teeth fat man Chu Shao Kuan also want to vent their dissatisfaction. But between these dozens of attendants lined up, Paul walked out with his assistant Lilith. Hiss, it's actually Mr. 
Chef, Chu Xiao Cohen of course recognized Paul. In order to bring his girlfriend to properly come and pretend to be a good time, he secretly crammed in a lot of knowledge about the purple pavilion. This French chef is arrogant. To have him personally come out to greet him, it must be a big shot coming. Fatty Jin's heart that wanted to curse also collected itself. His appearance dressed up like a man. In fact, there is not much money at all. His girlfriend grinds half a month to come to the purple pavilion for dinner. He only made a cruel decision to spend 20. 000 to properly pretend to be a high class pussy. And after eating at night by the way, he will take down this sultry bitch. Just when he guessed who the big man was. But he saw that the youth who just wanted to be pride and kicked out by him walked up with his heartthrob goddess. Crap, who does he think he is? Laughing me to death. All of them are hard to hold on to their face to pretend to be a pussy. It's not good to be framed and thrown out in a while. He mocked in a cold voice. But he hadn't finished his words yet. The two of them, Paul and Lilith, respectfully stood and positioned themselves in front of Yi Yang and Lin Shuer. In the next moment, dozens of attendants plus Paul and Lilith bowed in unison. In unison, they shouted, Welcome Boss Yi. At this moment, Fatty Goldtooth was messed up in place. Chapter 22 Chapter 22 A Million Dollar Feast Boss, Fatty Goldtooth was completely baffled. A high consumption place like the Violet Light Pavilion was simply unattainable for someone like him who just wanted to come and pretend to be a pussy. Even the owner of Violet Light Pavilion called him Boss Yi. Then how high should Ji Yang's status be? He had actually tried to pry this kind of existence before. I must be crazy. He was so jittery that if it wasn't for the fact that he was still followed by the sultry goddess next to him who had licked him for months before she reluctantly agreed to come out to eat with him, he would have wanted to just kneel down and apologize to Yi Yang. After all, in Mordor, offending a big brother could ruin one's future with a single word. HM. Yi Yang nodded slightly. What kind of status he had now? If this kind of small person could make himself angry, that would be a price dropping behavior. Who? Seeing that Yi Yang didn't pay any attention to himself at all. It was only then that the gold-toothed fat man Xu Xiao Coin was relieved and prepared to leave with his goddess. How dare you go in for dinner after offending a big brother? One upset he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to get out. What are you doing? The sultry woman was already looking hot. At this time, when she saw Xu Xiao Quan was hardened just now, and now he was egged into a dog's egg, she was even more furious with smoke coming out of her nostrils. Are you still not a man? Whether you enter or not. Anyway, today I'm going to enter. The woman rolled her eyes. The owner of the purple pavilion ah, big shot, and also so sunny and handsome, say what you want to find a way to get close to each other ah, as for this one beside him, he's just a licking dog, these two months to lick themselves comfortable, only to reward the face to accompany him to eat a meal only, this, well, Chu Xiao Kuan bitterly smiled, also accompanied the woman carefully followed behind Yi Yang, entered the purple light pavilion, inside the hall of the purple light pavilion, the decoration was incomparably luxurious, the whole was French classical aristocratic design. The most conspicuous, is that ancient but not loose style piano? The sunbeam hit on it, as if the focus of the whole scene. Behind the piano is a shipwreck salvaged from the Renaissance, which is worth a lot of money. The surrounding walls, too, were all made up of photonic screens. The environment imitated nature, with colorful lights that were soothing and enjoyable. This environment, it's really luxurious. Although Lin Schwer had seen some luxury hotel restaurants, but, Compared to the violet light pavilion in front of her, it was nothing. Please sit. Paul and Lilith warmly invited Yi Yang into the chief. Have a seat. Yi Yang and Lin Shui also took their seats. When dining at the purple light pavilion, each table had an exclusive waiter. As for Yi Yang's group, the original deputy store manager, Lilith, was now the exclusive assistant. Lilith was a typical French beauty with a tall and proud figure. Her turquoise blue eyes flashed with spirituality, and her golden curly hair slid down like a waterfall making people unable to move their eyes when they saw it. Hiss. Lilith deputy store manager actually serves personally. What exactly is this youth? Gulp. Lilith deputy store manager is so beautiful. I dream of being able to let her serve a meal. Really envy me to death. The guests at the next few tables looked at Lilith, who was busy working left and right beside Yi Yang, rubbing her gun and teasing her with her proud figure every now and then, and envied her. Hoof. Lin Shuer looked at the attentive Lilith. A hint of jealousy also flowed out of her eyes. But nowadays, in such a high-end occasion, she was too embarrassed to pick a fight. Well, comfortable. Yi Yang did not order a meal. All of his meals were carefully made by Paul's own hands, and each and every one of them was Paul's specialty. This is the aperitif. It's the Italian sinal extreme that Paul has treasured for more than 10 years. Even for himself, he couldn't bring himself to drink it. Lilith poured the sinal but personally for Yi Yang and Lin Shuer, adding blue ice cubes. Well, 
Yi Yang slightly nodded his head. As a high-level aperitif, Sinar Extreme is expensive, and it is Pulse Collection. The value of this small cup should be no less than 100. 000 Huaxia coins. Not bad. Just the flavor is still less delicate aftertaste than Romane Conti. Yi Yang said casually. Lilith let out a bitter smile. Romane Conti is the emperor of red wine. If all wines are compared to it, I'm afraid that all of them will go out of business. The aperitif is mainly to develop the taste buds, so that you can better feel the meticulous taste of the dishes for a while. As he spoke, the dishes were also brought up one after another. Let's start with a pre-dinner appetizer snack. Lilith introduced. This is the Golden Phoenix Cupcake, the whole of which is decorated by gold foil and gold powder, and the world's highest grade chocolate is used. Holy shit, even the Golden Phoenix is out. This guy is really hoa, such a small piece, two bites to eat, the selling price is more than 100, 000 Huaxia coins, I've met a real god today, the per capita consumption of the purple light pavilion was over 10,000, but more than 10, 000 can only order a little bit of the store's most common level of meals, the golden phoenix cake, the world's finest, was naturally not among them, hmm, the flavor is good, Yi Yang's eyes lit up, his appetite flourished, the texture of this cake was truly a rare delicacy in the world. Subsequently, fresh velvet French foie gras, white truffle bread, sturgeon lobster omelet, golden caviar, Kobe beef with truffle sauce, crystal king crab, a full dozen top-notch dishes. Each of them was priced at tens of thousands of Chinese coins. The customers on the side looked dumbfounded. They had thought that coming to the purple light pavilion for a meal was already high-end enough. But looking at the other party's super godly dinner, and then looking at the dishes on their own table, they could only curse inwardly. What garbage is all this? This meal, counting the bottles of red wine that were opened, it has to be close to a million. Fuck. Millions for a meal. Today is considered to have seen it. Alas. Thought that by coming here to eat, I was already among the upper class. Ha. Huh. I think I'd be better off going back to casting a fetus. The several tables of guests on the side were in awe. Most of those who came here were here to bring their girlfriends to pretend. But tonight, under the reflection of Yi Yang's million dollar gourmet feast, their reckoning, apparently, was completely smashed. Their girlfriends, all of them were looking at the handsome Yi Yang beside the candlelight with endless envy and adoration. And in their minds, they had already been in love with this handsome godly man countless times, and even sketched out the specific plot and detailed scenes. These men looked at their girlfriends around them and immediately felt their heads turn green. Cough. They couldn't sit still. They were all ready to take their girlfriends and withdraw first. Leaving now was only a loss of tens of thousands of dollars in meal money. But if they were a little later, they were afraid that even their girlfriends would have to lose their money together. Well, although there are more than a dozen meals, but the French cuisine, the portion is pitifully small. All eaten clean. Yi Yang only feels satiety. It's a bit boring if it's just a meal. Yi Yang was full of wine and rice. Stood up. His eyes also looked to the classical piano on the side. Such an idle moment. Do not come to some music. It is really some pity. Chapter 23 Chapter 23 Such a young piano master? Brother Yi can still play the piano. Lin Shui's eyes lit up with some surprise. A slight understanding. Yi Yang waved his hand and was sitting in front of the piano. This classical piano was said to be an old nobleman's item from a hundred years ago. Well preserved. With all the historical value. Buying this piano had cost at least a few million dollars in the first place. Yi Yang had just been rewarded with musical instrument proficiency. And it was at the human limit level. What was the concept of human limit? His instrument playing skills nowadays had already surpassed all the masters, patriarchs, and even the famous figures of green history who had started their own sex in ancient and modern times. His hands had just been placed on the piano. Countless knowledge and wonderful feelings flashed through his heart. Could it be that this godly handsome man can also play the piano? No way. That would be too perfect. Ha. Huh? Rich people just casually play it. Do you really think he can play it much better? I'm a professional music theory teacher. Ready to see him make a fool of himself and be done with it. A music theory teacher present had long been tired of seeing his girlfriend worship Yi Yang's eyes, and at this time, he directly exported mockery. Aha, that's it. The customers on the side were all helping out, looking at this music theory teacher like a savior. Yi Yang was just too dazzling tonight. If he didn't let his image suffer, I'm afraid that none of the girlfriends here would be able to escape, and they would have to go back and kick their asses. After all, some women never look at their own value, and as soon as they've been exposed to a better man, they feel that their partner doesn't deserve them at all. Yi Yang moved with his heart, his fingers like nimble birds of prey, gently playing this classical piano. This, this is impossible. The music theory teacher had just listened for a dozen seconds before he was so shocked that his entire body stood up from his chair. 
What's wrong? It feels pretty good. The girlfriend beside him asked suspiciously. More than good sounding. The music theory teacher closed his eyes and felt carefully. This precise to the extreme scales. The subtle to the extreme control of emotions. The skill of turning the hands and snapping the fingers. Is simply a master. Not. A grandmaster level super music theory master awe. He was completely unable to describe his shock in words. This is my prince charming. The man of my dreams. There were already girls present who were obsessed and mesmerized. Looking at Yi Yang's eyes. Their inner thoughts were not even hidden at all. Their own boyfriends were simply scum compared to this youth. This is too handsome. The halo fell. Yi Yang sat in the middle of the sunlight. His fingers moving in succession. Playing out perfect melodies. Those beautiful melodies. As if they had a special magic power. It caused the listener to instantly immerse into the emotional mood of the piece of music. Even with Yi Yang's playing. One could feel the imagery expressed by the piece immersively. The softness is like a gentle breeze. Where it exploded. It was like a violent wind and rain. Everyone. Even the male diners who were jealous, were unconsciously mesmerized by the sound of the piano. This was Yi Yang's favorite piano piece. Maxim's masterpiece Croatian Rhapsody, known as the world's tenth most difficult piano piece. At one time, he had also looked forward to the day when he would be able to play this piece. Unexpectedly, unexpectedly today, it was realized. This hand speed, this precise control, calling it a grandmaster seems too frivolous. This is the master of the age. The music theory teacher who had just wanted to pick Yi Yang's faults and bring him down sat powerless in his chair. He was not qualified to pick faults at all. In front of Yi Yang, his level of playing the piano, for fear of being someone's disciple's disciple, was far from enough. It's so good. The beautiful women present were completely overwhelmed, handsome, rich, and so good at playing the piano. How could there be such a perfect person in the world? And look at this guy beside you, letting him take himself to a 10, 000-8. 000 meal, he asked for a long time, it's really too trashy, the more Sun Shouting thought about it, the more angry she became, directly under the table, she stepped on the top of Chu Xiao Kuan's foot with a high heeled shoe, which her Chu Xiao Kuan grinned and sucked in cool air, what's wrong, shouting, Chu Xiao Kuan covered the surface of the foot, some puzzled asked, originally came in to look at Yi Yang was scared, the goddess also kept looking at each other, it was even more so that he was dumbfounded and could not speak, you look at people, and then look at you, don't look for me to come out to eat in the future, I want to find a boyfriend like Yi Yang's male god, trash like you, you don't deserve to accompany me out to eat at all, after saying that, she continued to look at Yi Yang in a flowery manner, you, Chu Xiao Kuan was half dead from anger, inwardly holding a grudge against Yi Yang, how could a goddess be at fault, the fault was clearly Yi Yang, if it wasn't for the appearance of such a perfect man, how could his goddess move on, after all, a dog licker is a dog, and his thinking is not from a human perspective. Priya I hear. With the last heavy final note, the hearty playing came to an abrupt end, echoing around the beams, evocative and unfinished. Pop, pop, pop. The music theory teacher who was still mocking Yi Yang just now was a fanatic fan of Yi Yang at this time, even more so than those gold-worshipping women, applauding the loudest and most positively. Yi Yang also got up with a faint smile and walked back to his seat. Wow, brother Yi this is not knowing a little bit at all, I still know this song, to be able to play it like this, it's at least at the master level, Lin Shuer looked at Yi Yang, the admiration in her eyes overflowing, ha ha, sloppy, I've practiced a couple of times, Yi Yang casually explained, Lilith on the side was also completely at a loss as to what to say, as a French girl, what she eats the most is the set of romance, just now Yi Yang's superb zither skills, has been from the inside, will be completely conquered by her, it's almost time, let's stop here tonight. Yi Yang smiled and gave a look to Lilith on the side. Lilith immediately understood, MS. Lin, this consumption totaled 108, 888 Chinese coin swipe card or cash? 100,000? Okay, okay. At this time, the power of the red wine had already come up. Lin Shuer's little face was already slightly red, looking like a freshly ripened peach, tantalizingly incomparable. After Lilith swiped her card, she looked at the back of Yi Yang holding Lin Shuer towards the Lamborghini, and inwardly, she was also envious. This meal was supposed to cost millions, but under Yi Yang's authorization, it was naturally impossible for Lin Shuer to really spend so much. Anyway, he's the owner of Violet Pavilion. He'll always come in the future. I'll always have a chance. Lilith bit her lips, and inwardly made up her mind. Phew, finally gone. The male customers present were long relieved. Yi Yang stayed a little longer. They were really afraid that their girlfriend would really run away with someone on the spot. Let me send you back to Fuwa neighborhood. Yi Yan laughed. No, I'm alone at home. It's dark and cold. 
At this time, the wine has completely come up. Lin Shui's reddish white tender little face rubbed against Yi Yang's chest. Tonight, I only want to be with brother Yi. Chapter 24 Chapter 24 I Han Gu Do not accept takeout orders. Villa No. One on Yunding Mountain. Yi Yang helped Lin Shui, who was a bit dizzy, into the middle of the hall. Am I heavy ah? Lin Shui wrapped her hands around Yi Yang's neck and collapsed on the sofa. Her face flushed red as she asked. Didn't feel it at all. Yi Yang nowadays is a proficient in national art. He can do it with four or two pounds. Lin Shui is only about a hundred pounds. How could she feel heavy? You're drunk. I'll send you up to find a bedroom to sleep in. Villa 1 was too big. With six or seven bedrooms. Big and small. There was also the butler's room and nanny's room downstairs. A total of nine bedrooms. But the housekeeper and nanny he didn't have time to find for the time being. Shui isn't drunk. Lin Shui beamed. Unsatisfied. I can still drink. Stop talking nonsense. Your little face is red like this. Yi Yang's face was pressed by Lin Shui's arms in front of her. Between his eyes, there was only a distance of three centimeters. And he could feel Lin Shui's roll and fragrance with the scent of wine coming to his nose. If you keep this up, I won't guarantee your safety. Yi Yang looked at the beautiful and mesmerized face in front of him. Such a great beauty. Such almost zero distance contact. He could even feel the other party's body temperature and softness. As a normal person, he naturally had all the reactions he should have. Even after his physical quality improved, his reaction would only get stronger. I'm not drunk. I also know that the meal just now was that brother Yi didn't want me to spend more money. Schwer has just loved brother Yi for a long time. Now finally let me meet you again. This time, don't want to miss it again. Xi Ying Ying stared at Yi Yang and said gently, Brother Yi, come on. Good. Yi Yang also relaxed his body and mind, becoming each other. Only after a long time did Lin Shui fall asleep. Yi Yang scratched his head. Although he knew that he was ridiculously strong after his physique upgrade, he didn't expect that he would actually be this strong. Even though he was busy until the latter part of the night, there was absolutely no sense of weakness. After pinching the tender face of the sleeping Lin Shui, he also slept contentedly. The next day, Yi Yang woke up and opened his cell phone, but found that there were so many more messages. He subconsciously first clicked on his sister Yi Xiaozi's message. The other party has received your red packet. Holy shit, older brother, you've gotten rich, the sun has come out of the west, all of a sudden it's $5,000 yeah, did you win the lottery, slash doubtful doubtful, the corner of Yi Yang's mouth hooked and smiled as he typed back, ah, won the lottery, is your brother good, not enough to ask for more ha, huh? before the words were sent out, another message came from over there, wow, brother you bought me a new laptop, slash surprise, I googled it and this laptop costs over $50,000, oh my god, happiness comes too suddenly, Yi Yang smiled, his sister's old laptop had been used for 5 or 6 years and hadn't been replaced, she had been chanting to herself to get a new laptop, it seems that Beijing West Express delivery is indeed fast ah, actually delivered in one day, Yi Yang said back, in 2 days it will be sister's day, brother you don't forget to come to the school to pick me up to go out and play for a day, slash bad smile slash treachery, what the hell is sister's day? You don't even know about Sister's Day. Out. This is my own rule he he he. I just miss you. It's settled. We'll see you in two days. Yi Yang bitterly smiled and shook his head. This girl, from childhood to adulthood, was quirky. Yi Xiao Zi learns well. So the family also spent a large amount of money to send her to the magic city to read a good high school. Dad and mom. Although ordinary people. But the study is still very important to see. Because reading is a very cattle high school. Go in to study either the family is very powerful and powerful, or learning is particularly good. Yi Xiaozi is usually very few opportunities to go out of school, counting up really long time no see. Weekend pick her out to play also good. Yi Yang Hart also made up his mind. Turned his head to look at Lin Shui is still sleeping. Last night fierce battle to the second half of the night. He is not how, but Lin Shui less than noon. I am afraid it is very difficult to get up. Even if she woke up, she was afraid that her feet would be too weak to get out of bed. It seems like we have to buy some good stuff to make up for her. It just so happens that we ate western food last night. Let's order a Chinese food at noon. Chinese cuisine is profound. A national banquet of open water cabbage is not analogous to the price of any of last night's dishes. Western food is even more expensive. But Chinese food is expensive. But there is a market without a price. Although it is rarely selected by Michelin because of the catering system, Chinese food is truly the uncrowned king of the catering world. The best Chinese restaurant in Magic City should be Han Court. If you have to rate it, Han Court, which specializes in the highest end Chinese food, would not be too much to ask for a 5 star Michelin rating. Hello, Han Court? I'm ordering a lunch takeaway. Yi Yang casually said, I'm sorry sir, 
We're a high-end restaurant. We don't accept takeaways. As soon as the operator beauty of Han Court heard Yi Yang's opening statement, the corners of her mouth twitched in embarrassment. What kind of place is Han Pavilion? A dish would cost thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars. Take out. The word Hankaku doesn't go well with him at all. Oh, are you sure? Yi Yang sneered. I'm going to order at least a million dollars for this meal. If you don't let me order takeout, then I'll have to change it? Wait, wait, what did you say? The beauty was completely confused. A million dollar meal. Hangu is very high end, but that is Hangu high end, not her little operator high end. A big deal of a million dollars. If she messed it up, she would not be far from getting lost. Therefore, she also even looked for the general manager of Han Court. Hello, Mr. Yi hello hello? What is your claim? Please tell me all you can. Just now that one is a temporary worker. Don't know anything. Ha ha. Well, I want a copy of your Han Pavilion's top dishes. Just do it at roughly a million dollars. Send it to me before noon. Yi Yang casually said. Okay, okay, mister. Yi your address to leave. The general manager tried without revealing anything. Hentaying Villa no. One. No need to say more. Right? Yi Yang hung up the phone after saying that. On the other end. The general manager put down the phone in shock. His hands trembling. Hentaying Villa 1. The selling price was about a billion dollars. Buying that villa is not just about having money. The energy and power behind it is top notch. Thinking of this, where he still dared to delay, directly informed the back kitchen to prepare the dishes to go. Just put down the phone. The villa's doorbell rang. Yi Yang casually glanced at the electronic screen, and it turned out to be UMOMO and some suited staff. He raised an eyebrow and opened the intelligent voice controlled villa door. Boss Yi, the clothes you ordered and the objects you bought have arrived. Umomo was still dressed in a hot professional outfit, like the most attentive housekeeper. Chapter 25 Chapter 25 Maid Butler Master, do you think I can do it? Umomo sized up Yi Yang with a fiery gaze. She had long predicted that Yi Yang's status was not expensive, but she did not expect that after just one day of coming in, she had bought so many luxury items and clothes. This added up. It must be at least hundreds of millions, right? Such a handsome and perfect young godly man was more than Prince Charming. It's simply a god. Ah. Just put these in my checkroom. Yi Yang casually said. Okay, I'll arrange it. Yu Momo led the suit staff to the checkroom. The so-called checkroom in Yi Yang's mouth. There were three of them in Villa 1. One was the bedroom, private checkroom. One was the family checkroom next to the master bathroom. And the underground, hidden checkroom. The smallest of them, the master bedroom, private checkroom, was more than a hundred square feet. And without knowing it, one would think that they had entered a luxury storefront. The one Yumomo brought the staff into was the family checkroom next to the bathroom. A huge space of 300 square feet. After taking a bath, wandering in it, matching combinations at will. At least for a girl like Yumomo, the feeling was bound to be awesome. Looking at the huge checkroom that is several times bigger than her own home, the color of determination in Yumimo's eyes was even more intense. After working for half a day, Yi Yang went on a shopping spree and spent more than 100 million dollars to buy all kinds of clothes and luxury goods. Hard even the medium family checkroom was not full. Okay, you guys can go out. Yumomo also smiled and said. Okay, okay. These staff members were also considered to have opened their eyes. And when they were leaving, they didn't even empty their minds of the shock. Such a large checkroom was the first time they had seen it in so many years of practice. Can't let you work for nothing. I just happened to order a takeaway. I guess two people can't finish it. Why don't you stay and eat some? Yi Yan laughed. Two people can't finish eating. Yumomo's heart trembled. But at last there was a chance to get closer to Yishinhao. How could she miss it? Immediately, she was nodding her head repeatedly. Yes. Yi Yang froze. He was just being polite and courteous. You really stayed. But he really didn't care. It just so happened that the takeout that cost more than a million dollars. It was estimated that he and Lin Shuer really couldn't finish it. Yumomo was also not in a hurry to ask who the other of the two was. 4 1. She didn't have the status to ask right now. 2. It was also that that person would always come out when it was time to come out. Right. These days I am planning to add a few maids and housekeepers to the villa. You happen to be doing this area as well. So I guess you are very experienced. Do you have any good candidates to recommend me? Yi Yang asked with a light smile. Maid butler? Yu Momo's face flushed with a hint of redness. Are all rich people so good at playing? Eh? Yi Yang rolled his eyes. He had clearly said maid and housekeeper just now. Yi boss. You see? Am I good? Jokes aside. Yumomo was also looking at Yi Yang somewhat nervously at this time. You? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. Well well, Mime is a butler online 7 star gold medal butler, with international qualification certificates. 
Very reliable. Definitely won't let the boss. Not. Master you disappointed. Yu Maimo said repeatedly. The corner of Yi Yang's mouth lifted. The master's name. He was quite fond of it. This woman was smart and on the ball. It might not be impossible to consider making her this family housekeeper. Master. Look. This is the generalized household management recruitment circle of the upper class. Yi Yang took Yu Maimo's cell phone. Housekeeping talent network? What a plain and simple name. Yi Yang looked at the job application information on it. Every one of them was a top-notch beauty. And the talent network required that they had to provide a face photo. And even if it was a face photo, it was still stunningly beautiful. The minimum is three stars. The highest is seven stars. Each star also has a gold, silver, and bronze sign representing practitioner performance. Yi Yang smiled. It seems like you are indeed the top talent in there. Yu Mermo was praised by her male god. Even the usually very sensible her couldn't help but raise her little tail and tilted her chin proudly. Well, not bad. Yi Yan nodded slightly. Yu Momo was the first beauty to welcome himself into the Henteying villa. It was also considered to be the first beautiful woman that he had newly met after he started his new life as a godly hero. For Yu Mermo, he was feeling a little different from others inside. The same seven-star gold medal housekeeping talent. Yi Yang naturally preferred to let Yu Mumo be this maid housekeeper. He he he. Thank you master. Yu Momo obediently said, having the imperial sister bow down and call her master. Yi Yang was also filled with a sense of accomplishment. Since you are a maid butler, I have to put together a professional domestic maid troop. Yi Yang rubbed his chin. This, this, this. These a few moments after dinner call them to come to the interview. You help contact just, starting salary of half a million dollars. Fifteen salaries a year. Willing to come. More. How much? Seeing that Yi Yang ordered all seven star gold medals. Yu Momo just wanted to remind Yi Yang that this hiring fee was not low. She didn't expect Yi Yang to directly give her a blow to the head, telling her what a true god's luxury was. Normally speaking, the gold medal seven-star housekeeping talent, the annual salary is only half a million to a million, and Yi Yang directly gave half a million dollars a month, and giving 15 salaries a year, this was simply too terrifying. It's settled. As for your salary, well, first aggrieved you to take a million a month. If you do a good job next year to give you a salary increase, Yi Yan laughed. Rao has seen many big scenes of you Maimo. Are confused. One million dollars a month. Fifteen salaries a year was fifteen million dollars. She had previously worked as a service chief in the Henteying Villa area. And her annual salary was only eight hundred thousand dollars. Is it too little? Yi Yang frowned and asked doubtfully. It's reasonable to say that what he gave shouldn't be too low ah. No. No no no. You Momo got up in a row. Master. You are so good to Momo. Mime will certainly do her best to take care of your villa. That's good. Yi Yang smiled and nodded. Yu Momo was overjoyed in her heart. She didn't expect that coming to help Yi Yang load the cabinets with good intentions would actually directly allow her to get close to the male god. And she could even be the male god's personal maid. The main thing is that the annual salary of 10 million ah. The male god. No. The master is really handsome. Dripping. Outside the villa's door. A classical palace car was parked outside. On the palace car. The ancient, Han Pavilion, word was also inscribed. Oh, coming quite fast. Didn't you say you don't deliver takeout? This is much more professional than professional takeout. Ha! Huh? Yi Yang smiled. Eh? This is. Takeout. Yu Momo once again felt like her worldview was being challenged. When did a super high-end restaurant like Han Court start delivering takeaways? Moreover, with this array, it's hard to believe that the entire restaurant has been moved here. Looking at that 7 or 8 meter huge food truck, Yu Momo messed up in place. Chapter 26 Chapter 26 Is it a choice of purity? Or an 8 million dollar annual salary? Mr. Yi, because the amount of your order this time is extremely large. We at Hankaku attach great importance to this. So we were specially sent here to carry out on-site production. This is our menu. You can order as much as you like. We are all the top state banquet chefs of Han Pavilion. And we will personally create a gourmet feast for you on-site. Several of the national banquet chefs prided themselves on having seen the world. But after entering Yi Yang's Henteying Hill Villa, they were still amazed. This hall, it was too luxurious. It was simply an ultra-modern residence in a dream. Oh, Yi Yang swept a glance and picked the expensive and smooth ones to order. Dragon liver and phoenix eyes. Open water cabbage. Golden dragon surrounded by pearls. Undersea Buddha jumping wall. Squirrel mandarin fish. Thousand refined east slope pork. Golden rice. 300 years of wild ginseng soup. Diamond fruit cutting plate. Several top chefs were memorizing the names of the dishes on the side and preparing the ingredients in a hurry. At the same time, they were secretly shocked. These are the finale dishes and even the grand finale dishes. 
the most expensive existence in the state banquet. Each one of them was priced at tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. This eyes do not blink. Directly point ah. Drink? Yi Yang somewhat dissatisfied flipped through the menu. There is no brighter wine? This. Several state banquet chefs hesitantly looked at each other. It basically listed all the high-priced wines of Han Court. There was only one. Because it was simply too expensive. As the treasure of the town, it wasn't even written on the menu because no one could afford to drink it. Mr. Yi does have a wine that is not listed on it, but the price. Several people asked hesitantly. Oh, tell me. Yi Yang was also interested. What kind of wine was it that made all these state banquet chefs not dare to write it on the menu because of the price? National Collection Fun Wine. Back then, that batch of state collection out of the cellar. Only 20 bottles. All the nobles in the world coaxed for it. One bottle after a few times was purchased by my Han Pavilion at a sky-high price of $2,988,000,000, as the treasure of the town store. Saying that, several chefs stopped squeaking. After all, although Boss Yu was generous, that kind of multi-million dollar national collection wine that was almost equivalent to a collector's item, how could anyone really treat it as a table wine and buy it to drink at random? Ah, that one then. Yi Yang nodded with satisfaction. This kind of wine was quite attached to his heart. At least the price. It was much higher than even Roman A. Conti. Several state banquet chefs were shocked. Mr. Yi, Yi, are you serious? As the treasure of the town store, its selling price will be at 300. Yi Yang frowned and waved his hand. Are you mentioning money to me? A few state banquet chefs were just now coming back to their senses. Yes, people live in houses that are more than a billion dollars. What's wrong with just taking a few million just for a taste? This is the thinking of the rich. A few million to buy a bottle of wine. My house is less than 3 million. Several chefs were laughing bitterly, but they still contacted Han Court to hurry to send over the national collection from wine, because it was white wine. One bottle was naturally enough. Several state banquet chefs lamented while cooking the state banquet in full swing in Yi Yang's super luxurious villa's large kitchen. They all had glowing eyes and enjoyed themselves immensely. The kitchenware of the Hentaying Mountain Villa was made of the top-notch and most luxurious international ones. A set of kitchenware could be worth millions and millions of dollars. As a chef, a lifelong dream is not to be able to use this fantastic level of super luxury kitchen to make a meal. While the chefs were in full swing, Yi Yang casually turned on the TV in the living room and started contacting these seven-star gold medal domestic beauties on the talent network with you Momo. Huan Ruoyu? Yi Yang laughed. The name is easy on the eyes. Take it. Call her. Yu Momo was also unambiguous. He knew that this was also a test that Yi Yang had given her. As the chief housekeeper of course, she should be sensible and skillful, not cynical. Hello? The phone was connected and a voice with a hint of innocence hidden in politeness came from there. Guan Ruoyu was a master's degree from the Wharton School of Business, which was ranked in the top few international rankings, with a height of 1 meter 72, and her looks were also first class. On weekdays, she was naturally the goddess in the hearts of many licking dogs. The personality also carries some pride that goes deep into the bone marrow. This is Yunding Mountain Villa. I am the housekeeper of Yunding Mountain Villa, and I am formally sending you a hiring invitation through the talent network. Oh, looking for me to manage money in the past? How much is the annual salary? Is there a prospect? How is the boss's character? If it is a nasty person, I will not accept it. By the way, I personally want a separate financial management room to be served by a person. After all, my seniority, I interrupt. You murmur frowned. We're just going to recruit a maid. What? An incredulous voice came from the other side of the phone. Please, have you read my message? Wharton Business School, you're asking me to go over there and become a maid? I, the bite-sized price given over here is half a million dollars a month. Fifteen salaries a year yo. You Momo squinted her eyes like a cunning jade-faced fox. There was silence on the other side of the phone. Yi Yang vaguely heard the sound of a water cup falling on the floor. After a few seconds over there is sent a weak inquiry. This. This salary treatment, is it true? That's right. If you think it's acceptable, please come to Villa 1 on Yunding Mountain before 8 o'clock tonight to start the trial period. Okay, I will definitely be on time. Somewhere in a small house in Magic City, Guan Ruoyu's cup shattered at her feet, and her entire body froze. When she just heard that she was asked to be a maid over there, her whole body was skeptical of life, and she even wanted to stinkingly scold the other party for being a psychopath. But when she heard this salary package, her mental defenses completely collapsed. Financial management major, it sounded lofty, but even a full scholarship graduated from Wharton. No family background, no relationship. Which wrongdoer company is willing to give her an inexperienced master's degree to open more than half a million dollars a year? Master's degree returned to the sea for half a year. 
high-minded and proud of her has not been able to find a satisfactory job, had to harbor in this small rented room to eat noodles, monthly salary of half a million, 15 salaries a year, a year is seven and a half million, even as a maid, so what? The harsh reality of half a year had pretty much destroyed her inner pride. Guan Ruoyu looked at the broken cups around her. Her eyes were firm. No matter what she was asked to do, she was going to keep this job. Master, I'm coming. She hurriedly got up and began to carefully groom and prepare for tonight's interview. Villa No. One on Yunding Mountain. You silently put down her cell phone. There were a total of nine searched for, and all of them agreed without any surprises. She was also a little emotional. Yi Yang looked at these which one was an extremely good conditioned and high-minded. As a result, once they heard the annual salary of 7 or 8 million, each and every one of them with the cat that smelled the fishy smell, can't wait to instantly have to dart over. The feeling of having money. Really good ah. Chapter 27 Chapter 27 Chateau Lafite Rothschild Property Rights Centurion Black Gold Card Brother Yi Yi Yang turned his head and was seeing Lin Shui, who was only wearing a home silk pajamas, coming down from upstairs. Her delicate body curves were hidden, and associating it with last night's tenderness and joy, made Ji Yang lick his lips, because there were no girls' clothes in the villa. Lin Shui's pajamas last night were still worn by Yi Yang, so they seemed a bit wide, the shoulder collar slid down to the sides, and her white and creamy collarbone and silky shoulders were vaguely visible. Hiss, Uemomo's heart trembled at the first sight of Lin Shui, she could be incredibly confident in her own beauty. But encountering Lin Shui had caused her to rise with a feeling of being a chess match that she rarely had. Even that rare pureness on earth, with a hint of softness and charm, made her feel that she was slightly inferior. After all, the upper class and the drink, between the eyes and face, will naturally reveal a trace of the marrow of the mature and noble. It's not that this is bad. Rather, once they encountered a perfect and pure goddess like Lin Shui, they appeared to be a level lower. There wasn't a trace of pretense in the other party's brows. Alas. It seems that I can only be the master's maid housekeeper at ease. You silently spat out her tongue, still somewhat unwilling inwardly. No matter what, at least be Meiji Yang's woman. Not only because of the sensational annual salary of 15 million dollars, it was also because Yi Yang was indeed the only perfect male god who really made her suppress her feelings for so many years. Awake? Yi Yang smoothly wrapped his arm around Lin Shui who was sitting on the sofa, obediently like a small white rabbit, snuggling in his arms, stroking her hair, Order to take away, send you back after eating at noon. Good. Lin Shui obediently nodded. Her status wasn't enough for her to stay here every day, but she was already satisfied. After all, last night she reached the wish she had for so many years. It would be good to work harder for that status in the future. Yi Yang looked aside at Yumomo who was puffing up her little face, obviously a little jealous, and laughed a little, introducing them to each other. Friendship between women came in the most inexplicable way. If their identities didn't clash, they would even instantly become wordless best friends because they liked the same guy. Yi Yang could see this from those little fresh meat fan clubs. The drama he had been worried about of the two women meeting and tearing each other apart didn't happen at all. Instead, they were like reunited old friends who hadn't seen each other for many years after just getting to know each other, sympathizing with each other. Women's friendship. It's really strange. What takeout did brother Yi order? Just when Yi Yang was speechless, Lin Shui also curiously came over and asked, You'll know when the food is served in a while. Yi Yang looked at the antique art clock on the wall that was worth millions of dollars and estimated that the time was almost up. State banquet no. 1. Open water cabbage. The state banquet chef finally prepared all the dishes and started to shout for the dishes to be served according to the state banquet standards. Golden dragons surrounding the pearl. Undersea Buddha jumping wall. One after another of earthly delicacies were brought up. It could be described as tantalizing. The Chinese cuisine, which paid attention to color, fragrance and flavor, and all five senses. Extravagance was hidden in simplicity, and great ingenuity was not a problem. Yi Yang had only heard of it before, but today he had finally really seen it. Sit down and eat together. Also busy for so long. Yi Yang also waved his hand generously. These dishes, the two little girls plus him would definitely not be able to finish them. Instead of wasting it, it would be better to sell these few state banquet masters a favor, because he also had some small calculations inside. This, the several chefs all had some difficult looks. This meal was more than a few years of their salary. How dare they sit down and eat at will? However, under Yumomo's full level persuasion skills, the several chefs were also seated. This meal could be said to be the most satisfying meal after Yi Yang's wealth explosion. Last night's western food was luxurious and delicious, but the amount was really too little. A gold paper cake, which was sold for more than 100, 000, was eaten in one bite. Spending millions, 
but not much full. Cuisine still has to look at my huaxia. Yi Yang smiled and nodded, casually opened the bottle of more than $3 million of National Collection Fun Wine. Come on, one person a cup. No no no. A few state banquet chefs were directly scared and stood up, shivering. Boss Yi, this cup of wine, to say the least, is hundreds of thousands of dollars ah. We, don't have that life to enjoy. In case Boss Yi is not happy, let them AA in a while. They will have to sell their cars to pay off their debts. Ha ha, don't worry, I please. Yi Yang looked at these few state banquet chefs being scared, also shook his head and laughed. This, well, a few chefs were then put down, respectfully, just about to worship the heavens and the earth, bathing in changing clothes. Seeing this, Yi Yang also shook his head in amusement and sipped the wine in the cup. It really is good wine. Seeing Yi Yang's drinking face, several chefs were crying and laughing. Three million dollars of national collection wine, a mouthful of it. And after that, they only got a five word comment. Is this a godly hoe? Yi Yang looked at the several chefs wine down, the corner of his mouth. Since the wine is also drunk, I'll say it plainly. I don't have much time to cook here, and I need a few private cooks. Do you want to consider being my chef? Ah uh, ah. Uh. A few state banquet chefs a mouthful of wine almost sprayed out, said that rich people are thieves bad, how can they be so kind to invite them to drink? It turned out to be waiting here, how about wages at 10 times your previous standard? Yi Yan laughed, 10, 10 times, you are not kidding, we can at least take 3 to 500 thousand dollars a year, wouldn't 10 times be, 3 to 5 million, they were all shaken, even without this cup of national treasure wine, a fantastic salary of 3 and a half million dollars. They didn't have to think about it at all ah. Well, then it's a deal. After settling the bill in a while you guys go back and turn in, and buy some dishes by the way in the evening, and be my personal chef after today. Yi Yang casually said, Good Lu Boss Yi. Several national banquet chefs were secretly crying blood money in their hearts. This meal was also very enjoyable. Swipe your card. Yi Yang directly took out his Dongfa Supreme Black card. Ah uh, ah, uh, Boss Yi. You spent a total of $4,670,000 this time. Why don't we erase the change for you? Now that Yi Yang was their real boss, these chefs naturally knew who to turn to. No need. Yi Yang couldn't wait to spend more money now. Maybe he would reward a super prize. The few chefs and Yu Maimo and Lin Shuer were all in awe. This was the god's luxury ah. Uh, four to five million dollars for a meal. In someone's eyes. It was completely nothing. Ding. Detected that you spent 4678. 980 yuan on an ordinary Chinese meal, rewarding the property rights of France's Chateau Pas de Lafite, and one international general centurion black gold card. Ooh, having a meal, directly rewarding a winery. Yi Yang listened to the system beep and secretly exclaimed. Chapter 28 Chapter 28 Piano Man, fired up the entire internet. Chateau Lafite Rothschild? Yi Yang searched randomly. It was found that it was really the winery that produced the most famous Lafite wine. This winery was established in the 14th century, continuing to this day. It was the family winery of the Lafite aristocracy. I didn't expect that the system would actually be so magical, directly getting it into their hands. This Chateau Lafite Rothschild is the largest and highest asset winery in Europe, valued at 6 billion euros. Although there is a bit of a gap between it and a super reward like the Imperial Financial Building, it is still considered an extremely strong reward. But compared to the Centurion Black Gold Card, there is still some gap. Yi Yang also didn't expect that a centurion black gold card would actually be rewarded this time. This was a symbol of status. The only people in the world who could get this card were the top brass of various countries, billionaires, and existences with extremely prominent identities. The centurion black gold card is also known as the king of cards. The overdraft limit in China is $10 billion, and the international overdraft has no limit. This was an extremely terrifying concept. If the Dongfa black card represented that he had stepped into the 100 million worth club, then the Centurion Black Gold card would represent that he had stepped into the Billion Worth Club. After the group of state banquet chefs all left, Yi Yang was also ready to send Lin Shuer home. As for the hygiene in the villa, naturally, Yu Weiwei was responsible for finding someone to clean up. Boom! The Lamborghini Venom stopped lightning fast at the entrance of the Fuwa neighborhood. After the kiss slash goodbye, Lin Shuer was getting out of the car. Yi Yang habitually opened his cell phone to see the new messages, not expecting that the messages actually exploded. Yi Yang, is this person in the video you? Okay IE boss, you're on fire in jitterbug. Brother, you can still play the piano. I'm afraid it's not a fake. I've never seen you play before. Yi Yang was a bit stunned and clicked on the video that so many people had sent him. The environment of the scene within the video was clearly within the purple light pavilion. In the video, he was sitting in front of the shipwreck, next to the classical piano. 
amidst the halo of light, his fingers flexibly flying, playing the Croatian Rhapsody, handsome face, exquisite to masterful playing, a setting of incomparable romance, such a variety of factors were also what made him completely explode on the internet, he smiled and shook his head, yesterday was just in the mood to play a paragraph at random, but was actually photographed and put on the internet, and, actually inexplicably burst into flames, open trembling sound, the first open screen video was playing the piano by yourself, the likes have reached 2 to 3 million, and the comments are also several hundred thousand, Yi Yang also clicked on the comments with interest, too handsome, too handsome, it's my favorite, love it, my new husband is him, ha ha, more new material to dream about at night, I'm going to marry him, give him monkeys, not only trembling, including B Station, Watermelon, Fast Hand and other major video apps, their own videos, all have not a small amount of heat, alas, I really didn't want a fire ah, for the sudden fire, Yi Yang also shrugged his shoulders, somewhat speechless, returning to the villa, Yumomo was also staring at the cell phone screen with glowing eyes, what are you looking at, so mesmerized, Yi Yang swept a glance, it was the video of himself playing the piano, so you're so good master, Yumomo became even more starry eyed, you have been named a new generation of grassroots male god of the whole network, if you open a live broadcast to show your face and take advantage of the heat to create a momentum, you can directly become a big star, maybe the title of the new generation of universal husband is yours, ha ha, forget it, universal husband, I'm afraid I'm not going to be exhausted, Yi Yang rolled his eyes, Yumomo covered her mouth and laughed, in her, she rarely saw this kind of little girl flavor, ding dong, Yi Yang raised his eyebrows, who is it, he swept the display screen, it turned out to be those maids who applied for the job, originally, they were still puritanical and unwilling to come over, as soon as he heard about the annual salary of 8 million, they couldn't even wait for the night, even replenished their makeup, and ran to Villa No, one on Yunding Mountain in a hundred thousand fire, still really diligent ah, Yi Yang cried and laughed, outside the door, Guan Ruoyu was a little tangled and gripped her arm, she was also a little worried, in case the boss was a lewd old pervert slash pervert, and opened such a high price, but in fact, it was to do those shameful slash hysterical things, then how should she choose then, is it to succumb to money, or, was when she was tangled, the door opened, she took a deep breath, no matter what, after all, it's an opportunity to earn 8 million dollars a year, one must try to grasp it, Guan Ruoyu walked into the middle of Villa 1 with the 9 beauties behind her, welcome to Villa No, 1, I'm the housekeeper here, you Momo, you Momo stood up and resumed her high and cold imperial sister image, hello, you, my name is Guan Ruoyu, Guan Ruoyu said evenly, my name is Chu Lavender, although the several girls had excellent academic ability, it was the first time they had seen a female housekeeper like Yu Momo who was both mature, beautiful and imposing, and for a while they were also a little nervous, there's no need to be nervous, I'm also just working for the master, Yu Momo gave way and bowed respectfully towards Yi Yang on the sofa, master, master, such a shy slash shameful and incomparable title made the faces of the several world weary girls instantly red, however, when they saw Yi Yang on the sofa who was looking at them with a smile, their faces instantly turned even redder, isn't this the piano man god that, just swiped just now, several girls were wide eyed, they were all prepared for the owner of the villa to be a perverted slash perverted tycoon old man, this contrast, it seemed to be a bit outrageous, for a while several girls hearts were flooded with shocking waves, among them, there was no lack of those who just now wanted to have a monkey with the piano boy god in the comment section, Guan Ruoyu was one of them, she inwardly cried out, not to mention 8 million dollars a year, even if she didn't want the money, she would still be willing to serve such a perfect male god ah, rich, young and handsome, and he could also play the piano, there's no need to be formal, cleaning the house and taking care of the villa is all you have to do, Yi Young understood what these girls were worried about and explained, no no no, we are willing to do anything, aha, as long as you are willing, Guan Ruoyu and a few girls all blurted out, and only after they finished speaking, did they react to what they were just saying, their faces were like ripe apples, Yi Yang scratched his head, not expecting this reaction from the other party, since this is the case, let's go and familiarize ourselves with the villa structure with Xiaoyu first, the Yunding Mountain Villa dared to sell over a billion dollars, it naturally had its own backbone, there were nine bedrooms alone, there was no need to say how big the entire villa body actually was, moreover, the basement is also not a concept at all as understood by common people, the entire interior of Hentaying Mountain, was remodeled, the entire mountain, was the basement of the Hentaying One Villa? There was even a big library inside. Before seeing that big library in the basement, 
Yi Yang couldn't imagine at all that a rich person would be so capricious. Chapter 29 Chapter 29 Golden City Law Firm A college party? After familiarizing themselves with the villa, the few girls were all in awe. As long as the Magic City people all know the great name of the Yunding Mountain Villa. The first villa is one of the Villa King, but only when one has actually seen it, does one realize the luxury inside. If there are no objections, then it's time to sign the contract directly. With Yu Mumo's efficiency, naturally, the contract was prepared in a day. Aha, we don't have any problems. Several girls swept a glance at the contract, and all of them couldn't wait. Yi Yang nodded slightly and directly paid the wages. He was not afraid of these girls running away halfway. After all, there was also compensation for breach of contract. Selling these people would not be enough for half of the compensation. Ding, detected that the host paid the maid troops annual salary of 9,000W in Huaxia coins, rewarding Golden City Law Firm 51%. Law Firm, Yi Yang's eyes lit up. As his assets grew, he might get involved in legal issues in the future. Having a law firm could be said to have saved him an unknown amount of trouble. Golden City Law Firm, he had also heard of it. The whole of China is famous, at least in the magic city, can be said to be sitting firmly on the position of the first law firm, who cannot be shaken. Whether it's domestic or international disputes, there has never been a defeat. It is known as the Magic City Pizza Hut. The firm's relationship network extends to all levels of society, no matter what lawsuits and disputes, as long as the use of relationship energy can be easily settled. This kind of firm is no longer money can easily buy the existence of equity. After all, this kind of lawyer team that dares to call itself a pizza hut, representing a case with a high amount of money involved, can at least share a few tens of millions of hundreds of millions of dollars. It can be said that there is no lack of money at all. There was absolutely no need to sell equity. Even if Yi Yang take more money to smash, afraid are unable to get it done. At this moment, Yi Yang was also once again lamenting the power of the system. Almost at the same moment, a certain office building in Magic City. Fong Han looked at the secretary in shock. Are you sure? Several other high capital holders, all of them have sold their shares to this mister. Yi, not bad. The secretary smiled bitterly. According to the acquisition information, that mister, Yi Hand, has already mastered 51% of our company's shares. This, Fong Han was also incredulous. Golden City Law Firm, can be said to be a treasure pot, as long as the treasure pot is guarded, there is no lack of money at all. Can let those joint venturers sell their shares, afraid that this mister, Yi, behind the background of energy they cannot resist, and also invested a huge amount of money. Can we find out his information? Fang Han calmed down for a long time before he was able to react and asked. The information that can be checked is extremely limited. Can only find out that the other party is the owner of the Magic City Imperial Commerce Building, and it seems that he is also the holder of the Centurion Black Gold Card. In addition, he has recently injected capital into the French Chateau Lafite Rothschild. Now it has become the actual controller of Chateau Lafite Rothschild. In itself, it is also the real owner of Vacheron Constantine Watch Industry. Our law firm's resources have all been spread out, and we've only found out this much. The secretary laughed bitterly. He knew too well how powerful the Golden City law firm's network of relationships was. As far as the heavens, down to the city, there was no information that could not be probed. Only this mister. Yes private information, no matter what, could not be found out. Gulp. Fong Han clenched his fists. It seems that this mister. Yi definitely has a big identity. The Golden City Law Firm was founded by him. And today the other party was actually able to make this super firm that was famous in China directly change its owner. Himself, the original owner, was still pressurized and unaware. This person, is too terrifying. Fong Han knocked on the table. Go called Saichi and Ai Wei. Our three main capital partners have to go together to pay a visit to this mister. Yi, okay, arrange it right away. The secretary also knew that this was not a small matter and went to notify the remaining two main capital partners in succession to arrange the trip. In the evening, Yi Yang was also idle. With the establishment of the maid troop, the villa finally had a few more busy fireworks. Before such a big villa just Yi Yang himself living, it does seem lonely a bit. If he was bored, he would pull a few maids together to play chess, and if he lost, he would be punished with a drink, or with the girl together on the roof of the villa that open-air heated swimming pool swimming. It can be said that the life is comfortable and incomparable. The experience of an ordinary person's whole life might not even be able to catch up with Yi Yang's coolness for one night. The feeling of being rich. It's so good. Master what are you doing? Come and play. After adapting to the new environment, a few maids were having a high time. The hentaying villa was even bigger. After all, ten of them cleaned it up together. And they were able to clean it up very quickly. After they were done, 
they could play happily with their handsome and multi-golden master. Paradise wasn't even as wonderful as this place. No no no. Yi Yang waved his hand and casually opened his cell phone, but he saw that the college class group that no one had said a word about for a year was suddenly active. It's actually 99 plus? What's the situation? Yi Yang was a bit surprised. After graduating from college, the class group was almost cool. No one spoke for a year and a half. Tonight actually suddenly burst into flames. Clicking in and scanning, he just saw the announcement. Old classmates, graduation internship period are over, right? If you're free, let's get together in a couple days. The one who sent the announcement was the college class president. You success. This one announcement also ignited the college class group once again. Many of the students started to catch up, talking about work. Alas, don't mention it, that stupid chief administrator, forcing us to work overtime every day, and telling us that 996 is a blessing. I can go to hell. I don't give overtime pay, but I still have to thank him. You're lucky to have found a job. I'm not sure I've found a job yet. It's all tears. Old Sue should be doing well, right? He's the second generation of the rich. Who is Lao Su with you? You call him Old Su? Now he's a long time ago in his father's company as an executive. And I'm now working under Su's hand. I envy you. You're worthy of being a rich second generation. By the way, where's Mao Mao? That's the flower of our class. It's rumored that brother Su and Mao Mao Kai are now a couple. The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up. It was quite a coincidence to say the least. Su Pengfei and Kai Mao Mao, who were touted in the class, happened to run into each other when he bought a watch a few days ago and the other party's eyes almost glazed over when he realized that he was the actual controlling owner of Vacheron Constantine. To this day, he still remembered the other party's comical appearance. Cough. I won't go this time. Right. Su Pengfei finally appeared. Don't our brother Su. You are the most cowhide in our class right now. If you don't come, what's the point of this meal? Yes yes yes. Buddy I haven't found a job yet. Why don't I also go to brother Su's place to mix a meal? Su Pengfei was blown to the sky by three words. Fluttering, ha. Huh? Well said, since the buddies are so lifted up, then I'll definitely go ha. Huh? Right, where's Yi Yang? When he was in college, he was the god of our class. Didn't Kai Mao Mao still like him? Wang Dailing's words were not shocking, and a direct sentence made the fluttering Su Pengfei dive directly. Chapter 30 Chapter 30 People don't have any advantages. Just more money? How do you talk Wang Dalong? Which pot is not open? Dare to reveal my brother Su's scars. Wang Guan, the lapdog working under Su Pengfei's hand jumped out and disliked him. What? Can't you just tell the truth? Wang Delong was notoriously straight. And at this time, he also said back without showing any weakness at all. You, just when the two sides of the fire was about to quarrel, Yi Yang also sent out a message without any panic, since everyone wants to get together. It's certainly best to get together. Yi Yang came out. How is brother Yi doing? I heard that brother Yi seems to have gone to a good software company? Yi Yang's popularity was obviously not low. After all, he was sunny and handsome, his studies were okay, and his presence in the class wasn't low. However, except for Zhang Xian and a few other rare buddies, most of the male students couldn't wait for him to fall into society and look at the jokes. He is more than that. Boss Ye's achievements are beyond your imagination. Zhang Xian saw that someone actually looked down on his boss Ye so much, and at this moment, he also couldn't help but speak. Ha, huh? isn't this Yi Yang's little follower? What, still following little Yi after graduation? Not so good. Until now still a mouth a leaf boss. Laugh dead me. All into society. Cannot be realistic. Who has the money? Who is the big brother? Right? That's right. That's right. Mentioning this, many people in the class were echoing with feeling. After entering society, they did deeply realize the meaning of this sentence. The ability to be big again is also to work for the rich. Respect you when you say you are a high school student. Do not respect you when. Even a dog not as. And the family has the right and powerful. Born is that class. Graduated like Su Pengfei went to his father's company as executives. That will be the goal of most people in the class to strive for half of their lives. As for the rest of their lives? Fail to be an executive. Get fired from the company when you reach the age. And then live the rest of your life in poverty. You guys still don't believe it. It's all over when you get surprised by Bossy at the party. Zhang Xian spoke indignantly. Being surprised by him? Ha ha. Don't tease. Okay? Yo. I'd like to see what kind of status he has that he can scare us a bit? TSK, can he be any stronger than my brother Su? The boys, led by Wang Guan, were all tremendously sour. Really Zhang Xian? Did Ji Yang get rich? Some of the girls were holding expectations. After all, they also hoped that their former male god would develop better. But this hope is not big. After all, Yi Yang's family is an ordinary family. And then powerful and can be mixed into what kind? 
Maybe it is Zhang Xian little follower when the habit. Yi Yang slightly small achievements. It is infinitely exaggerated. Ha ha. I'm just a hobo. Nothing to say. Yi Yang sent a message. Stopping Zhang Xian from continuing to speak. Ha ha ha. Hobo? Expelled? No way. Brother Yi actually lost his job right after graduation. Society is really sinister. The male students who ventured out looked concerned. But in fact, they were inwardly stealing messages. However, Yi Yang ignored all these messages as well. With his current status, if he told them, it would instead create a sense of distance when the time came. Good. Then it's a deal. Three days later, Magic City Phoenix Hill Restaurant. What's Phoenix Hill Restaurant? I've never even heard of it. It's too pricey to eat there. Han Cherry, who hadn't said much, spoke up. Ha, Fengshan consumption is not low. The average person has to be a few hundred dollars. Most of us are still interns. I think it's high. Yu Chingong was a little surprised at Han Sili's tone. Han Sili college existence is not high. Belongs to the kind of relatively low self-esteem, although good-looking, but because has been treating people indifferently. Not keen on group activities. The title of the class flower or something, but also did not take her into account at all. Such a seemingly complete dislike of group activities. Why suddenly have such a big mouth? Contrasts often attracted the most eyeballs. And the whole class was waiting for the other party's reply. I talked to my boyfriend. And he said that he'll charter a venue for us at the Han court in three days. So everyone can just go directly to the Han court at that time. In front of the screen, Han Sili skimmed her mouth. And the disdain in her eyes was unmistakable. Her university had never set her sights on this bunch of trashy classmates. Even Su Pengfei, the son of that small boss, wasn't in her eyes at all. Her goal was the real big boss. Therefore, she seldom in the school activities. As soon as there is time to go out to all kinds of nightclubs, KTV mixing, by the way, fishing, kung fu was not a success. Four years of time, but also really let her lucky to find the real big boss, and do people's private package lover. Now the class reunion, of course, to make a good show. Crap, the best Han court in Magic City, the five-star super restaurant in China, their per capita consumption at least tens of thousands of ah, we dozens of people get together. That is not, hundreds of thousands. Siley what does your boyfriend do? Ah ah ah, too envious of you. Actually found such a generous boyfriend. Some girl's eyes were red. Alas, he ah, is an ordinary businessman. People have no advantages, is more money. Ha ha all right, by the time we all go over on the end. Between Hans Siley's words, complacency overflowed. Is that so? Then what does everyone think? Class president you success asked. No problem ah, the superstar is treating us ah, I also want to go and meet such a superstar, maybe just be seen as a little follower, that's fine too, I raise my hands and feet in favor, the students all said in succession, most of them hadn't even come into contact with a restaurant of this caliber, and this time, someone was treating them, so of course they wanted to go and see what it was like, good, then it's settled, you success finally finalized the message, Yi Yang shrugged indifferently, he was just going to meet a few of his good buddies who had mixed well during his college days. As for how the others were, it didn't have much to do with him. Master, the door opened. Yu Mermel was wearing a hot black silk outfit. Just one look made Ji Yang's blood rush. What are you? Yi Yang hurriedly put down his cell phone and controlled his breathing. Such a super beautiful woman with a bursting hot body and a full imperial lady model was standing in front of her body in a black silk halter, revealing her white thighs. It was a male who was afraid that it would be difficult to stay calm. Right? Doing what a maid should do. To serve the master ah. Yumaimo showed her teeth. And the gaze she looked at Yi Yang was also hot. Gulp. Yi Yang licked his lips. Before he could speak. Yumomo walked to Yi Yang's side with her long legs and started massaging. Um. Yi Yang looked at the hard working girl and stopped thinking about it. Chapter 31 Chapter 31 The Han Pavilion Honors. The same as the stock god Warren Buffett? Compared to Lin Shuer, Yumomo had to know more. No matter how it was done. It made Yi Yang happy. Every location in the room, the balcony and the bedroom panoramic sofa, every place brought deep impression and joy to Yi Yang. In the end, everything ended in the midst of you murmurs please. It was only after the bath that Yi Yang was contentedly wrapping his arms around the gentle and proud body and fell asleep. The national art transformation had given him a strong body that was different from normal people. So naturally, he was also able to enjoy a deeper level of joy slash pleasure. Regardless of the outcome, I've gotten what I wanted. Yumomo looked at Yi Yang's side face with endless adoration and drifted off to sleep with satisfaction. 8 o'clock the next morning. The state banquet chefs who were heavily scouted by Yi Yang to be private chefs were on time to handle the ingredients and prepare breakfast. The senior chefs were not only good at cooking, they were also nutritional masters. 
They had customized the diet menu for Yi Yang to ensure that the most delicious dishes were maintained in the healthiest way possible. But of course, supplements and such were of course missing. This point was a consensus when they saw the cadre of lace maids in the villa who were packaged with food. Alas, rich people are good. Such a beautiful and outstanding group of beauties are actually used as sweeping ants. He he he. I see that this isn't their entire job, right? Shaf Chen, who was on the side, raised his eyebrows and laughed badly. With so many of them, I don't know how the boss manages to stick around every night. It's not good if the overplaying messes up their bodies. Fart. The head chef coldly snorted. With us top chefs around. If the boss has physical problems because of this kind of small problem, we should be ashamed. Yes yes yes. Several chefs wiped their cold sweat. Give me more tonic soup. Oomph. I don't want people in the circle to mock us for not being able to temper our bodies. The head chef was also unrelenting, directly adding a number of new tonic dishes to the menu. Phew. After hard work, sleep was just sweet. Yi Yang stretched his waist, casually pinched Yu Murmo's big white and greasy but slash fart, and then got up and got out of bed. Yu Momo's energy was obviously a lot better than Lin Shui. After being patted by Yi Yang, she staggered out of bed. However, until Yi Yang washed up and wiped his head before walking back to the bedroom, he didn't see Yu Momo get out of bed. Why don't you get out of bed? I. Yu Momo's face instantly blushed. It really hurts. Master, you are really strong. Now my feet are still soft. Looking at you Murmo's beeping and pampering herself, Yi Yang laughed out loud. Don't worry, just now I went outside and swept around. There are quite a few great tonic things for breakfast, enough for you to recover. Yu Momo's face turned even redder. Master you are so bad ah. Breakfast counted Guan Ruayu and other maids and a few state banquet chefs. It was a full dozen people. But the main dining room of Villa 1 was also large enough. A dozen people were seated and did not feel crowded in the slightest. Instead, it had the feeling of a medieval noble family gathering. Yi Yang sat on the main seat and savored the fresh shrimp and egg porridge. If this cuisine was placed in the Han Pavilion, a bowl would cost thousands. By the way boss, we came to work for you. The old proprietor of Han Court not only didn't blame us, but also told us to cheer up and do a good job. And in the end, he even asked us to bring you Han Court's Black Dragon treading gold card. The head chef Do Jianfang respectfully handed the Black Dragon card in his hand to Yi Yang. Oh, Yi Yang raised his eyebrows and it wasn't hard for him to understand the attitude of the Han court's owner. The other party must have known that he was a superb person, and since he couldn't afford to offend him, he might as well try to befriend him. This black dragon treading gold card, what does it say? Yi Yang asked with a smile. The other party actually took this card as an exchange for his own meat and Greek gift, so I guess this card is not a mortal thing. The black dragon treading gold card is the highest level VIP card of the Han pavilion, and there are only two owners so far. One is Warren Buffett who was invited to dine at the Han Pavilion the year before last. And then there is Chairman Wang of Yida Real Estate Group. Yi Yang raised an eyebrow. Buffett he still knew. The most powerful international financial trader. Known as the stock god by the world. Top celebrities all took it as a top honor to have a lunch with Buffett. So this guy even came to Han Court for lunch. As for Yida Real Estate's Chairman Wang, Wang Silin, who had dominated the position of the richest man in China for several terms. He was even more of a household name and there was no need for any further introduction at all. Yi Yang put away the Black Dragon treading gold card. With this card, you will enjoy free meals for life at Han Court and become the most honored guest of Han Court. You can enter the highest level, Black Dragon Pavilion, box in Han Pavilion to eat. That's right. The Black Dragon Pavilion is not open to any VIPs below the Black Dragon card. It is the Han Pavilion super box that specializes in banqueting the supreme VIPs of the Black Dragon card. Several state banquet chefs were explaining in succession. Directly free for life? Rather generous enough. Yi Yang smiled and shook his head. It seemed that his meal of more than five million dollars was really scaring the Han court boss. After finishing the business, several chefs were proudly introducing the dishes to Yi Yang. When it came to those few supplements, they even deliberately aggravated their tone, wanting Yi Yang to eat more. Yi Yang was also clear about what the several chefs had in mind, and he was a little bit saddened by the tears and laughter. He is now known as the national arts master. Long internal energy. She and blood like the sea. How can he be body deficiency because of that kind of thing? Well, breakfast is also finished. Yi Yang also asked for the bank card of the head chef and transferred 10 million dollars to it. Old, boss, what are you? Do Jianfang stared wide-eyed, shocked by Yi Yang's large sum of money. Ah, this is for your dish purchase fee. Buy things and directly pick the top of the line to buy. Not enough to tell me. I'll give it again. Yi Yang laughed. Enough, enough, enough. Do Jianfang cried and laughed. Although the top ingredients are expensive, but wants to give 10 million dollars for the purchase fee. It is also true that it is a little too luxurious. Don't save me ha. Huh? 
Yi Yang was not afraid of spending money nowadays, he was afraid of not spending money, he couldn't wait for the other party to consume all this money in one day. And you, Yi Yang also to Guan Ruoyu transferred 10 million in the past, home supplies to buy this piece you are responsible for. What are for me to pick the most expensive to buy? Estimated 10 million cannot be used for a long time. Not enough to say to me. After the purchase with your sister you reported a good account. Ah uh, ah, uh, okay, 10 million dollars, it won't take long. Are these the words of a human being? Ever since they met Yi Yang, all of them felt that their views on money had completely collapsed. Right, accompany me to the forest store for a walk in a while. Yi Yang looked at Yumumo who was stealing joy on the side and said, Ah, uh, are you going to buy a car again, master? Yumomo's eyes widened and she said with some surprise, What? Lamborghini poison? Isn't even enough for your old man to drive? Eh, it's inconvenient to just have one car for everyone to go out and buy groceries and stuff. And it's really inconvenient to have just two seats in my crappy car. Yi Yang shrugged. I'm going to get a big guy. Broken. Broken car. The crowd straightened up and learned. It turned out that in Yi Yang's eyes, the 70 to 80 million dollar Lamborghini Venom was actually a fucking broken car with only two fucking seats. Chapter 32 Chapter 32 A few more to make up a hundred million dollars. What if you want to buy a car? Master, it just so happens that there is a car show in Magic City recently. You can go and take a look. After Yumomo was shocked, she didn't forget to propose. Car show? Yi Yang nodded his head. This would save him the trouble of going to various four stores. The car show in Magic City should have every luxury car imaginable. Well, pack up. Let's go directly to the car show. Yi Yang laughed. Good. Yumomo hurriedly went out to prepare the car. An hour later. Yi Yang stepped off the Lamborghini Venom. The car show venue had long been packed with people, and most of the customers were of the mindset that they couldn't afford to buy a car to have a good time. This car show covers an area of 50, 000 square meters, including all the famous brand luxury cars in Magic City. Yumomo hurriedly did her homework on the way and said in a row, Well, go in and take a look. Yi Yang nodded slightly and smiled. He got off the car as when he realized that there were already a lot of people around. Holy shit. Lamborghini Venom ah, a super rich man who drives this kind of 70 to 80 million dollar luxury car. This time he came to the car show. I'm afraid he wants to buy some kind of high class car. That's right. That's right. It's definitely different from the kind of people like us who come for the sake of eye candy. Ha ha ha. In a moment, we will follow this godly man and meet together. The surrounding ones were generally car enthusiasts. And their eyes were red when they saw Yi Yan walking down from the Lamborghini Venom. A luxury car like this one was the kind of car that the internet said you were born without, and basically could never have in your lifetime at that level. Inside the venue, the popularity was overwhelming, and many people were taking pictures with their cell phones and cameras. In addition to the luxury cars listed, there were also many beautiful car models on the side, highlighting the wild and smooth lines of the luxury cars with their proud bodies. Looking at these luxury cars, Yi Yang's heart was also quite cheerful. As a man there are a few who don't like luxury cars. Rolls-Royce Exhibition Area As the standard of top success, Rolls-Royce was more on the steady side, but it did not affect its handsome and luxury car temperament at all, especially that little gold man at the front of the car. It emphasizes the word trench with glitter. At the center of the auto show, the key display was the Rolls-Royce top-of-the-line Phantom, which was the pinnacle of Rolls-Royce. Looking at the calm and huge body and the unrivaled luxury temperament, Yi Yang was instantly attracted. Although supercars were expensive, they could only see two people. So if more than one person went out to play, it was always a little inconvenient. And for the Rolls-Royce Phantom, a super luxury car that was rated as one of the world's top 10 top bulletproof subs, these problems would no longer be a problem. This is it. Yi Yang casually pointed to this top match Rolls-Royce Phantom. How much? I'll take it. The cadre of spectators who were ready to watch the spectacle that trailed Yi Yang in the back were all dumbfounded. Is this the god's hero? How does this tone of voice sound like buying cabbages in a vegetable market? Sir. However, the staff and the visitors who were originally in the exhibition area didn't know Yi Yang's identity, and at the moment, they were all somewhat confused as they sized up Yi Yang. The top spec Rolls Royce Phantom started at least $40 million. It was placed here just for the purpose of calming down the scene. There was no thought of selling it at all. Sir, are you, you serious? This Rolls Royce Phantom is an upgraded top match. The price is at $58,888,000. The staff stuttered in shock. I'm going to. This 50 to 60 million dollars, this kid really wants to buy it? So young? I'm afraid he's joking, right? Oh, really newborn calf is not afraid of tiger's ah, mouth so big, now know how expensive, afraid to run away to lose face, ha ha ha. The crowd of original showroom visitors next to them were all sneering, 
Only the tourists who followed Yi Yang all the way in were indignant at these sour dogs mocking Yi Yang. He was the one who drove a 70 to 80 million dollar super luxury car. How could he not have the courage to talk nonsense? Like this? Yi Yang nodded. Since it's so cheap, then bring this and this again to make up a hundred million. Black lines appeared on the faces of the group of tourists watching. I told you this kid was bragging, still putting together a hundred million, each without a hundred billion dollars of wealth dare to talk like this. Oh, China over a hundred billion worth of family and still so young. I've never even heard of it anyway. That's right. I see his eyes and temperament are not like normal people. Maybe he is really going to buy these Rolls Royce it. Put, just a mouth high. Bragging doesn't cost anything anyway. The tourist's comments also made you Momo on the side a bit irritated. Swipe your card. Yi Yang didn't care about these poor losers pure eye disease. When he drove these luxury cars away in a while, they would naturally understand who was the jumper. This, when the staff saw the Centurion black and gold card in Yi Yang's hand, his body directly trembled in fear. Crap. Centurion black gold card. This, Centurion black gold card is only qualified to be taken by the top of society with a very high status. I'm finished. Just now actually made a death mocking a superb person who can get a centurion black gold card can't afford to buy a car. Will be retaliated. Ha ha ha. Tell you guys explicitly. People are driving Lamborghini Venom. I didn't say anything just now just to see how you guys are being punched in the face now. Ha ha ha. The tourists who followed Yi Yang and were all roaring with laughter. This. The few people who jumped the most happily just now were blushing. Lowering their heads in shame and squeezing towards the outside. This is really a super big shot. Don't dare to mess with it. Don't dare to mess with it. Hurry up and slip. Ha ha ha. Just now that mocking spectrum is not swinging quite big? The tourists next to him also followed and laughed. Well, still have to daze until when? After swiping the card I have to continue shopping. Yi Yang looked at the sales that were in a transfer a while unable to speak. Frowned and reminded. Ah 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 ah. Big brother you wait a moment. I'll handle it for you as fast as I can. The sales hit a jolt. Centurion black gold card big brother. Where would he dare to slack off? The car payment settlement that was originally going to be delayed for a few days was expedited and resolved in a very short period of time. Mr. Yi, a total of 138 million. The card has been swiped. Please keep it. The sales manager respectfully handed the Centurion black card back to Yi Yang with both hands. Chapter 33 Chapter 33 Rampage Reward, 100 billion cash, 10 school district houses. Ding, detected that the host spent 10, 888. 000 on mobility tools asterisk 3 rewarding magic city with 10 school district houses 10 school district houses yi yang couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air in his heart as well 10 buildings not 10 sets there were at least 10 or so units in a building at least a hundred or so suites right 10 school district houses that's one or two thousand school district houses this is the school district housing in magic city there is no need to repeat how rare and expensive the school district housing in mordor is a square foot of it is speculated to hundreds of thousands of dollars. A small home can cost tens of millions of dollars to buy. Just based on the least 1,000 sets of school district houses, a set of $15 million on average. One had gained close to another $20 billion in assets all of a sudden. Too cool. Yi Yang's heart was also secretly overwhelmed. After a few days of renting out all these school district houses, he would have a lot more liquid assets to spend every year. If you're tired of renting them out, you can sell them off. Don't ask why. More houses. Arbitrary. Originally, Yi Yang thought that after having money, lying in the pile of money every day would be very boring. Now with these school district houses, he can temporarily be a rent -a guy No wonder those rich people who can obviously do nothing, or directly hire someone to collect the rent, still have to personally collect the rent. Yi Yang somewhat understood the psychology of those godly rich people. Because, being too rich, it was hard to be idle. Mr. Yi. Mr. Yi. The sales manager on the side also humbly rubbed his hands and smiled. Yi Yang looked at him. These cars? Where do you need us to drive them to for you? Yi Yang and the top beauty next to him together were only two people. With his human nature, he naturally knew that he had to deliver the cars to Yi Yang. Just send it to Villa No. One in Hentaying Hill. Just explain to my housekeeper specifically. Yi Yang directly pointed to Yumaimo behind him. Okay, okay. The sales manager wiped his cold sweat. What kind of terrifying character is this young man in front of him? Buying a car was like buying cabbages. And the exit was a hundred million dollars. Now it seems that the king of that villa that the two horses of Huaxia had fought over is all his. His. Villa no. One in Yunding Mountain. Isn't this the king of villas in Magic City that those two richest horses had competed for and ultimately didn't get what they wanted? Although the price tag is eight hundred million dollars. It is said that because of that two richest horses bidding, 
Its market price has soared to two or three billion dollars. A villa two or three billion. I shit. Rich people. Is really damn good ah. For the marveling of the people around him, Yi Yang had already gotten used to it, and he was also directly walking towards the exhibition area next to him. This time, he just came to buy some luxury cars, and by the way, he made some money by buying luxury cars. Nowadays, although his assets are already several hundred billion dollars, but the cash in hand, the big head is still more than 10 billion dollars from the rent collection of the Empire Financial Building. In his opinion, it is indeed a little too little, at least with his current value does not quite match. With the SUV, Yi Yang also has a bottom in his heart. Began to walk into the supercar exhibition area, see the eye on the buy. Anyway, there is plenty of money. Bye 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 is right. The 36 million Ferrari LaFerrari, the 73 million Maybach EXE, which is limited to three units worldwide, will be bought. What? Limited edition cars need to become a Maybach member first and spend $50 million of non-limited edition car quota first? No problem. Just buy enough $50 million and you're done. The Bugatti Veyron L6 is only $88. $88 million? That's a good deal. Maserati? Bentley? Aston Martin? As long as it looks good. Buy it all. Anyway, the more you spend the more money you have. The price is not a problem at all. The tourists behind them, following Yi Young all the way, were kind of open to the world. Many of the small netizens who came here to play are also not willing to miss this opportunity. Directly live broadcast this scene, so that the live broadcast room burst into flames. My mom ah. This is how to now have to buy more than 30 10 million level of luxury cars. This, tens of millions of dollars of luxury cars in people's eyes, will not really be the same as cabbage. It's simply too scary. Ahead is the Koenigsegg showroom. That's the world's top luxury car. I wonder if Yishinhao is interested in going to brush up. Isn't that a sure thing? There's still no need to be skeptical. Nowadays, no one questioned Yi Yang's spending power anymore. That Centurion Black Card's daily overdraft limit of tens of billions of dollars was enough for him to empty out this auto show. The person in charge of the Koenigsegg exhibition area had long heard that there was an invincible tycoon at the auto show today. When he saw the right luxury car, he would buy it. At this time is also rushed out. From the exhibition area is okay far began to welcome Yi Yang's arrival. Alas, the god is a god is a god is a Koenigsegg salesman, usually our nostrils to the sky, why ever look at who, today all purposely ran out so far to greet Yishinhao, yes, my cousin uncle how to say is also a billionaire, into the Koenigsegg showroom, people hard not even take care of him, this is the gap ah, mister, Yi. this is the world's number one limited edition sports car, and the undisputed number one of the entire auto show, the absolute king of cars, if he says second, no one dares to say first, the person in charge confidently bowed and stood next to the Koenigsegg 11 in the center. His pride overflowing. Is that so? Yi Yang sized up the Koenigsegg 11 and skimmed his lips. It's okay. It just feels a bit ugly. The entire room was petrified. The Koenigsegg 11, which sells for more than $100 million, was actually evaluated as a bit ugly. Forget it. Buy it. It's just enough to make up a billion dollars. Yi Yang waved his hand. Tonight his consumption with this Koenigsegg 11 would just break through 1 billion. With this special number, there might be a super reward. All the tourists were struck by lightning. God damn big brother. This is too scary. Just because you want to make up an auspicious spending amount, you directly decide to buy a 100 million plus supercar. I didn't believe it before. But today, I believe it. The degree of grandeur of the rich in this world is beyond the reach of our imagination. Yes yes yes. While everyone was marveling, the system beep also sounded as expected. Ding, detected that the host spent 109-898-0000 on purchasing a mobility tool, rewarding 100 billion Huaxia coins in deposits. Congratulations to the host for reaching 100 billion in deposits, triggering a special reward. Chapter 34 Chapter 34 Holding Yida Group, Richest Person Level Assets, Special Reward? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows, 100 billion deposits achievement reached, rewarding 51% of Yida Group's shares. The simple sentence made Yi Yang's scalp a little numb. 51% of Yida Group's shares, Yida Group, was one of the largest and most famous top groups in China. The original chairman of the board of directors, Wang Si Lin, is with the Yida Group several times top the richest man in China. Under the group, the most famous thing was Yida Real Estate. However, there are many other industries. For example, Yida Film and Television, Yida Hotel, Yida Information, value are not expensive. Together, these are worth more than $2 trillion at least. Getting 51% of its copyright, doesn't it mean, his assets nowadays, officially broke the trillion dollars, trillions of dollars, 
already able to directly arm wrestle with those few once richest people in terms of assets, counting Vacheron Constantin, Chateau Lafite Rothschild, and the Imperial Finance Building. Even Yi Yang's private assets had already surpassed the wealth in the hands of several of them. Ha ha, if it wasn't for the fact that I don't need to market my stature, the name that will be number one on the Chinese Forbes list next year should be Yi Yang. Yi Yang smiled. There was no mention of how happy he was in his heart. In one night of capricious buying, he had advanced from a super godly man to the level of the richest man in China. Satisfied. Yi Yang also asked the car show personnel to drive the Lamborghini Venom back. He is with you Momo. In a group of car models and the hot eyes, sat on the Koenigsegg 1-1. It was just the right time to try out the driving experience of this world's top supercar emperor. The 100 million plus Koenigsegg. Roar. As soon as the Koenigsegg fired, it erupted with a roar that was even more powerful than poison. If poison was a giant elephant that was about to break loose. Then Koenigsegg, was a flying dragon about to lift its wings, who, gently stepping on the gas pedal, the Koenigsegg transformed into a speeding black shadow, darting in the midst of the bustling neighborhoods of Magic City. Everywhere he went, there were all gasps of shock, this kind of horror like this hundreds of millions of sports car emperor, but anyone who knows its price, will be envious of the mouth. However, there was only envy, hundreds of millions of luxury cars, if one was born without one then the chances of owning one in this life would be infinitely close to zero. Cool. Yi Yang felt the unrivaled sense of thrust and the excitement of speed brought about by the top luxury car emperor. His mood stirred. Yu Momo, who was on the side, was mesmerized as she watched. And just as Yi Yang was speeding furiously through the streets, Kyoto, Yida Group Headquarters, Da Dei, Wang Dong, there's an emergency happening. Wang Silin's most personal secretary walked in and bowed with a pale face. HM, didn't you say not to come in and disturb me when I'm in a meeting without jeopardizing the affairs of the entire group? Wang Silin, who was rigid and strict, was very unhappy at this time. Wang Dong, the secretary explained in succession, something big is wrong, the stocks of all the industries under our group were all sold off and forcefully collected, our surveillance was caught off guard, almost within seconds, 51% of our shares were all purchased by a single person. What? 51%? 51% of all enterprises under the name of Yida Group. Hiss. This is impossible. There is simply no such a bullish figure existing in China. Could it be that the international financial giants have made a move? It shouldn't be. The entire venue was instantly in chaos. Everyone was shocked by the news and couldn't close their mouths. Everyone here was at least a senior member of the Yida Group, or even a sub-enterprise general manager. A superb person who usually faced senior dignitaries in tens of billions of large orders without frowning a bit. At this moment, they were in complete disarray. Okay. Wang Siling knocked on the table. Obviously also suffered a small shock. But, after all, he himself is the once richest man in China. With ridiculously strong guts and tactics, forcibly pressed down the shock in his heart. Forced to calmly ask, in the end, what's going on? The one who forcibly acquired our stock is a Mr. Yi. About his detailed information, a moment cannot be collected at all. We can only find out the assets under his name including the Magic City Imperial Financial Building, as well as Chateau Lafite Rothschild, Vacheron Constantin Watch Holdings, and 10 school district houses. It's strange. Wang Siling clenched his fists. The owner of the group was directly smashed down with money after a meeting of his own? It's impossible to smash down our 51% stake with just these assets. He must have a deeper and more powerful background. If we can't even find out about it, it might be one of those superb men at the back of the world. We should try our best not to provoke since he's already the boss of all of us. It's better to call and confirm if he has any specific requirements for the group's future, right? Worthy of being the richest man, within a very short period of time, he had organized his thoughts, accepted today's situation, and made the wisest choice. I'll call and contact Mr. Yi, the secretary said in succession. Yi Yang's cell phone rang. At this time, Koenigsegg had also driven into the Hentaying Villa area, parking the car and calling it straight. Yi Yang was just casually connecting. Hello? Excuse me, is it Mr. Yi? And you are? I am the chairman of Yida Group. Wang Silin. H.M. Yi Yang nodded slightly. Although it was the first time he had a conversation with the richest person at the level of the richest person. But nowadays, he was already worth no less than the other party. And even overpowered the other party. The bottom line was naturally sufficient. When Wang Silin on the other end of the phone heard Yi Yang's voice so young, he was surprised and slightly stunned. After feeling Yi Yang's pampered, superior bottom, he was also aware that this youth, was definitely not to be messed with, it's like this, you just spent a lot of money and purchased 51% of Yida Group's equity, as the new controller of Yida Group, I would like to ask, 
Do you have any further new instructions for Yida Group strategy and operation? Wang Siren tapped his fingers on the table and asked tentatively, Chapter 35 Chapter 35 Do you want me to introduce you to a job? Requirements? Yi Yang thought about it, for the operation of such a super large company, although he was not so ignorant that he didn't know anything about it, he didn't want to bother his brain about it. All he needed to do to make money nowadays was to keep spending money. There was no need to spend his mind thinking about this tedious company operation. Operate as usual. But every month, you need to give me a financial statement. And if you have any major decisions, you need to report them to me as well. Yi Yang said seriously. These richest men were all lordly figures. One's necessary means of control and threat should still be there. Good. It will be as you wish. Wang Silin hung up the phone and let out a long breath. How is it chairman? A group of executives were all nervous and asked. Fortunately, he only acquired the company. We just need to not make any big mistakes. We can follow the strategy we set before and continue on. Wang Silin laughed as if he was relieved. Phew, the many executives were also relieved. This was the divine magnate. With a single sentence, he could make these top elite's moods go on a roller coaster. After having lunch, Yi Yang received a call once again. Fong Han? Yi Yang frowned. Then he remembered. The founder of the Golden City Law Firm? You are the boss now. Fong Han doesn't dare to call himself the founder. Fong Han was incredibly polite. It was different from the likes of Yida who could only randomly guess Yi Yang's background. The Golden City Law Firm's connections were too wide. Even they could not find out the background of this mister. Yi, it made Fong Han feel scorn and awe from the bottom of his heart. Ha ha ha, you are quite polite. Yi Yang laughed. We know that people like you are never day to day and are very busy. We just don't know. Whether you can spare a small amount of your precious time lately, I, along with the other two main capital holders, would like to pay you a visit. Oh, then come to my house to have a seat and have dinner on the way? The corner of Yi Yang's mouth was slightly raised. Those who could make connections to the level of Fang Han, whose own mind and power were top-notch. The other party came here, and must be holding the attitude of testing his own weight. Jin Chang law firm is a piece of him that he attaches great importance to nowadays. Since the other party is coming to test, then he is bound to give the other party enough deterrence and shock. The headquarters of the Golden Chang Law Firm. Fang Han looked at Ai Wei and Saichi in front of him. I've made an appointment with Mr. Yi to visit him at his residence at night. Visiting that mysterious Mr. Yi? Saichi also had a hint of curiosity on her face. Ever since he heard that even Fang Han couldn't investigate the bottom line of this Yi Yang, he had become interested in this young godly man with a generous hand and a mysterious life. Ha! For his part, Ai Wei skimmed his mouth without any concern. He was a gold medal ace lawyer of a law firm, and he was internationally renowned. So what scenes hadn't he seen before? His inner pride did not allow him to develop timidity before he even met the other party, especially Yu Evie. Fang Han instructed somewhat uneasily, you must be respectful to Mr. Yi, his stature and background may not be something you and I can imagine. Got it, got it. Ai Wei waved his hand somewhat impatiently. If he is really that capable of conquering me, then I will naturally honor him. Just like you, big brother Fong. If he himself is not a person who can make me admire him, how much money he earns, I don't care. Ai Wei was indeed qualified to say this. With his ability, he didn't lack money wherever he went. With little assets involved, he naturally didn't need to look at anyone's face. You ah. Fong Han shook his head helplessly. Prepare yourself well to go. This meeting at night will be important to us. Good. Color Flag and Evie both nodded and turned around to get ready to go. Fong Han sat in his office chair, turning the ballpoint pen in his hand, his eyes looking at the neighborhood outside the office building, his eyes deep, not knowing what he was thinking. Henteying Mountain Villa. Just after putting down the phone, Yi Yang received a message from Lin Shui, Brother Yi, afternoon tea, about it slash cute. Yi Yang raised his eyebrows, this little girl, is quite emotional. Pick a coffee shop near you first, send me the location. I'll arrive later. Good drop. Promise to complete the task. Slash salute slash show your teeth. Shaking his head. Yi Yang looked at you Momo. If I come back late at night, you will be the one to entertain Fong Han's few first. Oh, I know. Yu Momo beamed and made a face towards Yi Yang. She knew what Yi Yang was going to do. But what right did she have to interfere with her master's decision? I was already prepared for this ah. Uh. She smiled and shook her head. Open the navigation and go to Maki Xiangji Coffee. Yi Yang casually said. A super sports car like Koenig 11 was naturally loaded with the most advanced automatic navigation system. Roger, Maki Kaoshi Cafe, straight ahead on Jinching Road, buzz. With the speed of the Koenigsegg, it soon arrived at the Maki Kaoshi Cafe. After parking the car, Yi Yang stepped into the cafe. Maki Kaoshi was the top cafe in the entire magic city. 
With chain stores opening all over the new first tier, there is a tendency to be the number one in the coffee industry, and the coffee inside, naturally, is also expensive. Just as he entered, he saw that beside Lin Shuer, there stood a man in a suit who was chattering about something, wearing a Rolex on his hand, he was taking the inner eight steps. Lin Shuer, on the other hand, had a hint of boredom on her face as she explained something. Yi Yang also frowned when he saw this. Lin Shuer was now considered by him as his woman. This person, a little too unaware of the high ground, beautiful woman even if you are waiting for someone, may as well add down my contact information I am confident that there is also a magic face of the characters, recognize the acquaintance. In the future, maybe you can also help your boyfriend find a job? The actual newest and also the most popular of the newest and also the most popular of the newest. The Rolex inner eight men appear to be very self-conscious, but this feel good in the eyes of Lin Shuer, but even more annoyed her. Yi Yang. When Lin Shuer saw that Yi Yang had arrived, her eyes also revealed a color of delight and she waved repeatedly. Oh, this is the little boyfriend you're waiting for? The Rolex inner eight man raised his eyebrows and looked at Lin Yi with an unkind gaze. Chapter 36 Chapter 36 Send your face up for me to beat? Get out of the way. Yi Yang said indifferently, Get out of the way? But what about my feet not listening to me? The Rolex inner eight man sneered. The surrounding customers were all looking this way, especially a lot of men, who had been salivating over Lin Shuer for half a day, and were naturally extremely jealous of Yi Yang for picking up such a beautiful girlfriend at such a young age. They couldn't wait for someone to teach him a lesson. Society is treacherous. Ha ha, this little brother. I'm afraid this is the first time he's seen this situation, right? Who let him find such a beautiful girlfriend? TSK. Yi Yang smiled. Only the smile contained a hint of fury. Can't walk. I'll let you crawl out. From here. Yo, you kid is quite mad. Rolex inner eight man toward Yi Yang dejectedly shook the Rolex in his hand. Kid, open your eyes and take a good look. What is this? Rolex green water ghost. My god. This accosting old man is really a rich man. The price of this thing has gone up to 300. Zero 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 dollars, right? Three hundred thousand dollars for a watch. Really rich ah. Those who came here to drink coffee were at least white collar workers and naturally recognized the prices of luxury goods. TSK, is it the old love meets money drama? Just don't know in reality. Who will this girl choose? Today, Yi Yang was dressed in a low-key luxury model, although a line of hundreds of thousands of dollars, but the general public really could not recognize the brand of this low-key luxury model on him. So, all of them were assuming that he was just a kid from an ordinary family. Then there is no need to say? Of course it's the choice of money? How many girls nowadays don't love money? Ha ha. Buying a watch can cost $300,000. Following this boss is afraid to eat good food and drink hot water. Why should I suffer with this poor boy? Shouldn't a woman treat herself better? There were already gold digging women on the scene who began to advocate their values in a conspiratorial manner. Hear that? Inner 8 Rolex man Li Chao Yang smiled smugly, with me pretending to be a pussy. You do not have that qualification. Yo, eyes also fierce up. Ha, huh, want to do it? I tell you, my third uncle is the chairman of the heavy hunting. The family is $10 billion. Dare to my hands. Let you go in a lifetime cannot come out. Hiss, heavy hunting company. The financial giant of Magic City? The company's market capitalization is tens of billions of dollars. No wonder this kid is so crazy. Gulp. Many people were shocked by the name of the heavy hunting company. And those gold worshipping women's eyes brightened even more. Heavy hunting? Yi Yang hemmed and hawed, pacified Lin Shuer who was about to get up, and looked at Li Chao Yang again. Originally, I was thinking that personally teaching you a lesson was a bit of a drop in the bucket, but I didn't expect that. You'd directly send your face over for me to beat. Hmm, kid, I'm afraid you didn't hear what I said. Heavy Hunt, the Heavy Hunt investment company with a market capitalization of tens of billions of dollars in the Imperial Financial Building. Li Chao Yang mockingly looked at Yi Yang, now. What kind of backbone do you have to tell me to get out? On the contrary, if you, yourself get out from here and leave this little girlfriend of yours behind, I can consider, forgetting about today's matter. Yi Yang sneered. I said, if I let you crawl out from here today, you have to crawl out from here. Hiss, really is too young ah. Know each other background, still so wild. He he he, after being humiliated by others in a while, you won't be so wild. The customers on the side were all shaking their heads. You guys, Lin Shuer clenched her silver teeth. Is brother Yi also worthy of your comments? Che, at the sight of the goddess getting angry, these men didn't dare to make any more mocking remarks, but they still didn't change their initial thoughts inside. Yi Yang laughed and did not pay any attention. I'll let your third uncle personally order you to get out. The customers almost spewed out a mouthful of coffee. Why is this kid so crazy? Does he know what it means to be worth tens of billions of dollars or not? 
Yo, ha ha ha. Well, come on. I want to see what you have the ability to make me Li Chao Yang get out of here. Li Chao Yang was emboldened to admire his Rolex. A direct call was made to Fong Lord's cell phone. Hello, is it Boss Fong? When Fong Lord saw the number, his heart trembled. Yi Yang was a big shot. Nothing would never randomly find himself. What's going on here? He had some bad premonition in his heart, and asked fearfully, You have a nephew, named Li Chao Yang? Yi Yang asked with a cold voice. Fong Lord stood up from the stool in a flash, and his heart trembled. Did this kid commit something that directly offended you? Rather, he did not directly offend me. Yi Yang faintly said, Phew, that's good, that's good. Fong Lord had just breathed a sigh of relief. Yi Yang then added, However, he is now molesting my girlfriend in front of me and wants me to get out of here. What? Fong Lord has just breathed a sigh of relief. Heart attack almost all by this a contraction and contraction out of gas. Two days ago he also ridiculed Zhang Wanman under the raising of a stupid high general manager. Today this unlucky thing let him run into it. This little brat, actually dare to disrespect you. Mr. Yi, if you, Mr. Yi, say how to dispose of it. Fong Lord will absolutely not dare to disobey. Fong Lord said in a row, whether it's a payout or whatever. A financial company could not afford to offend this superb man who might have hundreds of billions of dollars behind him. The energy of such characters was too terrifying. If he really wanted to offend, a random trip could cause his company to suffer huge losses. Dispose? Let him kneel down and slap himself ten times for me. Then from here, roll out. Yi Yang purposely increased the pitch of the word roll. Good, 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 good. Fong Lord let out a long sigh of relief. As long as there was a way to fix it, then there was nothing that couldn't be messed with. I'll call this little brat here. Yi Yang put down the phone. Yo, kid, quite a bit of pizzazz. Ha, huh? acting quite like it. Ha ha, it's a pity that a young brat like you can order a big shot like my third uncle. Oh, do you think I believe that? Li Chao Yang sneered and mocked. Yi Yang shrugged. What if I can? There is no what if. If what you say is true, I'll fucking eat Ali. On the spot, before the word give could be exported, Li Chao Yang's cell phone rang. Crap, seeing the caller ID, his back, Instantly cold sweat. Could this young man? Really knows Chairman Heavy Hunt. The crowd of customers were also a bit confused when they saw Li Chao Yang's reaction. Hey, Li Chao Yang's midair was insufficient, and he willed to connect. Hello, you little brat, stabbing me with some through and through mess outside again. Fong Lord's angry voice came from within the phone. Do you know that whether or not my company is going to get the hell out of the Empire State Building is all at the whim of this boss Yi? I really hate to kick you to death right now. Because of the confiscation of emotions of the Fong Lord's rage, many customers are heard within its words. The whole scene. Instant silence. Chapter 37 Chapter 37 is not expensive. Just more than 100 million. This, Li Chao Yang completely dumbfounded. He could not believe the measurement of Yi Yang. At this time scrutinizing each other's eyes are different. Different mentality. Naturally can also find many different details. This, Armena Gildo Zegna Low Profile Luxury Built-in Customized Model. Gulu. This watch, Vacheron Constantin Louboutin Craftsman Series. Look at the workmanship. The serial number is in the forefront. Price at least 10 million. His hands began to tremble. He didn't even put this youngster in his eyes at first. Just thinking about pretending in front of a beautiful woman. Even if he saw that Vacheron Constantin, he would never think it was real. Mindset. Decide to judge. At this time, from the mouth of the third uncle learned the real identity of the other party. He only came back to his senses. His own today. To provoke the super big brother. Three, 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 uncle. You have to save me. Li Chao Yang, this person is afraid of soft. Once he knew that he ran into a real stalwart after. Directly is soft. Save you. You'd better think about how to make Bossy happy. Why don't you kneel down and slap your mouth to make amends? Fong Lord angrily shouted. Today's matter was a fight for face. As long as this nephew of his dropped his face to the dust, I'm sure Bossy wouldn't really pursue this matter too much. Kneel. Down to make amends. When had Li Chao Yang ever suffered such a loss? At this moment, when he heard it, his eyes turned red. Do you want to die? Fong Lord roared angrily on the other side. This nephew of his, why is he so ungrateful? Gulp. Li Chao Yang inwardly crossed his heart, directly kneeled down and shouted. Boss Yi, it was me who was blind just now. I have eyes but no pearls. You are a generous person. Spare me. This instantly made the waiters and customers look confused. This young man turned out to be not crazy. Rather, he truly had this capital, a background so strong that even heavy hunting chairman Fong Lord had to be in awe. Yi Yang's gaze was calm, it's my woman you're harassing, kowtow to her to make amends. Yes 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 yes. Li Chaoyang turned around and rushed at Lin Shui and kowtowed. 
It's my fault. Please forgive this dog-eyed bitch of mine. Smack yourself in the mouth for me. Every stroke I want to hear a ringing sound. Fong Lord urged over the phone repeatedly. This, Li Chao Yang hesitated. Hurry up. Fong Lord roared. Splat. Li Chao Yang directly slapped himself on the face, and bright red slap marks emerged. Not loud enough. Fong Lord urged. Keep hitting. Beat me until Bossy is satisfied. Slap. Not loud enough. Snap. Continue. Slap. After a full dozen slaps, Li Chao Yang smacked himself so hard that the corners of his mouth were bleeding, topped with a big pig's head. His eyes were blurry. All right, get lost. Yi Yang waved his hand casually. If he were to hit a few more times, seeing the big blood, it would in turn disturb the interest of drinking coffee. Thank you Boss Yi. Thank you Lord Goddess. Li Chao Yang gave the two men several more kowtows before he was literally rolling out of the coffee shop, and his head even hit the foot of the table once on the way, causing him to cry out in pain. Only after seeing the other person completely roll out of the coffee shop did Ji Yang withdraw his gaze. Gulp. The people who had just raised their voices in mockery all hurriedly lowered their heads when Yi Yang's gaze swept over, feeling a fiery pain on their faces. They also wanted to hurry to settle the bill and leave, but the pressure that Yi Yang brought was just too great, scaring their legs and stomachs, and they really didn't dare to get up and leave for a while. The women present, on the other hand, looked at Yi Yang with shyness. This is the man he should worship ah, young, rich, and so domineering, too perfect, brother Yi. Lin Shui's gaze at Yi Yang also carried the color of worship. Yi Yang smiled casually, just a small matter that is not worth mentioning. Go ahead and drink your coffee, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Lin Shui obediently nodded, skillfully ordering the pastries in the store, by the looks of it, in order to welcome her arrival. This little girl, too, had carefully prepared quite a lot, just like this, in the eyes of either awe or envy, in the leisurely afternoon sunshine. Yi Yang and Lin Shui had a wonderful afternoon tea. As for the little episode just now, Yi Yang obviously didn't put it on his mind at all. With his current status, a small character like Li Chao Yang was obviously not worthy of making him care. All right, the payment is done. Lin Shui walked back from the payment counter. Let's go. Yi Yang pinched her little face and laughed. Follow me. What for? Lin Shui was a bit puzzled. You'll know when you come. Yi Yang brought Lin Shui to the front of the Koenigsegg 1-1. Ha, huh, did you buy a new car? As a girl, she wasn't too sensitive to luxury cars, but she could feel the car's unusualness. This kind of sports car, at least it has to be several millions, right? Yi Yang laughed. I won't drive a broken car with several millions. Saying that, he opened the car door and looked at Lin Shui who poked half of her body in to curiously survey the inside. The corner of his mouth picked up. This car isn't too expensive. It's just more than 100 million. Put. When Lin Shui heard this, her waist almost flashed, and she even turned around. Surprised, this is still not expensive, it can all buy a villa. Ha ha, it's okay. Yi Young patted her little head as to get on the car, go, take you shopping to go. Ah, uh, why suddenly want to go shopping? Home lack of things? Lin Shui asked. No, it's to buy something for you. Yi Young turned his head sideways and looked at Lin Shui. Lin Shui just wanted to open her mouth. Yi Yang then stretched out a finger and sealed her soft slash lips. I know what you're going to say and I also know what you're thinking. Today this gift, you have to take it even if you want it, and you have to take it even if you don't want it. Oh, Lin Shui's red face was made shy by Yi Yang's sudden dominance. Boom, the Koenigsegg was launched. Yi Yang knew that Lin Shui didn't want him to think that she liked herself to get her money. She had always been a good girl. But from what happened today, if he didn't buy Shui some objects worthy of her status, wouldn't just anyone come along in the future and dare to have the guts to hit on his woman? I want everyone in the world. Once they see you, to be too inferior to come up and talk to you. Yi Yang smiled and wisped Lin Shui's hair. I want my woman to become the brightest, most unattainable princess in this world. Brother Yi is bad. Lin Shui's face turned even redder. Obviously, the feeling of being valued by her beloved made her heart flutter. Ha ha. Yi Yang laughed out loud and stepped on the gas. The Koenigsegg 1-1 was like an off-rocket angry dragon, darting towards the nearest luxury goods district. Chapter 38 Chapter 38 Queen of the Table vs Queen of the Table? This time, Yi Yang didn't choose Devil's Sixth Luxury Street. The luxury stores over there basically knew him, especially that Gong Xiaocheng from Vacheron Constantine. If he stepped into Vacheron Constantine's store to buy a watch, I am afraid that the other party will not let him spend a penny, not let him spend money. How can this work? He still had to get rich by spending money. Extravagant Rainbow. Yi Yang looked at the introduction in the navigation. This neighborhood was exclusively for girls, specializing in selling ladies' luxury goods. Let's buy a watch first. Yi Yang turned his head to look and happened to see a Patek Philippe outlet store. 
As a super watch industry known internationally alongside Vacheron Constantine, its influence and popularity needed no introduction. Sir, are you choosing a watch for your girlfriend? The staff of Patek Philippe was obviously more professional and sensitive to luxury goods. And after careful scrutiny, they also sized up Yi Yang's extraordinary line of clothing, and then saw the Vacheron Constantine Louvre craftsman on his hand, which was worth at least tens of millions of dollars. Naturally, they were all enthusiastic and incomparable to welcome up. Well, directly take me to see the most expensive ones in the store. Yi Yang directly said, the last time he was in the Vacheron Constantine store, he had seen it all. He had thought that the inner room was the most advanced watch. It turned out that people also had core rooms and secret rooms. If it wasn't for his identity being discovered, this piece of Louvre Craftsman 000R, which was worth hundreds of millions of dollars, he wouldn't even be able to see it. So this time, he also learned smartly, and directly asked for the most expensive table. This, a few salesmen obviously also felt the meaning in Yi Yang's words, but they were also not sure, sir, the most expensive in this store, Patek Philippe 5002 Star Moon Turbillion, we will show you this, Yi Yang waved his hand, tell me how much first, if it's too cheap, I won't look at it, uh uh, sir, this Patek Philippe 5002 Star in Moon Turbillion, craftsman refined, the price is also very high, priced at around 8,800,000, very gorgeous and famous, it is the best choice for the upper class people in Magic City. A few shopkeepers heard for the first time the expression too cheap to buy, immediately a little confused, had to introduce mechanically. Are you guys kidding me? Yi Yang frowned and turned around to leave. This kind of world class watches were at the top level in the Magic City's outlets. A few million dollars was fine for the ordinary rich people, but it was never the most expensive level of these watch stores. Sir, sir. Several sales clerks were flustered. Obviously disliking 8 million is too cheap. Such a superb patron, if they gave it away, it would really be completely impossible to make up for it. This sir, the level you're asking for is really too high. We're not qualified to make a decision at all. Give us some time and let us go find our manager to come. Yeah yeah yeah, we are just ordinary salesmen. The core room's top name watches are not within our reach. Yi Yang stopped in his tracks and was also enlightened. After a while, a mature and beautifully dressed manager also ran out with small steps. This gentleman... I apologize to you for the slowness of the store clerk just now. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly. Can you show me the most expensive watch here now? Sir, the headquarters stipulates that for the sake of mutual safety and credit, entering the core showroom of the Magic City branch requires an asset proof, and only the top users with assets exceeding $10 billion are eligible. Please understand. Gao Yuan Yuan laughed. Her eyes were also sizing up Yi Yang. Such a young lad. Is it possible that just himself has 10 billion assets? If it was just the father's generation that had money, it was useless. As a noble watch industry, they only provide services to true nobles. One would have to at least have a $10 billion asset in their own name before they would be accepted and recognized. Proof of assets? Yi Yang smiled and directly threw the centurion black card to Gao Yuan Yuan. Just look at the balance directly. This, Gao Yuan Yuan looked at the centurion black card in her hand. Her body shook, and she even respectfully returned the black card to Yi Yang with the centurion black card. It's already enough. It's my short-sightedness. Please don't blame me. Sir. H.M. Yi Yang nodded slightly. The salesmen beside them were all buzzing after Gao Yuan Yuan brought Yi Yang and Lin Shui into the core exhibition area. My goodness. After so many years of selling in Magic City's luxury stores, it's the first time I've seen the Centurion Black and Gold Card Yi. The King of Cards. The world's topmost big brother is only qualified to hold it. Just now he said 8 million Patek Philippe 5002 Star Moon Turbillion Cheap. I thought he was bragging it. Did not expect. Really so kaw -ah. Alas. Too envious of her girlfriend. To be able to be the lover of such a man. Are not sure how many lifetimes to repair the blessing. Yeah. The employees marveling. Yi Yang did not care. Core watch room. This is our Patek Philippe's highest level showroom. At least all of them have to be 10 million level watches before they are qualified to be included here. As for the more expensive ones. The headquarters didn't match them to our store. At least they are all auctioned in the auction. Gao Yuan Yuan laughed. Well, just look at the highest priced one directly. Yi Yang didn't talk nonsense and added in passing. Picked it for her. Good. Gao Yuan Yuan walked to the most central piece of the most central watch that was supplied by the crystal cabinet. The most expensive treasure of this store is this Patek Philippe Ref. 1527. This watch is made of pure gold and set with 24 diamonds. It is a masterpiece of craftsmanship and beauty. It is the queen of the watch that ranks second in the international watch industry in terms of price skill, and other comprehensive rankings among women's watches. Gao Yuan Yuan looked at this gold glittering and sparkling famous watch. 
although she was the general manager, but this watch is still her dream. The price of this watch nowadays is priced at 5,000 W Chinese coins. I don't know, sir. Are you sure you want to buy this one? Gao Yuan Yuan looked at Yi Yang and asked with some uncertainty. If Yi Yang bought this one, she would directly become rich this month. Of course, directly swipe your card, Yi Yang said. Brother Yi, this is too expensive. Lin Shuer waved her hand repeatedly. Fifty million dollars, a piece of watch. This is also too crazy. Gao Yuan Yuan looked at Lin Shuer with envy, with a godly boyfriend who was so willing to spend money for her. Alas, fairy tales are never someone else's. Right. Yi Yang's words instantly caused a hint of anticipation to rise in Gao Yuan Yuan's heart. You just said that this table's comprehensive ranking is only second? What's the first? A trace of disappointment flashed through Gao Yuan Yuan's heart, but she instantly organized her mood and smiled. The first place is Chopin 210 carat. The whole body is made of diamonds and gemstones. It is gorgeous and unparalleled. The first in the world. And it is known as the queen of the watch. Oh, looks like we have to get our hands on it sometime. With Yi Yang's character, of course he wanted the best. This, I'm afraid is impossible. Gao Yuan Yuan laughed bitterly. Chapter 39 Chapter 39 Poisonous Chicken Soup Hostess Breaking Up Couples Online? How is it impossible? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. There were only two of this watch on sale in the beginning. One was bought by a mysterious buyer. And the other, in the hands of the Queen of England. Mister, you're even more magical. You won't want to take away her favorite watch from the Queen of England, right? Gao Yuan Yuan explained with a smile. The Queen of England? Yi Yang nodded. There will always be a time to deal with it. Gao Yuan Yuan froze, scrutinizing Yi Yang, but thinking about the fact that he casually shelled out $50 million to buy a watch for his girlfriend, plus the centurion black gold card in his hand, but also relieved. Such a young man has already had such an achievement. Then saying that he can deal with the Queen of England in the future does not seem to be a surprising thing. Even if it was said that he had already dealt with the Queen of England a long time ago, it was not something outlandish. The formalities have been completed. This Patek Philippe Ref. 1527 belongs to this MS. Lin Shuer from now on. Gao Yuan Yuan said without envy. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang casually put the Patek Philippe Ref. 1527 on Lin Shuer's wrist. Fiddled with it. And put it on her. It's not bad. It's quite nice. Gao Yuan Yuan was petrified on the spot. Lin Shuer. On the other hand. Snorted and laughed out. Look at the way you embarrassed people. Which is like this. A $50 million watch, giving an okay comment after buying it. Ha ha. Yi Yang waved his hand indifferently. Let's go. There are still a lot of stores to visit. Good. Lin Shuer also obediently nodded her head, her heart filled with happiness. Alas. It's so nice. I don't know when I can have a boyfriend who is so bold. Gao Yuan Yuan covered her forehead. Three points of godly sadness and seven points of envy. However, the remaining 90% was elation. $50 million of watches sold. She had simply made a fortune this month. Just this one piece is worth her sales for a month or more. After walking out from Patek Philippe, Yi Young took Lin Shuer into the women's clothing mansion. Inside, there were all kinds of clothes and bags for women. All kinds of luxury brands. After that, Yi Young started a crazy shopping journey. Chanel, spring, summer, fall and winter. Two sets each. Louis Vuitton, same. As long as the top. Money is not a problem. Bye bye bye. Prada? Hermes, Dior, Burberry, all buy buy buy. Okay brother Yi, really don't buy anymore. Buy anymore my house should be stuffed. Can't make a place to put my feet down. Thinking of the limited capacity closet at home, Lin Shuer even said, Yi Yang this take luxury cabbages. Moving 10 sets of 8 sets of large sums of money, is really let her look dumbfounded. This trip down, buying clothes had cost at least a few million dollars. Of course, and just now that 50 million dollars of sky high price table, these are just a fraction. Well, after the clothes are bought, I'll take you to see the bag. Don't girls like bags the most? Yi Yang scratched his head and said, before Lin Shuer responded. The quarreling sound coming from not far away was what caught Yi Yang and Lin Shuer's attention. Just now, they were all specialized in clothes. If you want to buy a bag, of course, you should go to a specialized bag boutique. Where the sound of quarreling came from, it was a Chanel handbag specialty store. Xiao Lu, this bag is really too expensive. I really can't afford it. The boy begged bitterly. No matter. People have said that a man who earns a hundred dollars has to spend a hundred and one dollars on a woman. I want this bag. Criminal Xiaolu splashed out. That's right. You can't be too stingy as a man. What are you making money for? Isn't it just to give women flowers? On the side, there is a thickly made up net red face female anchor sneered and helped. What does a woman look for in a boyfriend? Isn't it because he can support you? Otherwise, 
What's the difference between raising a dog? Criminal Xiaolu heard, even more angry, angrily rebuked his boyfriend, see, you don't buy me a bag, you're worse than a dog. This brouhaha also caused many people to gather around. Why is this person like this? Lin Shuer grunted angrily. As an anchor insider in the anchor business, she could naturally see that the net red-faced female anchor was relying on stirring up other people's feelings to stir up a conversation, and in the process, bring goods for the luxury bag behind her. This kind of person is simply a snake. The words she said were also full of poisonous chicken soup flavor, and when a girl like her with a positive outlook on the world heard them, she felt revolted to the point of bursting. You, the accused boy glared angrily at the snake-faced anchor. What? It seems like you don't love your girlfriend at all. I kindly advised you to prove a little bit of sincerity and you actually look at me like this. How this kind of man really can't be relied on. That's right. This sister hurry to break up with him. This kind of stupid man. It is not worth you to spend the most beautiful youth to accompany him. What kind of master is surrounded by what kind of lackeys? The poisonous chicken soup anchor's live room was naturally all idyllic feminism. Xiao Lu. You are not unaware that the one you bought just now has already spent all of my credit card and the salary I saved for these two months ah. I really don't have any money. The man bitterly begged. Criminal Xiaolu looked at her boyfriend actually still grating. Then angry, Lin Ali Hua. You do not buy me also Lin. I give you a chance to make amends. You say you say. Li Hua said repeatedly. Kneel down for me. Criminal Xiaolu shouted angrily. Plop. Li Hua subconsciously went weak in both knees and knelt on the ground. Wow. This youngster's movements are too skillful. Ha ha ha. Didn't do this too much on weekdays, right? Wimp. Deserves to find such a girlfriend. Ha. This woman is a real bully huh? The onlookers on the sideline shook their heads and sighed when they saw the scene. Reacting. Li Hua raised his head and looked at criminal Xiaolu with disbelief. Shame on you. Seeing herself being ridiculed. Xing Xiaolu didn't feel that it was her fault in the slightest. Instead she continued to accuse her boyfriend. Didn't you say don't say that outside? Li Hua's face was parched red. Clenched his fists and stood up to suppress his voice. Obviously angry to an edge. What? I have not scolded you. You fall first to grieved up. Criminal Xiaolu clasped her arms in a lofty manner. Well, hello? Li Hua slammed all of the various women's clothes he had just bought that he was carrying in his hands onto the ground fiercely. You cowsy, give me as far away as you can. Fuck you stinking idiot. After saying that, he turned his head and left. Seeing that his only source of income actually really dared to shake his head and walk away. Xing Xiaolu completely froze, followed by endless anger. You go, don't come back if you leave. After half a day of splashing around. After realizing that Li Hua was really angry this time, she was completely flustered. She a monthly salary of 3,000 at the bottom of society. Without this programmer boyfriend, a month can only eat dirt, ATM. Alas. No. Li Hua. Don't run ah. Wait for me. I'm wrong not okay. Yi Yang sighed. The man who cares the most is dignity and face. Home is just. Outside still so make. Really deserve it. However, this is also considered the standard ending of a licking dog. He does not feel sympathetic in the slightest. Let's go? He smiled and brought Lin Shuer with him as he prepared to find the next store. Having such a brain-dead toxic chicken soup anchor woman here made him lose interest in spending money. Chapter 40, Chapter 40, Set me up? You're still too young. Yi Yang shook his head. Poisonous chicken soup female had a market. All thanks to the support of these stupid licking dogs and wimps. This phenomenon could not be blamed on poisonous chicken soup. He personally despised dog licking. Dogs are dogs after all. Want to be someone else's boyfriend? That must first learn to be a man. If all men could treat these poisonous chicken soup women as garbage and pay no attention to them, this trend would naturally be unbreakable. Hmm. Having just broken up a couple, Anchor Su Hong's heart was also full of fulfillment. Hey. Saved another little sister then. Does everyone think I did the right thing? Sister Hong is simply a living Buddha. Pity that sister just now didn't see it clearly and went for that scummy guy who wasn't willing to spend money for her. There was a burst of singing in the comment section and the sales went up quite a bit more. This made Su Hong smile so much that her mouth unconsciously cracked open, her appearance falling in the eyes of the surrounding onlookers with normal three views. How ugly it could be. Ha, new target. He had just broken up a pair and set his live room on fire. Su Hong, who had gotten a taste of the sweetness, was also looking for the next wave of targets. It just so happened that she saw Yi Yang and Lin Shuer, Lang talent and daughter Ah, simply a model boyfriend and girlfriend. If we can break this pair up, then the live broadcast room will definitely be another wave of explosion. Ha ha ha. She was inwardly ecstatic and came up in succession. This gentleman, are you free to participate in an interview? Yi Yang glanced at her and inwardly laughed coldly. It was obvious that this guy was staring at the two of them ready to lay a trap. However, wanting to set him up, this anchor was still too young, sure. 
Yi Yang had just appeared on camera when the girls in the live broadcast room suddenly exploded. Holy shit, so handsome, so classy, this is my ideal male god. Yeah, just feel, a bit familiar, like I've seen him somewhere. Sister Hong, send a coordinate, I'm going to jerk off over there. Looking at the fiery scene in the live broadcast room, Sister Hong's mouth also lifted, and she asked with confidence, This little brother, do you love your girlfriend? Are you willing to max out your credit card for your girlfriend? Blow up your credit card? Not willing. Yi Yang shrugged his shoulders and directly said, Su Hong directly froze, I jow, what the hell is this, this is a live broadcast for me, so many people are watching, you don't even pretend, directly come to the sentence is not willing, however, unwillingness is better, such a straightforward scum, breaking them up in a few words, cut, I thought this little brother was a good guy, but I didn't realize he's a scumbag who's not even willing to max out his girlfriend's credit card, that's it, garbage, good looking is useless, this kind of scum is the most dangerous, the live broadcast room was all clamoring. The onlookers, on the other hand, all had a twinkle in their eyes, and many of the boys who had been bullied by their girlfriends were frantically giving a young thumbs up. Crap, a model for my generation. Well done. Ahem. The first step of the setup failed, and the next step in the chain of getting a young to max out his credit card to buy a bag wouldn't go anywhere, but it was just as well. As a skilled lasso netizen, she was naturally ruthless and prepared several sets of consecutive moves. If one set didn't work, a new one would, so you don't love your girlfriend enough, alas, can't even brush up the credit card, 10,800 won't be willing to give their own girl to spend, nowadays men, really thinly veiled, she began to use reverse agitation, swipe the credit card, the corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up and sneered, I would like to see, which bag in the world, dares to sell for 10 billion dollars, 10 billion, crouching, trough, the onlookers exploded, Originally came to see the straight man hand tear poisonous chicken soup green tea female anchor. Did not expect. This straight man, or a super big brother. Credit card 10 billion dollar limit. Do you know what you're saying? Snake face Su Hong was almost paralyzed with fear by Yi Yang's sentence. And shouted in a completely unacceptable manner. This wave of dislike. I damn straight call it professional. Ha ha ha. It's so awesome. It's so relieving. That's how you should dislike this poisonous chicken soup brain filling shit. The people on the sidelines were furiously praising, and after their translations were able to come over, they also took Yi Yang to be joking. What bank card throw amount can reach 10 billion? Just think about it and you'll know it's a joke law. Yi Yang completely exceeded her expectations and jumped to a reply that left Su Hong completely dumbfounded. This kid was also too powerful. Lin Shuer also looked at Su Hong with a faint smile. Brother Yi is just awesome. Disliking this woman speechless in three words. He he he. He he. This little brother can really joke around. Can't afford it. Just say you can't afford it. Dreaming. It's better to go home and lie in bed to do it. Su Hong's eyes rolled and once again countered. You think I'm joking with you? Yi Yan laughed. That's good. Let me ask you. This body of yours. Can it be worth a few dollars? I think a super godly man with a credit card limit of tens of billions of dollars. All dressed up. Won't be as shabby as this. Right? Su Hong sneered and countered. How much money? This is really not much. Yi Yang spread his hands. I told you, sir, suggest you daydream more. It's just over 100 million. Su Hong just wanted to sneer back, but he was directly scared by Yi Yang's next sentence and bit his tongue. Hiss. What did you say? Hundreds of millions. Are you fucking wearing the golden saint duelist suit you? Bragging who will not ah. That's it. It must be a pretender. Sister Hong don't goad him. Hammer this scum. The women in the live broadcast room once again frantically pried their keyboards to bring the rhythm. Oh. Sister Hong was also confident, you say 100 million dollars, can you tell us what it's all about and let us open our eyes, don't believe me, Yi Yang sneered, I'm all over this, Zegna low profile luxury built in customized models, about 70 to 80 thousand, shoes are Seville row craftsmen customized, like more than 500 thousand, watch then, Vacheron Constantin Louboutin craftsman 000R, don't know how much money, but at least a hundred million to start, he said casually, with Yi Yang's commentary, Every sentence was like a deep water bomb, causing the onlookers and the live broadcast room to explode into waves of climaxes. Holy shit, I didn't look carefully just now. This is indeed a private low luxury version of Jessia's customization. My dad's chairman of their company wears this. No, it can't be. I thought he casually blurted out that the clothes were real. Wouldn't that mean that the shoes and the watch are also real? The onlookers were all stuttering. What kind of super big brother is this? A dress that adds up to hundreds of millions of dollars. Everyone's worldview was collapsed. 
Shit, it's really the Lugo Craftsman 000R, the same model as the Russian Portuguese Emperor. Still a hundred million. You offer a hundred million? No one has the connections and status. It's impossible to get it. The watch friends present issued a pilgrimage like exclamation of surprise. Chapter 41, Chapter 41, Professional Teams. All visiting. If you don't believe me, this Centurion Black Gold Card. Can it be fake? Yi Yang casually touched out the Centurion Black Gold Card in his pocket and shook it in front of Su Hong's eyes. Once the black card came out, Su Hong completely wilted. Holy shit, holy shit. Centurion Black Card. This is truly a real world class top tier godly hero. My day. I remember. Isn't that girl also an anchor named Cher on Trembling Voice? Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Yes. 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 Two days ago she live broadcast that carnival battle to see my heart surging ah. Uh, that boy. He can't be the Yishenhao who was famous for trembling that night. Crap. The real god is right in front of me. I'm actually blind. Disrespectful 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 disrespectful. Is it really him? I still pay attention to him on tremolo. I didn't expect to see him in reality. Really handsome ah. In the live broadcast room, a group of poisonous chicken soup women directly forgot that they had just mocked people. After seeing the centurion card and a body of hundreds of millions of dress up, they all madly send messages to Su Hong to ask for Yi Yang's contact information. Squeezing through the head also wanna be with him to get a date. Have a monkey. Sisters, I remembered. Isn't this the piano man from the purple pavilion video that day? I said why does it look so familiar? These days I've been dreaming of him as Prince Charming. Ah ah ah. I actually mocked my own male god just now. Ooh. So sorry. But at this time Su Hong lost all the face. Face hot and painful. Where there is still face still continue to stand in front of Yi Yang. Long ago quietly gray run away. This matter has come to an end. Yi Yang also took Lin Shuer to continue the joyful shopping trip. After buying a few more top luxury bags. Only then did Yi Yang take the loaded Lin Shuer out of the extravagant rainbow neighborhood. After consuming so much. All these luxury goods were naturally delivered to the home by the shopkeepers themselves. With all this spending along the way. There were naturally rewards that kept coming in but most of them were deposit rewards. After spending tens of millions of dollars today, the deposit rewards were about $180 billion. However, now that Yi Yang had more than $100 billion in his bank card and trillions of dollars in assets, the $10 to $8 billion in deposits could no longer make him fluctuate in surprise. After sending Lin Shui back to Fu Hua and pressing the road for a while, Lin Shui reluctantly went upstairs, until Yi Yang reset back in the Koenigsegg 1-1. It was only then that the system's beep came. Ding, congratulations to the host for spending more than 5555W this day. Triggering the hidden reward of the day, sports all round. By obtaining sports omnipotence, you will be proficient in all known sports on earth. With proficiency against, the Olympic champion, the human ceiling level. Oh, Yi Yang smiled. The system's tricks were quite a lot. Inexplicably triggering hidden rewards. Now he has triggered the hidden special rewards three times. One time he is proficient in national arts. One time he is proficient in musical instruments. And this time, it is sports proficiency. There must be hundreds of sports in this world. What is the concept of reaching the Olympic champion level in every sport? It's simply too strong, isn't it? Nowadays, Yi Yang was not as touched by tens of billions of dollars as he was by this special reward. Ha ha ha, not bad, not bad. Yi Yang was also very satisfied with this reward. And after looking at the sky, it was almost dinner time. Time to go back. He stepped on the gas pedal. Koenigsegg 1-1 roared to life, directly like a furious dragon sped toward the Yunding Mountain Villa, Hentaying Mountain Villa area, a Land Rover top Range Rover parked at the entrance of the neighborhood, this Range Rover, landing price, a full 3 to 4 million, if it is in an unusual place, certainly be treated as a luxury car owner, but in the Yunding Mountain Villa, it appeared to be a bit pricey, a small Land Rover, did anyone's nanny come back from grocery shopping, this license plate isn't on the registration form, Several security guards were puzzled and walked out of the security booth. Hello, we're here to visit Mr. Yi of the first villa of Hentaying. Fong Han poked his head out of the car window and smiled faintly. Hentaying Villa? The security guard looked the Land Rover up and down and smiled. Are you sure it's the king of Hentaying Villas? The first villa in Hentaying? The market price is now speculated to more than $2 billion. What a status. A driving Range Rover. Still worthy to see others. Cough. Seeing the security guard's smiling eyes. Ivy was very upset and said, What, you don't see us? Yo, foreign friends? This is not. The main thing is that the owner of this first villa is really honorable. If you want to visit, we do not dare to easily let you through. Wait for us to call and confirm with Sister Silence before saying it. 
The security guard let out a hefty laugh. Hoomph, what a pretense. The high-minded and proud AI Wei instantly had a bad impression of the entire Yunding Mountain Villa area and held a breath in his heart. As a super lawyer, where wouldn't he be greeted discreetly by a bunch of bosses before and after him? He was actually stopped by the gatekeeper here. The key wasn't to intentionally card him, but because they did appear to be too low-end in this Yunding Mountain Villa area. After a few minutes, after finally determining that these people were Yi Yang's guests, a few security guards immediately turned back to a respectful smile and opened the door to release Fan Han. Damn. This is a really big score. Are you giving us a hard time? After passing through the access control, Ivy said indignantly, Don't talk too much. My instructions, have you forgotten? Fong Han chortled. Maybe this is also the new boss knocking them. The Range Rover traveled through the wide Yunding Mountain Villa complex, surrounded by water and lakes on both sides, with layers of beautiful mountains. In Magic City, a city where steel buildings pressurized people, this kind of villa area was simply a heavenly existence. Top rich people are still really fucking enjoyable ah. AI Wei had already held his stomach, and at this time, he was even more sour. The color flag is the eyes of crystal measuring this piece of beauty like a paradise. At this time, the sun is setting. Twilight clouds and red clouds. The red haze half fall outside the clear sky. Green water. Green mountains. 3000 pavilions. Day. How big is this villa area in the end? After driving for half a day I still haven't arrived. AI waits get inside. After traveling for a while longer, only then did they reach Cloudtop Mountain. Yumomo was also waiting at the entrance with a few maids. Wow. Even those who had seen the world like Fong Han and Evie couldn't help but gasp out and awe when they saw this clear color of top-notch beautiful maids' outfits. Hello honored guests. I am the housekeeper of the first villa in Hentang. You mimer. The master has not yet returned. Please enter the villa first to have a cup of tea and wait a little. Yumomo courteously smiled. Understand. Understand. A big shot like boss you must be busy with work and day-to-day -day tasks. This must be going out to work on some big project, right? Fong Han smiled and brainstormed. Yumomo smiled on her face, but in her heart, she rolled her eyes. He's busy? It's only weird all right? Seeing so many eye-catching beauties, the fire in AI Wei's stomach was dissipating quite a bit. He directly entered the living room with Fong Han and colorful flag and waited. Chapter 42 Chapter 42 Aristocrats Naturally there are rules for aristocrats. Why isn't it here yet? Evie frowned. A cup of tea was finished, although the tea was obviously top grade dragon well, but it still couldn't stop his anxious heart. As a star lawyer like the pride of heaven, this treatment of coming to visit and having to wait for half a day was the first time he had experienced it. Looking at the agitated AI Wei, Fong Han shook his head. AI Wei this star lawyer what all good, is too proud. Hoomph. I won't wait. AI Wei placed the teacup heavily back on the table and got up to head out. Just as Fong Han was about to scold him to sit back down. Buzz. A low roar of a supercar came from far away. Master has returned. You murmur said with a smile. Evie, who had gotten up, was just in time to see the handsome to the point of explosion sports car outside. Koenigsegg won one. In an instant, half of his arrogance was knocked out. Although he prided himself on having seen many big bosses and big shots. But it was the first time he had seen a guy who could afford to drive such a terrifying sports car empire. Fong Han and Saichi also got up and similarly saw the Koenigsegg 1-1. Hiss. Boss Yi is quite big. Fong Han let out a bitter smile. Although he was rich, he couldn't do it to the extent of spending a hundred million dollars to buy a car. Otherwise he wouldn't have just driven a Range Rover in. Master. As soon as Yi Yang entered the house, UMOMO and a group of maids had long stood side by side and bowed. This card face. Although Evie was disdainful on the surface, she was envious inwardly. Looks like I came back a little late. Yi Yang smiled and shook hands with Fong Han, have a seat, Yi Yang casually said, the three of them, Fong Han, also took their seats, Saichi carefully sized up Yi Yang, while Ai Wei looked sideways because of the bellyful of fire she didn't give out just now, boss Yi, you acquired our law firm, I don't know if you have any immediate needs for us, Fong Han asked tentatively, there's not much demand, it's just that I bought my own law firm first, just in case, and on weekdays you guys can help me deal with the legal issues and contracts related to the assets under my name. Yi Yang said. Fong Han sweated profusely. Just in case of emergency, he just directly splashed out a lot of money to buy their super law firm that was famous in Magic City. This rich man's thinking was really different. Then our company's future plans and personnel changes. Fong Han once again asked the biggest doubt. Now the Golden City firm was after all brought up by his hand. If Yi Yang had the real idea of seizing power, then it would be too big of a blow for himself. And if he had just acquired the firm out of investment, then everything would be fine. It was only that the percentage of the money earned that was divided into his hands would probably be less than in the past. I don't have any opinions on these for now. 
Yi Yang spread his hands. He didn't have the time to play any court battles of power with these people. Normal people who wanted to make money and seek benefits would have to think out of the box to do so, but it was enough for him to just keep spending money. With this time to fight for power and profit, wouldn't it smell good for him to go and spend more money it? Got it. Fong Han's heart was relieved. Yi Yang's words were also a clear indication of his attitude and dispelled his greatest doubts. After removing the doubts, the atmosphere obviously eased and relaxed a lot. I don't know what contracts need to be drawn up to take care of the companies under your name, so we can also but heads. Fong Han asked repeatedly. There are two internationally, a Shadow Lafite Rothschild and a Vacheron Constantin watch industry. Yi Yang fought for a moment. Domestically, a little more. The property rights of the Imperial Financial Building are mine. There are tenant contracts for 10 school district houses in the university city to be drawn up, and the development of the Purple Pavilion Restaurant's non-competition agreement to be engaged in. Fong Han's heart fluttered as he listened. This one by one, from foreign countries to domestic, these seemingly completely unrelated industries were actually all under one person's name. Even the always proud Evie was shocked. There is also the Yida Group which is also mine. This should be taken care of in a focused manner. But there was already a specialized legal team over there don't have to worry too much. Yi Yang said after thinking about it, I guess there are some more. I can't think of them now for a while. I'll tell you guys later when I think of them. He moved to obtain a new company, and said so to explain that he would have nothing to do in the future to have one more property. What? What? Yida Group? You mean, that Yida Group? The three of them were confused. This was a top group known in China. Its founder's famous line that 100 million was a small goal was on fire all over the internet, and no one knew about it. Yeah, I just collected it two days ago. Yi Yang casually said, Fong Han cried and laughed, and inwardly called out Big Brother. If he had known Yi Yang earlier, he was afraid that he could have struggled for 20 years less. At this moment, he directly eliminated all bad and negative thoughts from his mind. This super Big Brother was simply too terrifying. As long as he was able to climb into any relationship with him, his career would be able to level the playing field in the future. It would be too stupid to think about any competition for power right now. He couldn't suppress the excitement in his heart and the corners of his mouth unconsciously flew up. Well, the talk is almost done. We should have dinner. Yi Yang smiled. Let's follow the normal small state banquet. The small state banquet was the nine and five meals. Nine dishes and five soups was the standard meal rule for small meetings of ancient emperors. State banquet? Fong Han's heart stirred. In your villa, you won't still be hiding a group of state banquet chefs. Domestic chefs were categorized into high, medium and low levels, above which was the special level. The highest honor was the state banquet chef. It basically represents the highest achievement of Chinese cuisine. What is a rich man? This is. This exclamation flowed out of several people's hearts at the same time. After finishing the dinner, the conversation with Yi Yang was also a complete conquest of Fong Han and Tsai Chi. Only Ai Wei had been sulking, but had not dared to say anything because of Fong Han's warning. Why has this old brother been silent? But is there something against me? Yi Yang asked with a smile. Ha! Hey. Boss Yi is easygoing and uses money to convince the people. Naturally there is nothing I dare to be dissatisfied with. It's just that, I, Ai Wei, have always honored the nobles and not the landed gentry. And even if Boss Yi is rich, he will not be able to convince me. Ai Wei shook his head. Ignoring the stopping of Saichi who was pinching his thighs at the side, he said the words he had held in his heart for a long time in his head. Unbridled, how are you talking to Boss Yi? I instructed you to forget all those words. Fong Han's heart trembled as he rose to his feet and angrily rebuked. He had just confirmed that Boss Yi was a real big shot that he couldn't afford to offend and could only try his best to befriend. This AI way then caused trouble for him. If the Golden City Law Firm's bright future was cut short, the loss would be too unacceptable. At this moment, Fong Han was also anxious and furious. Oh, Yi Yang smiled and understood. Some foreigners do have deep-rooted aristocratic thoughts in their brains, depending on their history. It was totally different from the Chinese kings and marquises who would rather have their own kind. Then what do you say? How can you convince me? Ai Wei was the ace lawyer of the Golden City Law Firm, and it was also important to make him convinced of himself. Seeing Yi Yan launched a challenge, Ai Wei also did not show any weakness at all. Nobles, naturally, there are rules for nobles. Do you dare to accept the challenge? Chapter 43 Chapter 43 Golf Course? There's one in my backyard. Ivy, after Fong Han rebuked, he also smiled with Yi Yang, Boss Yi, this person, Ivy, is this nature? Please forgive me for offending. No harm done. Yi Yang smiled and shook his head. To be honest, I'm still a bit curious. He he, a cowardly person can no longer be called a noble. Evie bristled. The rules of nobles? Yi Yang became interested and raised his eyebrows. Why don't you tell me about it? 
Explain it. I have been playing aristocratic sports since I was young, and what I am best at is horse racing and golf. If you can prove that you have attainments in this area as well, and prove that you have the cultivation and connotation that an aristocrat should have, then I will convince you. AI Wei jumped at the chance. Other boss he is so young. Even if he practiced from a young age, he has practiced for an unknown amount of time less than you. You're being too unintelligent. Fong Han superficially rebuked, but inwardly he was relieved. If it was just a sports match, it wasn't too hurtful. Humph. A connoisseur will know if there is one or not. I'm not bullying him either. I'll naturally give in to him during the match. AI Wei said in a row. Ha ha ha. Interesting. Let's compare then. Yi Yang was eager to give it a try, but he had just gained sports omnipotence, so he just used this opportunity to verify it. Eh, boss Yi. Fong Han looked at Yi Yang's chesty and confident smile, and it didn't seem like he was angry or showing off. It was hard to believe that boss Yi really happened to have research in this area as well. So young, and already a lord on one side in his career, and also multi-talented. Is this a demon? Saichi also looked at Yi Yang with a radiant look, a feeling of admiration rising in her heart. Humph. Just showing off. Seeing Yi Yang's confident appearance, Ai Wei's heart was also a little weak, but thinking of his own superior skills, he regained his confidence. So confident now, if you lose too badly in a while, you'll know the gap. Yi Yang smiled and looked at Evie. In fact, what nobility? What sport? All is just a bullshit by Ai Wei. He is just simply not convinced of himself. Want to make himself suffer in his best place? To take revenge for the belly full of anger just now. What he was best at was sports and law. It was naturally unrealistic to make himself compete with him in law. So he picked sports. Since you're not convinced, I'll fight until you're convinced. Yi Yang clapped his hands. Well, my backyard is a golf course. It's just right. Let's play and go. My backyard is a golf course. I thought this was just a terrier on the internet. Today it was a damn sight to behold. Fong Han shook his head with a bitter smile. Following this kind of super godly man around, he, a guy who usually boasted of being a social elite, couldn't feel his poverty all the time. Master, you, you Momo came up and asked Yi Yang in a somewhat worried whisper. Yi Yang smiled and scraped her nose, attached to her ear low laugh, with a cheerleading team on the side to cheer me is finished. See how I abuse this foreigner. Yu Mimo blushed and nodded her head repeatedly, then put up her small fist and made a cheering gesture. Hoo hoo. The summer wind of Magic City seemed to be very big in this evening. This, Evie was a little embarrassed. Playing golf is afraid of environmental variables. This gust of wind, but also play a fart. Only the top big man, can ignore the environment and weather. Every shot played a super god level hole in one. Ahem. It seems that this weather today, is not suitable for golf ah. AI Wei scratched his head. In that case, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to score a single ball. He had wanted to humiliate Yi Yang. Don't end up digging a hole and burying himself. With this great weather and cool evening breeze, it's a good time to play golf. Ha! Huh? Yi Yang felt that tonight's weather was very comfortable. He he, do you really don't understand or fake don't understand? Evie rolled her eyes in her mind. As long as you have learned golf for two days, you can't say such amateurish words. Unless you're a super god. However, you're a just out of your early twenties. Can play golf to a world class level. That's ridiculous. Can't it be that this kid is sure that we won't be able to get a hole in one in this weather, and in the end it will be a tie at most, to cover up his embarrassment? Since this is a private sparring session, we won't follow the rules of the tournament's 18 holes. Yi Yan laughed, I'll make a rule, 10 strokes, it's all about who scores more holes, how about it, if my number of times doesn't exceed your two times, count me out, that was supposed to be the line I was going to say. AI Wei roared inwardly, but since he had now let Yi Yang steal the words, he also sneered. Oomph, talk big, don't get hit in the face later, start your show, right? Yi Yang smiled and sat under the parasol, spreading his hands and said, just start. Evie picked up the golf club and prayed in her heart, no matter what, Yi slash Jesus bless me to score a shot, adjusting his posture and breathing, AI Wei directly swung the club, swoosh, the golf ball tumbled in the sky, flying out not more than a dozen meters, letting the wind blow at Askew, it eventually landed not knowing that it was a few dozen meters away from the whole hundreds of meters away. Ahem. Mistake. This is definitely a mistake. AI Wei dried his red face and continued to swing the ball. Unfortunately, in this kind of windy day, the batting trajectory is messy. Nine consecutive shots. One shot did not enter. Foo. CK. Evie was so angry that her hometown words came out. Last shot. God forbid. He kissed the golf ball and swung hard. His eyes were closed. The shot was a pure mess. His mind had crashed a long time ago. When he opened his eyes again, 
He saw the maid in charge of scoring in the distance raise the flag in her hand. Crap. Scored. Scored. Yes. My god. Evie almost jumped up with joy. In his opinion it was a miracle to score one goal in this environment. He didn't believe Yi Yang could score more than two. Ha 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 ha. Flaunting his head. Ivy tilted his head and walked under the parasol. It's your turn? Yi Yang shrugged his shoulders and casually stood up. His hands gripped the golf clubs, and his whole body automatically entered a perfect state. The muscles of his body linked up. His waist, hips, arms and wrists, and his knuckles transmitted. Everything seemed to be natural. The movements were as elegant as if they were immortals on earth. The cheerleaders on the side forgot to wave their signs in applause. Sunset sunshine sprinkled in Yi Yang confident and radiant handsome face. Looking at you Mimo and Saichi were dumbfounded. What's the use of just playing handsome? What's the point of hitting this ball crookedly? Crap. 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 AI Wei directly stood up from his chair. Yi Yang this ball? When swung out, the golf ball trajectory is crooked. But who did not expect? Its arc actually drew a circular arc in the sky, borrowing the wind. Back on track. Impartial. Just landed in hundreds of meters outside that small hole. Is this? This magic? Ivy looked at the distant scoring maid raised the flag in her hand again, and gold stars appeared in her eyes. I can't, my blood pressure seems to be a bit high. Chapter 44 Chapter 44 Sorry, the technique is a bit poor. After all, it's the first time I played today. It must be a fake. My eyes are blurred, or else he's just lucky. Masked. Yes, 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 it's him. Ha, you won't be so lucky on the next shot. Before he could finish, Yi Yang swung his second shot confidently consecutive shots, Evie looked stunned, even for the world's top players, the adjustment time for each shot had to be 10 minutes, right, this Yi Yang didn't intend to rest at all and just swung the second shot, this was too arrogant, there is no good result for arrogance, you definitely won't get in this one, for sure, he kept staring at the trajectory of the golf ball, chanting, god forbid, definitely won't score, however, in China, god didn't seem to work, this ball, directly straight flying sky, with its own rotational stress resisted the wind, landed fancy jumping, as if it was calculated, after the third rice fancy into the hole. Yay! Master is simply great! Handsome! The maid group and Yumomo all cheered when they saw this. Once is luck, twice is strength. Especially the fancy goal on the second shot was simply awesome. Even if they didn't know the rules, they could see that this shot was simply bullish. Gulp! Evie was directly petrified on the spot. Fong Han also shook his head. His heart was relieved. I didn't expect that Bossy was really deep. In golf is also the world's first class level. So not only will not hurt each other's face, this will not only not hurt each other's face, but also kill AI Wei's sharpness. One move, two gains. But, handsome is indeed handsome. If I were a woman, I wouldn't want to rely on his, her bed. Right? Fong Han fought maliciously. Next, Yi Yang casually swung the pole, barely making any adjustments, swinging the ball and hitting it directly, casually like sweeping the floor. But, it was such a casual sweep of the ball. Nine shots and nine goals. Each shot's way of scoring. All different. Switching around to get into the hole. Impossible. Cheating. He's got a remote control in his ball. Evie screamed. This is ridiculous. But the truth just happened right in front of his eyes. No matter how much he didn't believe it, the reality was there. Yi Yang looked at the jumping AI way in the distance and shook his head in amusement. Bullying him like this seems to be a bit too much. It's better to give him some face. Said I'd let him have it. Saying that, he swung out with a fierce swing. Yikes, swung crookedly, didn't touch the ball. This is two oops. Ha ha. He casually tossed the club to the maid next to him and returned to the parasol, patting the shoulder of Evie who was staring at him with her mouth wide open and eyes wide open. Looks like I'm still too much of a rookie. Nine out of ten shots I can't help it. It's my first time playing this today after all. Evie cried. Do you call that a handicap at the end? That was naked humiliation. The acting was so bad. Right. The first nine balls were played in a mysterious way, and the last shot was swung directly into the air. Are you kidding me? Looking at Yi Yang's sincere eyes, AI Wei read his subtext. Right ah, I am cheating fools. At this time, the scoring made in the distance was also trotting back with a golf ball. I just heard you say that you suspected me of adding a remote control to my ball? Yi Yang tossed the golf ball to Evie. Why don't you dissect it and take a look? Eh? Ah uh, ah? Uh, boss Yi? I was just joking. Don't mind. AI Wei completely convinced, this golf ball into the hand, to his experience, according to the light and heavy touch, directly can judge to do not do hand, now convinced, Yi Yang asked with a smile, served served, AI Wei lives for 30 years, the first time to see a true hero like you, boss Yi, 
AI Wei felt bashful on his face and apologized repeatedly. Want to stop competing in racehorses? There happens to be a horse farm in the backyard of my house? Yi Yang joked. No, 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 no. Yi boss you don't humiliate me. AI Wei knows the mistake. In the future, you are the person I admire the most. AI Wei in the future will absolutely obey your words. What lawsuits there are, will do their best to help you deal with it. AI Wei continuously conceded. A golf ball was enough to make his face swollen, and if he was crushed again in a while, he was afraid that he would really have to find a crack in the ground to drill out of the Yunding Mountain Villa area. Ha ha ha. Fong Han, colorful flag and Yumomo all laughed out loud as they watched AI Wei's embarrassed appearance. Yi Yang also nodded slightly. AI Wei was just proud. But if he could conquer this pride himself, he would instead reap the purest respect. I didn't realize that Ba Xi also has such deep attainments in sports. It's really admirable. Colorful flag looked at Yi Yang with eyes glowing with a different look. Sloppy, if I say, actually this is really my first time playing golf. Will you guys believe me? Yi Yang said honestly. Ba Xi, didn't we agree not to humiliate me? AI Wei cried and laughed. Your level, to compete for a world golf king are more than enough. How can it be the first time to play? Yi Yang rolled his eyes. In this world, no one believes in the truth anymore. It's really my first time playing golf, okay? After joking around for a while, Yi Yang sent Fong Han and the others away. After this meeting tonight, after this meeting tonight, these three people are considered to be in their pockets, and will definitely work for them wholeheartedly in the future. The feeling of subjugating the elite at the top of society is still a great sense of pride. Standing on the attic of the villa, watching the Range Rover slowly drive out of the villa area, Yi Yang was holding a cup of Lafite in his hand, and the corner of his mouth was also showing a trace of satisfaction arc. I didn't expect the master's golf skills to be so good. No wonder every time you play golf with me, you win so easily. Yumaimo did not know when she came behind her. Her hands surrounded her, and she smiled with love in her eyebrows. Yi Yang pinched Yumomo's pretty face. Woman driving up slash car. Car speed is not at all slower than a man aw. Then tonight, let you see what it means to be relaxed. Yi Yang smiled. Beside the open air swimming pool on the roof. Chapter 45 Chapter 45 You are the owner? The next morning, Yi Yang was refreshed and washed up. Although Yumaimo had developed to maturity and was more energetic than an ordinary person, she was still too weak compared to Yi Yang, who was proficient in national arts and all round in sports. A night of fighting slash battling. It directly made her pass out until now and she didn't get up. Yi Yang shook his head and casually picked up his cell phone to read the message. Boss Yi, this is Fong Han. We have helped you with the school district room. If you see the message, call to discuss in detail. Yo, is the efficiency quite fast? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. It seemed that the other party had gone back to find connections for himself overnight. Indeed a smart person, being so reliable, entrusting the legal issues of his men's assets to the other party with some psychological security. Yi Yang smiled and also dialed Fong Han's phone. Hey, boss Yi, after only one ring, the phone was picked up. Obviously Fang Han had been waiting for Yi Yang's reply after sending the message. HM. Yi Yang nodded with satisfaction. What about the rental matter? We contacted the IKEA agent. And that side has sent a gold medal salesroom like Jean to hand over with me. The contract IKEA agent will also provide. The contract we have reviewed and modified overnight. It's definitely the best contract. Fang Han was confident about the contract preparation. I'll send you the phone number of Fang Shijin. Just ask her to bring her clients directly to the entrance of your Linjiang neighborhood and wait for you. Good. Yi Yang was also very relieved that Fong Han was doing his job. After hanging up the other party's phone, he also started to contact the so-called gold medal sales, Fong Shijin. Hey, boss Yi. Obviously Fong Han had explained Yi Yang's information to Fong Shijin a long time ago, and when he saw Yi Yang's phone call come in, he called out with a mouthful of boss. Well, I'm going to rent a house today. Just call those tenants directly to the entrance of Linjiang neighborhood and wait for me. Yi Yan laughed. Yi boss, forgive me for taking the liberty. I have a lot of customers on my hands. The demand for school district houses is even greater. I don't know how many houses you have to rent. Fang Shijin deliberated on the wording and asked cautiously. Bring as many as you have. Yi Yang said casually. Ah, uh, Yi boss, are you serious? I now have at least a dozen customers on hand who have a need for school district housing. All, all bring to. On the other side of the phone, Fang Shijin was completely confused in her mind. Just listening to Sister Su explaining the task to her, she realized that this boss Yi was not ordinary. But he didn't expect that the other party actually had at least a dozen sets of school district houses in Linjiang District. That's Linjiang District. Not many roads to the east is the Magic City University City. 
Not many roads to the west is the Magic City Public First High School and Private Noble High School concentration. The neighborhood is adjacent to the Mordor River, and the nearest row is called a Riverview House. Market price of the most expensive speculation to a square meter 25W or even 35W, a set of 120 square meters on average, 10 sets of Riverview Neighborhood School District housing, rounding up that is 300 million ah, Gollum, this is a super big customer, must catch ah, Fang Shijin shouted in his heart, just this, only 10? Unexpectedly, such a response actually came from Yi Yang's side, it made Fang Shijin almost drop his cell phone, Mr. First, what do you mean by this? She asked with a frightened heart. Could it be that the other party has more than 10 sets of properties? Okay, okay. Originally did not intend to rent out all at once. Bring someone to the entrance of the neighborhood and wait for me well. Yi Yang casually said. The entire Linjiang neighborhood's 10 school buildings were all his. One building with 7 foyers. One foyer with about 18 floors. One floor with 2 suites. Counting at least 2,000 houses. Not including the large flat above each building. The total value of these 10 school district houses would have to be tens of billions when calculated. 2,000 suites ah, it feels pretty hard to want to rent them full. Yi Yang shook his head and laughed. However, it was just a matter of time. Every year, the freshmen of the university had people who had to come out to rent a room. And many of the middle class and aristocrats of the magic city would also rent houses in the Riverside neighborhood in order for their children to go to middle school. As long as it was August or September when the school season started, these houses are almost all rented out. Counting up, it's almost time. Yi Yang turned around and looked at the sleeping Yu Mumo. The other party was tired like this the initiator was him, and he didn't feel like calling her up. It seems that I have to do this on my own today. Yi Yang hummed a small tune. Considering the principle of acting in a low-profile manner, this kind of crowded occasion is better to drive a low-profile car. After choosing half a day, he only chose a cheaper one from the garage, a Ferrari asterisk Lafa worth $30 million. Well, this should be low-key enough. Yi Yang nodded. Most of the cars in his garage were $50 million or more. This Ferrari Asterisk Lafa was indeed considered low-key. Buzz. The Ferrari Asterisk Lafayette was like a red hunting shadow. Suddenly drove out of the Hentaying Mountain Villa area. The Hentaying Mountain Villa was not far from the Linjiang Villa. It didn't take long to arrive. But Fang Xianjin obviously arrived earlier. These tenants who had a need for school district housing looked anxious. Wow. Ferrari yeah. Among the waiting tenants. There were obviously people who knew what they were doing, and when Yi Yang's Ferrari Lafa drove up, they just marveled. It is indeed a Ferrari, and it's still a Ferrari Asterisk Lafayette, a top-class luxury car that seems to sell for 20 to 30 million dollars. NVA. The pedestrians coming and going are also enviously looking at this luxury car parked in front of the neighborhood. Ta. Getting out of the car, Yi Yang noticed the surrounding hot eyes. Some helpless, obviously want to be low-key to come. Mr. Yi. Fang Shijin even walked up and respectfully said, Fang Shijin? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows and looked at the crowd behind her with some surprise. At least 20 people. Didn't you say a dozen? There are actually so many people coming. Eh, is it too many? This was the first reaction in Fang Shijin's mind. There's no need to worry mister. Yi, there are people who came with their children to pick out school district housing. And there are actually only 13 rental claims. A trace of disappointment swept through Yi Yang's heart. But then he waved his hand. It's okay. Mr. Yi, are you sure you have enough properties? Fang Shijin asked in a low voice after coming closer. Ha ha. Yi Yang was also too lazy to explain. Directly is looking at these rental users. Tell me about the specific. Some of these are for children in middle school to rent a room. Most of these people want a three or six year lease. Fang Shijin's professional ability is still very strong. There are also some wealthy people from out of town or the local area who want to rent a room here for four years while their daughters are in college. There is only one pair that is more special. Fang Shijin hadn't finished speaking. He saw one of the youths with gold-rimmed glasses and a hawkish nose walk over, his face glowing with the unique confidence of the second generation of the rich, and looked at Yi Yang. Are you the owner we want to see? Chapter 46 Chapter 46 Impossible. It must be a broken system. Aha, uh -huh, something's up? Yi Yang sized up the youth who was dressed in a luxury brand and was obviously from a good family. Our Lolo is coming over here to attend the Magic City Transportation University. I want you to sell me the house. The price is whatever you want to talk about. I know you probably don't lack money, but I can pay a premium. I can even send you a supercar that is better than this car of yours. The man with the golden glasses said confidently and incomparably. Inexplicable. Yi Yang sneered. A broken sports car and you want to trade for my real estate? The rich second generation was directly speechless. You. This school district house is even more expensive. A set of $20 million is enough. 
Right, I a $40 million car for you. The premium is twice as much. Who told you I only have one set of house? Yi Yang glanced coldly at this second generation rich man. Then he turned his head, leaving him alone and stumped in place. Pang Feiyu was completely baffled. He was from a good family and had been chasing the goddess in his class since middle school. And now the goddess, Dai Lulu, had finally graduated. In order to show his sincerity and strength, he is ready to buy her a school district house. But what a precious resource a school district house next to a university town is. As soon as the property came out, it was directly snatched up. It's simply impossible to buy it. Can only rent. So he was also up in arms. Wanting to buy the house directly from the owner at a premium today. How many do you think are standing here today that can't afford to buy a house? Yi Yang smiled and looked at the group of tenants brought by Fang Shijin. These tenants were all female except for Peng Feiyu. Some were young women and some were college students. That's, young man, you're doing things too unorthodoxly. At the expense of me just now thinking that you're a Svengali. A few rich women were clearly not happy. School district housing was a precious resource. They wouldn't rent it if they could buy it. Being mocked by the crowd. The rich second generation Peng Feiyu's face was also unable to hang on. Directly shouted angrily. I ten times the premium to buy you a suite. You sell or not. Hiss. Ten times premium? This kid is crazy. Right? Oh. What a licking dog. There were a few rich female college students present who watched coldly. They were all goddesses in school as well. And naturally knew what Dai Lulu was feeling in her heart at this time. Which was nothing more than pride and contempt. The heart would only have the pleasure of the rich second generation throwing thousands of dollars for themselves and serving like a dog. And there wouldn't be any adoration. Do you think I lack money? Yi Yang shrugged. Don't say ten times. If you double this price by a thousand times, I won't sell it even if I'm in a bad mood. You, Peng Fei you laughed, a thousand times? Oh, you really think you are the richest man in China? Tens of billions of dollars to say do not want to do not. Bragging is also a bit of a spectrum. Okay? That's right. You think you're the only owner in Linjiang district? If you don't sell, there are plenty of people willing to sell. Dai Luolu also stood out at this time, laughing coldly in agreement. Yi Yang glanced at her, sending a shiver down her spine. This look, stern and domineering, was simply terrifying. However, no matter how rich Yi Yang was, he was just a homeowner with a few houses. Peng Feiyu was a real second generation rich man. Home tens of billions of assets. She still had to fish for herself. She could still tell the difference between the lighter and the more important. Really? Yi Yang smiled. Then I even put words here today. You really can't rent a house here. Hiss. Fang Shijin and the other tenants were all shaken in their hearts. This little brother is young. But his words are domineering enough. Ha ha. I like it. When I'm a dozen years younger. I'll be obsessed with such a domineering. Rich and handsome little brother. These young women all teased. Only Fang Shijin had an unbelievable guess hidden in her heart. It's hard to believe that this Linjiang neighborhood is not. That's too ridiculous. It's simply impossible. Fang Shijin shook his head repeatedly, kicking that horrible thought out of his mind. Maybe Mr. Yi is on better terms with the other owners. Yo, see how crazy you are. You really don't know how many kilograms you have. There are just a few broken houses. Dai Lulu sneered. Yi Yang directly ignored these statements. The entire neighborhood is his. He is the sole owner. In a moment to call the security guards to beat these two fools out and it's done. Let's follow them too. Fang Shijin even organized the tenants to follow Yi Yang into the district. At the cell gates, several security guards also saluted Yi Yang. The Ferrari asterisk Grafa was parked there. Yi Yang was bound to be not something they could offend. So they were naturally respectful. Sir, your license plate is not registered. Trouble please first prove that you are a resident of the district. This is also the rule. You see, several security guards were smiling. Well, how to prove it? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. All of our residence information is included in the security system. As long as you report the corresponding address and correspond to the identity information, you can enter the neighborhood. This kind of verification is only needed for the first time. After it's recorded in the system, it will be automatically face recognized to enter in the future. Several security guards were explaining in succession. Ha, ah, not even the face information is included in the system. You're afraid that you don't even have a house here and are playing with us. Peng Fei you sneered cynically. The other tenants were also suspicious when they were told this. Since only the first time they entered the neighborhood they needed to have their face captured. As a property owner, how could Ji Yang not be included in the inclusion system? The house was just bought two days ago. And today is also my first time. Yi Yang spread his hands and said helplessly. Then just enter a random room number. First, sir. What did you say? A few security guards suspected that their ears were broken and asked repeatedly. I said, just lose whatever. All the houses here are mine. 
Yi Yang frowned, but thinking that his words were indeed a bit shocking, he patiently explained. Ha 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 ha. Peng Feiyu covered his stomach. Did you guys hear what he said? The entire Linjiang neighborhood is his. You're not the one who came out of the mental hospital. Do you know how much it costs to buy the entire Linjiang district? At least 50 billion dollars. Originally, these rich wives had no concept of this. But once they heard Ping Fei Yu say this, they were all surprised as well. They boasted that their families all had small assets, at least a few hundred million of that kind. However, tens of billions, that is not a concept at all. This has also let them suspicion greatly. Such an incomparably young looking young man, really have tens of billions of real estate. This was indeed somewhat unbelievable. Or rather, ridiculous. Can it be that this little brother is really fooling them to play? Only room like Jean cold sweat fine. She also remembered Su's sister entrusted her Yi Yang when the tone and expression. Can let Su's sister are that kind of performance? This Yi Yang may. Just when she was thinking nonsense. After the login system typed the word Yi Yang. Several security guards were screaming strangely. Crap. This can't be. The system is broken. Chapter 47 Chapter 47 As long as you marry my daughter. I'll pay a dowry of 88. 88 million dollars. After searching Yi Yang. The following column of house owner information. All of them were him. How much is this? This this this. The security guard kept scrolling the mouse and flipped half a day without flipping to the bottom. From a building 1 unit 101. One by one. Scrolling to the last G building 7 unit 18 layer large flat. Owner information. Clear. All Yi Yang. After refreshing several times. It was all the same. Thinking of Yi Yang's words just now. Feel free to lose the room number. All the houses here are mine. Several security guards were shocked beyond belief as they looked at Yi Yang their brains a little blank. What, did you find out? Yi Yang frowned, looking at a few security guards dumbfounded look. Check or not check to the numbness to say ah. Of course, a few security guards are now looking at Yi Yang fervently, directly salute, respectfully said, after checking, you are indeed the only owner of the neighborhood. Pong Fei Yu, who was still flailing, was instantly blinded. My ears are broken. Am I crazy? Or is this world abnormal? At least three. 500 million dollars worth of production value of the neighborhood are in front of this looks no more than 20 years of age the same as his own kids this kid has more money than his own father dai lulu's eyes suddenly flamed up she directly forgot that she was still mocking yi yang just now peng fei yu again powerful is ultimately a rich second generation it is not easy to take out some money have to beg with the family to ask for yi yang is different driving a luxury car tens of billions of dollars of real estate under his name who knows if he has any other assets? He's a super rich generation. Estimating the value. I don't know how many times stronger than Peng Fei Yu. Actually, really is. Fang Shijin covered his mouth, incredulously looking at the youth in front of him who had endless confidence in his light smile. The other party's age. It seemed like he wasn't even as old as her. The entire Linjiang neighborhood. It's already all his. Big customer. Super big customer. Doesn't that mean that the listings that have fallen into his hands? are at least 2,000 sets. What kind of concept is this? If all these houses were rented out, the commission she could get, just thinking about it made her tremble. Wow. I didn't expect this little brother to be an invisible super rich man. The rich wives had originally found Yi Yong to be incredibly smooth. At this moment, the gazes they looked at him again became complicated. There were even two rich wives who had already patted their daughter's hands and meaningfully jumped into action. Since there's no problem, let's go in. Yi Yang casually pointed at Peng Fei Yu and Dai Lulu. Remember, these two people are not welcome in this neighborhood. If you see them in the future, just blow them away. Yes, 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 yes. The several security guards all said in succession. AI, AI, AI. Brother Yi, don't go. Dai Lulu immediately changed into a smile and wanted to chase after him. But Yi Yang didn't even return his head. He had seen too many beautiful women. Although Dai Luolu's posture was okay, but in her own maid troop, she was a thing that couldn't be ranked. Her behavior was also so bad, and her outlook was not correct. This kind of woman was simply not qualified to enter one's eyes. This lady, please respect yourself. Several security guards frowned and directly pushed Dai Lulu away with a casual push. In a moment of haste, Dai Lulu's high heels wrenched, and her entire body fell onto the verdant stone road, grimacing in pain. You guys dare. Seeing this scene, Peng Fei Yu was so angry that he exploded and went up to make a move. But the two security guards were furious, sneering like a pot of cold water poured on his head, making him lose his temper. He even crouched down, wanting to help Dai Lualu. Heartbroken and incomparable. Lualu, are you okay? Snap. Unexpectedly, Dai Luluo directly threw a slap on his face. 
It's all you, you stinking pussy licking dog, if it wasn't for you, could I have missed out on such a perfect godly hoe, if it wasn't for you blindly leading a rhythm and mocking people today, could I have plummeted my image in his heart, with my image, what man would not be moved, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. exasperation, coupled with the resentment of being pushed to the ground, caused Dai Lulu to directly disregard everything, tearing her face apart and speaking the truest thoughts in her heart, pa pa pa, after slapping Ping Fei Yu two more times, only then did Dai Lulu struggle to get up on her own, angrily limping towards the distance. Peng Fei Yu was confused by a few slaps. He had never thought that he was actually such a thing in the heart of his goddess. These slaps directly made him lose the most fragile fantasy in his heart, making him suffer immensely. He directly cried in the street in aggravation. This pair of dogs and men's miserable appearance. In the eyes of the many rich women who just entered the neighborhood, but no one sympathized with them. On the contrary, they are quite happy. Many of them treat Yi Yang as a future son-in-law. Are their own family? Of course, to defend Yi Yang. The next step is to pick a house. The entire Linjiang neighborhood, 10 buildings with more than 2,000 houses were his. There were only 20 or so people looking at the houses. Naturally, they could pick whatever they wanted. Everyone could pick the most desirable good floor with good lighting. However, in an upscale neighborhood like the Linjiang district, which was specially built for successful people, every household was actually very comfortable to live in. The difference is not too big at all. Every home here is finely decorated, and you can move in straight out of the handbag. Therefore, the efficiency was very fast, and in just over an hour, they were all finalized. Fang Shijin's heart was also happy beyond measure. She was busy running for a month, but not necessarily as much as the commission she got in this hour today. To know, these people are at least three or four years of lease. Such a high-end neighborhood. Rent an ordinary neighborhood is not a concept at all. A dozen suites. An average of five years of rent per set. A settlement. The calculation is close to twenty million dollars. Alas. Rich people are really good ah, do not have to do anything, lying in bed. Every month there is a huge amount of money into the account. Fang Xianjin made a slight projection. If the average rent for 5 years, more than 2, 000 suites in Linjiang district, all rented out before September, Yi Yang would directly be able to score billions. She couldn't help but feel a tremor in her heart when she thought of this number. However, accordingly, the Ija agency can also get a substantial commission from it and they themselves may even be able to take at least a million from it, a million dollars a month. Looking at China, it was the dream of most people. This big gold master, I have to serve well. At this time, the line of people all watched the good room. It was a happy and relaxed atmosphere. Alas, little Yi Ah, do you have a girlfriend? Chatting. A group of young women started gossiping. You're so young and promising. If you don't have a girlfriend, it's too bad. What do you think of my daughter? She doesn't have a boyfriend either. Yi Yang was slightly stunned. It was hard to believe that these rich women were also moonlighting as bridesmaids. This daughter of mine is not bad either. And my family's, although she's only in high school, but you definitely won't suffer if you wait for her. My family's not bad. I can pay a dowry of 50 million dollars. My family has 80 million dollars. Ha! My family is giving away company shares. The originally happy atmosphere suddenly changed. Yi Yang had a big headache and laughed bitterly. Other families who marry their daughters are eager to point out more dowry. These rich women thinking completely different ah. When it comes to themselves, they all think about how to give more dowry. There is no way ah. Handsome is so invincible. Chapter 48 Chapter 48 Sky High Property Costs? Aya. Ah. Mom, I'm still here. The girls present were also blushing, looking at Yi Yang with desire. Such a handsome and perfect godly man could be encountered but not sought ah. How many other people in this world could be better than Yi Yang? Yi Yang smiled lightly. Those who were able to get into Shanghai University City, their grades themselves were all good, plus they were all from rich families, and their temperament was also superior. However, compared to his vision, they were still too ordinary. Nowadays, around him, even the maids are all seven-star gold medal domestic talents, and all of them are high achievers from the Ivy League or the top universities in China. Their temperament and beauty were naturally not comparable to these girls, but it was too impolite to refuse in public. Between jokes, forced to be some girls added WeChat before a group of tenants sent away. Signing a contract and making payments should go through the formal process. Today's negotiation. At least one or two days later to move in. Ugh. Really have a big head. Yi Yang scratched his hair. The feeling of a group of beautiful young women pestering you to give you their daughters and offering a heavenly dowry is really scary as hell. Ha ha. Bossy can be elected for the title of the most sought after son-in-law in China. Fan Shi Jin was in an extremely good mood today. Laughing and joking. It can't be helped. Who made me so handsome? Yi Yang shook his head and said seriously, if anyone else had said that, 
They would have been ridiculed, but there was no way Yi Yang was indeed telling the truth. It made Fang Shijin burst with envy and jealousy. Right, Boss Yi, is there anything else you need? I'm all free today, so I can help you with the work. Fang Shijin said with an eye. The tenants had all left. Yi Yang himself stayed behind. Apparently there were still things to do. Well, things, there is indeed one more thing. Yi Yang slightly nodded his head, looking up and down at the delicate and mature curves of Fang Shijin. Mr. Yi, you, Fang Shijin's face reddened. Her hands protected her chest and stood back. Ha ha. Yi Yang waved his hand. Come with me. Help me pack a house. Ah, ah. Fang Shijin's heart thumped. She was a strong woman of the new era. Believed in fighting the world on her own and had a strong character. Even if Yi Yang was a handsome tycoon little brother, she couldn't give up her bottom slash pants too easily. Scared me. She patted her chest and hurriedly rushed up. Building A's large flat floor. Buildings A, B, and C were all riverfront buildings. Building A's location was especially the best, and the large flat on the top floor could be said to be the best suite in the Riverside neighborhood. Building A is an 8 meter high, 2 story indoor flat with a special elevator. The balcony can see in front of the whole Huangpu River waves. Opposite, is the bustling scene of the magic city. If it is at night, when the lights come on, that, too, is bound to be something beautiful, a feast for the eyes. Just the scenery alone is worth a few hundred million dollars. Yi Yang smiled, building a large flat as the signature of the Linjiang neighborhood, was priced at 880 million, and if he really wanted to buy it, the market value was estimated to be speculated to more than a billion, it was more expensive than most villas, building a large flat floor area of 500 square feet, here on the roof there is also a private swimming pool and private lawn, indoor turn second floor has a private theater, Fang Shijin introduced, aha, uh -huh. Yi Yang was very satisfied, Linjiang Villa is not far from his sister Yi Zi's high school, he also intends to pick a building for his sister to live. It was better than living in that bunk bed six-person dormitory that had been spat on by his sister for more than two years. It will take quite a bit of time to clean this house. Although Fang Shijin said this on his lips, his hands were already busy. Each house had a specialized ant to clean and clear before there was an owner. Although this large flat on the riverfront was large, there wasn't much that could be cleaned up. Yi Yang looked at the bedroom bed, spreading the sheets of the competent back. Room like Jean quite slash rounded buttocks slash rushed to himself, originally did not have distractions of the heart, but also slightly fluctuated. The entire A building, 500 square feet of double story large flat, only he and Fang Shijin two people, and also in such a sensitive place as the bedroom, it was impossible to have no special thoughts in one's heart. Seemingly also noticing Yi Yang's gaze, Fang Shijin's face was like a burning cloud, her subconscious action just now was out of cultivation, but along the way, she had already done her mental construction. In any case, if she can be perfect once with such a perfect man, how to count? It's all earned ah. After all, she had been busy fighting her own career for so many years almost all the time, and had never rarely engaged in fish slash water sex, not wanting to be okay. Once she thought about that kind of thing, she felt the kind of longing that was deep into her bones. After packing up the bed, she was also looking down shyly at Yi Yang, showing a different other side of her other than a strong woman. Mister. Yi, has packed up. She bit her lower lip and looked at Yi Yang with eyes that were not hidden at all. Good. Yi Yang smiled faintly. He never forced anyone, but he wouldn't refuse a joyful slash pleasurable experience that became mutual. If you can't live as you wish, then, it wasn't really meaningful to ask for so much money. This, is the god Ho. Room like Jean is still wearing a professional sales suit. A small suit top with a black silk high heel. This sense of excitement of the system slash suit slash allure slash confusion in the empty large flat made him much more excited today, after a movement, only then did Ji Yang smile with satisfaction, clatter, after washing afterwards, Fang Shijin also no longer had the feeling of a strong woman before in front of Yi Yang, but looked rather shy, well, it's time for lunch, Yi Yang moved his muscles and bones, and also had a big appetite, do you know any good restaurants nearby, I'll treat, Yi Yang laughed, no, 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 of course it's my treat, Fang Shijin said in a row, just how big of an opportunity did Ji Yang bring to her? Such a great nobleman. How could she let him treat herself to dinner? It had to be his own treat ah. Ha ha. Just as the two were discussing where to go for dinner, the doorbell rang. Ha. Yi Yang frowned, walked into the living room and opened the door, only to see a tall man in a suit. Eh, you are? Yi Yang asked. Are you the new owner here? The big man in suit was quite fierce looking, and at this moment, when he smiled, he was more like a robber stopping the road in an ancient costume drama. I'm the property owner of Lin Zhang, collecting property fees, 
Property fee? How much? Yi Yang did not explain. High-grade neighborhood property fees are naturally expensive. It is estimated that this set of large flat one-year property fees must be at least 100,000 80,000. Hey 1 million a year. The big man in the suit smiled wistfully. Ha! Huh? Yi Yang frowned. Are you kidding? Chapter 49 Chapter 49 He's not the chairman of the owner's committee, but the whole neighborhood is his. I have reason to suspect that you are robbing. Yi Yang frowned and said. He naturally wasn't poor in money. But, that didn't mean he could fulfill a ruthless and unreasonable request for money. Hey, the price is set. If there's anything you don't want, reflect it to the owner's committee. The pugnacious man sneered and said in a roguish manner. Ha, owner's committee? Yi Yang sneered. He was the only owner in the entire Linjiang neighborhood. And he, himself was the committee. You're living in a large flat. Surely you're not short of money what? A million dollars a year still hurts ah? The big man scratched his hair in boredom. Most of the original owners of the Linjiang neighborhood were busy people, and most of them bought some school houses for investment, rarely showed up, so they couldn't organize any committees. There were no complaints from the owners about the property fees. Naturally, the property company will be set at random. He has become more and more bold in the past few years. Originally, the property fee for this large flat was at most $200,000 a year. Now it was directly raised to 1 million by him. He he. Do you believe that one word from me will make your property company get lost? Yi Yang sneered. The other party should not yet know that the entire Linjiang district was acquired by himself. Otherwise, he wouldn't dare to be so arrogant with himself. He he, you go back first. Tomorrow, the property of Linjiang will no longer be yours. Yi Yang casually waved his hand. I throw, still quite bullish. The big man in the suit stared incredulously. What's wrong with you? You really think that you're the only owner in the entire Linjiang neighborhood? That being said, it's really true. Fang Shijin also rearranged her makeup and walked out with faith. You're, again, the big man Jin Jiang who was being impatient had his eyes light up as soon as he saw the visitor. Yo, Sister Fang, why are you here? You guys know each other? Yi Yang also asked Fang Shijin with interest. Recognize, of course I do. Sister Fang is a famous person. Not many people can be called a gold medal salesperson in the Magic City real estate industry. We have to deal well with these elites in the circle for this property. Jin Jiang smiled continuously. A trace of disgust swept through Fang Xianjin's eyes. Jin Jiang is a person who is afraid of softness and hardness, who looks at others and says that he is a property owner, but he is more like a gangster, relying on the left and right, deception, and took the property qualification of the Linjiang district. However, this person is smooth, although everyone is annoyed with him, but also take him no way. Sister Fong, what do you mean by what you just said? He can represent all the property owners? Jin Jiang skimmed his lips. I see he looks quite familiar. Only came for a few days and he's mixed up as the steward of the owner's committee? So what? You can't even get all the owners together, right? The owners can't replace us without a 50% joint complaint. Jin Jiang spread his hands indifferently, not taking it seriously in the slightest. Really? Fang Shijin let out a light laugh. Then you're still really uninformed. You're afraid that you still don't even know that this Mr. Yi in front of you is already the sole owner of the entire Linjiang district, right? Sole owner, what are you mad about? Jin Jiang glared. Oh, I see. You bitch have joined forces with this little brat to make fun of me. I respect you for calling you a room sister. Otherwise you're nothing in front of me. He is not used to those who have little use for him. Hurry up and pay the property fee. Otherwise, Jin Jiang was big and imposing. Stepping forward, Yi Yang sneered and followed further. What, or else you want to make a move? His physical quality today could be said to be incomparably close to the human limit. It was easy to abuse the world heavyweight champion with one hand, not to mention a property that looked frail and strong. Gulp. Jin Jiang himself was a character that was afraid of bullying. Seeing that Yi Yang actually wasn't afraid to scare, he directly jumped backwards. I'm warning you, rule of law society, honesty, friendliness, civilization, harmony. If you dare to make a move I'll let the law punish you. Yi Yang's face was filled with black lines. This old brother. Clearly you're the one who looks like a robber. Right. Long and tall. But you've taken bullying to the extreme. I'm not interested in making fun of a little person like you. Yi Yang shook his head slightly. If you don't believe me, call and ask the developer yourself. And if you keep messing around here, I'll kick you off the big flat. How dare you. Bravado in his mouth. Jin Zhang himself had long since ducked a few meters away. With a wary and suspicious face. He looked at Yi Yang. Boring. Yi Yang did not have the slightest desire to take care of this kind of guy who saw the wind at his back. Consuming time with this kind of person was simply a waste of expression. Where do Yi think well? Yi Yang turned around and asked. M. 
Let's just go to the Peace Grand Hotel. The dishes over there are very tasteful with the flavor of the old magic city. Fang Shijin laughed. Hmm. Let's go. Yi Yang casually closed the door of the room, leaving behind Jin Jiang, who looked extremely demented and dumbfounded, to froth there. It wasn't until Yi Yang and Fang Shijin went down in the elevator for quite a while, only then did he gradually relax. The only owner of the Linjian neighborhood? He muttered. That bitch has no motive to lie to me. It's hard to believe it's true, but that's just too ridiculous. It's simply impossible. Sure enough it's still lying to me. Oomph. He exhaled and relaxed. Walking leisurely up the stairs, he went outside to be blown by the wind. His brain cleared and a chill ran down his spine. No, I'd better call for confirmation. At the time Jin Jiang dialed the phone, the fiery red Ferrari asterisk Lafa had already carried Yi Yang and Fong Shijin to the Peace Grand Hotel not far away. After parking the car, it was to go in and directly run to the signature dish point. Peace Grand Hotel is also considered a relatively famous hotel. Per capita consumption are in $2,000 to start. However, in the opinion of Yi Yang, who had recently gotten used to eating luxury restaurants and even state banquets, it was still a little too simple. While eating the dishes and talking and laughing, it was also considered to be a happy one. Chatting and eating with a beautiful woman was naturally an extremely beautiful experience. Just when the chatting was going on happily, but a few middle-aged men in suits with big bellies came in at the door. One of them is obviously a small horse guy with the front desk teeth and claws to say something. The receptionist showed a difficult color. Ponyboy again directly pulled out a dozen bundles of cash from his pocket, and his look was also quite arrogant and confident. With Yi Yang's hearing nowadays, he could naturally hear what the pony boy was saying. What's going on here? Fan Shijin looked at the difficult appearance of the receptionist and asked. A few real estate small general project talked to come to get together. Here seat full, is discussing with the front desk to spend 10 times the money to let a table let out the table for them. Yi Yang sneered. The people who come here to eat basically don't have a lot of money. A meal of ten thousand dollars, ten times would be more than a hundred thousand. For this, to be kicked out halfway through the meal, who would want to do that? Therefore, the front desk lady was also in a difficult situation. Mister, this our hotel really can't do it. We are a regular big hotel. If you can reach a private agreement with the guests dining here, then we won't block it. The front desk young lady could only compensate with a smile. Bah, guys who can't do business. Seeing that the front desk couldn't say anything. The horseman could only take the money and look around the hotel for a week. Only Yi Yang had the best scenery and sunshine here. So, also with his wallet in his pocket, he aggressively walked towards the side. Chapter 50 Chapter 50 What do you come out to pretend without money? This brother, I say you hit the big time today. The horseman looked at Yi Yang and said with an alms like face. Yi Yang glanced at the horse boy and simply ignored the other party. After all, he already knew the other party's intention. Seeing that Yi Yang didn't pay any attention to him at all and left him hanging there. Like a fool, the horseboy's face suddenly couldn't hang on. Directly, he said, Our mister, Wang is happy today. If you can give up this table to our mister, Wang, we will give you ten times the money for the meal. If you pay ten, zero 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 for this meal, we'll give you one hundred, zero zero zero, spend money to buy a happy. Both sides are happy. Yi Yang sneered, Happy? Do you think you guys are rich? At this time, a few of mister, Wang also came over, and happened to hear Yi Yang's words and his eyebrows were wrinkled down. I say this young man, don't be too exuberant, he looks like he just got out of the society, right? Being so sharp, sooner or later, you will suffer from the poisonous beating of society. Yi Yang laughed and inwardly spat, do you think this is a gangster drama? Although inwardly is also a heroic surge want to return to him eh? Not the temperament is still called young people it, but with a twinkle in his eye, Yi Yang also thought of a more flirty operation. Are you sure you want to buy our tables bill right? The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up a trace of playful arc. Yes, not only buy, but also ten times the bill. The horseman arrogantly patted the wallet bag in his hand, seeing that Yi Yang finally had the intention to loosen up. Mr. Wang's face eased a bit, count on you to be sensible. Good. Yi Yang nodded his head slightly and waved at the waiter next to him. Hello sir, what can I get for you? The waitress Xiaoya approached. She also hated these guys who forced people to spend money to let them go, and originally sympathized with Yi Yang. But seeing that Yi Yang actually compromised for a bit of money, her heart was also a bit sad at this time. However, as a person who came out to work outside, she also understands the danger of this society. It is better to do more than less. Alas, she inwardly sighed silently for Yi Yang. Come and count for me. How much does my table cost? Yi Yang casually ordered the dishes on the table and looked at Mr. Wang next to him with a smile. Uh, well, although Xiaoya was a bit puzzled, she still did as she was told. 
nine headed purple abalone, five, zero 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 a piece, a total of two, a total of ten, zero 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 whole. Horse boy's heart trembled. This one dish alone almost exceeded the budget in his bag. This steamed golden rice, one thousand for one tail, a total of eight tail, eight thousand tasseled fruit mousse, eighteen thousand eight hundred and eighty eight immortal eight phase soup, six thousand six hundred and sixty six fishing ginger fish terrace, thirteen thousand. With the sound of the inventory, several of Mister Wine's faces grew darker and darker. The gazes of the surrounding diners also converge over. Without looking at it, Shogya took inventory and was directly numb. This is all the signboards of the Peace Grand Hotel's bottom of the box. Ah, generally each table one of this kind of dish is a luxury. This gentleman actually directly ordered all the. Gradually, the corners of her mouth are flooded with a trace of a smile, knowing Yi Yang's intention. Seemingly smiling, looking at the side of the face suddenly darkened down the general manager Wang and others, but the mouth is not stopping to continue to inventory. Pointed to the last one. Shodia instantly surprised a little lost focus. However, out of professionalism, she quickly calmed down and said with conviction, "The Silent Ship Snow Champagne, 188 W per bottle, two bottles, 376 W. The Ship of Silent Snow Champagne is the Peace Grand Hotel's bottom of the barrel wine of the store. There were only 2,000 bottles in the world. I don't know how much it took to retrieve five bottles from the outside, and only one bottle had been sold since the store opened a hundred years ago." This incomparably young-looking little brother actually ordered two bottles at once. Fang Xianjin covered her mouth with a hint of shock in her eyes. Just now, it was Yi Yang who ordered the meal. She had no idea that the champagne she just drank was actually close to two million dollars a bottle. No wonder it was so good. If she had known that this bottle of wine was so expensive, she wouldn't have dared to open her mouth. Just now, she even said that she would invite Mister Yi to dinner. Thinking of this, Fang Xianjin laughed bitterly. The millions of commission she was so proud of was not enough to cover the value of the bottle of champagne she was drinking now. Ooh, this kid actually ordered the ship of silence. Crap! Invisible super god Hoa. Rich people are all so low key at I throw. Without saying a few million meals ordered. This this this. This hotel owner does not come out to kneel a wave. The boss went abroad a few days ago. Otherwise, just now would have been shocked out. I said it. Ha 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 ha. Everyone look at that bullshit, Mister. One. His face is scared green. This time, still dare to say what to pay ten times the money to let people get out of words, not pretending to meet a real god's man. This face don't want it, Mister Wang's arrogant behavior had long attracted the attention of the people around him. However, just now, no one wanted to cause trouble and didn't dare to discuss anything. At this moment, just as soon as they heard the price of this order, they knew that this youth was not simple. The last two bottles of Silent Boat is like a deep water bomb, directly let the whole peace restaurant clamor up, sir. Your consumption for this meal, erasing the change totals four hundred and eighteen eight thousand eight hundred and sixty-eight eighty-eight yuan. Shaya was also numb with shock and said, "Okay." Yi Yan looked at the two shivering little chiefs next to him and said with a smile, "How about it? I'm not bullying you either. I'm generous beyond measure. Like this, I'll wipe that eighty-eight cents from the zero. Right? Pay up, transfer, or swipe card." Mister Wang's face was red and purple at this time. Purple and black. Black and green, constantly doubting life. He himself was arrogant and good-faced. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done this. Unexpectedly, today he met an even more arrogant. A meal of more than four million dollars. Whether or not they could get to ten million dollars in pure profit for a project was a question. More than forty million. Mister Wang was spitting blood inside. Even if he sold a few of their small general managers, he wouldn't be able to come up with that kind of money. I even kindly erased the change for you. What? No money? Yi Yang asked suspiciously, "My day ah, you still have no conscience. You wipe eighty-eight cents is also considered to wipe the zero, Mister Wang's heart is bitter, but there is nowhere to vent. Can only shiver at this time. Yi Yang's complexion suddenly cold, angrily rebuked. Since there is no money, but also come out to pretend what pussy? This sudden rebuke, so that now the already weak-minded several small general managers directly knee soft, if not the followers' support, almost kneel on the ground." Holy shit! Too domineering, bull! No money! You come out to pretend what? This is the god's hoe! The surrounding diners were exclaiming. This face slapping. It's too good to be true. Fang Shijin was also looking at Yi Yang with worshipful eyes. Although she was a strong woman, she could only be a little fangirl beside Yi Yang at this moment. Just when Mister Wang was gasping for air, as if he was about to have a heart attack, the door of the Peace Grand Hotel was suddenly pushed open. A hasty, big-bodied suit man barged in and looked around. 
when he saw Yi Yang's table, his eyes lit up and he even stumbled over. Chapter 51 Chapter 51 You just treat me as a fart and let me go. Boss Yi. Boss Yi. This hasty figure stumbled in. Yi Yang raised his eyebrows and looked at the figure that staggered over. It was quite familiar. Yo, isn't this the Jin Zheng from earlier? Fang Shijin looked Jin Zheng up and down, raised an eyebrow, looking at the other party's wretched appearance. Also measured, Jin Zheng obviously called the developer's side to confirm the information. At this moment, he also smiled and joked. Ha, Uncle San, Mr. Wang, who was being embarrassed next to him, scratched his head and rubbed his eyes before finally confirming that the person in front of him was indeed his third uncle. Jin Zheng had always treated him well and it was all because of his third uncle leading the way before he was able to enter the real estate circle. Even today's celebration of this contract, are because of the third uncle's contacts to get. Although Jin Zhang's bullying is annoying, his ability to make connections is outstanding. Eh, why are you here? Jin Jiang swept a glance at Wang Sihai with some surprise, turned his head and left him behind. The most important purpose of coming here today was Yi Yang Ah. Boss Yi. Boss Yi. I just confirmed with the developer's side that you are indeed the only owner of the Linjian neighborhood today, it's me who has no eyes, it's me who just made a fool of myself, I actually spoke disrespectfully to you, Jin Jiang nowadays regretted to death in his heart, the main thing was that this matter was indeed too ridiculous, anyone else would have to think that Yi Yan was playing him, an entire school district housing neighborhood was owned by this youth in front of him alone, what kind of concept is this, others are not clear, he this property cannot be clear, Linjiang district, the market price is calculated, by all, at least 35 billion. I don't know how many listed companies market value, can't be enough for a fraction of this neighborhood, and qualified to buy a school district housing. That must be how much energy. Thinking about it, it was simply horrible. Thinking about how he just wanted to forcefully charge such a super big shot a million excess property fees, he was trembling all over. Now, it was a small matter that his property had been replaced. If he young holds a grudge, in the future, he is afraid that there is no way for him to mix in the Magic City real estate circle. Now he was in his 40s, leaving his original circle. He is basically a wastrel. Really? Didn't you say just now that you can't see your head when you look down? Yi Yang snickered. Why are you pretending to be a grandson at this moment? Ah, I, I was just joking. You just give me a high hand and let me go as a fart. Jin Jiang groveled and begged. No, third uncle, who is this kid? You're at least a figurehead in the real estate circle. Is it necessary to be like this with him? Wang Sihai couldn't understand Jin Zhang's behavior nowadays at all. You shut the hell up. Jin Jiang shouted angrily. A single word from this youth in front of him could make him directly lose his biggest financial source, and even make him get out of the Magic City real estate circle. This nephew of his own was young and impetuous. In case he offended this mister. Yi by speaking badly, he was afraid that he really had no hope at all. He he. Yi Yang let out a faint smile. But speaking of which, is this your nephew? You did raise a good nephew. Ah, ah. Jin Jiang was just now worried that this nephew of his who was a bit arrogant and well behaved in his actions had offended Boss Yi before. And this had really happened. Boss Yi, this little brat offended you. I'll teach him a good lesson today. He now owes me 40 million dollars and wants to kick me out of this hotel. This account, how to settle it, right? Yi Yang sneered. What? Jin Zhang's eyes almost glared out. Why are you a little brat netting me trouble? Say, how do you owe Mr. Yi 40 million, and you want to kick him out. You've eaten a bear's heart and leopard's gall. Wang Sihai's aggrieved face was twisted into a chrysanthemum. Third uncle, it's not what you think. Splat. Jin Zhang directly slapped a mouth on Wang Sihai's face. Still dare to argue. It really isn't. Pa pa. Jin Zhang gave Wang Sihai two more mouths. Do you know that this mister? Yi in front of you is the sole owner of the entire Linjiang district. The property alone is tens of billions. It's several times more powerful than your chairman. Where the hell did you get the courage to mess with such a big shot? You're blind. Originally, Wang Sihai still felt aggrieved. But when he heard Jin Jiang say this, he was immediately scared out of his wits. Tens of billions of dollars in real estate alone. Then its total assets. Shall not be hundreds of billions. Hundreds of billions of assets. In China has definitely ranked. He was actually showing off and stirring up trouble in front of such a terrifying big shot. Third uncle, I really do not know ah. I just took the project. Happy. Want to come over here to pretend? Who knows actually met such a super big shot? Wang Sihai is now aggrieved to the bottom of his heart. The surrounding diners are listening to the marveling. So young, just the real estate alone is tens of billions. No wonder it's so ostentatious. Too bullish right? I just thought that he spent more than four million dollars to eat a little pretentious. Now it seems, simply too low key okay. Gulp. 
the sole owner of the entire Linjiang neighborhood. The people present were all astonished and marveled by Yi Yang's identity. Jin Jiang saw that he was almost done fanning himself, before he was letting Wang Sihai explain all the causes and consequences. After hearing it, he was also speechless for a while. You say you pretend not to look at an opponent. At least take a look at the dishes on the table and then put the words. Also, your level of this hand under the horse boy really garbage. A little eyesight or not. He did not feel that Wang Sihai's behavior is not right. Just angry at Wang Sihai bully soft in fear of hard skills did not learn home. Not even mess with the other side do not first look at. Then boast nonsense. But cursing. His face suddenly froze. So to speak. He just did not also go out of sight. This is good. Scolding people to bring themselves in. You little brat. Still not quick to apologize to Mr. Yi. Jin Jiang slapped Wang Sihai's brain. I was wrong. I was wrong. Mr. Yi. Wang Sihai bowed repeatedly, changing his previous bravado. Don't just move your mouth ah. Yi Yang waved his hand. Fan Shijin then knowingly took out the portable card swipe machine and looked at Wang Sihai with a smile. Originally, Fan Shijin was very pretty and her smile was refreshing. But now her smile falls in Wang Sihai's eyes like a demon that wants to eat people. Third uncle, I just sold my house. But I can't come up with 40 million dollars ah. He was on the verge of crying. Ha ha ha. The surrounding diners were laughing. Just came when the word said so full. Don't know thought how many billions of dollars. But the result is a sell the house can't match the others 10 meals of poor pussy. Chapter 52 Chapter 52 Surprise prepared by sister? Waste. He has the ability to cause trouble but not the ability to calm things down. Jean Jiang sighed deeply. And with a twinkle in his eye. He pulled out his bank card. Boss Yi. My nephew's debt. Let me. As an uncle. Pay it back. H.M. Yi Yan nodded slightly. It wasn't that he wasn't aware of what Jin Jiang was thinking. Giving himself this money was firstly to resolve the previous unhappiness. And secondly, it was also a way to spend money to avoid disaster. Trying to keep himself from changing the property of Linjian district. Eh? Jin Jiang trembled his hand, and his heart was also overwhelmed with flesh pain. Linjian neighborhood has never been full of people. And the opening of the property until now is only one or two years. Full counting himself is also cross-collected about 100 million property fees excluding the hit and on the supply of the money behind the big brother, plus the money that has been spent. The hand is also about 50 million dollars. All of a sudden wrote away 40 million dollars. Two years of hard work. All cheap this kid. He hated it inside. But as long as you keep the qualification of this property, the thin water will flow, and you will always be able to earn more in the future. He was ruthless, and directly swiped away the 40 million dollars. Yi Yang's side also received the message and nodded with satisfaction. You guys can go now. Cough. Boss Yi. That. Property thing? Jin Jiang asked cautiously. What I said will not change. Tomorrow, you will no longer be the property of the Linjiang neighborhood. Yi Yang frowned. The fact that I didn't expel you from the Magic City real estate circle is already the mercy I gave you. This. Jin Jiang's heart trembled and his eyes dimmed. He was supposed to look at people. Yi Yang was simply not something he could afford to offend. A word to him to withdraw. Reasonable and legal. He simply could not take the other side then the power and dark means. Wealth are not in a segment. People behind the power and black hand can be small? To be honest, he was completely and utterly abashed. It was enough to keep from being ostracized by the circle. With his ability to make friends left and right, it was never so bad that he couldn't eat. Then, Boss Yi, you eat and drink well. I'll leave first. Jin Jiang accompanied a smile and kicked Wang Sihai in the ass. Still don't get out quickly. Yes yes yes. Wang Sihai saw that the third uncle who had been mixed in the Magic City real estate circle for 20 years could only concede. He himself naturally had no choice but to run away in a mess. The surrounding diners watched this wave of twists and turns, but also secretly said that today's meal is too worth it. The plot in the movie wasn't even as exciting as this. Sure enough, art comes from reality. And in reality, the bullishness and extravagance of these godly men. Only the scriptwriters can't think of it. There is nothing that people can't do. Finally gone. Yi Yang turned his head with a smile. Eat in peace. Aha. Uh -huh. Fang Shijin was now completely worshipping Yi Yang. Naturally, she did everything she was told. After eating, Yi Yang also swiped his card and scratched more than 4 million dollars. Ding. Detected that you spent 418W for dietary consumption. Rewarding the world's number one security company, Hurricane. With 51% equity stake. Hmm. Yi Yang's heart stirred. Hurricane security. He hadn't heard of this company at all. But to be evaluated as the world's number one by the system, it must still have a couple of tricks up its sleeve. I've just been threatened by that Jin Zhang, and in my heart, I happen to want to find a few security guards. Yi Yang pondered. 
This reward is quite a coincidence. Or is my previous judgment not correct? The system doesn't give rewards based on how much money is spent, but looks at recent random events and inner needs to give rewards. The specific reward mechanism could only be studied slowly later. However, the security company that was rewarded today, he was satisfied beyond measure. Where is your home? Just in time to send you back. Yi Yang asked. Room like Jean laughed, then I would like to thank Boss Yi for the house I rented in the Qingyuan neighborhood. Rented house? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. You're a gold medal salesman. You haven't earned enough money to buy a suite? Fang Shijin smiled bitterly. It's hard ah. Magic City's house price. You are not unaware of it. It has long been expensive to the sky. A set of tens of millions of dollars. I won the gold medal sales for three years. Up to now. Also did not earn enough to one third of the house. Sales of this profession is not stable. Down payment to buy a house may not be able to pay the mortgage one day. Yi Yang was also slightly silent. He thought of himself before he got the system. At that time, he was just an ordinary software intern, and after graduation, he was recruited into a company along with the Tide, working busily, not knowing where the future lies. Even after the regularization, a monthly salary of 10, 000, want to buy a house in the magic city, have to not eat and drink a hundred years, when he does not eat and drink to save enough money. He is more than 120 years old. Thinking like this, Yi Yang actually had some feelings in his heart. However, fortunately, Everything had changed. He patted Fong Shijin's shoulder. Pack up and move to Linjiang district in a few days. The big flat in building B. It's yours. Now Fong Shijin was already his woman. The woman of God's great man went out to rent a room to live in. It was too ridiculous. With thousands of houses in his own hands, it was only natural to give one to his woman. Moreover, the future of the remaining 2000 sets of house rental problems, but also have to rely on her. The main thing is, he found that collecting rent is really tired. It took so long this morning to shop around dozens of houses. If he were to go door to door to collect rent, it would really make his head as big as a bucket. It's just as well to let Fanchijin live in Linjiang district, and it's convenient to help himself collect rent and run errands or something in the future. Yi Boss Yu. Fang Shijin covered her mouth and looked at Yi Yang with disbelief. Still calling me Boss Yi? Yi Yang smiled and patted Fang Shijin's small face. Brother Yang. Fang Shijin shouted in succession. Don't look at her as dry and mature like a royal lady, it was because she had come out to fight since she graduated from high school, the maturity and dryness of her body were all from working out in the social circle and suffering, in fact, her real age counted, normally still in her junior year of college, two years younger than Yi Yang, aha, uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded, packed up, directly called the moving company to move over, the key party child I will do for you to send over, good, Fang Shijin completely unloaded all the defenses in front of Yi Yang, turning from a royal sister into a little sheep, Boom! The Ferrari asterisk Rafa sped through the twilight of the bustling magic city, bringing up the summer evening breeze and countless sounds of amazement. After bringing Fong Shijin to soar and stimulate for a long time, only then did Ji Yang send her back to the Qingyuan neighborhood, remember to move there as soon as possible. Definitely will. Fong Shijin nodded her head, watching the delicate figure walk up the stairs. It was only then that Yi Yang withdrew his gaze and looked at the message on WeChat. Brother, we're free on Sunday. Promised me before oh. A company Xiao Zi out to play on Sunday. It turned out to be a message from his younger sister. Yi Xiao Zi. A trace of warmth flooded Yi Yang's heart. Good ah. At that time, give you a big surprise slash handsome. What big surprise ah slash doubtful. Yi Xiao Zi was hooked. Told you in advance. Still call it a surprise? Slash pig slash white eyes. Humph. Stinky old brother. Xiao Zi has prepared a surprise for you too. Yo. Don't be surprised. Slash proud. Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. This little ninny can actually prepare a surprise for me? He was also somewhat looking forward to getting up. What exactly was his sister's so-called surprise? Chapter 53, Chapter 53, Beautiful Bodyguard Sisters, drove the sports car back to the Hentaying Mountain Villa. Yi Yang was inquiring about the Hurricane Security Company, but found that there was almost no introduction to this company online. The only information is that this is a multinational joint capitalization of offshore security companies. The company was headquartered on an island in the high seas and was not subject to any legal control. Sounds awesome. Yi Yang's heart also trembled, sensing the extraordinary nature of this hurricane security company. Tut tut tut. The cell phone rang. Yi Yang looked at the offshore number on it. His heart was also moved. This should be the hurricane side calling. Hello. Yi Yang picked up the phone. Hello. Mr. Yi. We have received the news. From today onwards, you are our real boss. May I ask? What are your orders? The foreign-flavored Chinese coming from over there made Yi Yang almost laugh out loud. 
Obviously it was a Chinese girl who had been abroad for too long and was suddenly speaking Chinese and was a bit uncomfortable. Command? Yi Yan fought for a moment. Send me a copy of the company's details, then send two beautiful bodyguards nearby. The top kind. Okay, boss. We understand. The girl over there said. Right. Yi Yang reminded again. All of you practice your Chinese numbly for me. Don't use such a strange tone to speak to me anymore. Yes. Only after confirming again that Yi Yang really had no other orders did the girl just hang up the phone. Looks like the bodyguards will be in place tomorrow. Yi Yang nodded slightly. As the Hurricane Security Company was evaluated by the system as the number one security company in the world, its efficiency should not be slow. Before going to bed, Hurricane Security Company also sent the company information. Without looking, it was a shock. I go. So mysterious. Yi Yang glared. The entire Hurricane Security Company? with its wide range of businesses, was not limited to one security business at all. Among them, security, mercenary, reconnaissance, almost encompassed all businesses related to violence. Within the rule of law countries for security, bodyguards, in troubled countries, there are countless of their own forces and mercenaries waiting to be dispatched. There was nothing they couldn't reach, only what the world didn't have. The heads of some medium-sized countries were asking their people to come and take shelter. After looking at some of the deeds in the history of this security company once again, Yi Yang also completely put his heart down. Such a company, hidden in the corners of the world, had energy that radiated all over the world? It was simply impossible to measure it with money. If it wasn't really a big shot, I'm afraid that they wouldn't even have the qualifications to know about the existence of the other company, right? Thinking about it, Yi Yang directly went to sleep. The next morning, Yi Yang was awakened by the roaring sound of a helicopter. Eh? He walked out of the Hentaying Mountain Villa and inquired Yumumo who was beside him. What's going on? A black helicopter came. The specifics are still unknown. It's now parked on the tarmac in the backyard of the Hentaying Mountain Villa. Yumomo was also baffled, completely unaware of what was going on. Ah, Yi Yang's heart stirred, somewhat understanding, it should be the hurricane's arrival. What hurricane? Yumimo had never heard of this company at all. You will know in a while. Yi Yang walked to the backyard. It was to see that a pair of sisters came down from the black transportation helicopter. This pair of sisters, one was dressed in leather, like an iceberg queen. One had a baby face and was petite and cute, like a Chong Sam saber girl in Rizaman's red robe. You are boss Yi, right? The sisters had obviously seen Yi Yang's photo in advance. And when they saw Yi Yang at this time, they also directly called the boss. HM, you are the beautiful bodyguard sent by Hurricane? Yi Yang smiled slightly. Not bad. You still don't know our strength and you say it's not bad? The iceberg leather clothes queen chortled flatly. I said not bad looking. Yi Yang smiled. You should already know my name. Where are your names? Yi Yang asked. My name is Xiao Qing Xian. The leather clad queen said in a cold voice. My name is Xiao Xiaoju. The girl wearing a small red robe on the side said. Well, it seems that they are really sisters. Yi Yang laughed. Yes it boss. I'm a sister oh. Xiao Xiaoju proudly said. You are a sister. Yi Yang blinked. Xiao Xiaoju look at that baby face, say it is 18 years old or people believe, actually is a sister, sister Xiao Xiaoju is the best at disguise, don't look at a doll face, the number of top big shots that have been poisoned and assassinated by her is too many to count, Xiao Qingxuan's words made Yi Yang couldn't help but tremble, so he had to re-examine Xiao Xiaoju once more, he he he, you are our boss La, we must be 100% loyal to you, Xiao Xiaoju waved her small fists, looking harmless in any way, in the future, Sister Xiao Xiaoju and I will be one light and one dark, one civil and one military, so we can guard your safety 100%, Xiao Qingxian said in a cold voice. Yi Yang was a bit baffled. Aren't you guys security guards? How come there's a one? It's like this. Security is also divided into civil and military line. The martial line is naturally purely to fight their own force. The civil line, on the other hand, is the work that moves the head, such as poisoning, assassination, and whatnot. Xiao Qingxian lightly said these horrible words, as if these things were commonplace. Yi Yang slowed down for a long time before he was pulling up a smile. Just now you said Xiao Xiaoju is the assassination path. So you are the martial arts path? Aha. Uh -huh. Xiao Qingxian looked at Yi Yang's gaze. Boss if you think I can't fight, feel free to find 20 strong men to fight me. You can fight 20 strong men? Yi Yang marveled. The martial arts masters on TV were no better. Within 3 minutes, I guarantee that I will make these 20 people no longer have breath. Xiao Qingxian said indifferently. Yi Yang let out a bitter smile. Cough cough. Is this the confidence of the world's top beauty bodyguard? Xiao Qingxian sighed. Knowing that Yi Yang must have thought she was bragging. Casually picking up a golf club on the side. 
she effortlessly twisted it into a twist. Yi Yang's face revealed a look of flesh pain. A golf club was not cheap. Although he was not short of money, he did not want to spoil his money for no reason. However, the material of the golf club is extremely good, can be twisted into a twist, at least strength-wise. It was already far more than 10 times beyond a normal person. He was also proficient in national arts nowadays, but whether he could twist a golf club or not, he hadn't tried it yet. Although he was curious to know who was stronger between himself and Xiao Qing Xian. However, looking at the other party's appearance of wanting someone's life at the drop of a hat, he still curbed the thoughts in his mind. I guess this sister had too much pressure from her previous mission. She still has to slowly let her adapt to the rhythm of daily life in modern society. Yi Yang also understood. Hurricane do the field. Can be said to stand on the chaotic side of the world. The two sisters can go to the level of top bodyguard. Experience everything naturally not their own cannot imagine. Chapter 54 Chapter 54 In order to keep a low profile, let's drive a Rolls Royce Phantom today. There is no need to be so tight all the time. I don't have anything to resort to violence for the time being. You two first adapt to the villa environment is good. Yi Yang smiled and said, Good. Xiao Qing Xian was already concise and concise. And after Xiao Xiaozhu exchanged a glance, they separated on both sides and began to line up. What are you guys doing? Yi Yang scratched his head and asked, examining the security hidden dangers, drawing drawings, preparing to install security systems and measures in a while, eliminating all assassination dead ends, marking the possible ambush locations of snipers in the surrounding area, and planning a good avoidance plan for emergencies. Xiao Xiaozhu explained as she searched. In short, there is a lot to do. You won't understand even if I say it. Xiao Qingxian faintly added. Yi Yang spread his hands helplessly, but it was good to line up a check. Let them go. Once they familiarize themselves with the domestic environment and the level of social stability, they should be able to relax. It was time for lunch. The beautiful bodyguard sisters had finally finished all the surveys and setups and came to the table together. Boss Yi, this villa of yours is simply false and undefended. The security awareness is too poor. If I wanted to disadvantage you, I could just think of 10,000 ways to do so. Both sisters spat. Yi Yang had a black line on his face. In fact, the villa originally had a security system, but in the eyes of these top professionals, it was no different from a false no defense. But we've solved all the problems for you. Next, it's 24 hours protection for your safety. Xiao Qingxian and Xiao Xiaozhu both said with resolute expressions. I know, I know, eat quickly. It's hard work. Yi Yang smiled and waved. A meal came down. Yu Momo and the maid group also got to know each other with these two beautiful sisters. I'm going to a classmate reunion tonight, so I won't come back to eat. Yi Yang casually instructed Yu Momo. Classmate reunion? Where is it? Do you need us to step on the explosives in advance? The Xiao sisters directly stood up. Their occupational sensitivities coming back up. No, 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 no need. Yi Yang waved his hand repeatedly. What kind of missions did these two sisters perform before Ah? They killed people. Detonated explosives and snipers at the drop of a hat. Okay. When the sisters heard this, they also went down with disheartened interest. Yi Yang rubbed the shoulders of the two, there's no need to be so tense all the time. It's appropriate to enjoy life as well. Xiao Qingxian and Xiao Xiaozhu both had a shock in their eyes. Looking at Yi Yang, these words, were something they had never dared to wish for in all these years. Having been adopted by Hurricane from a young age for brutal top security training, and having lived in extremely high pressure and dangerous situations all the time, this kind of thoughtfulness and gentleness was incomparably precious to them. Then at least let us be on guard and escort outside. Xiao Qingxian said after a moment's pause. Well, this one is up to you guys. Yi Yang smiled and was off to prepare for tonight's class reunion. The gathering was dinner, but the class group was buzzing at this moment. Everyone get ready. I've confirmed with Han Sili. She's booked a meal at 6 o'clock in the evening. Let's just meet in front of Han Gu at 5.30. Class President Yu Xingcheng sent a message. Aha, I can't wait. Ha ha. All right Lu old squad leader. A group of people below were responding. Today was Saturday. Most of everyone had time in the evening. Yi Yang's heart moved and sent a message to Zhang Xian. What time do you get off work at night? I will pick you up. As a programmer, 996 is inevitable. And you have to work on Saturdays and take a day off on Sundays. Yi boss. How dare I let you pick me up slash bad smile. Okay. With me still fake polite shit. Yi Yang shrugged helplessly. Just know that bossy is good. I should be done by 4.30 here. So early? Yi Yang was a little surprised. Cough. Of course there is a special reason. Neat in a while to say. Boss Yi. I first finished the work in hand. Okay. After Yi Yang sent the message, he went to the garage to pick a car. Today, he was going to drag Zhang Xian and the bodyguard sisters. So naturally, 
It was impossible for him to ride in a sports car with only two seats anymore. Rolls Royce Phantom, you're it. After looking for a while, Yi Yang picked what he thought was a medium car of $60 million, so that it didn't look too ostentatious and didn't lose face. However, if he let that group of classmates know about this idea, he was afraid that his eyeballs would be shocked off. Just graduated less than half a year ago, except for the ones with rich families, there were not many in the class who bought a car, let alone a super luxury car of this level. I'll be the driver, I'm a good driver. Yo, Xiao Xiaozhu was naturally familiar with all kinds of luxury cars, this is a Rolls Royce top of the line Phantom, right? Known as a small tank, if it can be modified with a wave of modifications and a few 50mm vehicle mounted machine guns, it'll be perfect. Well, it's best to have a self-testing anti-terrorist bomb system or something, Xiao Qingxian added seriously. Yi Yang shivered as he listened, he kind of understood that as long as these two guys were around, he was afraid that he would live under the illusion of riots and bomb threats at all times. Cough cough, machine guns and stuff are not necessary. Drive your car in peace, Yi Yang said with a black face. Oh, Xiao Xiaozhu beamed, but Xiaozhu still wants to spit. Boss, your safety awareness is too poor. Yi Yang cried and laughed as he nodded. You're right about everything. As long as you don't put any machine guns in my car, it's all up to you. The sisters sat in the front row. Yi Yang, on the other hand, looked like a big boss, lying on his back in the wide seats at the back. He was not worried about Zhang Xian's behavior. But in case he was judged as dangerous by Xiao Qingxian after he got on the car in a while, he was afraid that he would not be able to avoid a search and capture. So in order not to scare this diehard, it would be better to let him sit in the same row as himself. Dripping, the Rolls-Royce Phantom stopped at the entrance of the Imperial Finance Building, and the glittering little gold man made the surrounding people cast envious gazes. Rolls-Royce Phantom, a single one is at least 20 to 30 million dollars. I really don't know which chairman's precious seat. Alas, envy cannot come. This thing, birth did not bring, a lifetime do not have to think. Yes, at this time, Zheng Xian also followed a few colleagues out of the building entrance. While chatting with colleagues, while looking for the license plate number that Yi Yang said, holy shit, little golden man, or mirage. A few co-workers could not help but marvel at the super luxury car when they saw it right after they went out. Zheng Xian compared several times before he was dryly confirming that this car, indeed, belonged to Boss Yi. Hey. Zhang Xian, what are you doing? Want to take a picture with the luxury car? The human car owner seems to be still inside it. This is also too impolite right? Although we also want to go. Zhang Xian cried and laughed as he waved his hand and casually said, My friend is waiting for me inside the car. What? The crowd of colleagues were all confused. Then they all seemed to remember something and came to a realization. Could it be him? Chapter 55 Chapter 55 The Bodyguard Sister's Strange Thoughts That legendary legendary intern. Shut up you. Don't talk if you don't know how to talk, that's the owner of the entire imperial financial building. Several co-workers were looking enviously at Zhang Xian who was sitting in the Rolls Royce. Unexpectedly, they will never be able to experience that kind of luxury car in their whole life, and will have no chance with it. Thinking of this, they all inwardly lamented. It's good to have an awesome old classmate. Looks like the rumors from that day were true. When that big shot came, the chairman of the entire financial building was so shocked that he came out to greet him. The other floors had obviously heard about Yi Yang's deeds that day, but because it was too ridiculous, they had always treated it as someone from the software company bragging. Such a bullish character running your software company as an intern. It wasn't until today when they saw Zhang Xian in this kind of luxury car that they really believed it for three points. This Zhang Xian because of this old classmate of his can be considered to be on a level playing field. Really envious. Just after sitting on the car, Zhang Xian was wide-eyed. Hiss, boss Yi is bullish. Pick up two girls at once. Zhang Xian was just an ordinary person. Where in reality had he seen such stunningly beautiful sisters who were more beautiful than those packaged movie stars by an unknown amount? Xiao Qingxian turned her head, her eyes cold and sharp. It's just that the eyes are a little fierce. Zhang Xian directly wimped out. He was an ordinary person. And in front of the iceberg aura of such a top-tier bodyguard, his knees were a bit weak. Ha ha, this is my old classmate. Dead friend. No need to be so guarded. Yi Yang waved his hand and said repeatedly. Only then did Xiao Qingxian turn her head. We've seen a lot of them. It's only those who consider themselves very close that can successfully poison them. Yi Yang cried and laughed. According to the brain circuits of these two sisters, there was afraid that there was no good silver in this world. Ah uh, ah. Uh, this. Zhang Xian was trembling. How did he suddenly talk about such a horrible issue? This is the bodyguard I hired. The brain circuit is a bit different from normal people. Just get used to it. Yi Yang explained with a bitter smile. Bodyguard? Zhang Xian was even more shocked and blurted out, this thin arm and leg can be a bodyguard? 
You want to try? A dangerous sheen appeared in Xiao Qingxuan's eyes. Xiao Xiaozhu, on the other hand, covered her mouth and laughed softly, knowing that this brat was afraid that he would be out of luck. Cough. This is a ruthless person who can twist a golf club into a twist. You'd better hurry up and apologize. Yi Yang kindly advised. Holy shit, it's my disrespect. Lady warrior. Zheng Xian's little face turned white with fear after hearing this and bowed to apologize. Humph, count on you to be sensible. Xiao Qingxian withdrew her fierce qi and was sitting back down. All right, open up. Yi Yang smiled and beckoned. Boom. Rolls Royce, as a successful person's car, was never known for its stability and atmosphere. And when it was started, although it was not as powerful as a sports car, it was enough for everyone to feel the oppressive feeling from a $60 million luxury car. How have you been lately? Yi Yang asked. Thanks to Boss Ye's blessing, I was directly converted in the past few days. And this month I was paid the salary of a full-fledged employee. 12,000 after tax. He he he. Finally have money in my hand. Alas. Zheng Xian lamented, if it is not Yi Boss Yu, we still have to at least two months to turn it. It is said that the above is considering to do this project on the promotion of me as a project team deputy team leader. Well, count on Zhang Wanmin to do something. Yi Yan nodded slightly. Zheng Xian's ability he was clear. To be a project team leader or something? More than enough. But unusual companies will card your work experience. You are no longer awesome. You can only be a trainee for three months first. Take a meager salary. Squeeze your labor. Zhang Xian can turn so quickly. Even to start promotion. Everyone can see what is going on. But no one dares to discuss. After all, people's workability is not bad. Treat people also easy. Most of all, Yi Yang's status is really too high. They want to talk about it. They don't know how to open their mouths. They even felt that it was too reasonable. What's more, some even feel that this is too unfair to Zhang Xian. With this relationship and ability, directly raise the project manager are enough. However, this is precisely the performance of Zhang Wanmen will do things, not too publicized, both consider the face of both sides, but also take care of Zhang Xian's reputation, not to be chewed behind the back. It's all because you're bullish. Boss Yi, I throw, called you boss for more than 10 years before you show your cards that you are a super rich second generation. It's really not enough. Zhang Xian muttered, although he said so, but in his heart, he was incredibly proud. He had long been treating Yi Yang as his own brother. How could he not be proud when his own big brother was bullish? Actually, this is all to test you. Yi Yang patted Zhang Xian's shoulder in a fuss. Really fake, I'm credible now. Boss Yi, are there any property rights that I should inherit? Zhang Xian also pretended to be calm. Get lost you. Yi Yang laughed and shook his head. But speaking of which, this dude was really interesting enough. It was hard to find a job nowadays, and at that time, when he could stand up to himself against Jin, it was at the risk of losing his job and going to the bureau, not to mention all the things that the two had gone through between them during their school days. Such a good brother, in today's time, is too rare, when you encounter it, you have to cherish it. That day if I can't afford to level Jin, do you regret coming forward? Yi Yang asked casually. I regret ah, I don't care about you if this happens again. Zhang Xian scratched his head and said sheepishly. Ha ha ha. Your habit of scratching your head when you tell lies just won't change. Yi Yang shook his head helplessly. Also, there's no need to say too much at the class reunion later. Our half a year did not see the old classmates. Happy to eat a meal is good. There is no need to make what is right and wrong high and low. Oh, no boss Yi. As long as they don't go overboard. I won't say anything. Zhang Xian muttered. Originally, he still wanted to give Yi Yang a good shout out at the reunion in a while and raise his eyebrows. After all, back then, there were a lot of male students in the class who were jealous of Yi Yang and hated to see him finished. If they are aggressive, it's not my fault. Zheng Xian silently added in his heart, as the Rolls Royce Phantom sped along, in front of the Han court's door. Class President Yu Xingcheng got down from the BMW. He was considered to be in good condition in the class. His family bought a BMW 5 Series for him just after he worked. Wang Guan Yu this mix is really good. Follow Peng Fei mix are driving a Mercedes Benz? Yu Chenggong surprised. Ha ha. I'm just driving a bus for the company. It's all about brother Su lifting up. Although Wang Guan was modest, but in his heart there was a sense of superiority. No matter how he drove the car than the class president after all. The class president's family conditions could be stronger than his. The university was mostly more popular than him. And now he could only praise him. I was driving the road for brother Su. And brother Su's car will arrive later. You're not talking about. This Rolls Royce Phantom. Chapter 56 Chapter 56 Comparing cars can't be beat. Even female companions are abused to scums. Rolls Royce. What Rolls Royce? You guys don't even recognize the luxury car. At the end of his words, 
Wang Guan, who had turned around, directly cracked in place, because he saw the Rolls Royce Phantom. Crap, big luxury car ah, brother Su's father hasn't even driven such an awesome car, Wang Guan muttered. Su Pengfei drove a low-profile Porsche 911, which was only one or two million dollars, and even one of the Rolls Royce's wheels wasn't estimated to top it. Even Su Pengfei's father drove a seven or eight million dollar Mercedes Maybach. Compared to the Rolls Royce Phantom, the difference could be more than one or two points. It should be whichever chairman is here to talk business, right? Really envious. Don't think about it. On our highest salary of 18, 000, a lifetime of salary saved together. Also not necessarily enough for people this a car money. Ha ha. Alas. You this kid. Which pot is not mentioned which pot. Do not dream in awe. A group of students are sighing and lamenting. But when they saw that the car was indeed driving towards them. The heart are a shudder. Why do I feel that this car is driving towards us ah? It can't be. Can it? I haven't heard that any of our classmates are super rich second generation ah. Could it be that he won the lottery? Bullshit. He could only afford this car if he won the lottery 10 times in a row. Right? If he had that kind of luck, he'd be in outer space already. Why would he still be in our class? Is right. Just when the students were talking, Rolls Royce steadily stopped in front of the crowd. Hiss. Is really here for us. Kada. The door opened. Zhang Xian walked out from it. Holy shit. It's actually Zhang Xian. Has this kid gotten rich? Sacrificing his sex to get a rich woman. I think it's possible. Inside the car. Originally, Yi Yang intended to get out of the car first. But the two bodyguard sisters were arguing over who would accompany Yi Yang inside. One was bright and the other was dark in order to escort the whole thing. I should go. Close protection has always been my specialty. Xiao Qingxian said. The situation is different this time. It's better for me to go. Xiao Xiaozhu discussed. You say, who's going? Xiao Qingxian turned around and looked at Yi Yang. Eh? Yi Yang let out a bitter smile. It's better for Xiao Xiaozhu to go with me. I'm afraid that you'll go in later and hang and whip all these old classmates of mine. Okay. Xiao Qingxian wilted like a frosted eggplant. Xiao Xiaozhu, on the other hand, made a victory gesture and directly opened the door to get out of the car. Seeing Xiao Xiaozhu get out of the car, the crowd of students all marveled. Zheng Xian really has a rich woman. Crap, this is also too cute and pretty. I'm going to die. How can this be? Zheng Xian made a big red face. The beautiful woman and the luxury car are all boss yes. I'm just hitching a ride. Ha! Huh? It was only then that the crowd of students were seeing Yi Yang who slowly walked out of the car. So it's Yi Yang who has a rich woman. Ha ha ha. After all, Yi is so handsome. This I can understand. The students were then relieved. Yi Yang had a black line on his face. This group of old classmates is also strange. How full of mind is evening rich women? Can't it be that he suddenly made a fortune and got rich? You guys are also underestimating Boss Yi. This luxury car is Boss Ye's. Beauty. Humph. Xiao Xiaozhu glanced threateningly at Zhang Xian. Hello everyone. My name is Xiao Xiaozhu. I'm brother Ye's girlfriend. After Xiao Xiaozhu stopped Zhang Xian, she directly smiled sweetly and took Yi Yang's arm at once. What? Even Yi Yang was dumbfounded. What kind of script is this? Disguised as a girlfriend in order to better carry out the protection mission I all said I'm a bodyguard. The thugs will definitely notice me well. Boss you are too amateurish. Xiao Xiaozhu leaned over Yi Yang's ear and spat in a low voice. Okay, okay, you're right about everything. Yi Yang could only surrender. Cut. It's not still evening your rich woman. The crowd of students were all waving their hands and snickering. But inside they were all crazy acid sea flooded with envy and jealousy. Hating that they didn't have a handsome face to seduce such a beautiful young and cute little lowly. What are we waiting for? Let's go in. Someone suggested. Even the Rolls Royce Phantom had arrived. And with such a heavyweight cute beauty, everyone had left behind the matter of greeting Su Xiao and Han Sili. Right. 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 Go go go. He he he. The students intended to flock Yi Yang and Xiao Xiaozhu directly into the Han Pavilion. Forget it. The person who invited us for dinner today hasn't come yet. It's not good to go in like this. Yi Yang smiled. While talking. A Porsche 911 brought up a tawdry drift dump and entered everyone's field of vision. Su Pengfei was also leading Kai Mao Mao out of it in an imposing manner. The pride on his expression overflowed. Why don't you take a look at my awesome and explosive car? Look at your former goddess. My current girlfriend. But tilted his head and fooled around for half a day. And didn't see anyone issuing any exclamations of surprise and envy. It made the smug expression on his face freeze up. Becoming more and more awkward. Only Wang Guan bumbled his way up. Welcome our mister. Su. However, it was really hard for the students who had just seen the Rolls Royce Phantom and the super cute beauty to gush out any surprise from the bottom of their hearts. In this comparison, Su Pengfei was simply a little too low. Ahem. Listening to the sparse welcoming sounds around him, 
Su Pengfei has only realized that things are not right, carefully surveyed the surrounding. The moment he saw Yi Yang, his heart was completely abashed. He could remember clearly what happened in the Vacheron Constantine store. People are now Vacheron Constantine International's total injector. The actual holding. It could be said that he was the helmsman of Vacheron Constantine. Tough as nails. Even his own old man in front of others is just an ordinary character. With another sweep, he saw the Rolls Royce Phantom by its side. Gulp. Su Pengfei inside is even more bitter. No wonder no one marveled at his 911. The original early attire is worth a 911 super luxury car debut. But what about this? How much I still have beauty. Women. Me day ah. Su Pengfei saw Xiao Xiaozhu on the side again and directly exploded in place. The car cannot catch up with others a wheel. How beauty is also so much worse. I hate ah. Although Kai Mao Mao was considered a class flower beauty in her class. But if you really put it on a large level. It wasn't particularly outstanding. And Xiao Xiaozhu's sweet looks could be described as bright and incomparable. Coupled with the temperament she had cultivated over the years. When you compare the two. The gap doesn't even need to be said. It was directly abused into scum. Ahem. Embarrassing. Su Pengfei simply wanted to find a crack to drill into the ground at this time. There was no longer the high and mighty slutty aura that he had just gotten out of the car. Chapter 57 Chapter 57 This is called a rich woman. This is clearly a rich lowly. Su Pengfei directly silent. Just now the arrogance is no longer exist in the slightest. Kai Mao Ma was the only one who sized up Yi Yang with a strange color in her eyes. And she regretted it in her heart. Alas. If when I was in college, I wasn't so short-sighted and poured everything into getting Yi Yang's heart. How happy I should be now. Su Pengfei swept aside Kai Mao Mao's eyes. Feeling that mentally, he already had a prairie over his head. He 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 he. You're young and promising. Young Su. That's unrivaled in the class. Wang Guan didn't have the slightest bit of eyesight. And was still trying his best to help Su Pengfei advocate on the side. Su Pengfei was so angry that he directly gave Wang Guan a brain crash. Enough. Give me a pair of glasses for bad eyes. Finished. He also did not wait for others. Shame red face. With Kai Mao Mao directly into the Han court. Han Sili has told them in advance a while to be arranged in the Hanchi box. TSK, how come this is still in a hurry? It doesn't work either. Wang Dalong skimmed his lips. Put, looking at the polished Su Pengfei who didn't even dare to pretend to be a pussy. Getting out of the car and letting Yi Yang give him seconds. A group of students couldn't help but burst out laughing. Cough cough. Guan Ping at this time afterthought tasted out the flavor. Sardonically smiled. Excuse me excuse me. Su Xiao you wait for me ah. The group said to trust Su Xiao to find a job a few students at this time also gave up Su Xiao. Eyes flooded with glittering look at Yi Yang. This is the big tree ah. Although there is the suspicion of a rich woman. But after all. People drive a Rolls Royce Phantom. Put a fart than Su Pengfei grinding his lips useful ah. However. Before they could open their mouths. A beautiful Ferrari is racing in. In the car. The beautiful shadow stepped on Bulgari high heels. Wearing a luxury goods. Walked down. Bright like a movie star. If there wasn't Xiao Xiaozhu here to calm the scene, I'm afraid that the other party would have become the brightest star in the whole scene. Who is this person? Why does it look a bit familiar? Hiss. Still a few girls recognized Han Chiri first. After all, they lived in the same dormitory. Even if the other party's existence was small when she was in college and has changed a lot, it's only been half a year. So it's not like she wouldn't be able to recognize her. Han Cherry. What? She's Han Chiri. Who is Han Chai Li? When going to college, Han Sili almost rarely in school. Do not live in a dormitory. May have graduated do not know there is such a classmate. Even if there is some impression of each other. At this time Han Sili's dress and impression of the difference is too big. Shaking eyes really do not dare to confirm. Oh ho. This dress. Beads of jewelry. Luxury breath came. At least to say more than 100. 000. zero, zero right? Sili after graduation this is where she got rich. A few girls in the same dormitory couldn't help but ask with some acidity. More than a hundred thousand dollars? Yi Yang smiled and shook his head. The other hand that Vacheron Constantin watch he did recognize. At that time felt too cheap did not take. But it seems to be worth close to two million looks. It seems that the other party has picked up a good boyfriend. But whether it was a boyfriend or an old friend. We'll see. Hello everyone. Han Cherry also had a slight smile on her face. Only that the smile exuded some sense of distance. She had never looked up to these classmates. Now that she was back. She was just raising her eyebrows to reassure herself that she had made the right choice. That while everyone else was studying hard and accumulating work experience. She had gone and invested in herself. And ended up living a better life than any of these busybodies. And millions of times better. That's driving a Ferrari. Ah. My boyfriend bought this for me. It's not expensive. It's only 10 million or so. And he said that he'll drive it for fun first. And when he gets married in the future. He'll give me a good one. 
Hunt Siley laughed softly, pretending to be disgusted. This car is indeed of a lower grade, and the ones my classmates drive must be much better than my car, right? Her move was called retreating for advancement, low-key manifestation of her financial power, but she did not expect. With the presence of the heavenly fate lone star Yi Yang, today, she is destined to miscalculate. Well, Siley Yu this car is indeed considered one of the best among your classmates. I envy you to find such a bullish boyfriend. However, and Yi Yang then, or a few grades worse ah, classmates into the social experience for a few months. Where can not see Han Siley want to pretend? As a former roommate, the other party mixed so well, they are still squeezing the bus, under the psychological imbalance. At this time where can make each other so comfortable? If there was no Yi Yang, they had nothing to say. But, now the situation was completely different. Yi Yang, when listening to the first half of the sentence, Han Siley's heart was happy. The second half of the sentence once she exited, her face changed, and she thought, can't it be that that little white boy actually made a fortune? Heart secretly bad, casually swept around, is to see that can be described as dazzling Rolls Royce Phantom. Gulp. She couldn't help but swallow her saliva. Even if it was her boyfriend, that's the car he was driving, and her boyfriend's age is still. Damn. Just when she wanted to fight for face with her Ferrari, she was blinded by the Rolls Royce little gold man. But how could he afford such a tens of millions of dollars super luxury car? Han Siley's heart was raging and the sky was turning over. But on the surface, she forced herself to keep her composure and barely smiled. Then it's really congratulations that you can actually afford to drive a Rolls Royce. Yi Yang smiled and waved his hand. What's there to congratulate? It's not a good car. The entire class fell silent and inwardly roared in unison. So you're the real fucking pussy king. Yi Yang helplessly shrugged his shoulders. He drove a Rolls Royce Phantom is indeed to be low key to come ah. No one believes in this era truthfully. Cough. Siley ah. Didn't you say your boyfriend is treating you? How come he didn't come? In order to ease the embarrassment, class president you success asked in succession. He ah. He's too busy. He'll come over after dealing with the company. It's fine. Let's eat first. There's no rush on his side. Hunt Siley explained. Her gaze somewhat evasive. Oh oh. Then since this is the case, everyone has arrived. So let's go into the Han Pavilion and dine first. Class President Yu Xingcheng said with a smile. Aha, eat quickly. I'm all hungry. Ha ha, haven't seen you in half a year. The king of big appetite is still my king of big appetite. The brains of the group of students were all dumbfounded by the success of luxury cars and beautiful women. And it was only at this time when they mentioned that they wanted to eat that they reacted to the fact that today turned out to be a get together. Han Siley was a little nervous. And along the way, she also inquired a little bit about Yi Yang's information. So it's also a rich woman in the evening. Han Siley's heart slowly loosened up and was happy. However, when she saw the so-called rich woman Xiao Xiaoju in the mouth of the crowd, her mind directly exploded. What the hell is this called a rich woman? This is clearly a little lowly. Chapter 58 Chapter 58 This surprise seems to be too big point. Hello, have you reserved a private room? Several waiters greeted up. The Han flag private room. Han Siley and Yi Yang were now the most colorful ones today and were naturally surrounded by a group of students. At this time, Han Siley was also proudly reporting the box number. In any case, today was her boyfriend's treat after all. It was her home turf. Aha, uh -huh. okay, please follow us. Once the waiter heard that it was the Han banner box, a few more moments of respect were added to his eyes. Han flag was one of the four major boxes under the black dragon box. Without some identity strength, one really couldn't get it. The one who could book the Han flag box was at least the chairman of the board who had a head and face in Magic City. 2-2. A group of people all came to the Han flag box with the waiter. This person is somewhat familiar hey. The receptionist lady looked at Yi Yang who was surrounded by a group of people going up the stairs. Her finger tapped her lower lip. Isn't this the black dragon card guest that manager Lee asked us to enter that day? The person beside him tapped his head. Manager Lee also told us to remember this appearance to death. When someone else's family came to our place. We still don't know, and we've slowed them down. It was important to know that there were only two Black Dragon card VIPs in Han Court. One was the household name Warren Buffett. So naturally, it was impossible to recognize him. The other was Yi Yang. As for these great godly heroes, they tended to be incredibly low-key, and came to dine sometimes not willing to show their Black Dragon treadmill gold card. Therefore, Han Gu also made the front desk remember Yi Yang, the super top big VIP. Quick, go report managerly. The first front desk lady who reacted said in a row, Aha, then here you watch first. The other front desk young lady even found Manager Lee and explained the situation. Hiss. Manager Lee shuddered. I'm not qualified to receive this kind of big shot. You quickly notify the boss that Mr. 
Yi is here. I'll first invite Mr. Yi to the Black Dragon Treading Gold Pavilion. Good. The young lady nodded her head repeatedly, just as the Han Pavilion staff was shocked and busy for Yi Yang's arrival. Han Flag Box. I have to say, Han Court is really the best Chinese restaurant in Magic City. This decoration, this taste, TSK, it's really worth it. A group of students were like Lu 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 entering the Grand View Garden along the way, and couldn't help but let out a gasp of amazement. As a contemporary college student, they boasted that they had seen the world, and even ate large meals that cost several hundred dollars a person. However, the environment of those restaurants and the Han Pavilion, simply cannot be compared. Pure sandalwood decoration, and even some of the Republic of China paintings and calligraphy decorated corridor. Staircase wood carvings are please master carefully carved masterpieces. Walking here, it is like walking in the corridor of art and time and space. Just this environment, can be said to shake the soul. Too awesome, no wonder the per capita consumption of a meal is tens of thousands of dollars. Just this decoration, it's worth the price ah. That's right, that's right. Siley's boyfriend is simply too discerning. Good taste, listening to the surrounding these boasts. Han Siley heart not to mention how beautiful. At this moment, the unhappiness of being crushed by Yi Yang in every aspect at the doorway had also dissipated quite a bit. Yi Yang, on the other hand, smiled faintly at this, nothing fluctuating. He was still the only VIP of the Black Dragon treading gold card. However, today he intended to come to meet a few good old classmates, or try to be as low key as possible. Well, Loki is his own character, did not see himself today deliberately only drive a 60 million dollars out of the carrot. Yo, Su Pengfei, I said why did I see you outside, so I came in first, Hunt Sili let out a faint smile, looking at Su Pengfei who had long been sulking in Hanchi's box, a glance saw the general thing that had just happened, seeing that someone was in the same boat as herself, the unhappiness in her heart just now was again reduced a bit, and she directly resumed her self-confidence bursting with ownership mentality. Su Pengfei's eyes went straight when he saw Han Sili, and his heart secretly said crap. If he had known that Han Sili was so beautiful when she was dressed up, he wouldn't have chased after Kai Mao Mao when he was in college and started chasing after Han Sili. However, what he didn't know was that Han Sili's target wasn't the second generation of rich people at all, but the rich generation. So even if he put his target on others, it was useless. It might be more reliable for the target to become making Han Sili his stepmother. Yo, our class flower. She's getting prettier and prettier haha, <laughs> also became boyfriend and girlfriend with Xiao Su. Congratulations. Han Sili squinted her eyes. Back then, when Kai Mao Mao was named the class flower, she was still out fishing, and to say she didn't care would be a lie. However, this was a different time, and she was going to take back everything that was rightfully hers today. He he, not as pretty as you. Sister Kai Li really knows how to joke. Although Kai Mao Mao was unwilling, she could only admit that today's Han Sili was much prettier than she was dressed up. Ha ha ha, class flower is polite. Hunt Sili smiled back. Just as everyone was sensing the sharp odor of this, the sound of borrowing also came from the distance. Hmm, the students all looked over suspiciously. Ahem, hello everyone, I'm Manager Lee of the Han Pavilion. Manager Lee bowed slightly, looking courteous and smiling. Oh oh, hello manager, what's the matter? Yu Chenggong asked suspiciously. It should be that my boyfriend has specially instructed Han Gu to make some arrangement, right? Alas. He's a person who likes to engage in a little romance. Han Sili couldn't help but start brainstorming. I really envy Chai Ri, having such a sweet, romantic and rich husband. That's just it. It's all human. My poor boyfriend, he doesn't even buy me a few tens of thousands of dollars bag. The difference is really huge. The crowd of girls were envious beyond measure. Han Sili waved her hand. Aya, uh, calling her husband is still a bit early ah. Uh. It's not up to me to say whether to get married or not. Manager Lee looked at Han Sili as if she were a fool, not knowing what this bitch is mad about here. However, out of professionalism, he still smiled and said, Han Gu has prepared other boxes for everyone, please move over. After saying that, he also looked at Yi Yang. After seeing that the other party did not have any objections, only then did he put his heart down. It seems that Mr. Yi is also satisfied with such an arrangement. Don't think that I don't know. Han Flag is the best box in Han Pavilion. You guys won't be trying to pass it off as second best. Right. Han Sili frowned, getting upset. The Black Dragon Treading Gold Pavilion was the supreme box. No one could even go in, much less allow people like them to go in. It could be considered a decoration for unusual people, and was directly removed from her consideration. Ahem. Manager Lee shook his head. Don't misunderstand. We are trying to invite you all into our Black Dragon Treading Gold Pavilion to dine. We have carefully prepared the highest standard feast for you all to enjoy. Black Dragon Treading Gold Pavilion. 
The students who knew the details of the Black Dragon Pavilion were all in deep shock at this moment. Even Hans Siley was baffled. He knew that his husband liked to prepare small surprises for people. But this surprise seemed a little too big ah. Chapter 59 Chapter 59 Black Dragon Treading Gold Pavilion Tang Rugwa pays his respects. Please follow me. Manager Li smiled lightly as he led Yi Yang and his classmates out of the Han flag box together and headed to the Black Dragon Treading Gold Pavilion. As a manager, if he did anything wrong in front of Mr. Yi, he would be directly fired. So as smart as he was, he wouldn't find himself in trouble over nothing. All these misunderstandings would naturally be solved when the boss of the Han Pavilion arrived in person in a while. Inside here, is where the Black Dragon Treading Gold Pavilion is located. Manager Li said with a smile. Ooh. The crowd of students looked at the gate in front of them, and a sense of awe suddenly rose in their hearts. The gate was more than three meters high, carved from a block of heavy black marble, reflecting a respectful luster. On both sides of the gate, on each side, there was a sinuous black dragon carving, wantonly meandering, with an extremely strong visual impact. Ta-da! The gate slowly opened. A dining inner room that exceeded everyone's cognizance was displayed in everyone's eyes. I go, is this a fairyland? The students walked into the Black Dragon treading gold pavilion, and they all let out bursts of amazement. Inside was a self-contained cycle with rockery and flowing water, and even fish and shrimp could be seen. A huge round table made of rosewood was displayed here, causing people to lament the immortal and trenchant atmosphere of the room. Black Dragon treading gold pavilion is the boss's favorite place. Just to create this one supreme private room, it cost more than $100 million. Manager Li bowed to Yi Yang once again. Have a nice meal. I will retire first. The boss will come to pay you a visit in a while. Hear that? This is a supreme private room that cost more than $100 million. My god. What virtue and ability do I have to actually eat in such an awesome place? These students could not sit still. After all, in case they touched something here, they were afraid that they wouldn't be able to pay it back if they worked for the rest of their lives. This is too dignified. Siley what exactly does your husband do? How rich does this have to be to get this kind of treatment? Originally said that the one who invited for dinner was Han Siley's boyfriend. Now that the box was changed, everyone naturally subconsciously thought that this was what Han Siley said, the surprise prepared by her boyfriend. In a while, I heard that all the bosses of Han court will come to meet him. It's really awesome. A crowd of students were either jealous or envious. All of them surrounded Han Siley. Yi Yang, on the other hand, was chatting and farting with a few of his brothers who played the best in college. This box is clearly for boss Yi. Zheng Xian deflated his mouth. He could see that the object of Boss Li's conversation had been Yi Yang, and Han Siley stood beside him. That's why it was misunderstood by everyone. Ha ha, what's the point of caring about this? I'm looking forward to his boyfriend's dumbfounded expression when he comes in and gets lost in a while. The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up and said with a bad smile. Serve the dishes. First course, nine dragons capture the pearl. Second course, eighty mortals crossing the sea. Third course, seven starlights. One by one. The magnificent dishes were brought up, and each of them made the students exclaim that they had opened their eyes, so the dishes can still be done this way. This plating is also too immortal. It's simply a work of art. I'm embarrassed to move my chopsticks. Phew. This flavor. It's perfect. A beautiful, colorful and flavorful dish came up. The blowing, complaining and spitting between the students was temporarily suspended. Grrrr. The beautiful and excellent temperament waitress personally poured fine wines for the crowd. Introducing in passing, this is 20 years of daughter's red in Shaoxing yellow wine. Absolutely excellent wines. 20 years of daughter's red? A small altar sells for $200,000, right? Su Pengfei, who always ate at luxury restaurants, smacked his lips, and he, who had been struck by Yi Yang and didn't want to speak, couldn't help but pop up and marvel. He usually just ordered a few thousand dollars of red wine to pretend to be a pussy. This kind of $200,000 a small altar of daughter red, but never dared to touch it. TSK, this flavor, excellent. He took a bite and said with an intoxicated expression, your husband is really atmospheric and bold. The classmates were all praising. Alas, this person is like this. There is no merit, just a bit of money. Do everything so wasteful? Han Siley was just about ready to put on another wave of pussy. The gate opened again. A slightly blonde middle-aged man in a tang suit walked in elegantly. Seeing this middle-aged man, Su Pengfei directly stood up. He was naturally aware that this was the owner of Han Court, Mr. Tang Rugwa, who was often found in high-end restaurants. Being able to make a restaurant the number one in Magic City, it was internationally renowned. It was even valued at billions. Simply too much of a marvelous thing. It's much harder than doing business to create a company with tens of billions of dollars, because Hangu has no investors. 
much less listed, purely by its own pure value. It reached billions. Many bosses with tens of billions or tens of billions of market capitalization admired this Tang Rugua. Su Pengfei speculated that the background behind it should not be small. For this, Yi Yang also had some guesses. State banquet chef and state seller Fen Wine. It's not something you can get with money. He is the owner of Han Court? Han Sili also picked her chin proudly and walked forward, ready to accept its handshake. Unexpectedly, Tang Rugwa just smiled amiably in front of her. This young lady, please make way. Now, everyone was confused. The Han Pavilion boss actually wasn't here to find Han Cherry. Then, at this moment, everyone was reacting and looked at Yi Yang in shock. Could it be, looking for Yi Yang? This black dragon treading gold pavilion was also arranged by Yi Yang. Is this him more than just a soft eater? It can't be. Only Su Pengfei, who knew the tip of the iceberg of Yi Yang's strength, let out a bitter smile in his heart and whispered, It's really like that. Mr. Yi, Mr. Tang has heard about your name for a long time, and today I finally got to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Tang Rugwa took the initiative to shake Yi Yang's hand and said with a smile, It's really true. My god, boss of the Han Pavilion with this kind of status, actually came specifically in order to meet Yi Yang. This, what the hell, didn't he say he came to find that boyfriend of Han Cherry? You're stupid are you, is your reflexes that long? She's here to find Yi Yang, I can tell. Wang Dalan looked at the unresponsive female classmate next to him. You dead straight boy. The female classmate next to him instantly reddened her face. Only Han Sili stood there dumbfounded. Her mind complex, her face burning like charcoal, a mixture of shame, disbelief, and dismay, causing her to be completely at a loss as to what to say. Boss Tang. Yi Yang also smiled and returned the salute. The other party had come to see him specifically. He couldn't leave people out in the cold. You are one of the only two holders of the Black Dragon Treading Gold VIP card in this store. Coming to dine in this store. I should have come out to greet you. Slack. Slack. Tang Rugwa took out a jade bottle from his sleeve. This immortal brew is passed down from my family's ancestors. As an indemnity. Ha ha, mister. Ye don't push back. Black Dragon Treading Gold VIP card card holder. All those present were shocked by this term. Including Han Sili. They all turned around with wide eyes and looked at Yi Yang with disbelief. How is it possible? Chapter 60 Chapter 60 It's all fake. He's a big liar. Since Mr. Yi has an appointment today, I won't bother much. If there is an opportunity in the future, then I will privately find Mr. Yi to have a knee to knee talk. Tang Rugwa said smilingly. Good. Yi Yang nodded slightly. The other party was really like a spring breeze, worthy of being a big shot who could make a restaurant to be valued at billions of dollars. Tang Rugwa was also very discerning, and after delivering the immortal brew and expressing his goodwill, he turned around and left. Is he really a black dragon card VIP? Not by that rich woman beside him, himself a black dragon card VIP. Oh my god, how is this possible? What the black dragon card VIP meant had long been rumored just now, right now. The Black Dragon Treading Gold card of the Han Pavilion was only available to Buffet. Wouldn't that mean that Yi Yang's status could rival Buffet's? Yeah, or do you guys think I'm bragging? Zheng Xian finally found a chance to raise his eyebrows. Now that paper couldn't wrap the fire, he naturally didn't intend to keep a low profile. Yi Yang didn't want to create a sense of strangeness among his classmates, but he was not used to seeing Ba Xi being looked at as a gigolo who was evening out a rich woman. At this moment, he also let out a cold smile. Ba Xi's identity, Think through your heads. You will never be able to think of it. Can't even think of it. It's hard to believe that he has tens of billions of dollars in assets. Is he actually a big shot that shakes the magic city? No way. He he. Tens of billions? You guys are also underestimating Ba Xi too much. Zhang Xian was indignant. The entire magic financial building belongs to Ba Xi. That alone is worth a few hundred billion dollars. What? The magic city financial building is all his. This. The students were all dumbfounded by the heavy bomb thrown out by Zhang Xian. The Empire Financial Building was famous throughout the entire Magic City, and was on the verge of becoming a landmark building in Magic City. Such a thing that only existed in the news and rumors was actually Yi Yang's. So you're not just the actual controller of Vacheron Constantine. The entire Imperial Financial Building is actually yours. Su Pengfei blurted out in surprise. Originally, Yi Yang being the chief controller of Vacheron Constantine had already caused him to lose his mind for several days. And now that he was bombarded with this news, he was directly confused. Hiss. If Zhang Xian was Yi Yang's little follower and had the suspicion of helping Yi Yang to support the scene, then the meaning of Su Pengfei's words in everyone's mind was completely different. Old Su. What? Were you just? Talking about. He has a Vacheron Constantine company under him. Su Pengfei's number one lapdog. Wang Guan. 
was directly paralyzed in fear on his chair. This kind of far away character. Just now he actually taunted the other party in the group that he was a rich woman. Crap. It's finished. This is too outrageous. The students' brains were all a little confused at this point. They all knew that Su Pengfei and Yi Yang were also considered old enemies. If they weren't shocked to the limit, Su Pengfei wouldn't have grown other people's ambition to destroy his own. They had long guessed that Su Pengfei knew some of Yi Yang's background. Now, it directly confirmed this speculation. Yi Yang really was a super big shot. He owns at least two major industries, the Vacheron Constantine and the Magic City Imperial Financial Building. The assets were in the hundreds of billions. No, 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 no. This is impossible. You're just a little white boy who's been evening a rich woman. Han Cherry was completely agitated. Originally, she had been hit hard enough today, because Yi Yang was also relying on others she had only balanced her heart a little bit. Now Yi Yang kept taking away the glory and admiration that should have belonged to her, and it was even confirmed that he was actually a real rich man. He has hundreds of billions of dollars in assets, more money than that old man she was looking for. Endless remorse and jealousy surged to her heart, causing her mind to directly collapse somewhat. Are you guys talking about me? Xiao Xiaozhu smiled faintly and walked to Yi Yang's side, from the very beginning you guys have been strange. In fact, I'm just my boyfriend's driver law although I'm considered a little rich myself, but I can't even compare it to my boyfriend oh. As a top bodyguard, the bounties, bonuses, and commissions from the missions she had accomplished over the years added up to billions. It was not wrong to say that she was a little rich woman, but, compared to Yi Yang, who has trillions of assets and a cash flow of hundreds of billions, it's small, put. Some students covered their hearts on the spot, saying that they simply couldn't take such a big blow. It was simply a bipolar reversal. Yi Yang had all of a sudden gone from a little white boy who relied on rich women to a super rich generation that made even the beautiful little rich women fall for him. Looking at her one sentence, she disliked these guys who had just mocked her boss and became speechless and skeptical. Xiao Xiaozhu bared her little tiger teeth in triumph. Yi Yang looked at Xiao Xiaozhu's smug little expression, smiled helplessly and rubbed her little head. All the students had their mouths wide open, not knowing what to say. Many were close to crying on the spot about the injustice of fate. Han, Sili, on the other hand, looked at Yi Yang with a cold smile. I see. That car was actually rented by you. Your girlfriend is also an actress. This is all a fake. Fake. The students blinked their eyes. This Han Cherry is hardly jealous into losing her mind. He he. My boyfriend is from the Empire State Building. He'll be able to come and dismantle you in no time. Han Chai Li looked around. Everyone wait and see who's the real big liar. Chapter 61 Chapter 61 You thick broad one. You play quite flowery behind the scenes. The students were confused. Han Cherry's boyfriend could be in the Empire State Building. And his status was definitely not low. How dare you call Yi Yang a liar if you're not completely sure. But if he wasn't really a big shot. How could a person like Tang Rubwa personally come to pay his respects and be so polite? And even said he was a black dragon card user. If he wasn't a real big shot. How could a cool pretender like Su Pengfei be so well behaved and low-key in front of Yi Yang? If he's not a real big shot, how could Zheng Xian dare to bite the bullet and say that he was the owner of the Empire State Building? After all, Zheng Xian also hangs out at the Empire State Building, when a classmate didn't know who to believe. Only Su Pengfei coldly laughed and shook his head. At that time Gong Xiaoqing's expression after seeing Yi Yang's information, he still remembers it vividly. Even if Yi Yang is not the owner of the Empire State Building, the identity of Jiang Shidantan Master Controller alone can be cross-pressured by the chairman of the board of directors of all Empire State Building within the Empire State Building. Even if it was Lord Fong, he was not qualified to rival Yi Yang, and Zhang Xian was even more sure of it. That day he almost thought that he and Bossy had beaten up Jin, and both of them couldn't walk out of the Empire State Building. The situation where dozens of chairmen came together and ended up being arrogant and respectful to Yi Yang was fresh in his mind. Pathetic woman. Xiao Xiaoju looked at Han Sili with pity, rather bored. Just an actress. What's with the stinking foolishness? Han Sili was stabbed through her most complacent shell at this moment, revealing her inferior and fragile heart, looking at Yi Yang with a face of forced confidence and pride. Yi Yang let out a bitter smile. This woman is also too inexplicable. He is not here to show off his wealth. I think you'd better calm down. Don't get yourself angry in a while. Yi Yang wanted to persuade Han Sili. Nay, his words were too straight. And in Han Sili's ears, it had long since been a different meaning. You're less complacent. There'll be a time when you can't be complacent. My boyfriend will be here soon. Han Sili was furious with Yi Yang's kind exhortation and opened her teeth. Ta-da. The Black Dragon Pavilion gate opened once again. The man stood outside the gates, a bit rattled. He had just gone to the Han banner box but did not find his lover's class reunion. After inquiring, he realized that his girlfriend and classmates had been invited into the Black Dragon Pavilion. 
What the Black Dragon Pavilion meant in the Magic City he could know too well. Gulu, afraid not his classmates hidden in what super big shot ah, to color Lee that nature, can not offend people. He admitted that he still quite like this lover, and understand and sweet, the key is the skill is super good, serving him every night comfortably, even if he knew that the other party was only pretending to be so perfect in front of him, wouldn't it be the same with someone else, might as well find one that pretends to be better, that was why he was willing to spend money for the other party, but the other party itself is a kind of person with his eyesight, see too clearly, at this time is also jittery, afraid that Hans Sile offended his classmates that super big brother, 2-2, two, two. the door opened, the moment he saw Han Sile and Yi Yang, who had become the center of attention, he directly froze on the spot, Yi Yang looked at the visitor and was also slightly stunned, Zheng Xian on the side looked at the visitor and directly his mouth opened wide enough to stuff a peach. It's actually you? Zheng Xian and Yi Yang both couldn't help but ask in unison. Aya, uh, hubby you're finally here. Han Sili directly pounced on him, like she was showing off a rare treasure, holding the man's arm, her face overflowing with pride. One minute this man bragged that he's the owner of the Imperial Financial Building. I just directly exposed him. Hey, I'm good. Right, what did you say? The man was directly scared and pushed Han Sili to the side, and even looked at Yi Yang, cough cough, boss Yi, what a coincidence, we meet again, TSK, Yi Yang sized up the man with interest, the visitor was no one else but his former chairman, the founder of Wan Min Software Company, Zhang Wan Min, I didn't expect ah, didn't expect, look at you this thick eyebrows, secretly play quite flower ah, Han Sili was kept in the dark, but he could be clear that Zhang Wan Min that had been a family for a long time, and his children were in their twenties. In this way, the truth of the matter is very obvious. Han Sili is just a lover that Zhang Wanman has kept outside. This is still a mouth a husband called. Fantasize people later to marry her home. Thinking about it is really sad and hateful. A Gu, Han Sili, this husband of yours is a bit old. Wang Daolang blurted out. Zhang Wanman look at the age of less say half to forty or fifty. You hold your tongue. Which pot isn't boiling which pot? A few of the students on the sidelines stopped Wang Daolang saving him from committing another offense. Stop me. Gaha. I was worried about her face just now. I would have said that this old man is more than enough to be her father. Put. A few girls in the class who were originally sour into lemon essence were laughing out loud at this time. Hubby, you actually pushed me. Han Cherry's heart trembled, knowing that something big was wrong. Push you. Did you just disrespect Boss Yi? I want to beat you to death now me. Zhang Wanman blew his beard and glared, so angry that his veins bulged, but his heart was aggrieved. How come the matter of offending this ferocious god was actually staked out for himself? Chapter 62 Chapter 62 500 million is not much, but it is always money ah. Uh. Hiss. This person actually treated Han Cherry so much because of Yi Yang. Doesn't that mean that what Yi Yang said is true? The students all had their mouths wide open, somewhat hard to accept. In just less than a minute, Yi Yang's image had directly undergone a sea change. From a little white boy who only ate soft rice, he had turned into a bullish to the point of explosion rich. Big shot, from Tang Rugwa's visit, to Su Pengfei's and Zhang Xian's testimonies, to now Han Sili's boyfriend's personal confirmation. This was basically hard evidence. The facts were undoubted. I, am a little confused. I go, our class actually produced such a big shot. I actually lived in a dormitory with the owner of the Magic City Imperial Finance Building, the chief controller of Vacheron Constantine. This is something I can boast about for the rest of my life. Several buddies who were on good terms with Yi Yang were all shining in their eyes marveling in awe. For them, their buddies being bullish was something to be quite proud of, and they even felt honored. However, those who were jealous, who had problems with Yi Yang, and who had counted on him. On the other hand, they were all trembling, angry and jealous, I even counted on him in the beginning. This is fucking finished ah, such a horrible big man, a word can make me completely disappear in the Huangpu River. No, a moment after the party breaks up I have to find an opportunity to count out a brother Yi and confess my sins. Shit, how can this kid be so lucky? God is not fair. Cackle. Some of the boys were itching their teeth with jealousy, but they didn't dare to show it on their faces. As for the girls in the class, they all changed their previous attitudes and all looked at Yi Yang with different colors. Super perfect God Ho Ah, university classmate. Young, handsome and rich. The world will never have a more perfect future husband than Yi Yang. I was really blind at first. I actually didn't see that Yi Yang was a super invincible potential stock. I do see it but people simply do not see me. I initially also scolded him for being high-minded and arrogant and incapable of hard pretending. I did not think that today is considered to know. Is my toad wanting to eat swan meat ah? Woo woo. If these girls were not in the way of the wrong atmosphere, 
They would want to rush over and kneel down Yi Yang right now. Yi Yang looked at the reaction of these classmates and secretly sighed, knowing that after his identity was exposed, he really couldn't talk properly. University is not like middle school, said to be a classmate, but the relationship is just that. After graduation, the identity is pulled apart, immediately look at you like a stranger, or fear you like a tiger, or hate you to the bone. In a materialistic society, girls like Schwer's kind of icy cleanliness are indeed rare. Yi Yang shook his head, inexplicably remembering Lin Schwer. This chairman, this girlfriend of yours has properly humiliated my brother Yi. Xiao Xiaozhu watched the fun without thinking that it was a big deal, and continuously added more fuel to the arching fire. What? You? Zhang Wanmin's eyes were a little black. The building's board of directors had learned about Yi Yang's background in the past few days, and found out the assets behind his name. And all of this information would be publicized on the internet with the passage of time. And it wasn't difficult to find out. The more they checked, the more the directors felt that the decision to collectively go to meet Yi Yang on that day was wise. There were various assets under his name that were famous in China and even the world. Together, they had already exceeded one trillion dollars. If we have to do the math, Yi Yang's fortune is now truly the richest man in China. Once the Chinese Forbes list comes out this year, this will be publicized. Offend the richest man. Zhang Wanmin's hands trembled in fear at the thought. You loser, don't come to me again. I have nothing more to do with you. You don't want me for such a white boy. Han Sili was well aware of Yi Yang's true identity now, but the huge shock made her unwilling to accept the reality, and she just cried irrationally. Bah! Zhang Wanmin sneered, and his gaze towards Han Sili turned cold. It wasn't like he had only this one lover, although this one made him linger, but a person who could do great things naturally knew how important things were. A thousand, ten thousand Han Sili, is not as important as one Yi Yang. Boss Yi, although she and I no longer have anything to do with each other, whatever you want to do with her is up to you. Zhang Wanmin rolled his eyes and laughed hey, I'll turn around and transfer another 500 million in rent to your account as an indemnity. These two times are really too sorry for you. That previous time was naturally the time between Chief Executive Gao and Jin. The two times in a row also made him completely scared. If Boss Yi really had his eyes on him, he was a small software company. What the hell to open? Whom? Yi Yang gave a casual hum. Originally, this matter also had little to do with Zhang Wanmin, but since the other party wanted to send money, he naturally would not refuse. 500 million is not much, but it's always money now. He was a thrifty person. He he he. Then boss Yi, if you eat and drink well, I'll go to the front desk to settle your bill first, and won't stay here to bother you. Zhang Wanmin bowed and prepared to go out without even looking at Han Sili. Chapter 63 Chapter 63 Boss Ye's Little Brother? Stand still, Zhang Wanmin. Didn't you say you loved me? Could it be that you're all lying to me? You have no intention of marrying me at all. Han Sili looked at the desperate Zhang Wanmin and shouted hysterically. Marry you? We're all adults. Grow up. Will you? You can tell by looking at my age. My old man's kids are in their twenties. You're just a lover I keep. Zhang Wanmin couldn't believe his ears. I've always thought that you're such a smart person. In fact, you've long understood the relationship between the two of us in your heart. So you're such a fucking stupid motherfucker? You. Han Sili was dumbfounded as she looked at Zhang Wanmin with disbelief, her head falling into a blank. I'm billions of dollars, I'm 40 or 50 years old, and I'm just playing with you, and you really expect to marry me and share my billions of dollars of family fortune. Am I the stupid one? Or are you the stupid one? Are you out of your mind? Women like you are truly too childish. Zhang Wanmin shook his head. Originally he thought that Han Sili was quite smart, but he didn't expect that she was actually an ambitious woman with such a childish idea, alright? Originally I still feel some reluctance, you kind of brainless woman, still don't be by my side, causing trouble for me, said, he his head without return directly walked away, the entire black dragon treading gold pavilion was silent, everyone's mouths were open, they had just entered society, where had they seen such a battle, this, was this the thinking of the rich people, Yi Yang also smiled slightly, Han Sili this kind of woman does not deserve sympathy, are 20 years old people, brain childish terrible, think the rich generation are all fools, the reason why rich people are so rich, there is not a single fool, expecting to climb up to a rich old man and wait for his death to inherit his family's fortune, it's just a joke and an unrealistic fantasy, there are quite a few of these women nowadays, Han Sili is just one of them, Zhang Wanmin, I'm going to kill you, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. Han Sili had absolutely no face to stay here anymore at this point, the feelings of shame and humiliation causing her to completely lose her mind, she thought she was incredibly mature, and never looked down on people who were struggling, thinking that she could change her life and get rich if she fell in love with a rich man. Now is to find that, the original, 
the most childish and ridiculous, actually is their own. Looking at Han Tsai who ran out, the students are somewhat speechless. Obviously, you yourself are a gold-worshipping woman. How now turn around and resent others? Ahem. Everyone doesn't have to spoil the atmosphere for one person. Class President Yu Xingchun laughed continuously to regulate the atmosphere. We can enter such a good box and eat such good dishes today. All thanks to Yi Yang's blessing. We should all toast Yi Yang. Right. 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 The students were all reacting. Han Sai Li originally didn't have a high sense of existence for everyone. And now it was hard to angrily brush a wave of existence resulting in this situation that everyone didn't want to recall. The spotlight then naturally returned to Yi Yang. A truly great godly man. Yi Yang. Oh no. Now I have to call Mr. Yi. I just mock you as a white boy. I was blind. I'll make amends to you. Punish myself with three cups. Feel free. Right. Right. Me too. Punish myself with three cups. The male students who knew how to change their minds were all going up to punish themselves in succession. Yi Yang, on the other hand, smiled and shook his head. Just now these people were so unclean with their mouths. But in the twinkling of an eye, they started to be licking dogs. This money ah, is indeed a good thing. Yi Yang, it's been a long time. I can't believe I'm so powerful. He he he, brother Yi, if it's not fun at night, you can call me. Get lost you. Don't think that I don't know what you're thinking. He's rich and handsome. How can he not have fun? Toad wants to eat swan meat. Bah, don't you think the same way? I, the female classmates, on the other hand, were like bees that had seen honey, frantically surrounding them, pouring everything into showing off their poise, trying to attract Yi Yang's attention. But even Kai Mao Mao, who was named the class flower in the beginning, and Han Tsai Li, who was radiant today, were unable to get into Yi Yang's eyes. These were at most upper middle class looking ones, naturally even more unable to move Yi Yang's heart. All of them smiled perfunctorily and did not pay much attention. Xiao Xiaozhu on the side of some gambling puffed up a small face. This gang of women. Really shameless. At least I this temporary girlfriend is still here. In your face digging I you guys. Hoof. Xiao Xiaozhu eyes narrowed a dangerous arc. People who understand her if they see her smile at this time, will sympathize with Yi Yang these female classmates? Because, they are definitely going to be unlucky tonight. Okay, Lao Shang. Did you know that Yi Yang is a super invincible potential stock from the very beginning? So you followed him. That's right. No wonder you've been converted so fast. You're going to be the deputy team leader. So it's because there's this big tree behind Mr. Yi. Brother Zhang don't get me wrong. What I mean is that in the future I'll be mixing with you, as the little brother of boss Ye's little brother. He he he. Yi Yang's side was crowded with people. Some people couldn't squeeze in. So they had to settle for the second best and started to flatter Zhang Xian. The little brother of the little brother of the little brother of the boss of Yi. That is not the little brother of the boss of Yi. Zheng Xian cried and laughed. How does this appellation make people feel flooded with a wave of evil? Chapter 64 Chapter 64 Does the boss know martial arts? However, Zheng Xian was Yi Yang's little follower before. After graduation, not many people continue to contact him. At this time so many people come together, but also let him have a little bit of a starry-eyed feeling. With his intelligence, he naturally understands what these pursuits are because of, but it does not prevent him from enjoying this feeling. Being touted was the immediate need of the human heart. Just like this, this post-internship classmate dinner came to an end amidst laughter. Yi Yang raised a glass of wine at the end as a way to return the toast these classmates had just made, drawing a chorus of cheers. Let's go. Yi Yang greeted towards Zhang Xian. Ahem, boss Yi, it's not convenient for me to follow, right? Zhang Xian scratched his head and smiled sarcastically. HM, what's inconvenient? Yi Yang was stunned. Cough, this wine and rice. Beautiful women accompanied by. Zheng Xian looked at Yi Yang with a bad smile, revealing a smile that all men understand. TSK, you kid, look at the gentleman. Secretly slutty. Yi Yang immediately understood and laughed. Then I'll call you a car. Okay, la. Zheng Xian nodded without any objection. Xiao Xiaozhu on the side had a small red face. She and Xiao Qing Xian sisters were on a mission and were already deeply involved in the world. What didn't they understand? Although they understood what it meant. They were still intact after all, and their minds were a little messy at this time. Doorway. After calling a car for Zhang Xian to leave, Yi Yang then looked at Xiao Xiaozhu with a bad smile. Hey, boss. You won't want it? Xiao Xiaozhu pursed her lips and looked at Yi Yang like a wary kitten. What? Unwilling? Yi Yang snickered. I. Xiao Xiaozhu clenched her teeth, and was also a bit torn inside, and finally shook her head stubbornly. It had to be said that Yi Yang was the most unique perfect and attractive opposite sex she had ever seen over the years, and even she admitted that she was somewhat fond of Yi Yang nowadays, 
But this does not mean that she is a casual girl. If just because of this, do that kind of thing, then your temporary girlfriend status can end now yo? Yi Yang flicked Xiao Xiaoju's glossy little brain. You, boss you bad. Xiao Xiaoju only then was reacting. In fact Yi Yang did not have any evil thoughts at all. Just now it was just teasing her. Ha ha. Yi Yang laughed and waved his hand, and when he was pleased with the success of teasing the beautiful maiden, there was a sudden coolness behind him. You are living quite happily. This voice, like a nine ghostly spirits, carried a ghostly and cold air. What demon? Yi Yang was startled and turned around, but he saw Xiao Qing Xian with a ghostly face and sighed in relief. So it's you, the two of you are in love, leaving me hanging out to drink the northwest wind, Xiao Qing Xian said somewhat gamely. It had to be said that the iceberg beauty's delicate look of gambling was rather more charming. You wouldn't have not eaten yet, right? Yi Yang was a little surprised. Nonsense, I was diligently staring outside, but strangely enough, there is no movement tonight, and there are no assassins or suspects, Xiao Qing Xian muttered. Yi Yang rolled his eyes, it's only strange, this is China, where are there so many assassins, let's go, it just so happens that I haven't eaten enough either, let's take you to a good place to eat something delicious, Yi Yang beckoned and smiled, delicious, Xiao Qing Xuan's eyes lit up, almost revealing her deeply hidden foodie attribute, but then she reacted and snorted coldly, don't think I'll forgive you if you treat me to a late night snack, whatever, Yi Yang spread his hands and looked indifferent, you, Xiao Qing Xian clenched her silver teeth, this boss was also too infuriating. Both of us have been drinking. You drive. Yi Yang asked Xiao Xiaoju to throw the keys to Xiao Qing Xian. Then he sat his butt in the Rolls Royce Phantom. Humph, dog boss. Although Xiao Qing Xian cursed on her mouth, in her heart, she felt an unprecedented sense of relaxation. A luxurious sense of relaxation that was completely different from the 10 years of assassin's career that she had lived before. She was a bit torn about this sense of relaxation, because once she relaxed, she was afraid that her vigilance would drop. Such a good boss, cannot let him have any accidents, otherwise she would blame herself to death. Nope, distinctly a dog boss, dog boss, cough cough, Xiao Xiaoju nudged Xiao Qingxuan's ribs, whom, Xiao Qingxian collected the erotic thoughts in her heart and looked at Xiao Xiaoju, and after seeing the serious expression on the other party's face, she also asked, what's wrong? Xiao Xiaoju looked at the Rolls Royce Phantom on the side and muttered, this boss of ours, he's not simple, ha, huh? Xiao Qingxian blinked. Just now when he flicked my forehead, it should have triggered my warning mechanism, but with his speed, even I didn't have time to evade. There's also the fact that you suddenly appeared behind him just now, and he obviously reacted subconsciously before you appeared. Our boss, his strength is not low. Xiao Xiaoju squinted her eyes, savoring all that Yi Yang had just done. This, only then did Xiao Qing Xian react. The reaction speed of the boss just now, was by no means something that an ordinary person could have ah. He he he. Whatever, isn't it better that the boss himself knows martial arts? However, find a time to try him properly as well I think it will be interesting. Chapter 65 Chapter 65 Snack Stalls More delicious than a 4 million dollar meal? Just like that, Xiao Qingxian was driving in the front. Xiao Xiaoju and Yi Yang sat in the back. Where are we going? Xiao Qingxian asked. Yi Yang pretended to be mysterious and entered an address into the navigation. Just go here. You'll know when we get there. Actually making it mysterious. Xiao Qingxian beamed, although she rarely came to Magic City to carry out missions, but, idly, she also searched. Han Pavilion was the pinnacle of Chinese food in Magic City, and Purple Pavilion was the pinnacle of Western food. Other than these two pavilions, was there actually any other top restaurants? Dripping, why is there suddenly a bit of traffic jam? Yi Yang asked with some doubts. There seems to be traffic police in front, checking for drunk driving. Xiao Qingxian probed and confirmed. Yi Yang smiled and shook his head. It's really coincidental. If he didn't leave Xiao Qingxian outside, tonight he will directly be deducted points. After lining up for a while, only then was it Yi Yang's turn for them. Hiss. Seeing that little golden man in the front of the car, the traffic police, even if they don't know that this is a phantom, they know that this is a Rolls Royce, and their attitude is not daring to be too hard. Knocking on the car door cautiously, and their attitude of service is also very good. Hello? Check the alcohol. Driver. When seeing Xiao Qingxuan's face, even the traffic police who had seen the world, were slightly frozen. This appearance, this temperament, absolute ah, dropping, the results were out, and the traffic cop was still trapped in Xiao Qingxuan's beauty and unable to extricate himself, the results are out. It was only when Xiao Xiaoju reminded the other party that the results were out that the other party was able to react. Aha, the traffic policeman sighed, and while he was struggling with whether or not he wanted a contact, he caught a glimpse of Xiao Xiaoju and Yi Yang at the back. 
a mouthful of blood was almost sprayed out, an iceberg beauty and a girl next door, both are superb, this youth, is simply blessed with an overflowing awe, alas, let it go, let it go, knowing that the competition is hopeless, the traffic police little brother had to let go, I fucking hate it, day, today found out drunk driving, all from the heavy punishment, the driver behind, buzz, the Rolls Royce sped, and arrived at the location Yi Yang had marked, this, Xiao Qingxian rubbed her eyes, somewhat in disbelief, isn't this just a stall street, it's actually made it so mysterious, Yi Yang smiled and said, this isn't just any stall street, this is a street of big stalls in the western district, eh, what's the difference, Xiao Qingxian said with contempt, in fact, there is no difference, if you have to say what difference there is, here there is my youth ah, a trace of reminiscence flowed out of Yi Yang's eyes, almost every university had a snack street, Yi Yang's university was naturally the same, he was not a lot of over the wall out of the snack street, buy a bag of chicken lockjaw, order some barbecue, open a few bottles of beer, and three or five brothers here to talk about the world, today's college party also evoked his memories of this place, it was just the right time to come back to rediscover his youth, just now, I was surrounded by a bunch of people asking about this and that, and I didn't even eat very well, ha ha, it's just right to eat some late night snacks here, Yi Yan laughed, eh, Xiao Xiaozhu pulled back her green silk and also said, I was just busy watching over my boss's safety, I didn't eat much good either, that's just right, Yi Yang snapped his fingers, but, can this ground stall be delicious, Xiao Qingxian said suspiciously, they were on top level missions, protecting big shots, naturally they didn't have much experience of eating ground stalls, you've never eaten a ground stall, then you're missing out on earthly delicacies, Yi Yang was a little surprised that there were actually people who hadn't eaten at a ground stall, so exaggerated, Xiao Qingxian blinked her eyes, then I'll have to give it a try, Yi Yang was like he was back in college, leading two beautiful bodyguards through the crowd, northeast roasted cold noodles, hand crackers, mashed potatoes, fried chicken collarbones, guandong boiled, deep fried skewers, roasted chicken thighs, I'll buy them one by one, when Yi Yang was concerned about their own living expenses, even if they came to the snack street did not dare to spend too much, tonight is reckless spending up, I have to say, this sense of accomplishment of making up for old regrets was much more enjoyable than even that four million dollar meal he had at noon, my god, so handsome, is it the schoolboy of which university, the female college students on snack street were all starry eyed, no way, I'm going to get a nosebleed, these two beauties are too powerful, wanna be rich people, the attention of the boys around these girls was completely off Yi yang, rich people eating groundlings, Humph. I think it's just a flamboyant scumbag, the girls' boyfriends were all disliking each other with a succession of acidic dislikes, fearing that they were on a spiritual level, with a green prairie over their heads, the face value and temperament of Yi Yang's trio was just too outstanding, walking in a group of college students naturally caused a large amount of marveling and admiration, hmm, the flavor is actually not bad, Xiao Qing Xian was surprised, it was obviously cheap, and it actually made her eat a completely different and delicious feeling, eating a big meal every day and coming to have a snack bar once in a while, it's really enjoyable, Yi Yang bit into a fried skewer and lamented, recently, he really ate too much delicious food, and after eating around, he actually felt that the snack street was a bit more delicious, ha ha, of course, this was under the premise that Yi Yang was a bit tired of eating big meals, normal people definitely still felt that big meals smelled good, Anti Zhang, come with a hundred skewers and a dozen beers, Yi Yang skillfully greeted Aunt Zhang of the barbecue stall, after four years of college and always coming, he had long gotten acquainted, chapter 66 chapter 66 I resigned, why, because this company was bought by me, yo, isn't this little Yi, Aunt Zhang looked at Yi Yang in surprise and said enthusiastically, didn't you graduate, didn't I miss you and Uncle Zhang's craft, Yi Yang hemmed and hawed, you kid, your mouth is still so sweet, Aunt Zhang laughed, okay, wait, I'll bake it for you right away, just now, trailing behind Yi Yang's trio, there were female students who wanted to look at handsome men and male students who wanted to look at beautiful women. A swarm of them grabbed every seat in the barbecue stand. A ham. Boss. A barbecue. Me too. Auntie Zhang was also confused. What's going on? Why is this business suddenly so good tonight? Uncle Zhang was busy at the side, smiling without saying a word. Men naturally understand men best. After a while, barbecue and beer were served. Yeah, just now. I saw you. Xia Ye. When did you get two such beautiful girls? As soon as Auntie Zhang's words left her mouth, she made the boys sitting next to her all perk up their ears. All of them wanted to learn how he managed to pick up such an awesome beauty. Moreover, there were still two of them. This skill simply made their mouths water with gluttony. Ha! 
Yi Yang scratched his head, pretending to be puzzled for a while. Quickly say it. The boys on the side were all scratching their ears anxiously. Maybe it's because I'm too handsome. Yi Yang hemmed and hawed. Cut. Day. Harm. A group of boys instantly deflated. Had to admit. Yi Yang is really handsome. This kind of innate hardware conditions. They want to learn also can not learn ah. Put. You ah. Still so skinny. Aunt Zhang covered her mouth and laughed. She did not see Yi Yang for a long time. At this time, she also could not help but ask about his recent situation. Xiao Yi ah. You graduated for half a year now. Your job is stable. Right? Work? Yi Yang scratched his head. The eyes of the girls next to him all lit up. The male god is naturally the more perfect the better ah. There are also dreams to do at night. Some of the boys who had just spat on the evil capitalism were also lifting their spirits. Just by being handsome alone, he had gotten two such awesome girls, and even asked them out at the same time. They don't believe it. 80%. No. 10% because of money. Right. I quit my job. Yi Yang smiled and said, Am I right? Who has money to bring his girlfriend to eat food stalls? Ah, that mustn't be western food. Big restaurants to go? The boys from earlier sneered. Looks like a flamboyant scumbag. Then why did you bring me to eat at the food stall too? Could it be that you are also a scummy guy, or a poor scumbag with no money? The girlfriend on the side said indignantly. I, I'm different ah, I haven't graduated yet. The boy snapped and scratched his head, mocking the other party for burying himself directly in the pit. Ha, flowery language. The girlfriend said angrily. Cut, it's not, the job is not even there. Just a handsome face to get two big beauties. Jeez, give me a cut. The single dog expresses strong indignation. The single dog boys on the side were angry and grieving in their hearts. Two don't care. So can I be the third? The beauties with some poise present were all eager to try. When An Zhang heard this, she frowned, little yi ah, we young people can't be overly ambitious. There is a job in order to live a good life. Even if you are aggrieved, you can't give up halfway. Aha, uh -huh, I know Auntie Zhang. Yi Yang knew that Auntie Zhang was also doing it for her own good. Say, why on earth did you quit your job? Aunt Zhang was still a bit uneasy and asked because I bought that company. Yi Yang cried and laughed back. Silence. The whole room was silent. Even Auntie Zhang froze. Really fake I Yi? You said that company had a market capitalization of billions back then. You bought it? Yi Yang nodded. It's not quite right to say I bought it. It's kind of become a major shareholder. How could Zhang Wanmin have $500 million in cash to take out? Naturally, he took the shares to offset the debt. Nowadays. He was already the largest shareholder of Wanmin software company outside of Zhang Wanmin. So, it wasn't a lie to say that he had bought it for the company. Ah uh ha, -huh, sure enough, it's still the evil capitalism. The boys next to him were dumbfounded. This is human talk. I quit my job. For what? Because this company is now mine. My day. Super invincible pretender are you? The boyfriend's present almost vomited blood. Look, the other company's major shareholders are bringing their girlfriends to a barbecue stand. You poor bastards. You're still mocking people. Oomph. If you guys had that kind of temperament, you'd be rich already. When the girlfriends compared their boyfriends with Yi Yang, they immediately felt that they had lost money. Complaining continuously. Cough cough. What sins I did in the first place. I should have known that I should have taken my girlfriend and left in a hurry. Actually made a death to run to see other people pretending. The boyfriends were bitter in their hearts. Maybe it's just bragging. There. They could only comfort their girlfriends this way. Oh. People girls and not blind. So beautiful two girls. People have no money can with him out it. You think all like you so shallow gold worshipping it. Boyfriend in a fit of rage. Will hold in the heart of the truth to say out. What did you say? Say it again. The girlfriend was poked and prodded and became irritated. Ahem. We don't need to make a conflict for a liar. Hey. Calm down. Take you to buy a bag tomorrow. The boy apologized repeatedly. Yi Yang was afraid that Aunt Zhang didn't believe it. He also took out the Rolls Royce key, if you still don't believe it. Aunt Chang, this is my newly bought car. Chapter 67 Chapter 67 I'm a guy who wants to marry him. Hiss. Aunt Zhang sucked in a breath of cool air. Living in Magic City, with luxury cars running all over the place. Anyone would more or less know some information about the car keys of luxury cars. This is that what? Old dead lie die. Aunt Zhang thought for a while before she was uncertain. Yi Yang couldn't help but smile and corrected. It's a Rolls Royce. Oh. Right, 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 Rolls Royce. Aunt Zhang slapped her head and laughed. Now what else do you have to say? The girlfriend on the side was originally quite happy to hear that she was going to whore a bag for nothing. As a result, when she saw Yi Yang pull out the Rolls Royce car keys, she instantly exploded with anger. Why is his boyfriend so trashy? At most, he can only buy himself a bag. The moment he pulls out a Rolls Royce, 
Damn, the boyfriend's face was hot, feeling that he was slapped in the air again, so he had to bite the crack of his teeth, and said in a strong voice, that's just a lighter for him, I've seen the same one on Taba, day, ha, huh? originally, Xiao Qingxian was quite amused watching this pair of gold-worshipping female doglickers tearing each other apart earlier, but this time, it was making her a bit angry, she asked Yi Yang for the Rolls Royce car key and directly pressed it, drip, in the distance, the heavy Rolls Royce suddenly turned on, the dazzling headlights flashed, even if it was hundreds of meters away, it made people clearly feel what a top-class luxury car was, hiss, at this moment, no one present dared to scoff anymore, everyone was dumbfounded, there were even those who knew about cars who let out exclamations of surprise, that damn isn't an ordinary Rolls Royce, that's a Rolls Royce Phantom, Rolls Royce Phantom, is it worth a lot of money, 40 million dollars to start, if it's top of the line, I'm afraid it'll sell for 50 to 60 million dollars, hiss, crap, all of the people present let out exclamations of shock, ah, the girlfriend was about to explode with anger, you trashy guy, and mocking people for being lighters, oh, you look like a lighter to me, after saying that, she was mortified and directly carried the bag that her boyfriend bought for her, and angrily turned around and left, hey, ting ting, don't go, the dog licking boyfriend saw that his girlfriend was angry and stumbled after him, aha, uh -huh. so damn envious, a tens of millions of dollars of Rolls Royce, so young, a super rich second generation, I wanna be a big boss in the future too, just you, I think it's better to be a rice bucket, ha ha ha, che, still not let me dream, can't compare can't compare ah, uh, rich and handsome, I fucking a man want to marry him, not to mention these two beauties, the clean looking boys are starting to move their hearts, ha, huh? so disgusting, the boys on the side were disgusted, don't you think so, the clean cut boy despised, eh, cough cough, the companion who disliked the clean cut boy had a dry red face and directly buried his head to pick up his meal, it seems like you're really rich, little ye, originally I also thought that you come over again I will introduce you to an object, alas, it seems that you can't use auntie Zhang, she doesn't deserve ah, Aunt Zhang looked at Yi Yang with some regret and envy. If her son has one tenth of Yi Yang, no, one hundredth of the interest, are not so that they are so old. Still outside in the cold winter and heat, day and night stalls, eat this bitter. Yi Yang nodded in tears and laughter. Alas, you guys eat first, I'll be busy first. Aunt Zhang only complained a little about her son before organizing her mind and getting busy again. Who let them be parents? No matter how bad a son or daughter is, they are still born by themselves. Yi Yang looked at Aunt Zhang's back, his heart was also a little emotional, he thought of his parents, in a few days, it's time to go back to see mom and dad, now he is also considered to have realized the ultimate financial freedom, lying down, he had money coming in that he couldn't spend, so of course he had to find a way to really change the conditions of his family, what's wrong boss, Xiao Qingxian and Xiao Xiaozhu had been orphan sisters since they were young and dependent on each other, and were not sensitive to fatherly love and motherly love or anything else, so at this time, they did not understand what Yi Yang was thinking. Nothing, dry. Yi Yang picked up the beer bottle, and the two girls clinked their glasses, and then drank the beer in the glass. The surrounding boys and girls, also knew that such a dragon and phoenix among the people, was not their match at all. So, they were all honestly eating in silence, occasionally glancing at the three of them, Yi Yang, and satiated their eyes. Just when the wine was full, a black Toyota bully rammed into the snack street. The snack street was originally a narrow aisle, people are more crowded, this overbearing car is its name, driving is also arrogant and domineering incomparable, come in with the windows open, to each stall next to stop, directly a hand, stall owners will have to compensate for the smile, hands over the amount of money, if the amount is not satisfied, the bully will not drive away, once again from the car window to reach out his hand, here we go again, Yi Yang frowned, very tired of seeing this behavior, he had seen it many times with his own eyes when he was in college, however, when the city slash pipe swept the streets in the name of cleaning up the cityscape, the vendors who set up their stalls had to stuff them with money so that they wouldn't lift their stalls. The beautiful name is, City Management Tips, but its essence, in Yi Yang's eyes, and before the gangsters slash gangsters collect protection slash fee in the end what is the difference? Chapter 68 Chapter 68 Because of being too handsome, being craved for body by a little too young girl? Is the city management collecting security fees here? Ha! <laughs> it doesn't look like this car? Someone on the side muttered. You newborn, right? This side before the city manager was reported, and now hired relatives to collect. Something happened to someone to protect, not accident also followed the share of money. A side of the student who was apparently used to what is going on explained. I go, can still play like this? Six ah, obviously everyone is used to this kind of thing, although some of them are not accustomed to seeing it. 
but they did not say anything more. Tick-tock. The Toyota bully quickly drove to the front of the barbecue stand. Ha! A large hand with a gold watch reached out from it. Ha ha! Brother Zhou is still working hard to come out this late to collect money ha ha! Uncle Zhang smiled continuously and handed over the tip that had been prepared long ago. Hmm. A puzzled voice came from inside the car and once again stretched out his hand. Uncle Zhang made a mistake, but still endured the pain and pulled out a few more red tickets and stuffed them in. Hmm. Brother Zhou coldly grunted and once again stretched out his hand. Brother Zhou. You this. Uncle Zhang's face changed. You are full. You have to earn a big few thousand dollars a night, right? Give a few hundred bucks and you want to get it over with? Brother Zhou frowned. Clearly not satisfied. I have to make a profit here too ah. Although Uncle Zhang wanted to spit, he dared to be angry. So he could only stuff a few red tickets in again. Get. Basically half a night again for nothing. Well. Joe this is satisfied nodded. This is more or less. Wish you prosperous business huh? Saying that, Bully started again and prepared to go to the next stall. Yi Yang looked at this scene. Also shook his head. This is the way to survive in the snack street. It's never been like this. Even if he doesn't like to look at the other party and beat them up, or even use his connections to get rid of all the people behind him, there would still be the next brother Wang, brother Bao or whatever to collect money. He himself was not always here. So naturally, he could not always care. The Toyota Beiji had just started when a loud laugh came from inside the car and stopped. This, Uncle Zhang's heart trembled. Why not go? Well not still not satisfied to collect money, right? Hey, that white boy over there? Half of Zhou's body poked out of the car. His chin lifted and pointed to where Yi Yang was. Eh? Xiao Qingxian sensed the other party's unkind intentions and a cold aura instantly condensed in her eyes. Xiao Xiaozhu also subconsciously began to prepare the poison. Eh? Yi Yang's heart fluttered and felt a trace of embarrassment. It wouldn't be the case that the triad slash society would want to rob slash lust when they saw their beautiful bodyguard was too pretty. Right? This is also too rotten. But it wasn't impossible. After all, the three of them were sitting in a bunch of students. It was indeed too conspicuous. I went to. The original two chicks are so pretty. Originally, the two women had their backs to him, and only looked at a backdrop, so Joe didn't pay too much attention. But times have changed, and they don't dare to do things like forcibly robbing people's women in the street. Otherwise, once they are exposed online, under the heat of public opinion, they will have a bad day. Fuck, look at the old man straight drooling, or a few years ago is good. You can do whatever you want, Joe secretly cursed in the bottom of his heart. But his face has a smiling look, that little white boy, my sister looks at you, get in the car and brother to go, tonight the money has you a share, Yi Yang confused, dare to not look for the two beautiful bodyguards around himself, is to look for his own, that's right, he suddenly remembered that the Chinese law only protects girls, boys are not legally responsible if they are raped slash violated, so, the black slash social society have now gone from forcibly robbing people's girls to forcibly robbing good women and men, I day suddenly feel a bit dangerous. Luckily I hired two beautiful bodyguards. Yi Yang sneered in his heart. The students on the side were also confused. This script was a bit off. Originally, they were all planning to spectate the mongrels robbing them. Their cell phones were out and ready to take videos. It turned out to be looking at that rich second generation. I went to. My lord. Times have changed. Put. The college students next to them were all thunderstruck by this scene. Your sister? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. Where is your sister? The car door opened. A black, short and fat red-haired little Taiwanese girl was winking at him with a winking smile on her face. Put. Yi Yang just drank a mouthful of wine, and the moment he saw the other party, he directly sprayed out. Just now I envied this dude for being rich and handsome, now I suddenly sympathize with him. This short winter melon little sister, but also this old black, knee day, really extreme. The college students on the side are covering their faces. No wonder this old girl is so hungry slash thirsty that she wants to rob a man on the street. So her own hardware conditions are poor like this. What the hell do you mean? Joe brother kicked the car door. In the snack street ferocious and accustomed to. Tonight is good. Actually someone dares to ridicule his sister. Although she looks ugly. But it's not like she doesn't pay for it. He he. Don't look at what crooked look you have. You are also worthy of craving my husband's body? Xiao Xiao Zhu continued to play the role of a temporary girlfriend. That's it. Xiao Qingxian came back with another left and right embrace, giving the short winter melon little sister a double bludgeon injury. Brother, they, they humiliated me. Short winter melon little miss time a cried out. Chapter 69 Chapter 69 I don't have superpowers, but I do have banknote power. You guys are very brave oh. Zhou Yan's eyes also turned cold. Five or six men in black walked down from the overbearing car with a hoot and a holler. Now, 
The surrounding college students who were onlookers couldn't laugh anymore, even if the other party didn't dare to go too far due to the current public opinion environment. But, in essence, they were still black slash social after all. If they really want to piss people off and get into trouble, it was also possible. Cough cough, brother Zhou, don't see eye to eye with a child. People obviously already have appointments. Auntie Zhang saw that the situation was not right and came up to persuade him, even if Yi Yang was rich now, but he was here with so many punks, so he had to do it beforehand, in case you really get beaten up by these punks and then make up for it afterwards, it's not cost effective, get lost, brother Zhou didn't even look at the ticket that Auntie Zhang stuffed in, and directly gave Auntie Zhang a push to fall into a chair on the side, the dignity of Laozi's sister, is it worth these few crappy dollars, seeing Zhou Yan so brutal, Yi Yang's eyes were also cold and stern down, Aunt Zhang had not taken care of him when he was in college. I advise you to hurry up and apologize to Aunt Zhang. What? Apologize? Zhou Yan buttoned his ears as if he had heard some heavenly joke. You're teaching my old man to do something? The college students on the side watched as the fire in the scene grew heavier and heavier, and they were all a little scared in their hearts. Even got up and walked towards the distance, taking out their cell phones in the meantime, ready to shoot a video. All fucking put down your cell phones for me. Whoever dares to film, we'll beat them together in a while. The two little ponies behind Zhou Yan were both waving the wooden sticks in their hands, shouting shrilly, damn a ground-eating little brat, also dare to pretend to pose with my old man? Seeing that he scared these college students next to him, Zhou Yan sneered and roguishly walked to Yi Yang, lousy sister looks at you, a poor student, that's because she looks up to you, the amount of money I collect in one night is more than your parents planted the land for half a lifetime, fuck, how dare you stomp your nose, now kneel down and apologize to my sister, then get your ass in the car. After tonight this matter will be settled. Otherwise, he sneered and waved his hand. The several men in black behind him also came up with arrogant expressions. In Zhou Yan's opinion, most of the people who ate this food stall were poor students from the university. So as long as they were scared, it was not a handful of people who were directly scared into kneeling and begging for forgiveness. But he obviously underestimated Yi Yang too much. Otherwise, what can you do? Beat someone in the street? Yi Yang smiled, calm and relaxed. These two beside himself, golf clubs were twisted into twists. If they landed on a person's head, he was afraid that the ceiling could be lifted off. He is not afraid of fighting. Then the relationship. Lawsuit. In the magic city, no one can beat the Jin Chang law firm. Money? I'm sorry. I don't have superpower. Only money. That's why. Everything before the beginning, the end has long been settled. Now he is just waiting for the other party to make the first move. To give the other party to add to the crime. Ha 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 ha. Laugh me to death. You really think that now that you guys have a few broken cell phones to shoot, I wouldn't dare to mess with you, tell you what, beat you to the brink of death, and the people behind me will give you a minor injury sentence. At that time, the big deal is just to pay for your medical bills. You think I don't dare to fuck you, little pussy brat. When I was in society, you weren't even born yet. Zhou Yan was furious by Yi Yang's indifferent attitude. When he thought about it, he would have slashed up, which is now like this actually even a poor college student dared to look down on himself. Is the black slash road really lonesome? So it's just a compensation for medical expenses? The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up. If he had said so earlier, wouldn't it be over? Ha, looks like you don't see the coffin. Ah, uh, Zhou Yan approached up and tried to slap Yi Yang's face. Yeah, many timid girls closed their eyes, not wanting to see their boy god being punched. Some of the boys were excited and picked up their cell phones to record it. Maybe the next one to be on the hot search to increase their fans would be themselves. Quickly call 110. Aunt Zhang was also in a hurry, taking out her cell phone in succession and preparing to call the police. However, as Zhou Yan's hand swung in midair, it was held by a huge force. Fixing his eyes on it, it was actually a petite, beautiful woman who he considered to be an iceberg beauty on the side. Boss, what to do with it? Xiao Qin Xian had been holding back waiting for Yi Yang's order. Otherwise with her temperament, Zhou Yan would have been lying on the ground unable to get up by now. Just do as he said, beat him to a light injury kick his teeth to pieces, teach him a lesson, Yi Yang waved his hand casually, of course he could do it himself, with his physical quality nowadays, knocking down 10 or 8 big men would be a piece of cake, but to personally deal with a few punks was just too much of a drop in value, good Lu, a trace of excitement flashed in Xiao Qingxuan's eyes, with a twist of her wrist, she directly twisted Zhou Yan into a wrist fracture, pa, with a kick, Zhou Yan was directly kicked out more than 3 meters away by this kick, lying on the ground, directly bleeding from the corner of his mouth. Crap, this little bitch, this power. At this instant, Aunt Shang's hand that was pressing the number stopped. The college students present were also stunned, dryly holding up their cell phones. 
Forgetting to tap the record button. Chapter 70 Chapter 70 Direct Seconds Bipolar Reversal? This, Savage Girlfriend, this kick is really ruthless. It seems like it kicked in that block. I guess this punk leader can't branch out for the rest of his life. Ha ha. After a few breaths, the crowd was only slowly accepting the scene in front of them, and were talking about it. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and shoot it. Tonight this plot is fucking better than a movie. If this doesn't burst into flames, heaven forbid. I don't know who yelled, but the crowd all clicked on the record button, ready to film the whole thing. Ah, ah. Zhou Yen covered himself under his small abdomen, his body twitching in pain, and his eyes were full of ferocity. What are you waiting for? Give me the old man to fuck these little brats to death. The several black-clothed gangsters next to him were obviously also startled. And at this time, they were shaken back to their souls by Zhou Yan's roar. Before they took the wooden sticks in their hands and swung them over towards Xiao Qing Xian, there's no need to bother my sister. I've been looking at these few trash for a long time. Let me let off some steam. Xiao Qing Xian persuaded Xiao Xiaoju. This sister of his own would have to not make a move. And once she did then the consequences would not be as simple as breaking a third leg. Die for me. The five punks rushed up, relying on the number of people. Ha! Xiao Qingxian shook her head. On international missions, facing hundreds of heavily armed mercenaries, she had to protect her employer to break out of the siege. These few minions were really not in her eyes. Don't know the heights of heaven and earth. Her body was live, and she directly jumped up more than half a person's height, kicking one right in the face of the two small punks who wielded their sticks and rushed to the front. Poo! Broken teeth and blood instantly exploded in the mouths of the two punks and flew out. Their bodies also flew out horizontally, directly fainting. This, the three behind them were stunned at the sight. This froze effort. Xiao Qingxian landed on the ground and swept a sweeping leg in a smooth motion, sweeping down the two nearby people, rising up and stepping forward. She stepped on the two people who had fallen to the ground, and with every foot that fell, one of the punks' chest ribs was vigorously trampled. Gulp! That's a high-heeled shua. This one shall not pierce the chest ribs. The people on the side were all trembling with fear. I, Auntie, I'm wrong. The last punk directly threw the stick in his hand aside and turned around, ready to run. However, he was kicked in the back waist by Xiao Qing Xian with a lift of her foot, and directly fell into a dog's mouth. His jaw was knocked off. Crap, crap, crap. Absolute beauty. A few breaths of air seconds away from five stick-wielding hulks. This visual impact was simply astonishing. If I hadn't seen the foreplay, I would have thought they were making a kung fu movie. Gulp. I didn't expect this beauty to be as terrifying as this. This flying two kicks. Simply handsome. Bullish. I have a feeling that my tremolo is going to blow up. This video is definitely going to be a hit. The college students' eyes were glowing. The vendors next to them were waving their hands and shouting. This Zhou Yan was usually so domineering and tyrannical. Basically equal to robbing them of their money. Today, he finally got what he deserved. Xiao Qingxian casually walked up to Zhou Yan who had endless fear in his eyes. Who the hell are you guys? I can tell you. There are so many cameras around. If you beat me to death, you won't be able to live either. My second aunt's husband is from the courtyard. Zhou Yan was also baffled. He has been mixing for more than 20 years. So raw and fierce is indeed rare. Before those few times to encounter this kind of one to fight 10 hardcore. That are the super bodyguard beside the serious big boss. Hey, what are you guys still waiting for? Hurry up and shoot ah. Uh, shoot. He watched as Xiao Qingxian approached step by step and roared angrily at the onlookers beside him. Ha, huh, weren't we not allowed to film just now? Whoever shoots will even be beaten together? Where's that arrogant vigor just now? The crowd of college students were originally not used to seeing Zhou Yan's ruffian behavior, and at this time, they all spoke out in mockery. You guys, Zhou Yan almost spat out another mouthful of blood. How did I know that the other party was such a bullish and absolutely ruthless person ah? However, a college cub, on what grounds? Before he could think about it, Xiao Qingxian then chopped a foot on his face, and the high heel crushed, directly chipped his teeth a few. Hiss. Looking at the inexplicable luster of excitement that surged out of Xiao Qingxuan's eyes, Yi Yang's body went cold. Please let my brother go. I won't dare to hit on your husband anymore. We're wrong. The short winter melon little miss kneeled directly in front of Xiao Qingxian and begged for mercy. Boss? Although Xiao Qingxian hadn't had enough fun yet, she still understood and looked at Yi Yang. Cough cough. Almost. Further focus on the fear that Fang Han is not good enough to fight the lawsuit. Yi Yang wiped his cold sweat. Although he had known that Xiao Qingxuan's kung fu was bullish, he did not expect it to be this bullish. In the blink of an eye seconds five big men, and still with bare hands. All right. Xiao Qingxian shrugged and withdrew her high heel from Zhou Yan's face. Count yourself lucky. In the future, if you dare to not grow your eyes and mess with others at will, one foot will step on your head. Zhou Yan's mouth was full of bloodstains. 
his eyes were filled with the celebration of stealing his life, and in his heart, he silently swore that he wouldn't dare to run out and humiliate himself again in the future. The moment his teeth were stomped on just now, he could really feel that that stunningly beautiful thigh really did have a huge force that could stomp on his head. That was an aura of death. It's so good to be alive. He panted heavily and coughed violently. Brother, are you all right? It's all my fault for not knowing better. Oh oh. The little two young sister cried with pear blossoms and assisted Zhou Yan back to the Toyota Bully Road. Medical expenses then. It depends on how capable you lawyers are oh. Yi Yang coldly smiled and added. Also considered the original words. Let's go. Now that he had almost eaten, Yi Yang casually pressed the car key. The Rolls Royce Phantom was like a sleeping beast that woke up with a bang. The moment he saw that beast in the darkness, Zhou Yan's mind, which just wanted to blackmail some high medical bills, was instantly shaken out of existence. Chapter 71 Chapter 71 Special Reward 200 Billion Disney Ownership It's actually a Rolls Royce Phantom. Zhou Yan stared with his eyes and mouth open. To be so young to be able to afford a super luxury car with tens of millions of dollars, that kind of status, I'm afraid, is an existence that a small citizen like them, who relies on a bit of occupational convenience, can't even touch. This kind of existence, even if they really beat you up on the street, the lawsuit can drag you down, not to mention compensation, but also in turn blackmail people, not to mention that he was doing is wandering in the gray area of the law things, avoiding lawsuits are too late. Once what he did tonight is exposed by public opinion, I'm afraid the money will be at an end. Maybe even have to be accused of extortion and blackmail. He shivered. And it was only then that he reacted to how much trouble he had gotten himself into. Originally, he was still thinking of blackmailing people. But now he was blessing the other party to never sue himself. Otherwise, he would be completely finished. Brother, what's wrong with you? Why do you keep shivering? This time, we must let our second aunt's husband to fix that kid properly. Not let him compensate a million dollars. We'll not give up. Little Miss Short Wintermelon said indignantly. Pa. Zhou Yan slapped a slap on Short Wintermelon's face. Brother, you actually hit me. The little Taeyumi I was arrogant and bossy, all because Zhou Yan had spoiled her, and on weekdays, he rarely even scolded her, let alone punched her. This made her freeze in place, completely confused. Oh, with her teeth shattered. Even if she wanted to stink up her sister, Zhou Yan couldn't speak, and could only not stop making whimpering noises. The look was as funny as it could be. Aunt Chang, this table and chairs are also smashed quite a lot. I'll compensate you at the price. Yi Yang looked at the mess around him and said with some embarrassment. No, 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 it's good that you are fine. Just now scared Aunt Zhang to death. Aunt Zhang patted her chest. Until now she was a bit scared. Ha ha, don't worry Aunt Zhang. If they still come to find you in trouble, just let him call me directly and tell them that Yi Yang will accompany them to the end. You have my phone number, right? Yi Yang couldn't help but transfer $3,000 to Auntie Zhang. At that time, to compensate for the spending on the smashed items here. Ding. Detected that the host has made a special consumption. Special Blitz reward. Ownership of Magic City Disneyland. Yi Yang's hand that retrieved his cell phone shook slightly and unnoticeably. The special consumption. Should be that this consumption was not a normal consumption. It was rather peculiar. But this special Blitz reward could be considered a bit outrageous. Magic City Disneyland ownership. To know. Magic City Disneyland. The valuation is close to $200 billion without being told, it has directly become one's own, to know, one's own only spent 3,000 ah, blitz, doubled 100 million times, blood urn, cool, Yi Yang shouted in his heart that it was smooth, in a good mood, he said goodbye to Auntie Zhang, got into the Rolls Royce, took the beautiful bodyguard sisters and took off, hiss, the surrounding college students, however, were slow to disperse, for a long time to come, the snack street will be left with the legend of Yi Yang, which will be passed on by word of mouth and will not dissipate. Quickly release the video just now. Ha ha, let's get fired up too. Someone urged in succession. As a college student, which one didn't want to make some hot videos? You guys are moving too slowly. I've already posted it. I'm going to. My vibrato to blow up ah. It's only been a minute, right? It's gotten thousands of plays. Holy shit. It's still going up. In crazy rise. The man exclaimed. After all, most people painstakingly shoot a video. Not kryptonite gold charging promotion. Play volume a few days can have a few thousand is good. This just posted a few thousand plays. Obviously to be on the rhythm of the popular awe. Quickly, quickly, what are you waiting for? Charge while it's hot. A group of people who had just recorded what happened were all posting the video in succession with shocking body copy. 
Shocked, a beautiful woman in Magic City violently beat up six thugs with her bare hands. The scene is as powerful as a martial arts blockbuster. Absolutely real. At the night market in the western district of Mordor University City, a little girl forcefully robbed a handsome man. But she didn't know that the handsome man was actually a super godly man. He was hit in the face by his beautiful bodyguard. Tonight I'm on my knees. I've actually encountered something even stranger than a novel plot in public. Reality Magician, the passionate collision between the godly tycoon and the gangster slash mob, various kinds of bizarre titles, with a lightning fast momentum, rapidly seized the entire Shake Shack's nightly traffic, the number of plays and likes soared, in an instant, it directly topped the number one hot search list for the night, even the super hot topic of a certain big star newly coming to Shake Sound to bring goods, a certain young fresh meat filming a scene and cutting the skin of his hand and still insisting on filming, all of these were unable to stop the momentum of this matter tonight strongly dominated the first list, the heat held down the second several times, reaching a staggering 6, 689, 8w, the comments section was also completely high, crap, this is too damn cool, isn't it, the great good man who punishes the evil and promotes the good, this is a movie, right, a woman jumped over a meter out of nowhere, it looks so fake, Chinese kung fu is just fancy footwork, it's impossible to use it for fighting, not to mention a woman defeating six big men, fake, all fake, even though this divine hero little brother only has a side face, I vaguely recognize that this is my long lost family father, chapter 72 chapter 72 what does it mean to be an international lawyer, this is, put, looking at the hot comments, Yi Yang couldn't help but laugh out loud, what's wrong boss, Xiao Xiaoju's head came over, and after seeing Xiao Qingxuan's valiant figure on the number one hot list, she smiled narrowly and nodded Xiao Qingxuan's shoulder who was driving in front of her, hey, you're famous, going to be a big star, Ha! Huh? After Xiao Qingxin parked her car, she also opened up Shake. The opening screen was the video of herself just now when the God of Heaven came down with a hammer six. Che, what a fuss. She shrugged. If she posted the video of her fighting hundreds of mercenaries in an international battlefield, she wouldn't be canonized? In fact, there were quite a few such people she knew. And those who were more powerful than herself were not unheard of. It was only that such people went out and carried out missions at a higher level, and would rarely be filmed by the public. Some people say this is a new type of hype, to hype you up as the next big star. Xiao Xiaoju squeezed and smiled. When you become a big star in the future don't forget to honor your sister. Get lost, you little rich bitch. Who else needs to honor? You? Xiao Qingxian rolled her eyes. Every time she did a mission, Xiao Xiaoju took the lead. And in terms of assets, although she also had a billion or so, but compared to Xiao Xiaoju, it was still a lot worse. Che, stingy, Xiao Xiaoju beamed. Yi Yan laughed as he watched the two women bicker there. Suddenly the phone call came over. Brother Yi, is that person in the video you? Although it's a bit blurry. It turned out to be Lin Shuer. She was the anchor of Jitterbug. So naturally, she had to brush up on the hot list for nothing. Ha, huh? right. Yi Yan also graciously admitted. What the hell is going on? Are you alright? Lin Shuer was also quite worried about Yi Yang. After all, no matter how rich you are, you can't afford to be pestered by scoundrels and in case you are targeted by trash, it's still troublesome, it's fine, it's all solved, Yi Yang laughed, if they are willing to file a lawsuit, I happen to have a law firm under me, Lin Shui was then relieved and hung up the phone, ding, this side had just put down the phone, when Fang Han Weixin sent him a message over there, eh, originally, Yi Yang still wanted to find the other party to talk, but he didn't expect the other party to actually find him first, boss Yi, we already know about your matter, Fong Han incidentally passed over that video of Jitterbug as well. Well, what do you think about this matter? Roughly how much money do you need to compensate? Yi Yang said back. Compensate money? No, leave this matter to us though. We can not only make them counter compensate, but also send them to squat for a few years. Fong Han was confident. So bullish? Yi Yang was a bit surprised. After all, although the other party started this tonight, it was ultimately Xiao Qingxian who made the other party beat up so much that they couldn't even see their human form. Of course, now there are two kinds of private and public settlements. If you have the intention to settle privately, we are certain that we will ask for a settlement fee of no less than $10 million, and they will have to beg to send it. Fong Han confidently said back, Are you sure it's $10 million? Yi Yang was a bit confused. He had thought that he would have to cover some of the medical expenses, so it seemed that the other party would have to compensate himself. That's right, because what they want to protect is the entire Magic City's network of connections, the many characters involved in this gray industry. Fong Han returned, the 10 million dollars I said is just the worst case scenario, ideally, we can get around 100 million dollars, 
Yi Yang couldn't help but applaud Fang Han. What does it mean to be an international lawyer? This is. Having a bullish law firm in hand was simply a godsend. Then I'll leave this matter to you. Yi Yang smiled and said. Then is it public or? Fang Han was a bit puzzled. Do you think I lack money? Yi Yang asked back. Clearly understand. Fang Han secretly scolded himself for being such a fool that he didn't understand Ba Xie's intention. By the way, the money spent on the lawsuit comes out of me. Report it to me. Yi Yang smiled. With a spend and get rich system, there is a place to spend money. Of course he can't let go. Phew. Comfortable. Reunion. Snack stall. This day was quite cozy. Yi Yang comfortably paralyzed in the hall on the becker's sofa, casually looked at the classmate group, but did not expect the group to be on fire again. This is Yi Yang, right? Although Yi Yang only has a side face, but the two big beauties beside him, I would recognize them even if they were turned into ashes. Oh my god. He actually has two girlfriends and brought them out. He's so fucking awesome. My boss Yi is awesome. Can't he? Zheng Xian disliked with dissatisfaction. No. 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 Brother Zhang. This is pure envy on my part. Right. How come all the speakers tonight are male students? Where are those few girls who like the water group? Agu. But don't tell me. I just got home tonight and I have diarrhea. Ooh hoo. Now still squatting in the toilet. It's not convenient to type. I suspect there's something wrong with the food at Hankook. Oh. It's your poor stomach that can't enjoy such fine dining. Right? None of us felt anything. We even felt refreshed. The male students were all in a row. Looking at the classmates discussion. Yi Yang looked at Xiao Xiaozhu beside him with a black line on his face. Xiao Xiaozhu spat out her tongue mischievously and said arrogantly, Who let them pry my temporary boyfriend in front of me? Hiss. Xiao Xiaozhu's drugged kung fu was really cowhide. Even Yi Yang didn't notice anything at all. Yi Yang let out a bitter smile and could only give Xiao Xiaozhu a thumbs up. Well done. Chapter 73, Chapter 73, Super Stretch Bentley. Land first class. You two's room. Mime has already found you a good one. Yi Yang also smiled and looked at you Momo. No, the two of us will be guarding the boss all night long. Xiao Xiaozhu laughed proactively. Humph. Xiao Qinxian also nodded in a seemingly serious manner. Really? Yi Yang was a little heartbroken. After all, they were stunningly beautiful sisters. It was exciting to think about it, right? Of course it's fake. Xiao Xiaozhu Hei smiled, afraid that Yi Yang scolded her. Directly with Xiao Qinxian scampered away. Yi Yang laughed and shook his head, driving for so many years. Actually let the two little girls to the counter set. How was the reunion today? Did you have a good time? Yumomo took the sisters and flowers to the bedroom prepared for them, and came back to pounce on them at once, softly lying beside Yi Yang, and asked with a smile, Happy ah, all happy to the first on the hot list. Yi Yang rolled his eyes and joked to himself, Eh? Yumomo also laughed and laughed after hearing about the night market. Looks like I have to keep a good eye on my master. It's too dangerous out there. It's all female perverts. Craving for my master's body. Ha ha. Yi Yang shook his head. Pinched Yumimo's cheeks and asked with a bad smile. Still holding up? Yumomo blushed and nodded her head. Then I will not be polite. Yi Yang hemmed and hawed and started his nightly routine. Tonight's exercise was not too much. After all, he still had to meet his sister tomorrow. In case he made Yumimo too tired to get up again tomorrow. It would be troublesome. On the second day, Yi Yang woke up at 8 o'clock. Phew. After washing up. He was ready to go to the high school where his sister was. Ahem, going out actually didn't call us. Just after opening the door, he saw Xiao Xiaozhu and Xiao Qingxian standing in front of the door, giving Yi Yang a fright. You two walk the aisle like a cat, all without a sound. Yi Yang waved his hand, I'm planning to go out with my sister today, if you two want to go along as well. Well, then take the Bentley. Bulletproof version of the lengthened Bentley. Remodeled God Ho type, known as the Land First Class. The length of the car was close to 8 meters, and the inside was arranged like a luxurious parlor, with a matching refrigerator and wine cabinet. Wine and food are all available. If you want, you can even sing karaoke inside. Accommodating 10 people at the same time doesn't seem too much. In the eyes of successful people, this was a sign of negotiation and identity. But in Yi Yang's eyes, it could be considered a must-have boutique for traveling at home. Well, even though it's only sold for $40 million, it feels like it's worth more than a hundred million dollars of Koenigsegg. Yi Yang didn't like racing cars, so he didn't care about speed or horsepower. He preferred this land first class with many features. Which one of you wants to drive? Yi Yang's car keys dangled in the air and looked at the bodyguard sisters. As for Yu Momo, she was left behind by him to organize Disney's information. The system had just acquired Disney yesterday, so let her negotiate the details of the handover contract with Jean Chang law firm today. I was the one who drove when I came back yesterday. 
Today my sister is driving. Without saying anything, Xiao Qingxian directly sat on the back seat, opened a bottle of champagne and savored it. Okay, Xiao Xiaozhu shrugged and said with a bad smile, then I want the boss to sit in the passenger seat. What? Xiao Qingxian, who had just taken a sip of champagne, stared, then why would I want to sit in the back? He he he, I can't see your little mind clearly? Xiao Xiaozhu smiled inwardly and looked at Yi Yang. Boss, you choose where to sit. Yi Yang's head is a bit big. Being handsome is really too annoying. After a greedy body battle, Yi Yang still chose to sit at the back for the sake of comfort, because Yi Yang's family valued education. Therefore, although the family was not rich, they still managed to raise money to let their little sister attend a private school in Magic City. Yi Xiaozi had always studied well. Private schools have an international background and it is easier to get a full scholarship from the Ivy League. This will also make the job prospects a little better when you return to your home country later on. But this was all a previous consideration. Nowadays, Yi Yang's mindset is also different. Because he has already realized the ultimate goal of ordinary people studying. To get rich, the lengthened Bentley drove on the road. And its luxurious body was more eye-shattering than even a sports car. After all, most people can't really tell the sports car brand. But this kind of super lengthened luxury car, at a glance, it was worth money to thieves. Holy shit, stretched Bentley Mulsanne. This should be a modified version, specially upgraded. Otherwise it can't be this long, at least the landed price is 30 to 40 million dollars. Which super big boss went out to negotiate a contract again? Alas, Envy, the Bentley drove smoothly on the road. Magic City Bully Private High School. This place concentrated many famous families in Magic City. It could be said that apart from the ordinary kids who came to spell out their future by being good study thieves, they were all various second generation. What official second generation? Rich second generation. A brick smashed down. Do not know how many to be smashed to death. Home only a few hundred million kind of. In this kind of school, do not dare to big breath, for fear of an accidentally messed with the super big brother family of a second generation. Chapter 74 Chapter 74 Big Scene Shangshu Confession? Sister Ro Ro. You'll know in a moment. My brother can be old and handsome. Yi Xiaozi pulled a stunningly beautiful sailor uniform girl, while walking, said cheerfully, I know, I know, didn't you show me a picture? It's indeed very handsome. Li Wanru smiled and said, this girlfriend's small mind of her own, she can guess a few points, only she has not moved to anyone since she was a child, so she is also a little shy about today's matter. Hiss, two big beauties appearing together, Bali High School's most beautiful scenery line ah. Many students along the road who saw the scene had their eyes straightened. An aristocratic high school like Bali naturally had a school flower list. Among them, Li Wanru was number one. Yi Xiaozi could only be ranked second because of her lesser aristocratic status. But there were many people who secretly called her the commoner goddess. Li Wanru was the best in appearance, family history, and academic performance. It was well deserved to be named first. Alas, if I could pick up one of them, even if I were a ghost, I would still have a good time. Some boys swooned. Just you? Toad wants to eat swan meat, right? A pair of shoes from Li Wanru was enough for your family to earn for a year. The high-flying handsome on the side struck the man with glasses in front of him and straightened his collar. Only a high-flying handsome like me is barely worthy of these two goddesses. Ha! The glasses man sneered. It's simply a joke. At least on the road to chasing goddesses. You and I are standing at the same starting point. Bah! Gao Fu Shui shrugged his shoulders, disdaining the glasses man's words. I think you two should stop arguing. Even Wang Xiao has been chasing after him for so long. You two are nothing in front of Wang Xiao? Someone from the back added. At this instant, the tall rich handsome and the man with glasses both wilted. The high rich handsome's family was only a few hundred million dollars. Compared to Wang Tai Hao who was the first of Bali's four young men, it was indeed the difference between a firefly and a white moon. Bali has a school flower list. Naturally there is also a list of male gods. Wang Tai Hao is the god list. Young master list. Scum list, the first of the three lists of Bali's wind and clouds legend. His family history is outrageous. He is handsome, and he is good at playing with girls' emotions. Although many boys named Wang Taihao as the first scum of Bali on the surface, secretly they are envious of him, but secretly they are envious of the chicken explosion, wishing they were Wang Taihao, spreading across the world, without any disadvantage. At first, Wang Xiao made a bold statement that he would slaughter the entire school flower list. Now the top 10 school beauties. Eight of them have been raided by others, leaving these two still holding on. But I reckon, it's also sooner or later. The prey of others, Wang Xiao, you dare to think about it? In the midst of the discussion, both the tall rich man and the man with glasses sighed deeply. Yes, they could only mouth a little bit of self-high, really want to let them go after. 
also completely dare not. Hoo hoo hoo. The roar of a helicopter came. Several people were puzzled as they looked towards the sky. Crap. What the hell? Several helicopters. Helicopters yeah. The roaring sound attracted many students to gather around. Sunday was the most casual day at Poly High School, and the number of onlookers was naturally extremely high. Hula hula. From the helicopter, countless rose petals were scattered. It was like a rain of flowers, encompassing the entire main street of Bali High School. Flower rain. My god. So beautiful and romantic. Is this some rich young man confessing again? Could it be to confess to me? Many girls were starting to fantasize. Don't daydream there. Can't you see who's at the center of the rain of flowers? The male student next to him splashed cold water. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Well, the moment they saw Li Wan Ro and Yi Xiao Zi, these girls knew that it couldn't be a confession to themselves. These two were the two brightest jewels of Bali High School. Could it be that Young Wang is finally launching a general attack? These girls were all starry-eyed. High school was in the flower season. A high incidence age for girls to commit nymphomania. Even the fresh meat that was far away and had nothing to do with her could call her husband and cry out in infatuation. Not to mention the superstar rich second generation living beside them, knowing full well that the other party's person. All of these girls also hated that they could also be among the school flower list and have a two-day date with Wang Tai Hao. So sour. Being able to be hit by Wang Xiao. That's simply the luck of three lifetimes. And these two still don't agree. If I were me, I would have cleaned myself up and sent myself to the door. Some girls said indignantly. That's just it. The girlfriends beside her, whose values were naturally similar to hers, nodded their heads in unison and agreed. Amidst the rain of roses, a handsome and beautiful Bugatti Veyron came with a tail. The car was also out of a sunglasses teenager with flowers in his hands. The teenager was all luxury goods and wildly uncontrollable. Thinking he was very handsome, he tossed his hair and directly sent the flowers out with one hand. He looked at Yi Xiao Zi. The corner of his mouth raised a hint of a domineering president-style evil smile. Xiao Zi, can you be my girlfriend? Wow. Ah ha. It's too romantic. If I were Yi Xiao Zi, I'd be moved to tears right now. It's a direct yes. The girls at the scene were all screaming. You think other school girls are as casual as you are? The male students despised. At this moment when everyone was watching. The descent of a super luxury car directly diverted everyone's attention. In the car, Yi Yang looked at the scene of helicopters scattering flowers in front of him with interest. The scene is quite big, and I don't know what kind of airplane is being used. Chapter 75, Chapter 75, Exasperated Wang Tai Hao. I'll go. What kind of trick is this? A super upgraded version of the Bentley Mulsanne. It's less than 40 million dollars, right? It's more than twice as expensive as a Bugatti Veyron. Is it some big shot coming to our school? Or is it something else that Mr. Wang has arranged? The students were all a bit surprised after seeing the Bentley limousine drive in. Wang Tai Hao frowned, a little displeased in his heart. After all, today was the big day of his confession. This super luxury car driving in to attract eyeballs. That was like sweeping his face and destroying the atmosphere he had painstakingly created. I'll clean you up later. Although he was a little displeased in his heart, it was obvious that confession was a higher priority. I'm not willing. Yi Xiaozi frowned and clearly refused. I've said it many times. I don't like you. Although it was tempting to tell the other party to hurry up and get lost. However, Yi Xiaozi knew that she was just an ordinary family. And if she angered the other party, she would be in big trouble. So although she felt unhappy in her heart, she still had to smooth out the emotions in her heart. To be honest, she felt that people like Wang Tai Hao were very disgusting. People had many feelings. There was no excuse for a godly man to have the resources and ability to realize that many feelings in his heart. But, Wang Tai Hao chased after girls all to prove his bullishness, belittling others for the bullishness he once bragged about, simply for the sake of face and good color, without any emotion in it. The first eight schoolgirls are the best proof. As soon as they succeeded in sleeping with Slash Over, they were kicked the next day. The other party was merely trying to fulfill his grandiose ambition of sleeping Slash Over the school flower list. Originally being stirred up the atmosphere made Wang Tai Hao a bit upset, seeing Yi Xiao Zi still having the same argument as before. The smile on his face directly gradually tightened up. I'm sincere to you, and I've even messed up today's scene for you. If you don't agree to me, you will be too much of a disrespect to me. Do you want to embarrass me in front of the whole school? Yi Xiaozi frowned. What's it to me if you're embarrassed? I have to be your girlfriend just because you like me? What do you take me for? Goods? Wang Tai Hao let out a cold laugh. In his heart, there was really nothing wrong with this statement. But his face was still far-fetched and squeezed out a smile. Z. I know that you are concerned about too many of my ex-girlfriends. I've cleared my relationship with them all. I truly love you. Ghosts believe it. Yi Xiaozi didn't want to tangle with him anymore. Get out of the way. I'm going out with my brother today. Don't delay me. With that, 
She pulled Li Wanru and wanted to leave. I go. The one who dares to hit Wang Xiao's face like this. The whole school is only Yi Xiaozi. Hey. Love love love. Worthy of being our commoner goddess. Yi Xiaozi. Being talked about so much. Wang Tai Hao's face directly grimaced. Reaching out to stop Yi Xiaozi in Li Wan Ro's path. And threatened in a low voice. Don't you give your face away. Before. Lao Zi's energy was on those eight behind you. Now that you've been targeted by me. There's absolutely no possibility of escaping. So I advise you to be sensible. The money I spent on setting up the venue today is enough for your whole family to earn a lifetime. As long as you stay with me for a few days, you'll be able to reap much more rewards than that. Li Wanro couldn't look at it anymore completely. Wang Tai Hao, don't you go too far. Hey, for Li Wanru, even with Wang Tai Hao's background, he didn't dare to offend too deeply. This was also the reason why he had set Li Wanru to be the last to chase after. She was the hardest bone to chew in the entire Boli High School. Wanru, this is between Yi Xiaozi and I. I advise you to stay out of it. He narrowed his eyes, his voice glowing with a hint of coldness. Little Z's matter is my matter. Li Wanru stood in front of Yi Xiaozi, not showing any weakness at all as she looked at Wang Taihao. Wow, this is the main event. A sister and a brother going toe to toe. This scene is absolute. Gulu, Li Wanru's status among the girls was similar to Wang Taihao's status among the boys. Both were characters at the top of the campus storm clouds. The confrontation between the two also caused the onlookers to directly climax in place. Li Wanru, advises you not to mess with me. Wang Tai how coldly said, your family has some power, but compared to my back, it's just SOSO. I want her today. The heavenly kings can't stop it. Just a girl from an ordinary family. How dare you pose in front of me. Then you come and try. Li Wanru was also clenching her silver teeth, but it was obvious that there was some lack of energy. She was after all just a weak girl. The other party was going to come hard today, and she wouldn't be able to protect Yi Xiaozi. Previously, Yi Xiaozi was safe because Wang Taihao's main focus was not on him. The harassment of ordinary rich second generation. Li Wanru can help her block. But today, it is really dangerous. The students also saw the situation and secretly sweated for Yi Xiaozi and Li Wanru. Drop. Just when the atmosphere reached the most tense. At any time, they might get annoyed and directly make a move. An unholy horn sounded. This horn sound was thick and melodious, yet high-pitched. It instantly became the center of attention in the entire room. Holy shit, Wang Tai Hao turned around, his face black with anger, and after seeing that it was the Bentley, he directly cursed, set on having a hard time with me, click, the car door opened, the two beautiful sisters escorted Yi Yang on the left and right and walked out of the Bentley, the atmosphere in a moment, became subtle, chapter 76 chapter 76, are you deaf, this, what's the situation, who is this person, looks so young, and these two girls next to him are also extremely good, couldn't be here to cross the line, right? The scene was abuzz with discussion, and almost all of the students were attracted by the honking sound whose provocative meaning couldn't have been clearer. That time when the atmosphere was at a crossroads, directly sounding the siren to destroy everything could be called arrogant, not giving Wang Tai how any face at all. Hiss, driving a land first class with such a beautiful woman by his side, I guess the background of this faceless youth is also awesome. Yeah. What level of rich second generation does this have to be to be able to afford to drive this tens of millions of dollars super luxury car? And he even dared to tear down Wang Tai Hao's stage. The guts are really big. He he he. There's a good show to watch. These students were closed for management on weekdays and rarely looked at their cell phones. So naturally they hadn't seen last night's jitterbug hotless no. One video yet. Otherwise, they should have been worried about whether Wang Tai Hao would get a beating. After all, Xiao Qingxuan's terrifying force value was not just words. Who are you? Wang Taihao frowned, looking very nonchalantly at Yi Yang who stepped out of the car with a full aura and a superb temperament, subconsciously rising hostility. Interrupting my Wang Taihao's business three times, is it too long to live? Yi Yang's gaze was also quite cold, he didn't even look at Wang Taihao in the eye, and directly he was walking towards Yi Xiaozi. Brother, Yi Xiaozi saw this domineering appearance of Yi Yang, and was directly shocked and blinded. And it was only at this moment that she was able to confirm that this young man who drove a super luxury car with two bodyguards, and who had an air of superiority surrounding him, was her own biological brother. This cry of brother caused the entire room to fall silent. Afterward, endless discussion suddenly erupted. What? This youth is actually Yi Xiaozi's brother. Didn't you say commoner goddess? This damn brother driving a Bentley is a civilian family. Then what does my family count as? Beggar family. Maybe it's a super big brother that we know outside? Only recognize the brother? It's possible. The nearby eaters were all dumbfounded. It was really that the contrast was a bit too great. 
Originally everyone can think that Yi Xiaozi is an ordinary family it. Result, this one super upgraded version Bentley Mulsan drove in. Let everyone drop their jaws. He, he is your brother? Li Wanru blinked her eyes, obviously also being surprised. He had seen Yi Yang's photo before. Sunny and handsome. But, compared to today's him, he didn't look like a person at all. That kind of superior temperament. That kind of transcendent essence and powerful and incomparable self-confidence. Seeing such a youth in a tense state of urgency and some fear, made Li Wanru have a trace of a strange feeling in her heart. When Yi Xiaozi saw Yi Yang, a surge of courage rose out of thin air, and she directly pushed away Wang Taihao's arm and directly jumped into Yi Yang's arms. Her body was trembling a little. Just now, she pretended to be strong and obstinate, but facing the intimidation of a super prince like Wang Taihao, how could her heart not be fearful and scared when there was no reliance? And the moment Yi Yang appeared, it directly dismantled the toughness she had pretended. He felt his sister's slightly trembling body. At the bottom of Yi Yang's eyes, ice coldness crossed. With wealth at his level, there were very few people and things that could touch his emotions. But today, he was enraged. Thanks for defending my sister. Ignoring Wang Tai Hao, Yi Yang smiled lightly and nodded to Li Wanru who walked over in style. I should. After all, Xiao Zi is my best friend. Li Wanru's eyes were glowing with color as she sized up Yi Yang. The confidence in this youth's eyes was not disguised at all. It was a manifestation of absolute bottom. To be able to drive such a luxury car and bring such a stunningly beautiful sister out. I think this brother of Xiao Zi is far from being as simple as she said. However, even if he has a certain amount of power, but how can it be compared to Wang Tai Hao, such as this, who is ranked at the top of the list in all kinds of second generation rampant Boli, the super prince? She smiled slightly, mentally intending to remind Yi Yang of Wang Tai Hao's identity, lest today's matter become too big. However, before she could speak, in Wang Tai Hao's eyes was the endless jealousy rising. The woman he had set his eyes on had long been considered by him as his own personal belongings. How could she throw herself at other men? Who the hell are you? His tone was cold and angry. Yi Xiaozi's family was clear to him. He didn't think that Yi Yang was really her real brother. Are you deaf? The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up a cold smile. I, Yi Yang, Yi Xiaozi's brother, have a problem? Hiss. This sentence instantly made the onlookers present suck in a breath of cool air. Not even covering up anymore. Coming up to dislike ah. Too damn cool. Those who usually look down on Wang Tai Hao were all crying out from the bottom of their hearts. Crap. Dare to call Wang Xiao deaf. This youth is also too brave. So manly oh. Too secure right. Would love to have such a brother. Some of the girls were looking at Yi Yang with starry eyes. Ha. Messing with young Wang. I don't think he'll be able to walk out of Bali High today. The same people directly finalized Yi Yang's ending. Chapter 77 Chapter 77 Showdown. I'm your grandfather. Are you a drag? Wang Tai Hao sneered, and then he also remembered what Yi Xiao Zi had just said, that she was going out with her brother for a day today. A few points of surprise rose in his heart. The other party's family conditions he understood, absolutely just ordinary people. How could there be a brother who drove a Bentley Mulsan? Although his heart was a bit stunned, he still smiled slightly, so it's a great uncle. Ha, since it's a family, I don't care about that bit of unhappiness before. Who is your great uncle? Yi Yang sneered. It's your kid who just bullied my sister. Hiss. How big is this person's origin in the end ah? Actually dare not give Wang Xiao face at all. In the view of the onlookers, Wang Tai Hao had taken the initiative not to pursue the matter just now, giving Yi Yang a step down. But as a result, Yi Yang actually didn't give the other party any face at all. He directly disliked him. I think he 80% doesn't know the identity of Wang Xiao, right? Hiss. It's really possible. If he knew the identity of young Wang, how would a normal person dare to be so arrogant? No matter what second generation, he would have to be polite. Che, maybe people just have a bigger background than Wang Tai Hao? There are people out there, and there is a sky beyond the sky. Don't say too full of words. The students who are not used to Wang Tai Hao said with a sneer. Then we'll just wait and see? Let's see who punches who in the face and be done with it. The various second generation students were also quite serious about face, and they were also arguing at this time. Wang Tai Hao's eyes narrowed. Today this is meeting a tough opponent. If it is unusual that he gave the other party a step, then he would not be able to smile and brag about himself. As a result, this kid in front of him is obviously illiterate ah. See this side of the atmosphere is a bit wrong. Wang Tai Hao's several private bodyguards are also aggressive over. In their opinion, he was the only man on Yi Yang's side. Even if they really fought, it would be them who would suffer. You probably don't know my identity yet. Wang Tai Hao stood up his chest with great confidence. I hope that after you know my identity, you still dare to talk to me so tough. Ha, <laughs> line ah, I want to see, which family's brat, 
has the guts to mess with my sister? Yi Yang coldly laughed. The other party wants to declare himself. That is naturally the best. It was just the right time to shock even the people behind it. Saving all the trouble in the future. Do you know who is my grandpa? The corner of Wang Taihao's mouth lifted up an incomparably confident smile as he asked in a disdainful manner. I am your grandpa. Yi Yang smoothly picked up. Put. The originally tense atmosphere made the onlooker students' palms sweat. But at this moment, they all couldn't help but laugh out loud. This little brother is also too capable of disliking. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I'm cool with it. I've wanted to mess with Wang Tai Hao like this for a long time. But my identity doesn't allow me to do so. Anyway, this dude, I'm convinced. From now on, he's my big brother. So cool. The students next to him watched the tit-for-tat exchange and secretly exclaimed. He's just playing with his mouth. If he angers Wang Xiao in a while, I'm afraid he'll have to leave Bali High School sideways today. There were also quite a few little fangirls who worshipped Wang Tai Hao angrily added. The students all stopped talking. After all, Wang Tai Hao's weekday accumulation of authority was too heavy. You. Wang Tai Hao was so angry that his face turned a little green. Oh, my grandpa is the richest man in China today. The household name Wang Si Lin. You dare to disrespect his old man in front of me. Ha 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 ha. Yi Yang froze for a split second. Then he burst out laughing. He had thought that the other party had some background, but it turned out to be just a nephew of the richest man in China. What's more, this so-called richest man in China's name of Yida Group, now are their own. Whether it is the name of the richest man agreed, or the other side of the wealth, take it or leave it, all in their own thoughts. Take such a thing to pretend with oneself, still want to suppress oneself. Thinking about it was absurdly ridiculous. Wang Taihao was confused. What the hell? Hearing his grandpa's name as the richest man in China, this kid couldn't help but turn pale with fear and immediately kneel down to offer his sister with both hands. This was directly given to being scared silly. This laughter also made the surrounding students, including Li Wanru, confused. Is this so arrogant? Wang Silin's big name was offered up, and as a result, he didn't even put it in his eyes. If he really had this ability, then how terrifying a background and strength would he have to have? I think it's just that he doesn't have the ability to pretend hard. He'll have to reveal himself in a while. Cut. I don't think so. China's crouching tigers and hidden dragons. The richest man on the surface. But there may not be no one dares to mess with him. The students had different opinions. But they were obviously all shocked by Yi Yang's wild laugh. Brother. What he said is true. I. Yi Xiaozi pursed her lower lip. Her eyes were a little red. In her opinion. Even if her old brother seemed to have suddenly made a fortune recently. It was impossible for him to have any say in front of a figure of Wang Silin's level. Ordinary people are so powerless in the face of power. Yi Yang smiled and rubbed her little head. A small Wang Si Lin's nephew can dominate the ragged high school. It seems that Bali is also this way. Brother. Yi Xiaozi looked at Yi Yang's confident smile. A trace of hope actually rose inside. Don't worry. After today. Brother guarantee. This world. No one dares to mess with you again. Yi Yang gazed biting cold. Looking at Wang Tai Hao's eyes. Containing endless cold. Since you are so conceited. Then. First take you to open the sword to establish authority. Chapter 78 Chapter 78 I let him be the richest man. He is the one who. You mean, are you not going to fulfill my request? Wang Tai Hao couldn't help but laugh out loud as well when he listened to Yi Yang's words that he didn't know the heights of heaven in his opinion. Who do you think you are? And you dare not mess with anyone. Today you can't even stop me. My old man. Then you come and try? Yi Yang sneered. As for that grandpa you look up to, I let him be the richest man he is. If I make him lose all his money, all it takes is a single word. What? The surrounding students exploded. He's not talking about any of his elders. It's himself. With a single word, he can make Wang Silin come down from his position as the richest man and even lose his family's fortune. This. Holy shit. This is too fake. Some of those who were originally not used to seeing Wang Tai how were all a bit shaken under these grandiose words of Yi Yang. After all, Yi Yang's words were just too ridiculously outrageous and beyond everyone's imaginative limits. Impossible. Not possible at all. He he. I've long said that this is blowing the kid's cowhide. That car and beautiful woman might be rented and used to fill up the face. As long as it's in the business world. Who dares to talk to Wang Silin's nephew like this? Next to him, Wang Tai Ha's little brothers and fangirls were seizing the opportunity to ruthlessly mock a wave. Ha ha ha. I had thought that you were some kind of a big shot. Just by your words. I can decide that you're just a deranged person. Wang Tai Hao breathed a sigh of relief and became arrogant, and one sentence makes my grandpa lose his fortune. I'll let you say 100 million sentences now. Speak until you die. Let's see if you can make my grandpa go bankrupt. Is it hard to believe that you know some demonic magic? Ha ha ha. Amused me. Ha. I've checked your family. 
It's just an ordinary worker's family. What's the point of pretending in front of my old man? Bottom people like you, fortunate enough to be seen by Lao Zi. That's the blessing you've cultivated in eight lifetimes. Still giving face to shamelessness. Let me tell you, even if I let you wash your sister clean and send her up personally today, you still have to be grateful. Snap. Wang Tai Hao's arrogant words hadn't even finished. A slap sound that could be described as resounding all around was what caused the entire world to fall into dead silence. Every single person, including Yi Xiaozi and Li Wanru, was completely dumbfounded. They couldn't believe their eyes at all. The students next to them had their hearts jumping into their throats at this moment. What did they see? Yi Yang actually directly transformed into a residual shadow, went up and slapped Wang Tai Hao, sending him flying out backwards in a spin on his back. I, grass. After a long time, only then did someone slowly let out such a heartfelt emotion. Is this still a human being? This slap goes down. The person flies out five or six meters. The head is slapped rotten right. My god, there is actually someone in this world who really dares to take a shot at Wang Tai Hao. Too fierce. Bullish. There's really nothing to say. It's too bullish. I'm kneeling down for brother Yi today. The entire group climaxed. This slap could be said to have made all the girls who had been bullied by Wang Tai Hao and the male students who couldn't stand to see him. Come out with all the anger in their chests. He's dead. How dare he beat up Wang Tai Hao like that. He's destined to be in jail for the rest of his life. That's right. No one in the world has been born yet who dares to slap Mr. One. Wang Tai Hao's brainwashed fans were all filled with righteous indignation at this moment. He he. The fact that people dare to hit proves that they have that strength. Brainwashed fans don't beep lie lie here. The people on the side were galvanized by the slap. And they dislike the brainwashed fans angrily in succession. You dare to hit the young master. The few bodyguards on the side were only then reacting. After all, Yi Yang's movements just now were simply fast beyond the limits of human beings, and the power was also so great that it was beyond their imagination. The consequences of the instantaneous strike gave them all a dumbfounded look. Xiao Xiaozhu and Xiao Qingxin glanced at each other, both of them without any more nonsense, directly striking out. Xiao Xiaozhu appeared to be weak, but she was covered in hidden weapons and poisons, and as long as she touched her body, all of them instantly went limp on the road. Xiao Qingxian, on the other hand, seemed much more violent, one foot at a time, three or four bodyguards, directly kneeled down and wailed, for a time, they were afraid that they wouldn't be able to get up, this, this this this, each one is ferocious, is this a martial arts expert, really bullish ah, the surrounding students were dumbfounded, seven or eight bodyguards, they were all put down by two sisters in one walk, at this time, Yi Yang also slowly walked to Wang Tai Hao's side, one hand was pinching the other party's neck and lifting it up. Wang Tai Hao's face had been smashed by his own slap, and he probably didn't have a few teeth left in his mouth. Little brat, remember, there is a sky beyond the sky. There are people beyond the people. In this world, I, Yi Yang, am the one you can't afford to mess with. Yi Yang coldly smiled. He never advocated that a gentleman does not report overnight revenge. He had touched the bottom line of his own family. If he still didn't take revenge on the spot, then it was really in vain. At this time, Wang Tai Hao had long been almost slapped to death by this slap, and had long been in the boundary between awake and unconscious. At this time, when he saw Yi Yang, the whole person was only left with conscious fear, trembling all over, and his mouth let out a slurred plea for mercy. Chapter 79 Chapter 79 A Luxury Car Four Beauties This scene left everyone in deep shock. In everyone's impression, Wang Tai Hao was the highest mountain peak of Bali High School. Even the head teacher and principal didn't dare to control each other. He was unrivaled in picking up girls, and he was also the top of the four young men among the boys. But at this moment, he is like a dead dog being carried in mid-air, whimpering and begging for mercy. After today, I'm afraid that he will never have an arrogant and domineering face again. Gulp. Actually really someone does not put Wang Si Lin in the eyes. Direct hands. Just don't know. What exactly is the background of this person? Really ferocious. Yi Yang took a deep breath, directly threw the other party hard on the ground, after sobering up. Let your grandpa come to the school to apologize to my sister. Otherwise, he, the richest man, doesn't have to be the richest man. Let Wang Si Lin come over to the trip. It can be confirmed that what he said is true. In the future this high school will never dare to mess with his sister's people. However, at this time, Wang Tai Hao had already been knocked out. After Yi Yang thought about it, he also looked at the black-clothed bodyguard lying on the ground. When he wakes up, tell him, if he dares to have any bad thoughts about my sister again. I will let him cease to exist in this world. That bodyguard trembled. The deep chill hidden under Yi Yang's words was chilling even for a professional bodyguard like him. Ordinary people were not involved in huge interests, and their living environment naturally seemed stable and peaceful. But as long as there were people, 
there would be power struggles and interests. The closer to the core, the more chaotic and terrifying it became. There were thousands of ways to do something like making someone completely disappear. And being in the middle of this class, the bodyguard naturally knew exactly what Yi Yang meant. He nodded his head repeatedly, indicating that he had memorized it. HM. Only then did Ji Yang turn around. The fury on his face instantly dissipated. He laughed and patted Yi Xiao Zi's little head. Scared you, didn't it? Yi Xiao Zi shook her head repeatedly, but was still a little worried. His brother, really okay? You don't trust your brother me? Yi Yang laughed. I'm a model good brother who never lies to his sister. Che ghosts will believe it. Only then did Ji Xiao Zi snort out a laugh. Just now, Yi Yang's furious appearance made him a bit strange. But now this warm and witty youth instantly made her feel familiar. This was still her own good old brother. Well, there's no need to get hung up over such a small matter. I'll take you to have a good day today. Yi Yang said with a smile. Li Wanru on the side looked at Yi Yang. Her heart was also fluctuating. With her eye for people, she naturally heard that just now. Yi Yang did not have a trace of exaggerated emotions. Every sentence was said with a strong inner confidence and reliance. In that case, he really had the strength to not be afraid of a former richest man in China like Wang Silin. This time, I came out with Sister Ro Ro. Yi Xiaozi smiled and looked at Li Wanru, just experienced just now. Also do not know whether she still have the heart to go out to play. Will not just brother too fierce to give him a bad impression. If this is the case, she this matchmaker has not yet been taken as. Things will fall through. I haven't formally introduced myself just now. Li Wanru. Li Wanru graciously extended her hand. Yi Yang. He also shook it with a polite smile. Although he was amorous, it didn't mean he was a bottomless colored demon. But this momentary handshake still made his heart flutter. This is the hand of a noble girl ah. It was indeed different from ordinary people. That silky smoothness and wonderful feeling was simply unforgettable. Together? Yi Yang smiled and invited. Yeah. Li Wanru pulled back her green silk and agreed. Yi Xiaozi, the self-appointed little matchmaker, was nervous for half a day on the side, and only after seeing Li Wanru agreeing, did she inwardly breathe a sigh of relief, and turned a little smug. Sister Ro Ro actually agreed. Hey, it seems that the first impression of my brother is good. Get on the car first. Yi Yang inwardly celebrated. Fortunately he drove a land first class out. The space inside was enough for so many people to sit. If he drove a Rolls Royce, one would have to call the maid again to get a car. Ah ah ah. Envious. Two big school girls. And two superb beauties. How can this be? Oh. Too cruel. I'm still a single dog. And people are being embraced by four superb beauties left and right. He he. When you have the strength to directly fatally beat up the richest man's nephew without fear. You can also be like this believe it or not. Ahem. Or forget it. My life is estimated to not be able to mix that point. I've decided. My new man god is him. Witnessing the lengthened Bentley Mulsanne slowly driving out of the campus. Many students either envious, jealous, or adoring. All looked on fondly. Don't just stand there. Hurry to the infirmary. Right. 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 Only a few lapdogs who were more loyal to Wang Tai Hao went to the infirmary. Looking for someone to rush in to save his big brother who had long been unconscious. Today is really wonderful. This thing I want to send a circle of friends. Those friends of mine probably have to say that I am bragging. Ha ha. Looking at Wang Tai Hao who was miserably carried away on a stretcher. These students couldn't help but lament. Chapter 80 Chapter 80 He's the perfect guy I've been waiting for. In the lengthened Bentley Mulsan. Yi Yang also opened two bottles of luxury fruit drinks for his little sister and Li Wanru. After all, they were still all high school students and it wasn't good to drink. Well, it's delicious. After chatting with each other for a while, only then did the few people get soothed from the tense atmosphere just now. By the way brother. You were joking when you said that this thing about having Wang Si Lin come and apologize to me, right? Yi Xiaozi took a sip of orange juice. Her eyes narrowed into a slit. Drinking this kind of cool drink in the middle of summer clearly made her feel immensely satisfied. Just wait. Yi Yang also did not explain. After all, the matter of letting the richest man come to apologize, no matter how you look at it, it seems ridiculous, no matter how you say it yourself, it's difficult to make others believe it, so it's better to speak with the facts when the time comes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Xiaozi nodded repeatedly. Boss, you really do have some skills after all. Xiao Qingxian looked at Yi Yang urgently, with some surprise in her heart. Judging from the previous details, Yi Yang should have practiced and had some kung fu in his body. Today's incident had completely exposed Yi Yang. That momentary strike, even the two of them didn't have time to react. The power of a palm, directly slapping someone out more than five meters. It was them, they might not be able to fight. This could not just know martial arts ah but the power had already reached an extremely high level. 
Ha ha, know a little bit. Yi Yang smiled and nodded. Originally he did not intend to hide it from others, and did not say it before purely because there was nothing to account for it. Brother, this change of yours is also too big. I can't believe you even know Kung Fu. Just now your slap was simply too handsome. Yi Xiaozi hemmed and hawed. Maybe after today, you're going to become a legendary figure in Boli High School. Yi Yang wasn't interested in whatever legendary title these little kids were giving. He just needed no one to dare bully his sister in the future. And that was enough. Right. Don't you usually come out with that housekeeper? How come she didn't come out with you today? Xiao Qingxian asked with some doubts. Her ah, I arranged for her to take Fang Han and the others to go and dock with the Disney legal department. Yi Yang looked at Xiao Qingxuan's somewhat surprised eyes and explained with a smile. I just acquired the Disney in Magic City in the past two days. Oh, Xiao Qingxian nodded unconcernedly. Even Storm Company could acquire it. Yi Yang's identity and background didn't need to think about it to know that it was ridiculously large. Acquiring a paradise was just a matter of course. What what what? Brother, you acquired Disney. Yi Xiaozi is directly confused. Disneyland, are fast becoming a landmark of the magic city. Mentioned the park, the international scope. Do the most successful is Disney. Disney now has five major theme parks around the world. China has a total of two. In addition to the bay that is the magic city this. Magic city this Disney theme park, but also was valued at nearly 200 billion dollars. Didn't you say some years ago that the park was worth more than 100 billion dollars? So many zeros, how much does that cost ah? Yi Xiaozi was not a stupid person. She felt more and more that her brother's status today seemed a bit too big to be true. In that case, having Wang Silin personally come to Bali to apologize to himself may not even be a play. Mr. Yi is indeed a rare talent of the current generation. On the side, Li Wanru was listening with radiance. Acquiring Disney, spoken in a light-hearted manner. A big project of more than 100 billion dollars, directly letting the secretary and the lawyer team go to the handover, without even having to go there herself. What kind of confidence and vigor is this? Moreover, Golden City Law Firm. She had heard of it. That was one of the few most famous law firms in China. At least in Magic City. The other side is known as a must-have, and has never lost a lawsuit until now. Even internationally, it has a bit of prestige. Such law firms are all in the service of this mister. Yi. Then the energy and network of relationships behind him. A little thought. Can be felt. Simply big and scary. Plus Yi Yang himself is so handsome. Knows martial arts. And is so protective of his loved ones. And again. He is the brother of his best girlfriend. This cordiality and impression can be said to soar. Unlike Wang Tai Hao's kind who relied on his grandpa to pretend to be his own. Jin Chang Law Firm and Disneyland were obviously Yi Yang's own. A true and genuine rich generation. Such a true young handsome man is what I've been chasing after. Li Wanru had to admit that she had never been attracted to boys, but on this day, she was impressed for a few moments. After all, everything about Yi Yang seemed too perfect. Sloppy. Being praised by a beautiful woman was of course a good thing. Yi Yang smiled with some small smugness. He he, what does sister Ro Ro call mister? Yi, this is my brother. It's too raw. Yi Xiao Zi saw that there was a scene, and even flirted with it. Eh, what is that called? Li Wanru smiled and asked back, if you don't mind. Just call me brother Yi. Yi Yang said seriously. He himself was at least three or four years older than the other party. So it was normal to call him brother. Li Wanru froze for a moment. Then pulled the green silk in front of her forehead. And smiled a smile that was beautiful. Good. Brother Yi. Chapter 81 Chapter 81 Top Tickets. Reward. Esports Proficiency. Wow. Yi Xiaozi looked at Li Wanru in surprise. It was the first time she saw her best friend would be so relaxed and cozy in front of the boys and blossomed into this heartfelt smile. He he he, there's definitely something going on. After inwardly longing for a while for the love of two handsome men and women, her bestie and her brother, Yi Xiaozi giggled. What are you giggling about? Yi Yang flicked Yi Xiaozi's brain. Oops, brother, I fantasized about the marriage hall. Yi Xiaozi was shattered from her fantasy and complained with a beep. What marriage hall? Yi Yang and Li Wanru both looked at her with uncertainty. Cough, I just blurted it out. He he he, Yi Xiaozi's eyes turned, and even said, brother, didn't you say you wanted to give me a surprise last time? What is the surprise ah? Oh, that ah. Yi Yang smiled, pretended to be mysterious, first take you to Disney to play around, send you back on the way to reveal the mystery. Che, Yi Xiaozi beamed, selling secrets again, stinky old brother. Say, that surprise of yours, what is it again? Yi Yang asked rhetorically. Humph, I brought such a big beauty to accompany us out to play hey, isn't it a surprise? Yi Xiaozi hugged Li Wanru's arm and laughed playfully. Feelings I called you this girl sold. Li Wanru laughed and nudged Yi Xiaozi's nose. Ha ha. 
Yi Yang also shook his head. This sister of his own is really a consistent man-child and quirky. Originally, he was still thinking about where to take his sister to play. Now it happened to acquire Disney. So why not go there to have fun? Let's go, Disneyland. Yi Xiaozi cheered. Xiao Qingxian on the side was also looking forward to it with immense anticipation. She and Xiao Xiaozhu had never traveled on the edge of death and danger. On weekdays, it was considered a lavish break to be able to go and eat an exquisite cuisine during the free period of a mission. Not to mention a place like Disneyland, which was built specifically for fun. The lengthened version of the Bentley Mulsanne, no matter where it is driven, is always noticeable and marvelous. This recognizability is much higher than an unusual luxury car. Hoo hoo. The Bentley sped away and arrived at Disneyland in the eyes of the envious and marveled eyes of the crowd. After parking the car in the exclusive parking lot next to Disney, Yi Yang then took the four girls out of the car and walked towards the Disney ticket office. Now that the handover procedures were not known to be completed, Yi Yang did not need to show his boss status just because of a few thousand dollars of ticket money. After all, all of a sudden tell the ticket clerk, I'm your new boss, then he would be treated as a psychopath. With that ink time, he would have already earned more than a few thousand dollars. Today's crowd wasn't particularly large. After queuing for a few minutes, it was their turn. Sir, this is our rate. Which service would you like to order? The ticket sales lady was dressed in a Disney princess outfit and smiled politely. Yi Young swept a glance and directly chose the most expensive 2666 package. Let's go with this one. 5. Okay sir, a total of 13. 330 renminbi. The payment has been swept and completed. This is the ticket. The ticket sales lady looked at Yi Yang with her eyes full. Such a handsome little brother. With four beautiful women with excellent temperament behind him. A shot is more than 10. 000 to buy the most expensive tickets. Obviously not ordinary people. If there weren't still tourists lining up behind her, she would have wanted Yi Yang's WeChat. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang casually took the ticket. And his heart was also a little emotional. This 10. 000 or so. Is a month's income for many three member families ah. Worthy of being the international level paradise that Magic City is famous for. The charges are really damn expensive. Ding. Detected that the host spent 13, 330 yuan on entertainment spending. Rewarding gaming proficiency. Ha. Yi Yang's heart rejoiced. He had just complained that this 10, 000 plus dollars was expensive to spend. And all of a sudden a nice reward came. Gaming proficiency description. You will have the ultimate level of human gaming talent and gaming standard. Unrivaled in all kinds of video games. Money wasn't a huge amount for him to even move. These special rewards were what caught his eye. Gaming proficiency? Doesn't that mean that whatever game I play in the future will be at the top human level, whether it's operation or awareness? It's all superb level. It's just right. Hurry up and bring a girl to eat chicken someday he he he. Thinking about that scene, Yi Yang also gave a hey laugh. Laugh what brother? The first time I saw someone spending money so happy. Yi Xiaozi is very incomprehensible. Chopping hands should not be very painful. How his own old brother spend money so happy? This is the rich man's strange logic. Nothing. Let's go. Yi Yang waved his hand and directly said. Okay. Compared to her old brother's oddball logic, she was obviously more interested in the rides in Disneyland. With a ticket of 2,666, you can play 12 kinds of programs and watch 6 shows. It's enough for you to have some fun today. Yi Yang laughed. Aha. Except for Li Wanru. Several girls were all coming to Disneyland for the first time, and they were all quite looking forward to it at this time. After buying the tickets, it was time to start checking, and after going through the security check, they could go in and play. This inspection is also too slow. Yi Xiaozi looked at the crowd in front of her as she slowly advanced. What the heck? In addition to the safety monitoring machine, there is actually a body search. Chapter 82 Chapter 82 Explosive Wrestling Obscene Man A cat and a dog? It's really not a secret base. Going in actually has to be searched. Yi Xiaozi muttered. But come all over. Money is spent. She can't turn her head and leave. She can only endure the small upset in her heart and wait for the security check. Yi Yang, on the other hand, frowned slightly. Now that the Disney in Mordor is his, this body search rule he also read the news on the internet. Originally thought it was a small rumor, but did not expect it to be true. We'll have to cancel this in a couple days. Yi Yang shook his head. Going through the security check was already enough to prove everything, and having to conduct a body search that made people's hearts very unhappy was a bit too much. Dripping. All five people casually passed through the security check gate, seeing Yi Yang and his party coming over. The search staff's eyes lit up. One of the male employees who was obviously dressed in a more upscale manner said something to the female employee next to him with his ear, and the female employee had to nod in silence, obviously taking the male employee's words for granted. Snap. Yi Yang frowned, 
Looking at the lewd face of the male employee he felt some subconscious revulsion. All right, pass pass pass. The male employee had a hawkish nose and small eyes, appearing very lewd. At this moment, he just slightly patted Yi Yang's body and let him pass, obviously a little impatient for what was coming next. Eh? Yi Xiaozi saw that the male employee actually did not retreat to the side, wanting to proceed to search himself, subconsciously just stepped back. Frowning, she asked, what do you want to do? What for? The male employee let out a hefty laugh. Do you understand the formal process? If you want to go in, obediently accept my search. There is clearly a female employee next to you. What do you mean? Yi Xiaozi was clearly a bit unhappy. Why is this sister of yours so unreasonable? Hurry up and come over to me. There are people waiting for you behind you. The male employee frowned and instead chided with strong words. If it was an ordinary little girl, who was heartbroken over the one or two thousand dollars of tickets, she might only be able to suffer a slight loss. With this trick, he didn't know how many beautiful women's beans slash rot he had eaten. Today is also obviously imperative. The female employees on the sidelines also turned a blind eye, apparently used to this, and did not want to care. A group of students who came to Disney to play on Sunday vacation. They also didn't dare to offend the male employee who had some background because of this. The male employee lewdly came up and stretched out his sinful hands. Do you not want to go in? Ha, huh? hurry up and give me. Before he finished speaking, the male employee felt a huge force coming from the back of his neck. The next thing that happened was that the sky turned over and his body entered a state of weightlessness. Boom. Cough cough. He stared in disbelief as his entire body was thrown by that tremendous force onto the wall three meters away, and hit it hard before falling heavily onto the ground. The entire person fell to the ground and almost vomited blood. Ah. The female employees on the side were obviously also startled. And a hint of horror flowed from their eyes as they looked at the youth who was indifferently clapping his hands. How could this person just say hands? And the strength was also terrifying. My sister, is also a dog like you qualified to touch? Yi Young indifferently clapped his hands and looked coldly at the male employee who had obviously been badly hurt by the fall. You dare to hit someone, believe it or not I'll call the security guards? The male employee hissed and rolled up, colorfully saying, feel free. Yi Yang sneered, I'd like to see, this old boss of Disneyland, is this how he restrained his men? What a lack of tutelage. You. The male employee felt like he had broken a few bones. His eyes were fierce, but what he did was after all against the rules, and he didn't dare to really call the security in. His sharp eye swept the backpacks on Xiao Qingxian and Xiao Xiaoju's backs, and with a twinkle in his eye, bad water rose in his heart. The other few female employees saw that they had met a tough opponent and knew that something bad had happened, which was why they came up to say good words to remedy the situation. Sir, we came to check for your sister. Right right. Yi Yang laughed. What? They were all lying next to each other just now. And now they're swindling? A few female employees all lowered their heads in shame, not daring to dislike them back. They weren't like that male employee who had a background. If things got big here, they would directly have to be fired. In order to keep their jobs, they didn't dare to talk back to Yi Yang at this moment. No problem. After the inspection, several female employees were apologizing to Yi Yang. Enough. At this time, the male employee finally rationalized his anger and stood up with a grimace. There's no problem on your body. But you guys should know that Disney doesn't allow you to bring your own food in. This isn't some lowly amusement park where cats and dogs can enter. Chapter 83 Chapter 83 Claiming 250W You call this kindness? Oh, Yi Yang narrowed his eyes. A cat or a dog? That's right. Don't you guys think that the food and drinks sold inside Disney are too expensive? So you can't afford them. So you prepare your own food and water. Oh, the male employee sneered. Poor people like you deserve to come to this noble Disneyland. It's simply disgraceful. Ha ha ha. Either you throw everything you're carrying outside, or else, you still can't go in. Hey, you guys are too overbearing. The tourists in the back who were originally prepared to watch the show behind them all complained when they heard it at this time. They had originally come to have fun as well. Yi Yang's violent beating of the lewd man before was much more exciting than playing the game. They were also watching happily. So naturally, they were in no hurry to go in. Many of the tourists here had brought their own food and water, and at this moment, when they heard this man's clamor, they were all unhappy. After all, their own interests were involved. The internet says you can bring your own. What the hell? You guys are paying over $60 for a small burger here. What's the difference between that and a money grab? We're not even allowed to bring our own food. Tickets are expensive enough as it is. That's right. These tourists were all in a group. If you can't afford to come, don't come. You poor bastards, is this the place for you to come? The lewd man who had just been violently beaten up and lost all his face sneered. And at this time, he found his confidence and was arrogant. Do you think that we brought food in because we can't afford to eat inside? Yi Yang felt a hint of amusement. 
What, isn't it? Do you have to have me shake out the contents of your bag and make a public spectacle out of you before you will stop your sophistry? The male employee sneered. Fine. You can check the things in my bag here, but one thing counts as another. If there is a single bit of damage, you will have to compensate me in full in a while. Yi Yang smiled lightly, casually digging a hole for this male employee. Ha, laugh me to death. A few breads. A few bottles of water. Worth a few dollars. Do you think I'm a poor bastard like you? Just pay for it. The male employee tension sneered. A hand, give me the bag. You. Xiao Qingxian had a hint of fury in her eyes. Give it to him. Wouldn't it be better to let him pay for it later? Yi Yang said with a smile. That's true. When Xiao Qingxian thought of this, a smile rose in her eyes. Instead, she looked at Zhang Li with some sympathy. You're afraid that your whole life will be accounted for here. This, the tourists on the side also rose in interest. Obviously all were also puzzled. Zhang Li was dropped on his head before he was stupid. But they could see it. Can bring four big beautiful women. No fear of hands. A shot is beyond the normal strength of the guy. How can it be ordinary people? Actually so big mouth. What exactly is in this bag? Even more expensive is just some food and drink food for coming out to play. Not so much as to let this guy hitch a ride for the rest of his life. These tourists were all constantly talking and didn't want to enter the amusement park. Obviously the scene here. Attracted them even more. I yuck. Zhang Li fell down. And at this time. His grievances were great. And he directly shook out all the things in those two backpacks brutally. And slammed them on the table. Ka. In the first bag. What spilled out was all chilled luxury beverages and all sorts of expensive. Champagne that was kept cold by a layer of dry ice. At this moment. Being roughly shaken out. Directly several bottles were bumped. Crackle. In the other bag, all sorts of extravagant, beautifully wrapped gold foil cakes and supreme desserts were also spilled out. Quite a number of cream products were all blossomed. This, Zhang Li has some background. With the uncles and uncles in the family, naturally some insight. This this this. He saw a bottle of broken wine bottle. The heart suddenly is a tremor. Ice warm Lafite red wine? I fucking. Who came out to play a little bit also with red wine and high end cake ah? Your fucking family has a few hundred million ah. He was a bit confused and could only persuade himself. It's all fake. It must all be fake. But he knew very well that the possibility of it being fake was extremely low. Okay, there is no need to count one by one. I count you cheaper. Give you a discount. These two packages of damaged things. It will cost you two and a half million. Prove that you are at 255 okay. Yi Yang casually said. Hiss. 250 W. This. Really fake ah. The tourists on the side were all a bit confused. Two packages of food and drinks were worth more than two million dollars. Yi Yang was also a bit helpless. He directly packed in the things in the Bentley Mulsan. These things were all prepared for him by Yumomo. He didn't know exactly how much they were worth. And at this time he casually quoted a number. Even Yi Xiaozi was in some disbelief and covered her mouth. On the other hand, Li Wanru, who was completely from the aristocratic class, smiled and counted. This is the Ice Point La Fight. A bottle is about 17 W Huaxia coins. This is Brazilian sunshine coconut juice. A bottle of about 5 W Huaxia coins. This is a bottle of Landau original champagne. A bottle of about 35 W Huaxia coins. And this is the best Solofa drink. These are about 67 W RMB. She moved her gaze to the other side again. As she quoted the price. Tension's heels had long since gone weak. And what little fantasy was left supported him as he stood there. Gold foil carrot cake. 30 W Chinese Yuan per small square. These you're hitting the flowers with are estimated to be worth a million and a half or so. There are other bits and pieces that you broke worth around five million. Brother Yi letting you compensate two and a half million dollars is already very kind. Zhang Li almost fainted with a black eye when he heard Li Wanru's offer. What do you call this kindness? Chapter 84, Chapter 84, a boss's voice surprises the four seats. And who are you? You're cheating. Zhang Li colored and shouted angrily. It was while he was forcing himself to calm down. There was also the sound of a honking siren coming from inside Disney. Everyone was puzzled and looked that way. The Disney import and exit were divided into two lanes. Ooh, it's actually driving out. Bullish enough. If they were tourists, naturally, they couldn't drive in. Now, however, it was a luxury car that went out. Obviously a Disney executive. Disney how to say is worth more than $100 billion of super amusement park. Which the executives, the status is naturally also very high. The faces of the onlookers also showed a hint of longing. This is the top of the line Maserati. Isn't it? 20 or so million dollars. TSK. These big bosses. They really don't take money for money ah. Uh. Looking at this row. It's not just any big boss. However. This Maserati next to how to follow a Range Rover. A little price drop. The top of the line Maserati is. After all. 
a super luxury car of 20 to 30 million dollars. Although the Land Rover Range Rover is also 1 or 2 million, if it is placed in other scenes, it will naturally attract a wave of eyeballs, but following behind the Maseratis but is a bit out of place. Ha! Huh? However, Yi Yang was familiar with this configuration. The Maserati was the one he handed over to Yumaimo in the morning, and the Range Rover behind it was naturally the communal signboard of Fang Han's law firm. It is reasonable to say that Fang Han has less than a billion dollars. Actually do not match a good point of the public car. Really thrifty ah. Dripping. Behind the Maserati and Range Rover. A clear line of luxury cars. Apparently to compliment them. Phew. Finally going to send these ancestors away. That Fang Han is worthy of being a gold medal lawyer. Simply too scary. That AI way. Simply recite all the legal provisions backwards. The program we prepared didn't do anything at all. It was killed by it one by one. This new boss is really powerful. The old owner today is a little bit of extra benefits did not take advantage of ah, the limousine in the back. Disney's executives were all sighing with emotion, acquiring such a super large project close to $200 billion, not even showing up in person, directly letting the lawyers and assistants under his command to talk about it. For this new boss, their hearts were filled with awe and faint fear. It would be a blessing in three lives if I could meet this new boss with superb means. All of them at the top were lamenting. In the middle of the discussion, the Maserati and Range Rover in front of them stopped at the same time. Holy shit, why did these ancestors suddenly stop? The executives were startled. Originally, when Disney changed bosses, they were worried that their positions, which they had managed to get into with great difficulty, would be cut by the new policy, and it also proved that these few ancestors that came today were all ridiculously strong in their professional abilities. The old boss was directly swept away. In addition to the terms of the contract, a little extra benefits did not get. This sleight of hand really shocked these executives. It won't suddenly change its mind and use the power given to them by the new boss to lay us off. Right? My day. Heaven and earth are honest. I was respectful just now, but I didn't dare offend these ancestors at all. After all, what you mimers few represented was Yi Yang, so how would they dare to be slack? Touche. The car door opened and closed. These few ancestors in their mouths all respectfully got out of the car and trotted towards the entrance side. Phew. Okay. It doesn't look like it's turning back to find us. In trouble. What's going on here? The person who can make them so respectful. Can't be. The new boss is here. Thinking of this possibility, the spine of this group of executives suddenly shivered. Crap. Get out of the car. No matter what the cause is, it's only right to go and confirm it first. No longer daring to delay, these executives were all getting out of the car and trotting towards the door. Seeing these company executives trot over, the security guards in charge of the exit gate are all frozen. What is this? These executives how all face with a weird smile to their side trotting. Why does this scene feel a bit scary? What are you waiting for? Why don't you salute? The security chief at the side repeatedly reminded. However, these company executives were in no mood to pay attention to them, and directly ran after Yumumo and Fang Han's trail. Entrance. Seeing Yumumo and Fang Han, AI Wei, and Saichi, the four of them came down from the super luxury car. These tourists in the queue didn't dare to have any objections and they all subconsciously slightly moved out of the way. Boss, the four of you Momo stood still, and they all bowed respectfully to greet Yi Yang in front of them. Hiss, the spectators beside them were all confused. The super beautiful woman driving a tens of millions of Maserati called him her boss. How bullish a big shot must this be? No wonder the food in the backpack alone was worth a few million. Now, no one doubted the authenticity of the five million dollars of food just now, and they all looked at Zhang Li with sympathy and amusement. And at this time, Zhang Li, his legs and feet have long been soft, that a boss, directly crushed the last fantasy he had left. Chapter 85 Chapter 85 suddenly remembered that I acquired Disney and came to have some fun. Boss why did you personally come? You Momo asked with some surprise. I brought my sister out to play today, and suddenly remembered that I seem to have just acquired Disney. So I came to have a stroll. Yi Yang casually laughed. Crap, what do you mean suddenly remembered? What do you mean it seems to have acquired? My day. Disney was acquired by him, impossible right, he looks like he's also just out of his 20s, Disney is valued at close to 200 billion ah, my god, this is too fantastic, I just witnessed the scene of Disney's new boss making a private visit to beat up the unruly and lewd employees, ahem, I don't believe it, I don't read much, don't lie to me, aha, uh -huh. after hearing Yi Yang's explanation, UMOMO rightfully nodded, Fong Han's few were also relieved, they thought it was Yi Yang who doubted their ability and came to supervise on purpose, Brother, this is, Yi Xiao Zi blinked your eyes, UMO Mo's looks and body, were all one of a kind, enough to make any girl subconsciously feel envious, her name is Yu Momo, she is my assistant, 
Yi Yang introduced with a smile. This is my sister. Yi Xiao Zi. Master's sister. Hello. Yu Momo subconsciously called out the private name. Her face slightly red, but with her fixation. She naturally stopped caring with a disinterested smile. Gulu. Yi Xiaozi incredulously glanced at Yi Yang, inwardly spitting madly. My day, older brother. I didn't expect you to look honest and play so flirty in the interior. Yi Yang sheepishly touched his nose, it's not what you think. Cough. It doesn't seem to be too far off. Yi Xiaozi even looked at Li Wanru with some concern, but her good girlfriend had received a professional noble cultivation course, and at this time, she couldn't see what she really thought. Cough. Yi Yang lightly coughed, ready to break the small cultivation field. Well, not to mention this, the handover talk is over? Well well well, Lawyer Fong and Lawyer Ai Wei are really worthy of being the most professional. All of them were solved in three clicks. The solution I will send to you, boss, at night, Yu Momo said with a hefty smile. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly and looked at Fong Han. Trouble you guys. What did the boss say? Just when Fong Han wanted to politely say a few words and pat Yi Yang on the back in the process, Disney's group of executives then all flocked up. They had all watched Yu Momo's respect for Yi Yang just now. However, when they really looked at Yi Yang's handsome and excessively young face, they were all confused. However, they didn't dare to slack off. Although their hearts were in shock, physically they still subconsciously and skillfully bent down and bowed. Boss. Boss. With the bowing of the first resourceful senior. The senior behind all followed suit and bowed collectively. Ooh. This. Arrogance in the front and respect in the back. What a grand gesture. The tourists were dumbfounded. The row of this bunch of suited executives bowing and saluting in unison was simply too eye-shattering. Hiss. That guy at the front I recognize. Oh, say come and see. That bald guy was on Magic City TV. Seems to be Disney's brand image operations officer. Behind those who were on the stage with him at the time, I can still recognize that financial beauty general manager and that big-breasted chairman secretary. You damn well can only remember big boobs and beautiful women. But, in that case, these are the real top brass of Disney ah. They actually collectively called this young boss together. My god, doesn't that mean, what he just said, all of it is true. He really just suddenly remembered that it looks like he really did acquire Disney. So he came over to take a look. Oh my god, ah this. The visitors at the scene were stunned. After all, seeing a hundred billionaire right in front of you in person is not at all the same level of shock as seeing it on TV. And this rich man was also so young and handsome. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly. No need to be so formal. Boss. If you come and say a word, we will naturally welcome you in personally. Why bother lining up here? These executives were all incredibly polite. After all, it was the new boss, and there was nothing they could say if they kicked them all out in one displeasure. Just came purely to have some fun, originally in a good mood. It's just a pity that this body searcher seems to be a bit unreasonable. Breaking my millions of dollars of carry-on snacks ah. Yi Yang shook his head and said with some regret. Ah, this, which ungrateful one dared to block your boss out. Dog eyes blind. An executive tried to show himself in a row and cursed angrily. Cough cough. Second uncle. It's me. Zhang Li answered with a sobbing voice. Second uncle Sun Fuyan was confused. It's you. How is it you? He looked at the beautiful women behind Yi Yang and instantly understood. His heart suddenly collapsed. Just now, he was thinking about how to please his new boss. This sperm slash brain dog nephew had actually stabbed himself in such a big basket. He wanted to hold tension down in a cesspool and smother him to death. Um. Tension was completely scared and directly knelt down on the ground. Boss, I really don't know. You're a big man. Let me go. Chapter 86 Chapter 86 Bossy is really a high-level person. The female employees and a group of tourists next to him saw this scene. All of them were sighing. Just now, he was making things difficult for people and trying to take advantage of their sister. But it turned out to be good. And now he didn't take advantage of it and even messed with a big shot. The job is definitely lost. The compensation of several million dollars. I am afraid that he cannot afford to pay. He can only kneel and beg for forgiveness. What the hell is going on? Give me a clear explanation. The general manager on the side asked. Yes, it's like this. The female employee at the side had seen this kind of super high level for the first time, and was obviously made nervous by all these things happening in front of her. Her speech was stuttering, but it was also considered to be a rather detailed description of the matter. Well, the general manager nodded, while in his heart, he was terrified. This big oolong made a mess. The new boss had just arrived and had left such a bad impression. They didn't think that just now when Yi Yang said he was here to have some casual fun that he was really here to have some casual fun. They've been in the shopping mall for a long time, and they've managed to climb up to the top. Their guesses about the mind of the leader could be described as out of this world and pure. Such a super lord rich man who spends money like dirt. Every word, 
Every move is not unintentional. Boss Yi Yang is obviously here for a private visit. Ah, how much of the real situation can be known by only contacting the top brass? Only personal experience can be felt. Gao Ming Ah, worthy of being a lord who can earn hundreds of billions of dollars. We compared to Boss Yi. The realm pattern is inferior by an unknown amount. Boss Yi seems to be doing nothing, but he is actually doing something. This is the real high man. These executives were all guilty in their hearts and side repeatedly. If these thoughts were known by Yi Yang, he would definitely be dumbfounded. He indeed suddenly remembered that he had a paradise in his hands, and was purely here to have fun. Humph, Disney has been in business for so long and created a good image, all of which has been ruined by this nephew of yours, leaving such a bad impression on the boss. Old son, you're confused. These executives flung pots at Sun Fuyan. That's right, that's right, you see to it that it's resolved. One slip up and the boss fires you. It's your own fault. You guys, Sun Fuyan was so angry that his teeth were itching. Between the top management, there was an open and secret fight. This was clearly a way to drop a stone on himself. However, at this time, the best way to solve the problem was to make Yi Yang comfortable first. He smiled at Yi Yang and said, from now on, he has nothing to do with me at all. I'm going to sever the uncle-nephew relationship with him. In order to make amends to you, I'll pay for half of the two and a half million dollars. In addition, I will also transfer to you half of the equity of my men. Oh, Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. This Sun Fuyan was quite a good person, dealing with problems decisively and resolutely, worthy of being able to mix to this level. Uncle, you can't leave me alone. Two and a half million dollars. How can I afford it? You arranged this position for me. You can't be unrelated to this matter. You have to help me. Zhang Li was practically crying. I'm fucking. Sun Fuyan was almost so angry that a mouthful of blood was sprayed out. He said on his lips that he didn't care, purely because he wanted to save himself first, and afterward, behind his back, he stuffed his sister with money to pay for the compensation, and Boss Yi would inevitably turn a blind eye to it, and couldn't possibly purposely chastise him for the sake of this district of two or three million dollars. The result of this stupid nephew actually this cannot see. See yourself to get out of this quagmire. A sentence to their own drag back. Did you fucking grow up eating shit? He growled, went up to give tension of foot, was originally Yi Yang fell on the miserable. This foot containing Sun Fuyan infinite anger kicked, so that tension directly fainted dead. Puff. These executives next to them couldn't help but laugh. This Sun Fuyan, really have a good nephew ah, especially those two competitors, just about burst out laughing. All right, all right, it's not worth it to really kill someone in a while. Yi Yang also waved his hand, just let him find the time to put the money on my account afterward okay? My time is also precious. Who? Sun Fuyan appeared to be storming out of his senses with rage before striking out. But in his heart, he understood that nowadays, letting this stupid nephew of his lose his ability to speak in a hurry was the best option. It is also the best means to solve today's problem. At this moment, seeing Yi Yang really no longer pursuing, inwardly finally a long sigh of relief, even accompanied by a smile, said, Boss Yi said yes. This kind of garbage, simply not worthy of delaying your time. I'll immediately have security come over to clean up the scene and restore order. I'll immediately hit your account with the money later. Well, that's it. Yi Yang also lost interest and casually waved his hand. Right. Find a few people to go back to my car and get some more food and drinks. Yes yes yes. Sun Fuyan nodded repeatedly. Yi Yang had brought these top-notch luxury foods. It was really hard for them to buy them all at once. Soon, the scene was under the efforts of a group of executives. It efficiently returned to normal. Let's go. Yi Yang smiled at the four women behind him and waved his hand. Boss, what about us? Yumaimo blinked her eyes and asked. Go back and pick up a car. Drive to the entrance of Linjiang District. I'll send you a tweet in a while for the specifics. Yi Yang laughed. Oh, Yumomo beamed her little mouth, showing some gloom. Yi Yang also knew Yumomo's mind, patted her little head, and laughed. Hey, don't I spend a lot of time with you every night? He he got it boss. Yumomo reacted, blushing and even turned back to run to the Maserati to prepare for the matters Yi Yang said to go. Chapter 87, Chapter 87, Exciting Route, A Day Full of Benefits. Yumaimo and Fan Han, under Yi Yang's instructions, they each went about their own tasks. You guys don't have to follow, I'm just here to have some casual fun. What's it like for you guys to follow? Go do whatever work you need to do. Yi Yang entered the park, and found that these managers and whatnot behind him were actually still respectful and arrogant, so he helplessly smiled and said, This, when these executives heard this, their hearts sank, constantly thinking about the meaning of Yi Yang's words. It must be that our presence here has made the boss feel that he has lost the feeling of being a micro-villager. He must want the most original experience. Alas, 
Before I actually didn't comprehend this meaning of boss ye. What a shame. After half a day of speculation, these executives were also thinking that they had a good grasp of Yi Yang's thoughts. Boss, understand, understood, we'll leave right now. Aha. Uh -huh. These executives ordered a few staff members to come over just as soon as they walked away from the front foot. You guys take care of the boss throughout. If anything like what happened just now happens again, get the hell out of here. These executives were also having palpitations at this time. Give boss Yi super super supreme VIP service. Understand, let him personally feel that our Disneyland is a home away from home for its visitors. Yes yes yes, leaders don't worry. These staff members all nodded their heads in succession, not daring to resist in the slightest. Well, only after ordering these did the executives return to the office area with anxiety. In their hearts, they were all praying, hoping that Boss Yi was having a good time. Let their days be better. Next, Yi Yang cut his teeth on the Disneyland home away from home treatment. The beautiful young lady was wearing a princess outfit, and her fine voice warmly gave them an itinerary plan for every step of the way, and everything in the park was all free and free to use at will. Well, in that case, this tour can be divided into fairy tale route, adventure route and sweet route? Yi Yang asked. Yes, there are a lot of facilities in the park, and it's a bit difficult to experience them all in one day, so we are also introducing different route strategies. The two princess-dressed long-legged beautiful staff members were smiling. Which one do you guys want to play? Yi Yang turned around and asked. Xiao Zi wants the adventure route. Yi Xiao Zi jumped up and down and said. It was too boring to be bored in school on weekdays, so of course she wanted to have an adventure to stimulate the excitement. And if sister Ro Ro is scared in a while, maybe she can have a passionate embrace with her old brother. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Xiao Xiao Zhu and Xiao Qing Xian felt like sleeping when they heard the other routes, so of course they chose the adventure route. Li Wanru also laughed. When I was a kid, my family brought me to play the fairy tale line already, so this time it's the right time to try the adventure route. Well, it's settled then. Yi Yang smiled. Next, he was following the guidance of the princesses and stepped onto the thrill route. First was the Tron Extreme Light Wheel, then the Jetpack Flyer, interspersed with a golden fairy tale spectacular show, followed by the Dwarf Mining Vehicle, the Crystal in Color Wonderful Voyage, the Rope Challenge Course, the Thundering Mountain Rafting, and finally ended the tour with the Caribbean Treasure Battle Indoor Rafting. These programs are all thrilling and exciting at the same time. But Xiao Xiaozhu and Xiao Qingxian what big scenes have not seen. Sitting on a flywheel and riding the wind and waves on a rafting boat all felt like child's play. And they even talked and laughed about it. To them, this was the excitement of not having to worry about danger at all. And it was still very different from being on a mission outside. So, all of them were also very happy. As for Yi Xiaozi and Li Wanru, although neither of them were unusual girls, when they encountered this kind of thrilling and exciting scene, they were still a bit scared after all. From time to time, they would burrow into Yi Yang's arms. This day came down. Other people stimulate not stimulate Yi Yang do not know. Anyway, he is stimulated. Stimulation of the nosebleed are almost out. Although Li Wanru looks pure girl type on the outside, it can even be said that it feels a little flat, but after really sticking up, that curve, it is also absolute. Gulp. Finally coming down from the pirate ship. Yi Yan was still a bit unfulfilled, even though the last item was in the water. Now he was feeling a little thirsty. It's so exciting. Yi Xiaozi exclaimed that it was too much. Yeah, this is the essence of an amusement park. The fairy tale line that I played with when I was a kid was so boring in comparison. Li Wanru was also feeling refreshed. This one day experience was simply too good to be true. For a few thousand dollars, it's worth every penny. Yi Yang smiled and said, if we didn't have to search the body for the small part. The overall experience is perfect. It's still worth coming. He he he. Boss Yi really doesn't forget to advertise his industry everywhere he goes. Truly worthy of being a business giant. Li Wanru squeezed half jokingly. A day of exciting project experience down. And Yi Yang chest slash chest slash chest for a day. Naturally also made friends. Each other's feelings subconsciously improved a lot. They can joke freely. Ah, ha. I just casually talk about feelings. Yi Yang scratched his head and laughed. It's true that after a person gets rich, will all the people around him start to unconsciously magically brainstorm? Chapter 88 Chapter 88 The cruise is not expensive. A whole day's amusement was obviously also physically exhausting. After playing the program and watching the show, Yi Yang and the four girls were then taken by the princesses to the sea cruise restaurant. This was also Disney's most expensive and honorable super fairy tale restaurant to experience. The dinner here is named the Star Sea Dinner. The candlelight in the sky and the gentleness of the waves will accompany you throughout your meal. The princesses were all smiling. Is this dinner a table for one ship? That's quite a great value. Yi Yang said with some surprise. The entire cruise ship was not small. 
and the open air level was all transformed into an extravagant dining hall. There was also a specialized band playing soothing and fairy tale inspired tunes. The princesses were all smiling, not denying or admitting it, but they were all crying and laughing inside. Crying out in succession, how could it be possible? This cruise ship was expedited and refitted just for you. The entire Disney is unique. However, the executives commanded to silently give you Yang's line of super supreme VIP treatment, so that the boss thinks that this is the treatment of normal people before. Therefore, the princesses looked at Yi Yang actually believed. The heart is also silent tears. The world of the rich we do not understand. Eating on a cruise ship, it's really enjoyable ah. Yi Yang couldn't help but sigh with emotion, feeling the ups and downs of the ship and the water vapor that filled the air, as well as the elegant dining environment and food. It was simply super enjoyable. This is too comfortable. Yi Xiaozi laughed. I wish I could eat on a cruise ship every day and feel this kind of goodness. Yi Yang raised his eyebrows and smiled. It's not impossible. As long as you want it. Ah. Yi Xiaozi blinked. What do you mean? Yi Yang rubbed his chin. Your words remind me. I happen to like this feeling as well. Saying that, he directly dialed Yu Mimo's phone. The waiters on the side and the princesses serving Yi Yang were all frozen. What was this going to be? Even Li Wanru was tilting her head to look at Yi Yang suspiciously. Mime. Help me buy a water cruise ship restaurant like Disney in a while. Ah. Yu Momo over there was obviously stunned by Yi Yang's opening statement. But then her professionalism is what calmed her down. Boss. Ahem. Even if it's just a river small cruise ship, want to give a short time to buy it? The price. You know, the price does not matter. Yu Mimo choked. But thought of Yi Yang shopping a car show with the same as buying food. One night to buy a car spent more than a billion. In fact, a river small dining cruise ship counted. Maybe completely inferior to the car show that night's consumption more. Thinking of this, she was relieved. When do you probably want it? Time? Just ship it to me within three days. Just put it in that public river surface leisure area next to the Linjiang neighborhood. Yi Yang thought about it and said, Okay boss, I will contact to get it done as soon as possible. Yu Momo promised down in a row. Well, that's it. Yi Yang nodded with satisfaction. Oh yeah, have you done the Ferrari I asked you to mention? I'll go back to Linjiang neighborhood after taking them to buy something in a while. It's already okay. I'm doing my job. Master, are you still not assured? He he he. Yu Momo gave a kiss through the phone. Of course I'm assured. Aha, uh -huh, good. Yi Yang put down the phone and realized that the people around him had long since frozen. The waitresses and princesses next to him also looked like they had been immobilized. Adult puppets. Why don't they all eat? Yi Yang asked with some doubts. The waiters and princesses were all roaring madly inside. Big brother you are too trenchant. Simply stunned us okay. Because you think the experience of eating on a cruise ship is quite good. You're going to buy one straight away. My mom. Is this the mindset of the rich and famous? At least hundreds of millions of dollars of consumer goods. And you're just going to order it over dinner? You just sounded more casual than buying a piece of bubble gum at the supermarket. This one phone call has shattered the money sense of the waiters and princesses. Ahem. Even Li Wanru was so shocked that she coughed. Her family had a good background. But buying a hundred million dollar cruise wasn't this easy and cozy. Brother, you won't really buy it, right? Yi Xiaozi had a question mark on her face. She just casually mentioned it ah. Ah. Bought it. Yi Yang nodded with a smile. It's just a cruise ship. It's not that expensive. If my sister likes it, then it's not just a matter of buying it. Brother. Yi Xiaozi was touched beyond words. The corners of her eyes were moist. Cough cough. Actually I also think so eating is good. In order to enjoy themselves later. Also have to buy ah. Yi Yang muttered somewhat sheepishly. Humph. Just know you a stinky old brother. Yi Xiaozi was just about to be moved to tears when she was amused with a snort of laughter. Ha ha ha. The surrounding people also laughed. After the wine and food were full, there was also a butler who walked over with an exquisite photo album. What is this? Yi Yang suspiciously swept a glance at the photo album and said with some surprise, this is the record beautiful value-added service only available to Supreme VIP. The wonderful moments of this day in Disney between you and your companions have all been captured by our photographers and made into the best crystal album for your memories. The butler bowed courteously. Chapter 89 Chapter 89 Road Encounter with Poisonous Chicken Soup Success Queen Hear the applause? Oh, Yi Yang raised an eyebrow and took the crystal photo album, casually flipping through it. The photographers were indeed all masters. The moments captured were either cozy or hilarious, and each one made people feel comfortable. Attentive. He nodded and put away the album. We have prepared a total of five identical albums. Each person will keep one as a souvenir. Just leave your address and we will send a professional to personally deliver the albums to your door. The staff dressed as a butler courteously said. Good. Yi Yang also explained the address information. Li Wanru smiled and shook her head. 
Normal top-level tickets did have a capture service, but so attentive, and also sent a photo album per person, and even sent it home personally. This has never even heard of it. Obviously, this was all because of Boss Ye's status off. After finishing the Star Ocean dinner and getting off the cruise ship, Yi Yang and the four girls were then led by the princess attendants and walked out of Disneyland. Boss Yi has already left? Is there a smile on his face? Phew. Finally gone. In the office area, after a group of executives received the confirmation message from the security chief in front of them, they all sighed with relief. Looks like the boss is still having fun today. It's finally a relief. Originally, these Disney executives all wanted to see Yi Yang off at the door. However, they didn't dare to send them off due to the concern that Boss Yi wanted to have a real experience. Phew, had so much fun today. Yi Xiaozi bounced around and her heart was relaxed. After all, before she studied and lived, she was carrying the hopes of her entire family, and everything in the future had to rely on her own efforts. But now that her old brother had suddenly become so bullish, it also made her heart unconsciously much lighter. Looking at Yi Xiaozi's relaxed and happy look, Yi Yang's heart was also slightly warmed. Now that the sun was setting, the golden twilight light sprinkled on the streets, making people feel warm. Eh? Walking to the parking lot where he parked, Yi Yang slightly raised his eyebrows. Throughout the parking lot, most of the cars parked were those of tourists who came to Disney to play. Therefore, luxury cars did not make up the majority. At a glance, one could see his own unique and ridiculously long land first class, in front of the lengthened Bentley Mulsanne at this time. There was a rather coolly dressed Netflix face sitting at the front of the car, scratching his head and saying something to the camera. On the side, his horse-killing boyfriend was also constantly changing his position to give her a shot. After half a day of shooting and changing several poses, she was still not satisfied, almost lying on the ground, shooting a full tilt perspective. The surrounding tourists, too, were looking at these two people with envy, obviously took them as the owner of this luxury car. If it wasn't the owner of the car, where would they dare to touch this kind of luxury car like this, in case any damage was done to someone else's car? A lifetime of hitching a ride wouldn't be enough to pay for it. Families, you all said I was bragging before. Now you see my strength? Ha ha. Thank you good big brother for the carnival love you so much. The net red-faced female anchor scratched her head while rubbing against Yi Yang's car to show off. Now you guys believe it, right? As for me, I'm a successful person, an independent woman of the new era. Female president. What about earning the first 10 million dollars? It was when I was 12 years old. The pop-up screen was also enthusiastic at this time. My god, it's actually a real female president. It's too awesome, right? This is the customized model of the lengthened Bentley Mulsanne. The full price down tens of millions of dollars off. Queen Lily is awesome. Worthy of representing our new era of independent women. Netflix Lily's winking eyes moved and the corners of her mouth lifted. Seeing that her persona of a successful independent female president was well constructed, she started brainwashing. Sisters, don't love men who don't give a damn about you. If a man doesn't give you money, or if he has money and doesn't accompany you, then he doesn't deserve your youth ah. Hawk hawk sister. At the age of 12, earned 10 million dollars, and at the age of 15, her assets exceeded 100 million dollars. Rely on what ah. All rely on my own independent women strong struggle out. Women, be your own queen. Invest hard in yourself, men and so on. All go to hell. The live broadcast room became even more lively. That's it. What Queen Lily said is so right. I'm going to be bowled over by her. This is our role model. It's so handsome. I'm going to record the screen and send it to my loser boyfriend later. Delivering food from morning till night. He only earns about $10,000 a month. He can't afford to support me. I don't even have enough money for cosmetics to go to my girlfriend's discos every month. Provoking slash teasing the audience's emotions. Netflix Lily hastened to capitalize on the situation. Sisters, do you guys want to know why sis is so successful? Just click on the cosmetic link below and buy a hundred copies. And I'll send you my secrets of success in a private chat. The audience in the live broadcast room began to frantically place orders. Watching the sales rise wildly, Netflix Lily's mouth grinned to the sky. Put. Yi Yang watched her bragging there with interest. He thought how bullish this bitch was. But in the end, she was still a lulling brain damaged fans into buying fake goods and collecting IQ tax. He couldn't help but directly spurt out with laughter. If she didn't give this bandwagon link in the end, Yi Yang wanted to give her a round of applause. The few girls around him were also embarrassed with goosebumps. It was the first time he had seen such a retarded live set in reality. But the effect seemed to be really good. No wonder the poisonous chicken soup culture is so prevalent now. Chapter 90, Chapter 90, This Car, Mine. It seems that there are still a lot of poisonous chicken soup audience ah, even from a distance. Yi Yang was able to see the order reminders and gift messages flying up in that screen. As long as you guys get my secret of success, 
you can also become a successful female president like me, and become a new age independent woman yo, and you can also harvest a boyfriend like a dog like me. Netflix Lily turned the camera around and aimed it at the licking dog on the side who was gathered around to take pictures of her, her eyes full of disdain, you know why, when a woman is successful and excellent, all these guys will gather around like dogs, too handsome, too right, 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 the pop-up screen once again went on a gift frenzy, ha ha ha, Yi Young finally couldn't help himself and burst out laughing, ha, huh? Queen Lily had already believed everything she said at this time, and was so deep into the drama that she really thought she was a super successful female president. At this time, when she saw that Yi Yang even dared to laugh at her, she directly raised her willow eyebrows. Stinky brother over there, what are you laughing at? Yi Yang shrugged. Nothing, I'm just curious. Why did you call yourself a piece of shit? What did you say? Netflix Lily was furious. Wasn't it you who said it yourself? Something that a man pounces on like a dog and makes a bunch of dogs fight over it is nothing else but shit. As far as I can see. Yi Yang shrugged his shoulders and spread his hands. Bold. Netflix Lily directly jumped down from the car with an arrogant attitude. Poor losers like you like to attack successful new age independent women like me. Because you are afraid of the times. Afraid of women awakening their sense of independence. The essence is poor losers. Poor losers. Looking at the somewhat graphic Netflix Lily. Yi Yang smiled disdainfully. Sisters in the live broadcast room. Swipe gifts for me. Let him see the fighting power of our new age women. Lily continuously rode on her victory. Why do you need others to brush gifts to prove your worth? A new age woman? I think it's better to call it new era retard. Yi Yang shook his head helplessly and didn't intend to ink on. Alright, you'd better stay wherever it's cool. Just looking at you makes me feel sick to my stomach. I'll hide aside. Are you kidding? Lily straightened up, puffed out her chest and raised her head. Her expression arrogant and incomparable. Look, this is my old lady's car. This is a lengthened Bentley curtain. Curtain. Tens of millions of dollars anyway, you hurry to the old lady roll aside, otherwise you'll scratch my car later, you can't even afford to pay for it with the money you've earned in your whole life. The brainwashed female fans in the live broadcast room were madly adoring Lily when they saw how strong she was, and the gifts were once again brushed up. That's, this is my goddess's car, my goddess is so naturally beautiful and young, you guys hurry up and get to the side, don't ruin my goddess's aura. The dog licking man on one side even jumped to his feet. Not the least bit shamed by Lily calling him a dog licker in front of everyone. This kind of person, really cheap to the bone, out of the category of human as a species, turned into a pure dog. You're dreaming, hurry up and wake up. Yi Xiaozi gritted her teeth and said indignantly, this is clearly my brother's car. Hmm, God reversal. The passersby on the side all had their eyes lit up and all gathered over. If this luxury car wasn't even this female anchors, then her successful persona would naturally not be broken. At that time, it would really be a disgrace to the sky. You, you're talking nonsense. Lily freaked out, which only slightly awake a little bit from the beautiful dream. This car seems to be really not their own. Yi Yang helplessly shook his head, and was too lazy to argue, directly took out the car key and casually pressed it. Boom. The lengthened Bentley Mulsan awakened with a bang in this instant. It was like a sleeping super beast. The 8 meter long body, the bright and regal radiant lights, in the twilight, spreading its infinite fangs. This sense of power and oppression. Let Lily Queen directly legs went soft. If not licking dog saw the opportunity. Hastily assisted her. Afraid that really want to sit on the ground with a butt. Roll ah you. Stinking licking dog. Are you worthy of touching this queen? Netflix Lily disgustedly pushed stinky lick dog away with one hand and crashed into the Bentley. In the next instant. Her mind went blank. This was a super luxury car. If it was really wrecked by this bitch. How would they have the money to pay for it? She never treated this licking dog as a human being from the bottom of her heart. Something that doesn't even have dignity, still deserves to be loved. How can that be? Even the sight of the other person made her feel sick. If it wasn't for the fact that this licking dog obeyed her and really acted like a dog, she wouldn't have brought him out. The surrounding spectators were dumbfounded. The live broadcast room was steeply quiet. Holy shit, this car really belongs to this lad. Still calling it a fart lad. He's a superstar. Right. Right. Right, this stupid female, thanks to the old man just now almost believed it, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The onlookers were filled with righteous indignation. The live broadcast room also set off countless scolding sounds, and many people were directly blushing and exasperated as they exited the live broadcast room. What are you still watching here, Scram? Yi Young coldly glanced at Netflix Lily, and then led the four women towards the Bentley Mulsan. Chapter 91 Chapter 91 Killer Sister Songs Your lofty image in my mind has completely collapsed. Take off. Never again. That's it. 
turned out to be taking someone else's luxury car and pretending, oomph, or the luxury car of someone who dislikes you, it's so embarrassing, the fans were all furious beyond measure, and at this time, they were all taking it off, however, Wang Mei didn't care about this at all at this time, this one in front of her was a super godly man who could afford to drive tens of millions of dollars of luxury cars, if you can get on this super god hero, then, you still shape the image of a successful female president, the image is shaped even better, the goods bring even more successful, decades are not necessarily earn a super luxury car, after all, the poisonous chicken soup audience is capped, she is destined to not really be able to make a super netizen, that, little brother, just now is my wrong, you look at me this, there is an eye that does not recognize and tie, tie, the dog's eyes look at the low, Wang Mei directly lowered her posture, the fans who hadn't left the live broadcast room, the passers-by next to them, and the dog-licking boyfriends were completely dumbfounded, this and her previous image of an iceberg queen could be completely two extremes, if you don't mind, let me do anything, let me use everything I have to pay back for my presumptuousness just now, Wang Mei had a springy look on her face, her hands resting on her center, accentuating her breasts, this kind of rouge and vulgar powder, Yi Yang was lucky if he didn't spit out when he looked at it, he had never been too fond of net red faces, especially this kind of rectified snake face, which looked especially out of place, it made the hairs on the back of his head stand up, enduring the mood to vomit, he directly got into the Bentley Mulsanne, hurry up and drive, okay la, Xiao Xiaozhu looked at Yi Yang's appearance and couldn't help but laugh, but truth be told, the feeling of this whole somewhat deformed snake face actively scratching its head was indeed powerful comparable to a biochemical weapon, making people feel that their body and mind were all under a huge attack, this is more powerful than even my poison, she lamented, she drove the car when she came, but now it was also replaced with Xiao Qingxian driving, Xiao Qingxian stepped on the gas pedal, and the Bentley Mulsan transformed into a black shadow and left far away, leaving the messy Wang Mei alone, she burst into tears, her makeup all blurred, a big gold mine is right in front of me, I actually told me to make myself lose it, beautiful, don't be sad, he has no vision, this is not still have me it, lick dog man completely without humanity, even if the goddess said explicitly to chase other boys, are not angry at all, and even feel that this is their own performance opportunity to come, even up to help Wang may wipe tears, roll ah you, if it wasn't for you trash, could I miss out on this perfect male god, Wang may slap the iron licking dog on the face, looking at the phone screen that was crazily dropping points, so angry that she directly slammed the phone down, incredibly angry, she walked away, alas, beautiful, don't go ah, don't relieve your anger just hit me a few more times, the dog licking man was aggrieved in his heart, feeling that it must be where he had not done enough to provoke the goddess to be angry, and even chased after him, the Bentley Mulsan sped down the street, where to, boss, Xiao Qingxian asked, the nearest luxury store here, I want to make Xiao Zi a real princess, Yi Yang smiled, brother, Yi Xiao Zi was touched, silly girl, Yi Yang rubbed Yi Xiao Zi's head and smiled, not only did he want to buy clothes for Yi Xiao Zi, he also wanted the whole school to know that Yi Xiao Zi was his sister, and he, is someone that their parents can't afford to mess with, don't worry, after today, in Bali High School, you no longer need to live carefully, this sentence, instantly hit Yi Xiao Zi's heart, causing her eyes to redden in an instant, noble high school, all kinds of second generation gathered, all kinds of strange things that were rare in other schools appeared to be common under the fermentation of power and money. In the midst of this environment, a child from an ordinary family can only hold back, not daring to be too publicized. If it wasn't for the fact that Li Wanru was her good best friend, in these two years, she didn't know how many more grievances she would have to suffer. But good thing, today, all this, all end, no longer need to be aggrieved. She, Yi Xiaozi, can also live in Bali High School, with her head held high and confident. Good Lu, Xiao Qingxian hummed, Xiao Xiaozhu also had a happy face, it had been a long time since they had hummed a song, intense training, bloody battlefields, filled the entirety of their lives once, it was not too much to say that today was the best day of their lives, Xiao Xiaozhu looked at Yi Yang's side face, and a strange warmth flooded her heart, it was this man that changed the trajectory of their lives, let them know, the original world, not only blood and fighting, life can be so relaxed, originally, people can really be happy all day, in a good mood, all humming a song, Yi Yang joked, aha, Xiao Qingxian hummed a ballad from an unknown country, I learned it from the local gypsies when I was on a mission, how is it, quite catchy, right, Yi Yang scratched his forehead, forgive me, it's just the opposite, you big straight man, Xiao Qingxian grunted angrily, but in her heart, she was happy and continued humming a cheerful gypsy ballad, chapter 92, 
Just like this, the carload of people were talking and laughing, and in the midst of the laughter, Yi Yan also received a call from Yu Momo. Master, I have already contacted. Berry Cruise Company has already made restaurant sightseeing dining cruise. I have already paid a deposit of $50 million. Wait for the cruise ship to drive over. After arriving at the place, then end the payment. UMOMO reported. Good job. Yi Yang smiled and nodded. Ding. Detected that you have spent $150 million to purchase a cruise ship. Blast reward. Rewarding Tencent with 51% equity. Yi Yang's heart trembled and felt a hint of shock. Tencent Company. Tencent. Could be considered one of the truly largest companies in China. With a market capitalization of over $4 trillion. It was much more terrifying than Yida Real Estate. The reason why its founder, Mark King, did not occupy the position of the richest man is because his shares are not many. But now Yi Yang is sitting on 51% of the shares at once, with the VIN Express alone. It was enough to make him sit at the top of the Forbes list in China, and even make his way to the international Forbes list. This significance, could not be said to be unimportant. His assets, today, had officially surpassed $3 trillion. It was more than the total annual income of some small and medium-sized countries. It could be said that he was truly rich. Receiving this reward, Yi Yang was also incredibly excited. If he had relied on Yida real estate as his main asset before, he now had another pillar. In this way, the certainty of having Wang Silin come to apologize was unknown how much greater. That's fantastic. A trace of uncontrollable laughter spread across Yi Yang's face. What are you giggling about? Yi Xiaozi on the side looked at her brother's sudden demented smile and couldn't help but be a little puzzled. Eh? Yi Yang froze and collected his smile. Ahem. Nothing. Keep driving. Acquiring hundreds of billions of assets wasn't scary yet. But if one explicitly said that he had just acquired 51% of Fujicom's equity, he was afraid that he would directly make the crowd cry out that it was impossible. After all, that is in China. Are considered the top few super trillion level companies. Bentley Mulsan flew all the way. Bao Guang Bay. The closest luxury area to Disney is also considered a small reputation in Magic City. M. Yi Yang surveyed the environment of Exposure Bay and frowned slightly. It feels like this place is a bit smaller than Devil's Six and Rainbow Neighborhood. That's for sure. Devil's Six and Rainbow Neighborhood are the first level of luxury area in Magic City. This side of Baoguang Bay is rated second, no matter the size or quality. It can't be compared to the first two. Li Wanru said with a smile. I see. Yi Yang nodded. It was worthy of being of noble origin. That is, he was knowledgeable and knew clearly about luxury goods. This is the closest luxury area to Disney. Devil Six and Rainbow Block are too far from this side. Now that it's getting late, I chose to come here. Xiao Qingxian explained. Hmm, then we have to buy some here to make do. Yi Yang nodded helplessly. Li Wanru cried and laughed. Even though it's only the second level, it's still considered very high. There are first tier cities where a second level luxury area doesn't even exist. Listening to Yi Yang's tone, how did it feel as if it was condescending to buy things here? Ha ha, okay. Yi Yang pointed to the entire neighborhood in front of him. Tonight, this is our purchasing ground. Take whatever you like. Aha, all right. The ladies all nodded with smiles. Wan Ro, you are so discerning and experienced. Give my sister a decent set of matching, right? Yi Yang smiled and invited. I'm honored. Li Wan Ru smiled and nodded. Obviously this kind of thing of matching clothes for her good girlfriend. She was also very enthusiastic. After looking around, she directly ran over to the Chanel boutique. From the hat to the bag, to the shoes, all meticulously matched. Li Wanru was also clear about Yi Yang's mind. Wouldn't hurt money at all. And his favoring of his sister. Today she was also looking at it in her eyes. So when picking things, did not care about the price. Purely for the sake of looking good with it. Hmm. Yi Yang looked on from the side with satisfaction. People depended on their clothes. My sister was already good looking, and now with the addition of these beautiful clothes, her temperament instantly went up a notch. From now on, she was going to metamorphose from a commoner goddess to a true super goddess. Little Z is so pretty. This time when you go back to the school flower list the number one might be you. Li Wanro looked at the well-dressed Yi Xiaozi and couldn't help but exclaim. He he he. Sister Ro Ro don't coax Xiaozi to be happy. Yi Xiaozi was happy inside. Which girl doesn't like beautiful clothes? Out of understanding. They wouldn't say it, especially Xiao Zi, would say that these cheap clothes also fit well and are comfortable, but, when they put on the beautiful clothes of their dreams, that feeling of happiness, also could not be suppressed float on her face, it's so good, Yi Yang also enjoyed this feeling, just now, I tried a total of 15 sets, Li Wanru nodded her chin, I think the best looking ones are these sets that you can buy, I think they all look very good, let's do it this way, 
Buy them all. Yi Yang waved his hand. The atmospheric look made the beautiful shoppers on the side have golden eyes. Chapter 93 Chapter 93 How expensive can it be? Ten figures? Ahem. Li Wanru smiled wanly. She almost forgot how luxurious Yi Yang was. Brother. This dozen sets matched together less than a few hundred million ah, too expensive. Yi Xiaozi was taken aback. Originally thought that buying one set would be very satisfying, but as a result, Yi Yang actually wanted to buy all of them. Don't care about these insignificant ones. Yi Yang smiled and touched Yi Xiaozi's head. I'm going to tell you tonight. In the future, I want you to be the real princess. Other than that, everything is no longer important. Yi Xiaozi's eyes slightly red, older brother. You are also too emotional today. Xiao Zi is going to be moved to tears. Since I was a child, I have not seen you cry less. You can cry harder. Ha ha. Yi Yan laughed badly. Stinky old brother, it's all so rich, and you're still so gangly. Yi Xiao Zi rolled her eyes. Ahem. Yi Yang rubbed his nose and waved his hand. Anyway, wrap these up. Older brother, the cabinet in my dormitory can't fit so many clothes. There's really no need to. Yi Xiao Zi weakly said. Who said these have to be sent to your dormitory? Yi Yang smiled mysteriously and sold a secret. After swiping his card, he gave the address to the store manager. After you pack them up, send them all here. Understood, the manager said with a continuous smile. This lord was a true super godly man. Tens of millions of dollars of clothes, not even blinking, directly bought them. This kind of big patron, can be grasped properly. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly and turned to look at Xiao Qingxian and Xiao Xiaozhu. You two don't stand next to me foolishly? Quickly go and choose your clothes right? Ah, are we? The killer sisters were a bit incredulous. Of course ah, whoever comes today has a share. Yi Yang smiled and looked at Li Wanru. You've also worked hard to build clothes for my sister. As a reward, the clothes in here, the ones you like also feel free to take a few sets. Good. Li Wanru is also not polite. A day of warming feelings. She and Yi Yang have no barriers between them, but some hate each other. Yi Yang didn't have the flavor that she didn't like from the unusual second generation. Instead, it felt incomparably kind and gentle. All right, go quickly. The crowd picked half a day later. Yi Yang also swiped his card together and instructed each of them on the delivery location. The manager also carefully and cautiously noted it down. After all, this kind of big patron could not be rare. Ding. It has been detected that the host has spent 2584W8569 on clothing, rewarding $10 billion in cash. It has been issued in the underground vault of Cloudtop Mountain. It's actually cash? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows, but no matter if it was cash or deposit, it was always money, so he didn't mind. Finished buying clothes, go check out the jewelry and watches. Yi Yang waved his hand and continued to stroll around Baoguang Bay, when he walked to the jade store at the end. Except for the quality of the clothes on Li Wanru which wasn't considered a big change, the remaining three girls were simply like a crow's nest turned into a phoenix, although Xiao Qingxian and Xiao Xiaozhu's previous clothes were good, but compared to this set today, they were obviously still several notches behind. Especially Yi Xiaozi's before and after contrast was too great. Returning to Bali High School would definitely stun the entire campus. How much is this bracelet and earrings? Yi Yang asked. This emerald bracelet is $500,000, and the white gold earrings are $288,000. The shopper introduced with a smile. Ha! Huh? Yi Yang frowned. Sir, the one you took is the more expensive one. If you feel the price is higher, we still have these styles here you can. The shopper obviously completely misunderstood Yi Yang's meaning and explained. Too cheap too. Is there any expensive one? Yi Yang directly put back the previous jade bracelet and earrings. Eh? The shopper was a bit speechless. My good boy. That is worth close to a million dollars of jewelry. You've come to say that it's too cheap. The shop assistant opened her mouth. Unable to laugh or cry. It seems that there are really many super rich people in this magic city. She even brought Yi Yang and the others to the treasure area. These are real super jewels. The unit price of each one, is not less than a million, belonging to the aristocrats in jewelry. Yi Yang smiled and nodded, casually grabbed a sapphire necklace and compared it to Yi Xiaozi. How much? Cough. Sir, this guardian blue, worn by the British royal family in the 18th century, is one of the most expensive treasures of our store? What you have is an imitation. If you want to buy the genuine one, only then will we fetch it for you from the safe room. It's just more. Expensive. The guide cried and laughed. Why did this handsome man just grab the most expensive one right out of the gate? Expensive? Yi Yang smiled. Ten figures? Cough cough. That's certainly not. Certainly not. The shopping guide was scared by Yi Yang's ten-digit vibe as soon as he exited. His legs softened, around the back end of the eight-digit range. If you're serious about wanting to buy this guardian blue, 
I'm not qualified to guide you. I'll go and ask our chairman right now. Go on. Yi Yang casually waved his hand. Brother, this, this night, Yi Xiaozi was considered to have experienced the feeling of a super shopaholic to her heart's content. At this moment, she still felt giddy. Do you think it looks good? Yi Yang asked with a smile. Of course it looks good. Just, Yi Xiaozi said in a row. If it looks good, just wear it. Yi Yang said rightfully, Chapter 94 Chapter 94 When you go to college, I'll give you a better one. When Chairman Yu Qin was surprised by what the shopper said and ran out in a row, he found that Yi Yang had already grabbed a large handful of imitations of fine jewelry and waved at her. The real ones of these, fetch them for me along with them by the way. Yu Qin just slightly swept a glance at those jewels in Yi Yang's hands and was so scared that she almost threw herself on the spot. These jewels, the cheapest are tens of millions of dollars. So a large handful, at least worth several hundred million, the entire jewelry chain, a year may not be able to sell such a high value of jewelry. Today, they are all in the hands of a young man, said by the way to buy all these jewelry. Sir, you've basically swept away the treasure of our town store. Yu Qin slowed down for half a day before she was calmed down. Her lips numbly said, HM, I just looked at which one is better looking and took it. Yi Yang smiled. It seems that my vision is quite good. Take all still good. What do you mean not bad? Yu Qin inwardly cried out miserably. These jewels, when placed in the international jewelry world, any one of them was a name. Owning one would be enough to shine in the top social circles. This kind of grade of jewelry was a handful. She had been in the jewelry world for over 10 years, and it was the first time she had seen it. With all due respect, Mr. You are so bold. It's the only thing Yu Qin has ever seen in her life. Yu Qin asked carefully. However, these jewels are really too involved in value. You still need to prove your assets before we can rest assured that we can give you a lift from the safe warehouse. Is this enough? Yi Yang understood Yu Qin's meaning when he heard half of it, and directly took out the centurion black gold card and casually threw it to the other party. Pick up the goods as soon as possible, and swipe the card by the way. Centurion black gold card. Yu Qin saw the pattern on the card and felt the unique feel. The whole person was immediately energized. The slightest bit of skepticism was gone. Joke. The centurion black gold card had a credit amount of tens of billions of dollars even in China. Not to mention internationally, its overdraft limit was theoretically unlimited. These jewels are precious in her opinion, but the value is really calculated. Altogether, not one-tenth of the overdraft limit of others in China. This kind of trillionaire only have super identity proof. It already says it all. Sir, I'll contact the security warehouse right away, and guarantee that it will be delivered immediately. This level of super rich man, where would Yu Qin dare to slack off? The overdraft limit of one of their bank cards was enough to be higher than the market value of her company. Aha! Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly. As expected, after displaying his black gold card identity, the real bodies of those jewels he had chosen were soon escorted over. This is yours. This is yours. Yi Yang casually looked like he was handing out candies to a small child. Yu Qin, who was watching from the side, was envious. Alas, although philandering a little, but this kind of super godly man, really still has infinite charm, I so want to be the fifth, she began to think about it inwardly, obviously, she had misunderstood the relationship between the four women and Yi Yang, well, that's perfect, Yi Yang looked at the four women who wore top quality jewelry, these jewels, were like the finishing touch to that stroke, making the temperament of the four women, all of them improved a lot, looking at the color of the sky, Yi Yang also smiled, the buy is almost done, it should also take you to see, the surprise I prepared for you, Yi Xiaozi blinked, these aren't even surprises today. In her opinion, Yi Yang had been giving her constant surprises throughout the day today. One wave was bigger than the other. There were actually reserved items. Of course, Yi Yang smiled and rubbed Yi Xiaozi's forehead with a handsome tilt of his head. Let's go. This will take you to take a look. Boss Yi, you go slowly. Yu Qin enviously looked at the line of five people leaving. The beautiful thoughts in her heart were still prolonging. Alas, if I were ten years younger. I would definitely compete with these little girls. Ha ha. At this time, the sun had completely set. The lengthened Bentley Mulsan traveled through the middle of the bustling night magic capital neighborhood. It eventually stopped at the entrance of the Linjian neighborhood. At this time, at the entrance of Linjian district, is crawling ambush of fiery as blood Ferrari asterisk lava. This sexy and extremely expensive Ferrari's beauty setter, just by parking here, attracted countless envious gazes. Drip. The Ferrari asterisk Lafa that had been silent for a long time flashed up at this time. Umomo walked out from it in black silk and bowed with a smile. Boss, Yi Yang smiled and nodded. Good job. After asking for the car keys, he also turned around and looked at Yi Xiao Zi. Xiao Zi, from now on, 
it belongs to you. This, Yi Xiaozi hesitated for a moment, and in the midst of Yi Yang's encouraging gaze, she tremblingly took over that car key. Ferrari asterisk Rafa, more than thirty million dollars, Li Wanru exclaimed, but halfway through her words, she fell silent again, because, Yi Yang actually sighed and said helplessly, Z ah, you have not graduated yet, cannot send you two good car, when you get into a good university, brother will send you a better one, Li Wanru inwardly frantic, listen, is this human language, chapter 95, chapter 95, don't think too much, young man, auntie is a serious person, thank you, brother, Yi Xiaozi hugged Yi Yang deeply, and just after letting go, she wanted to jump into the car for a test drive, she was already 18 years old this year, and her driving license, she was already studying part-time at school, ahem, the surprise I'm talking about is not this, this is a small gift, there's no rush, this car will be yours in the future, there are plenty of opportunities to drive, Yi Yan laughed, ah, this, is just a, small gift, Yi Xiaozi was so shocked that she was not in a hurry to get on the car to test drive it, but just mechanically followed Yi Yang into the Linjian neighborhood, alas, envy ah, even Li Wanru, who came from a rich family, was completely envious of Yi Xiaozi today for having such a bull and a very pampered brother. The family behind Li Wanru was very powerful, but the resources tilted that really fell on her were actually not a lot. The rich family was like the sea, and it wasn't as breezy as it seemed, although her status was not low, but after all, she was only 18 years old and still in high school. It was impossible to be too supercilious. What tens of millions of dollars of supercars and hundreds of millions of dollars of jewelry and clothing? It was simply impossible to have. But, Yi Xiaozi had all of them today. Before Yi Xiaozi nothing will always envy her superior material conditions. Today can be considered a complete bipolar reversal of. Just walked into the Linjiang neighborhood. Walking on the green road. He saw a group of figures coming out from the entrance of building C. The figure at the head of the group. Yi Xiaozi, was a very good person. The figure at the head of the group. Yi Yang recognized it at a glance. The shape and temperament of the other party was outstanding and would not be forgotten after seeing it. Ha, boss, you are free to come personally today. Fang Shijin's eyes lit up as she looked towards Yi Yang, and her heart was delighted. However, after seeing that the five girls behind him were all top-notch, a trace of gloom also flowed from the bottom of his eyes. However, this trace of bleakness was only for a moment and then disappeared. The moment she fell in love with this man, she knew that it was something that could not be avoided. How could a boy who was so perfect not be surrounded by beautiful women? Or rather, it would be heavenly absurd not to have such a situation. The four girls other than Yi Xiaozi also subconsciously sensed a certain sixth sense when they saw Fang Shijin, the eyes that liked someone could not be hidden. Potential love rival. With just one look, Yumomo recognized Fang Shijin's identity. Well, this is Z, my sister. Today I'll show her the big flat we packed for her the other day. Yi Yang was completely oblivious to the strange sixth sense between women and explained with a smile. Ah, Fang Shijin's heart was relieved. So it wasn't all rivals. Hello hello hello. Fang Shijin shook Yi Xiaozi's hand in succession. By the way, why are you still here so late? Yi Yang asked with a smile. It's not, you have more than a thousand housing units, and they are all school district housing. The demand is really too big. I am now working three shifts a day, bringing these tenants to see the housing, and I'm still too busy to do it. Fang Shijin smiled and said, really diligent. Yi Yang gave a thumbs up. If I were your boss, I would have to at least give you a king sales rating. He he he. Although Fang Shijin was a mature and capable image in front of others. In front of Yi Yang, she unconsciously removed her disguise and returned to the shyness that she should have at her age. Yeah, who is this young man? So handsome. Some of the rich women in the back of the room had their eyes shining. This is the one I told you about. The sole owner of the entire Linjiang district. Yi Yang. Mr. Yi, Fang Shijin introduced with a smile. Hiss, not only these tenants, even Yi Xiaozi and Li Wanro, they all sucked in a breath of cool air. The entire Linjiang neighborhood. This, to buy the Disney amusement park, only normal commercial purchases were needed, but to buy the entire Linjiang neighborhood, that would require more than just money. That would require connections and backgrounds that could be described as terrifying. Otherwise, it would simply be impossible. Aya, this is too young and promising. Auntie loves young men like you, the rich women all said in succession. Oh, Yi Yang felt his chrysanthemum slash flower tighten. Cough cough, young man don't misunderstand. I mean I like your kind of son-in-law the most, ha ha, that's right that's right, don't misunderstand the ants, the rich women were all explaining in succession. Yi Yang's face darkened, it's okay if you don't explain, but once you explain, the more you smear, these ants, 
It seems that their daily life is wonderfully rich ah. How much has been rented out today? Yi Yang asked. These days Lin Lin has rented out close to a hundred sets. Fang Shijin smiled proudly. Good job. Keep up the good work. Yi Yang smiled and encouraged. And then led Yi Xiaozi's five girls towards the large flat floor of building A. This young man can be really good. Alas. It seems that my daughter has quite a lot of competitors here. Gotta hold on tight. These rich women were all lamenting. If it was an unusual boy followed by so many girls around him, he would have long been scolded as a scum. But for a godly man to be followed by so many beautiful women around him, that would be success. Attractive. The point of double standards never changed based on age. Hey, hey, I say girl. You know that young man well, right? Can you push his WeChat to my daughter? Yeah, yeah. I want it too. Give me a Weibo signal and I'll rent it for another 5 years. Oomph. I'll rent it for another 10 years. These rich women were as passionate as fire. Making Fong Shijin cry and laugh. Chapter 96 Chapter 96 Early Lights. Pool Party. Now. Is the moment when the miracle happens? Yi Yang casually took the room card and scratched across the slot. Dropping. The electronic room card was successfully unlocked. The 500 double story large flat floor was then openly displayed in Yi Xiaozi's eyes. Wow. Just seeing the first sight of the large flat floor, Yi Xiaozi fell in love. This oversized space, this luxurious decoration, this wonderful feeling, absolute. Brother, you're fantastic. Yi Xiaozi was excited beyond words. Don't rush to be surprised. Yi Yang smiled and brought Yi Xiaozi and the remaining four girls to the huge balcony. Hoo hoo. The night breeze of late summer in Magic City Blue. The lights were on, and on the surface of the Huangpu River, the starships were falling, and on both sides of the river. There were 10,000 lights and skyscrapers. Absolute beauty of the night scene rushed head on. The beauty was shivering from the heart. This is what I want to give you as a surprise. Yi Yang looked at Yi Xiaozi who was already looking frozen on the balcony. Looking at the stunning night scene below. Unwilling to remove her eyes. Smiling and spreading her hands as if she wanted to embrace the entire magic city below into her arms. From now on, this night, all this beauty will belong to you. Yu Momo and Li Wanro several were all looking at each other with their eyes flowing. Unable to stop their envy, as long as they were girls, they couldn't resist the overwhelming beauty of this place. It's so romantic ah. Li Wanru couldn't help but lament. That's right. The remaining few girls were nodding their heads in succession, expressing infinite envy. Brother. Yi Xiaozi jumped into Yi Yang's arms and fiercely kissed his cheeks. You are the best brother in the whole world. Silly girl. Yi Yang smiled and touched Yi Xiaozi's little head. This room card will be placed at your place. This place will be yours from now on. If you want to bring your little sister to play, or have some kind of party or something like that, you can. Here's the number for the new property. If the house gets dirty, have them send someone over to clean it up. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Yi Xiaozi couldn't stop nodding her head. Alright, let's take you to familiarize yourself with the environment first. Yi Yang smiled and brought the four girls as strolling up to the large flat floor. Is this a private elevator? Love love love. Never dreamed that my future home would come with an elevator. Ha ha. Several girls were all with amazement in their eyes, constantly looking around. Even for Li Wanru, she hadn't seen many large flat floors of this level. There's also a private theater and a private K-bar. It's too cool. If this were to host a party, it would probably be very high. Yi Xiaozi was pleasantly surprised, walking up to the head over the terrace. Wow, an open-air swimming pool. Love it, love it. The crowd walked to the oversized open-air swimming pool enclosed by the private lawn on the roof of the building. What are we waiting for? Let's just have a pool party. Yu Mumo suggested with a hefty grin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yi Xiaozi turned around. I'll go prepare the champagne. I'll go prepare the fruit. I'll go prepare the party clothes. Several girls were enthusiastically starting to prepare various party items. Lights. Night colors. The pool. The bikini beauties. Yi Yang sat in the lounge chair of the pool. Eating the floating fruit plate. Drinking good red wine. And looking at the beautiful bodies of the several girls which were displayed in front of his eyes. The churning water, the girl's silver bell-like laughter, eye and ear candy. Ha! Silent Sisters is so big. Yi Xiaozi's mouth opened into an O shape in surprise. Yu Momo proudly straightened her chest, the corners of her mouth carrying the unique confidence of a mature girl. Ha! Sister Zoe, you're deeply hidden. Yi Xiaozi looked at her own breasts, and then looked at Li Wan Ro's breasts, and muttered in a stifled voice. It seems like Xiaozi's is the smallest. Not fair. Li Wanru's pretty face reddened and directly splashed a handful of water over. Hey 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 hey. Yi Xiaozi dodged sideways and immediately returned the favor. Several girls' delicate bodies bounced in the water. The water bouncing off their delicate skin. Refracting an even brighter glow in the light. Gulp. 
Yi Yang took a sip of red wine and swallowed a mouthful of water. It had to be said. These few girls, their bodies were all perfect, each with their own special characteristics, such a forest of jade legs, delicate and absorbent. Just looking at it, it was enough to make ordinary people's nosebleed. If 10, 000 years old virgin, I am afraid that on the spot, the blood will flow backward. Seven orifices bleeding. Spare Yi Yang, who can be said to have seen a lot of things nowadays. All felt that his heart was hot and embarrassed. After playing for a while, several girls were tired of playing. After going ashore and getting dressed, directly driving Yi Yang into the private theater. The private theater was not small. There were three rows of seats. Yi Xiaozi purposely arranged Yi Yang and Li Wanru in one row. The three of them, Yu Momo, also had the good sense to sit in the front. In their hearts, they knew very well that no woman was worthy of possessing such an outstanding and perfect man alone. If you want to let a normal man who was so outstanding and perfect to fall in love with one person alone, or this person looks like heavenly fairies, crushing the world, or to accompany him in his rise from poverty and never leave him, they all met Yi Yang halfway, it was impossible to truly monopolize his heart. Wanting such a super godly man to love a woman alone after his success, one is not a heavenly beauty, and the other is not someone who has accompanied him in his rise from poverty. Dream on? Simply ridiculous. They ask themselves. They are not that qualified. Moreover they do not have that reason. In this world, there is no such reason. Chapter 97 Chapter 97 Was the movie good? It's just too good to be true. The lights dimmed and the movie began to show. This is a recently released suspense movie. The atmosphere was a bit scary. Yi Xiaozi kept hugging Xiao Qingxian at the side. Rao Yu Maimo, who was mature and had a better mental capacity was scared and grabbed Xiao Xiaozhu's hand and wouldn't let go. Xiao Xiaozhu and Xiao Qingxian, on the other hand, laughed and shook their heads. Reality was never much more outrageous than movie dramas and novels. Although the plot in this movie was a bit horrifying and bizarre, the two of them had personally experienced an unknown number of missions that were even more bizarre and horrifying than this. Naturally, they were not afraid at all. The last row, Li Wanrua and Yi Yang sat together. Yi Yang watched the movie, while Li Wanru tilted her head to look at Yi Yang's side face. This boy was the most special boy she had seen so far. Everything seemed so perfect, yet so perfectly real. Handsome, young, and in control of at least several hundred billion dollars of assets. Sunshine, humor, easygoing but not casually promiscuous with a bottom line. Does such a boy really exist? But he just so real, suddenly broke into his life. Even, intruded into her heart. She had never been in a relationship so far. But yet today, she had a thumping feeling for Yi Young. Love is like wildfire. Once it burns, it is no longer governed by reason, especially for a girl like Li Wanru who had never shown such feelings to others. For the first time, she faced that impulse in her heart with curiosity and some slight fear. Yi Yang lowered his head and looked at Li Wanru who was silently looking at him with a light smile. Silly looking at what? I, Li Wanru pursed her lips, wanting to say a lot, but really to say when, but found that he simply cannot say anything. Solely, just don't say anything. She closed her eyes. The curiosity and affection within her overcame the fear of strangeness, and her lips gently printed up. Yi Yang never refused the show of love from a girl who also had a good feeling in his heart. He could provide them with the best life and assurance in this world. He had the confidence and ability to do so. If that's the case, why should he reject a love affair that is pleasing to both of his hearts? The first time she kissed, Li Wanru still seemed clumsy. However, gradually, after she familiarized herself with this kind of warmth in the midst of it, she fully enlightened herself. Even to the end, she lowered her head. This kind of thing comes from the most innate desire of human beings, as if they were born without a teacher. And after encountering it, they will naturally know it. Throughout the second half of the movie, the plot went from bland to brilliantly stumbling, and from brilliantly stumbling to the end. When the movie came to an end, everything ended as well. The lights suddenly lit up. Li Wanru cooed, tilting her head. She looked at Yi Yang's smiling demeanor. Li Wanru instantly blushed with shame and hurriedly ran out of the theater, afraid that the remaining few women would see the wretched look on her face. Ha, huh, what's wrong with Sister Ro Ro? Maybe it's an internal emergency. Actually ran so fast, I didn't even see it. Hey, although the front is a bit scary, but the plot behind this movie really looks so cool, isn't it? Brother, Yi Xiaozi turned around with a smile and looked at Yi Yang in the back row. Cough, too cool, violently cool. Yi Yang scratched his head and a hint of a meaningful smile flowed from the corner of his mouth. M. Yi Xiaozi wrinkled her little face, scrutinizing Yi Yang, always feeling that there was something wrong with this statement. Ahem, children don't need to know so much, based on Yi Yang's words and Li Wanrua's behavior just now. 
You Momo obviously guessed the approximation of what happened just now. And at this time, he also smiled and patted Yi Xiaozi's head. Oh, the plot is too intense. I didn't dare to breathe when I watched it. I'll go to the toilet. Yi Xiaozi cheered and ran to the restroom. Just as she entered the toilet, she saw Li Wanro who looked a little frightened. Alas, Sister Ro Ro? Yi Xiaozi blinked her eyes. Ahem, there's nothing on my face, right? Li Wanru asked somewhat sheepishly. There is, Yi Xiaozi said rightfully. Ah, this, Li Wanru's face suddenly turned red. You just washed your face, your face is full of water, Yi Xiaozi seriously said. Ah, Li Wanru glared, that's what you're talking about, or else, Yi Xiaozi blinked her eyes and asked suspiciously. Ah, Li Wanru was at a loss for words as she was disliked. Fortunately, Yi Xiaozi didn't care about this point at all, and directly asked, Hey, Sister Ro Ro, how's the relationship with my brother? Was there any? Just now? No, absolutely no. Li Wanru waved her hands repeatedly, not even holding hands ah. Too bad. Yi Xiaozi's face was filled with pity. Ah, you're talking about holding hands. Li Wanru let out a long sigh of relief. Yi Xiaozi looked at Li Wanru suspiciously. What's wrong with you? Sister Ro Ro, are you sick? Why is it weird? And my brother, he also became weird just now. Oops, don't ask. You're not going to the toilet. Li Wanru continuously changed the topic. Oh, right. Being mentioned by Li Wanru, Yi Xiaozi immediately felt it and hurried into the toilet to solve her problem. Who? Almost got swindled out by this girl. Li Wanru continuously fanned herself with both hands. She could now feel the heat rising from her face. Only after washing her face again and confirming that there was nothing on her face did she let out a long sigh of relief. Remembering what she had just experienced, the corners of her mouth also lifted into a delicate smile. That was nice. She actually missed that feeling. With a heavy heart, she just opened the door of the restroom. She bumped into Yi Yang. And instantly, her face reddened once again. You, 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 why are you here? Going to the restroom ah. Yi Yang scratched his head, a little puzzled. Come to the toilet not to go to the toilet. Could it be for you? Although did not say that sentence. But looking at the promising smile in Yi Yang's eyes, Li Wanru's heart then felt a flurry of beating. Chapter 98 Chapter 98 Chinese Martial Arts Flowery Fist? After washing up, Yi Yang also settled Yi Xiaozi and Li Wan Ro on the large flat floor of Building A. Yi Yang had a sports car and lived in a large flat floor. Nowadays, with a sports car and living in a school district house, it's convenient to go to school. Tomorrow, they will go back to school and pack up their things, so they can live here in the future. Bye brother. Yi Xiaozi waved her hand to Yi Yang with some reluctance. I will come to accompany you when I have time. The cruise ship is expected to arrive in a couple of days. Ha ha, let's eat together then. Yi Yang also waved his hand, and after giving Li Wanru a glance with deep meaning, he turned around with a smile and left with Yumaimo several. After returning to the Hentaying Mountain Villa, it was about 10 o'clock in the evening, with his physical strength and energy nowadays, that appetizer just now, naturally couldn't satisfy him. It was only after another in-depth discussion with Yumumo that he went to sleep satisfied. On the second day, he had just sat down at the breakfast table when he felt that the group of girls at the table had some wrong eyes. What's wrong? Is there something to say? Yi Yang was a bit puzzled. Boss, take a look at this. Xiao Qingxian took out her cell phone and showed it to Yi Yang. Whom? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows. In the video, it first intercepted a video of Xiao Qingxuan's night market outburst that day. Then a big, bald man appeared splitting three bricks with a palm, and a backward air kick that shattered a one-person high tile jar behind him. After doing so, a karate salute was performed. Fans, I am the grappling champion of the joint Chinese and island grappling tournament, and can be said to represent the top stream level of western stream grappling in the world today. I once told you guys that Chinese kung fu, is all flowery, and this video just now, I concluded from a professional point of view, this is acting, it's fake, it's fake, the purpose is to increase fans and become popular. Look at this little girl, with her thin arms and legs, there's no way she could beat five big men, I specialize in fakes, ha, you guys have been blowing this little girl up as the light of Chinese Kung Fu these past few days, I'll make it clear here today, she, is trash, Chinese Kung Fu, is garbage, saying this, he even gave a thumbs up before pointing his thumb at the ground, I, Fan Hu, am here today to challenge this woman in the video by name, don't say I'm bullying you, I'll let one hand fight you, as long as you dare to answer the battle, I respect you for having a bit of courage. If you can beat me, I'll kneel down and kowtow to you and call you grandma. Then quit the wrestling circle from now on. Okay. Oh, fans, give me all the credit. Give me top hits. Let the other side see this. After fan who arrogantly made a mocking gesture again, 
The video came to a screeching halt, opening the comments section. There were also those who said everything. Xiao Qingxuan's fans and advocates were defending Xiao Qingxian, but after all, it was fan whose comment section, and his own fans quickly controlled the comments and took control of the conversation. The front row was filled with comments that favored fan who, that woman looks like she's just filming. Chinese kung fu is supposed to be just flowery and pretty to look at, with no killing power at all. Oh, other people's tiger is a combat champion, karate master. What honor does that woman have? She's not even on par with tiger. She cracks me up. I'll tell you what. That woman with the flowery fist, she doesn't dare to show her face at all. If she responds to this video, I'll go live and eat shit upside down. Oomph. That's right. If she dares to respond, I'll wash my hair upside down in a spiral. This video has also provoked the melon eating masses high energy. Chinese martial arts in the end cannot fight. This has always been the Chinese people are very concerned about a point. Especially a few days ago out of the Malian whip such a fake master. But also let the Chinese martial arts into a crisis of confidence. Two days ago. Xiao Qingxuan's video of violently beating up a strong man in the night market, and then set off so much heat in Jitterbug. So, this challenge video, nowadays, was very hot. It hadn't even been long since it was sent out, and it already had hundreds of thousands of likes. With the trend of becoming a super hit, after Yi Yang watched the video, a cold color also appeared in his eyes. This kind of rubbing Xiao Qingxuan's heat, claptrap garbage, he was not used to seeing it. Boss, look at me. Xiao Qingxian restrained her inner anger, maintaining the basic quality of a professional top bodyguard, consulting the boss before anything. Yi Yang spread his hands, what the hell is there to say? Beat the hell out of him. If it was unusual on the internet, any public figure being pestered by this kind of clown would most likely have to avoid and ignore the other party. To put it nicely, it is rational. But, in reality, is their own inability, afraid of trouble. Yi Yang, will not. He now had the ability to sweep all the trash that he was not comfortable with into the trash heap. Since the other party had to jump out like a bedbug, then, let him shut up completely. Good Lu boss. Xiao Qing Xin sighed in relief. This was the Yi Yang she knew. I will personally arrange this matter for you. Don't worry. When the time comes, there will be a time for you to get angry. Yi Yang smiled faintly. With his power nowadays, wanting to rely on rubbing traffic and disgusting others with fire? Don't even think about it. After Xiao Qingxian received Yi Yang's affirmation, she directly then typed down in the comment section, I, Xiao Qingxian, officially answer the battle. These short nine words, it was instantly topped by the fans who supported Xiao Qingxian. Quite a few melon-eating passers-by were also excited and helped to top the comments one after another. In the end, many people gloated and left messages under the second hot comment in droves. The rightful owner has come out to respond. You can eat shit live. And the one who washes his hair in an upside-down spiral. Chapter 99 Chapter 99 I really don't want to be a netizen ah. Yi Yang narrowed his eyes. He had already made up his mind in his mind that he would make the other party lose the biggest face on the whole net, and then give him a complete kick out of the circle. At least in this life, he would not want to be a netizen. He was so arrogant. Disgusting other people is just fine. To come and disgust the people around himself, that's just looking for death. Next I'll personally send out a video announcing this match. Don't worry, with me here, no one can make you guys suffer. Yi Yang smiled. Xiao Qingxuan's eyes flowed. Previously, when she went on a mission and was aggrieved, the bosses didn't care about her feelings at all in order to look after the big picture. This protective sentiment of Yi Yang made her feel a completely different kind of warmth than before. He he, I suddenly have a lot more fans. Xiao Qingxian flipped through the backstage. In just 10 short minutes, she had more than a 100,000 fans. Moreover, this number was still insanely skyrocketing over time. You're the heroine from that day. That's great. You must win honor for our Chinese martial arts this time. Missy, you're too handsome. Support. Support. Watched the popular video and came specifically to support you. These fans, all of them left messages for Xiao Qingxian. Yi Yang smiled and looked at them. Looks like you're going to be on fire. As a big netizen going to the peak of your life. Xiao Qingxian rolled her eyes. Don't think I don't know. Boss you have over 8 million fans now. Yi Yang smiled and scratched his head. Oh exempt. Poked and prodded. At that time, he won the title of Yi Shenhao in the Shenhao battle in Lin Shui's livestream, directly increasing his fans by more than 5 million overnight. After that, the piano video of the Purple Light Pavilion let him rise many fans one after another. By now, on his number, he already had more than 8 million fans. It is considered a super big net red. It is also the only one in Jain that has not sent a video, has not opened a live broadcast, and a single name is placed there, and it has risen to the existence of 8 million fans. Today, on Yi Yang's number, the first video was finally uploaded. 
I am Yi Yang, and will be hosting all the processes of this friendly exchange tournament, a short video that instantly set off huge waves, Yi Shenhao had finally posted a video, after a while, Yi Yang looked at the hot comments, originally, he thought that the hot comments would all be fans from both sides tearing each other apart and then arguing about who was stronger in Chinese martial arts and karate, as a result, wow, Yi Shenhao has finally officially shown his face, it's so handsome, love love love, I'm going to faint from happiness, so handsome and so rich, and such a magnetic voice, he's just the perfect guy, Yi Shenhao, is that beauty from your side, originally, I still believed Fan Hu, but I've now become a firm fan of Xiao Qingxian, not because of anything else, just because she's on your side, Yi Shenhao is invincible, Yi Yang watched with a black line on his face, wasn't it said that the two sides would start a war to tear each other apart, as a result of this style, how did it become like this, the focus was completely shifted okay, ha ha, boss you this absolute ah, Xiao Qingxian, who was originally a bit annoyed and was about to save up all her strength to teach Fan Hu a lesson, couldn't help but laugh when she saw Yi Yang's hot comments in the comment section, ha ha, a few other girls looked at it and couldn't help but laugh out as well. Yi Yang shook his head helplessly. This was the trouble of being handsome. Momo, you contact the villa area general manager. I want to rent that wrestling gym in the villa area as a venue. Yi Yang said. Okay. Yu Momo smiled faintly. She was originally the head of the maid troop of the Hentaying Mountain villa area, and was familiar with those managers of Hentaying Mountain. It was just a matter of saying hello. The Hentaying Mountain villa area as a top rich area. There was even a private stables, fighting halls, council chambers, public social halls and whatnot, were naturally equipped. That day Yi Yang said that there was a horse farm behind his own golf course. It was not a complete joke. In fact, behind the golf course, was really a race course. After making the call, Yu Momo is to report back. Boss, all arranged. The manager said, the wrestling hall gratuitous lease to you for a week. Want to use when you want to use when you want to use. Use before notify him. He will help you clear the field and set up the venue. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly. This manager, on the contrary, was quite understanding. This matter, on Jitterbug, set off a wave of great fervor. The videos of the challenge and the response to the battle were on the hit list. It became the new number one on Shake Sound's hot search. Fighting champion is about to fight the Chinese Kung Fu heroine. Yi Shenhao personally showed up and promised to host the entire match and provide a full live stream. Everyone go follow Yi Shenhao ah, uh, at that time people will go live, ha ha, this is going this is going, that was it, the next day when Yi Yang opened his cell phone, he found that his jitterbug followers actually directly exceeded 15 million, come on, I really didn't want to be an internet celebrity, Yi Yang cried and laughed as he shook his head and lamented, chapter 100 chapter 100 trillion dollar big brother misunderstood as telecom fraud, 15 million fans, even if you look at the whole network, it was considered the most top stream of superhuman netroots, and in the process, Yi Yang only posted one video. This achievement. I'm afraid it's going to cause an uproar all over the net. While this karate combat versus Chinese martial arts duel was being actively prepared in Deep City, the headquarters of Fuji Kong. Mark King looked at the acquisition statement in front of him and felt his hands and feet go cold. As the founder and chairman of Fuji Kong, sitting on 20% of the shares of the Fuji Kong group, but in a very short period of time, he directly lost 51% of his stake. The entire Fuji Sun changed ownership yesterday, this, without having to think about it in detail, Mark Jean could feel an inexplicable fear, the market capitalization of Fujicom was 4 trillion Chinese dollars, within a very short period of time, it directly took out trillion level money and annexed him, the largest communication, gaming, and entertainment sector group in China, how terrifying must the strength and background of that acquirer be, therefore, he didn't dare to contact Yi Yang right away, instead, he ordered his men to look up information about Yi Yang, 22 years old, just graduated, ridiculous to the extreme. Mark Jean laughed. He simply couldn't believe that the youth in this document in front of his eyes was the super hegemon who yesterday, with an unstoppable momentum, had wildly smashed trillions of dollars of level assets, directly and brutally acquiring 51% of the equity shares of Fujicom Group. However, as he gazed downwards, the doubts in his heart were gradually dispelled. The sense of shock, on the other hand, was expanding, Magic City Disneyland, Imperial Financial Building, the sole owner of the entire Linjian district, Chateau Lafite Rothschild, the actual controlling owner of Vacheron Constantine, and even Yida Real Estate, see the end, the corner of Mark's amount of money is flowing out of a cold sweat, he and Wang Silin will still get together if nothing else, and there is some friendship with each other, even his company was directly acquired, 
And just recently, this is too terrifying. This is definitely a super big brother beyond my imagination. Must not be offended. Can only think of ways to befriend. Mark Jean could mix to such heights. Naturally, he understood the reasoning of acting on the basis of opportunity. Yi Yang's assets, all over China inside and outside, many industries, and every item, all assets are not expensive. This kind of big brother, even he, could not afford to be confrontational. Chairman, what do we do next? The secretary and a few executives were all a bit flustered. The other party had spent a huge amount of money to take down Fuji Sun, so maybe they wanted to make some big moves. I'll personally call and consult this mister. Yi later. Mark King sighed lowly, and his face was filled with worry. Good. These executives of Fujisun were all sitting around, waiting with bated breath. At this moment, a single word from Yi Yang could determine the stay or go in the direction of life of these high and mighty people like them. Beep beep beep. Yi Yang looked at the unfamiliar caller and casually picked it up. Hello? May I ask if this is Yi Yang? Mr. Yi? An inquiry came from over there. Um, looking for me to buy insurance or telecom fraud ah? Yi Yang frowned, directly treating the other party as a telecom fraud. Cough cough. Yi boss you misunderstood. I'm Mark King of Fuji Sun Group. You just acquired our company yesterday. Mark King cried and laughed. With his identity, it was the first time he was misunderstood as a telecom fraud. Ah. Yi Yang drifted off. Remembering. Yesterday, he bought a cruise ship and rewarded Fuji Sun Group to come. Right. 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 I remembered. There was something like that. Deep City Fujicom Headquarters. Mark King almost spat out a mouthful of blood. What do you mean there seems to be such a thing? Dare I say that you just spent a few hundred million dollars and forgot about it today. Your this aura pattern is not too big. What's the matter of looking for me? Yi Yang asked. Mark Jean bitterly laughed. This super big brother's brain circuit really is extraordinary. Helpless can only explain. I want to ask you about the company's future plans to see if you have any important strategic instructions. Yi Yang pondered for a while. Honestly said, I acquired you just to invest in a capital. You do not give me to lose money on the line. What major decisions report me? Weekdays and the same as before is good. 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 We will definitely live up to your high expectations. Mark Kin suddenly relaxed inwardly. Well, that's it then. I will visit the headquarters sometime. Yi Young hung up the phone after saying that. Mark Jean hung up the phone and was also overwhelmed with emotions. He was already considered one of the most successful startups in China. Basically standing at the peak of his peers. He had even competed for the position of richest man, but in the eyes of the real super big brother, the acquisition of his own company, but it is just a whim investment of people idle. Chapter 101. Chapter 101. Make her fall to the ground within 10 seconds. After putting down the phone, Yi Yang also informed Fang Han to lead the law firm and Fuji Sun's legal department to approach the relevant terms, receiving the notification. Fang Han was so shocked that he almost didn't catch his cell phone and dropped it under the table. Old. Boss. You mean. Fuji Sun, HM, what's the problem? Yi Yang asked suspiciously. No, no problem. Fang Han's side couldn't stop wiping his cold sweat. He had just messed with a Yida the other day, and this time, he was informed to approach Fuji Sun. This boss of mine, he's really a super big brother. At this moment, he began to feel infinitely fortunate. To be taken under this kind of big shot, there was a great future ahead of him in the future. Only after half a day's reprieve, Fang Han was slowly accepting this fact. Right. Come to my place at night to withdraw the car. Yi Yang laughed. I'll match you with a Rolls Royce. Ha. Huh? Fang Han was stunned. Then he reacted. Following a super big brother like Yi Yang, and then driving a Range Rover office. It was indeed a bit of a drop in value. Boss, how can this be a good idea to make you break the bank? Fang Han even said. We. When I say give, I mean give. Yi Yang said decisively. Then thank you boss. Fang Han was also filled with gratitude inside. A few tens of millions of dollars for a bus was not a small burden for the Jin Chang law firm. All right, that's it. Yi Yang nodded and was hanging up the phone. Yumomo waited for Yi Yang to put down the phone before she walked in from outside in a graceful manner. Boss, the venue has been arranged and prepared. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang originally wanted to spend some money to buy some heat to make this matter ferment a little more enthusiastically, but now it seemed that it was completely useless. The traffic that this matter brought with it was even more terrifying than he had imagined. The topic of whether or not Chinese martial arts could be fought directly rose to the top again, even more enthusiastically than when Master Ma's five consecutive whips were lying on his corpse. Did you hear about it? The female warrior from that night answered the battle. It's going to be against last year's Asia-Pacific combat champion. Ha, huh? when did that happen? 
You live in the desert. You don't have internet at home. Does Yi Shen Hao know about this? He actually sent a video response to this incident. He's hosting the whole thing. And, this time, it's a no limit fight. And it'll be broadcast live. Finally, unlimited fighting. Chinese Kung Fu is supposed to be all about no holds barred, killing moves. So if you're scoring points in the ring every day, you're still calling it chicken hairs Chinese Kung Fu. That's it. The heat level is getting higher and higher. The discussion level was also getting hotter and hotter. I don't know how many netroots were posting videos to rub off on the traffic. And by the way, they also added some traffic to this topic. Soon, this matter rushed out of the discussion range of jitterbug. The matter was discussed everywhere, such as pushing ally, B station, Xiandu, and Tianya. How do you think about the matter of Huaxia female warrior responding to the challenge from the wrestling champion, BVS? Shocking, muscle man even provoked the beautiful woman in public places like this, but did not expect the beautiful woman. Similar posts have gained tremendous heat over the course of two days. Millions of netizens were eagerly awaiting this friendly exchange that claimed to do justice to Chinese Kung Fu. Hu hu, the airplane landed. Fan who rode in the business car provided by the gold master behind him, and with a group of pugilists, he parked in front of the Magic City Hotel with great fanfare. When the crowd of reporters saw it, all of them surged up, with flashbulbs and cameras frantically disliking towards Fan Hu's face. Mr. Fan Hu, what do you think of this friendly sparring exchange that set off the entire Chinese Kung Fu craze? How do you feel about your winning percentage? Do you feel that you have already won this match? The reporters were in a state of disbelief. Fan Hu, on the other hand, was arrogant, tilting his head and sneering, there's no need to ask such a messy question, I, Fan Hu, am here to respond in unison, within 10 seconds, I made that woman fall straight to the ground and not be able to get up, this is a match that, there is no suspense at all, no, this can't even be called a match, I'm simply here to educate this trash on what it means to be a real fighter, what is meant by karate, flowery fists with fancy footwork don't even deserve to bounce around in front of me, after saying that, he also arrogantly and incomparably drew an imaginary line in front of his neck, and scornfully made his signature gesture to the camera, a thumb pointing to the ground. After that, he no longer paid attention to these reporters. Directly under the protection of a group of bodyguards, walked into the Magic City Hotel. Because the heat caused by this incident was big enough. Behind Fan who was also a few more gold masters who spent a lot of money to support his actions. It seems that Mr. Fan Hu is very confident. Whether or not the facts will develop as he said. Let's wait and see. Chapter 102 Chapter 102 The 100 Billion Dollar Gambit The Pushers Behind the Scenes Fan who's arrogant to the extreme declaration of war words caused the reporters to be excited. They loved this effect. The more topical the statement was, the hotter the manuscript they wrote would be. As far as the current situation is concerned, combat champion Fan who can be said to be extremely confident, whether or not the result will be as he thinks. 10 seconds will make this folk heroine fall to the ground. Magic City Evening News will continue to track the report for everyone. After the news and video of Fan whose interview was posted online, it once again set the internet ablaze. How can you be so arrogant? Too arrogant. 10 seconds. Oh, in a moment, my goddess Xiao will beat him up so much that he won't be able to find his way out. The fans who supported Xiao Qingxian were all in a fury. Don't blow it off. A weak woman is just a weak woman. It's hard to hit an ordinary person, but also to fight a wrestling champion. You guys have a bad brain. 10 seconds or tiger giving her face, I think, at most 2 punches, she'll be foaming at the mouth, ha ha, the internet was in an uproar, while Yumumo was receiving an unfamiliar phone call, master, says he's looking for you, Yi Yang raised his eyebrows and took the call, hello, boss Yi right, I'm Song Xiao, the chairman of Golden East Company, and the biggest gold owner behind Fan Who this time, a loose voice came from over there, greasy and pretentious, fart if you have a fart, get lost if you don't, Yi Yang frowned, displeased with the other party's tone. Alas boss Yi, don't be so angry, I've come to give you a favor. Song Xiao hemmed and hawed, his tone greasy, with an attitude that he had eaten up Yi Yang. Favor? Yi Yang sneered and opened the call recording in his hand. Right, boss Yi are big benefits yet. If you don't speak human words again, I'll make you shut up completely for the rest of your life. Yi Yang frowned and warned. Cough. Song Xiao was obviously scared by Yi Yang's warning and even changed back to Mandarin, Boss Yi, you and I both know that it's not easy to bring up a web celebrity, and I know that you don't want to let this little girl that you've managed to bring up with great difficulty to cool off, originally we are now in a win-win situation, this match, as long as you give me 10 million dollars, I'll let Fan who intentionally lose to that little girl, Yi Yang narrowed his eyes, obviously this song Xiao misunderstood the matter, however, 
The other party was running a Netflix packaging company, so he naturally didn't believe that Xiao Qingxuan's popularity relied on her own abilities, rather, he relied on the packaging behind himself. In Song Zhao's eyes, the video from the night market that night was hype, and this response to the battle was also hype. In his profit-oriented mind, there were no good things or good people in this world. Oh, why don't you tell us more carefully? Yi Yang sneered, he could guess the other party's true intentions and would not be easily fooled. That's right, at Golden E's Entertainment Company, Song Xiao sat up excitedly and gave a gesture of success to the several gold masters next to him, covering the microphone and smiling wickedly, that kid is going to take the bait. The several gold masters were sneering, Fan who was the one they had spent a lot of money to promote, and it was only after buying out a lot of experts from the island nation that they finally gave Fan who the title at the initial wrestling tournament. They wouldn't give up on Fan who. The reason for making this call to Yi Yang was to confirm the fact that Yi Yang had bribed them with money. Even if Yi Yang hit the money, they would still make Fan who go all out for the match. In this way, for this match, if Fan who lost, it was on purpose and was bribed. If Fan who won, it was upholding justice. In this way, they stood undefeated. The abacus is playing loud and clear. Unfortunately, what they ran into was Yi Yang. They thought Yi Yang was just a rash second generation rich kid, easy to cheat. But Yi Yang is an ordinary man who became rich from the bottom. What things hadn't he seen before? He he. A hint of coldness flashed in Yi Yang's eyes. It seems like you guys are quite confident in that trash. What did you say? Song Xiao was taken aback. I say boss Yi. You don't really think you can beat my family's grappling champion by relying on flowery fists when you promote that little girl, right? The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up. How about this? Why don't we make a bet? What bet? Several gold masters were filled with doubts. How come things didn't go according to the script? If Xiao Qingxian loses, I'll give you 100 billion dollars. If Xiao Qingxian wins, all of your entire fortune, you lose to me. And after that, get out of the entertainment industry. And if you dare to touch this area, he he, you'll have to bear the consequences. Yi Yang sneered. How? Much how? Much how? Much? Song Xiao directly stuttered. 100 billion dollars. Selling their several gold masters as a package. They couldn't come up with 1 billion. 100 billion. That was an astronomical figure. As soon as this figure was exported, the breathing of the several gold masters was thick and their eyes were red. This 100 billion I will only give to the person who bet with me oh? I know there are a few more eavesdropping on the side. Are you guys adding in? The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up a hint of a smile. Only this smile was full of mockery. I Zhang Han join. And me Zhang Ying. You guys. Song Xiao was secretly annoyed. This was 100 billion dollars. Old Song. You still want to monopolize this 100 billion dollars. Zheng Han and Zhang Ying hadn't even considered that fan who would lose. No matter how you look at it. It's impossible for a little girl to beat a big man who is even a grappler. Then it's a deal. Yi Yang hung up the phone and laughed out loud. By slightly making a small trick, he hooked out all the pushers behind the scene, but it saved him from putting more effort into checking it out. Fan who was a netizen. There must have been company instructions for sending out videos. This matter is a bureau from the beginning. And he, now, uncovered all the pushers behind this bureau. Chapter 103 Chapter 103 This is a competition? This was clearly a large-scale fan meeting. If you dare to put your hands on my side, I will make your hands. Completely broken. Yi Yang's eyes flickered. Want to set yourself up? It was too easy to think. The recording of the call just now. He had already saved. At his position. There was no need for any conclusive evidence. As long as there was evidence. Jean Chang Law Firm would be able to turn this verbal agreement into reality. A Netflix fighting champion only. Still really thinks he is invincible. Yi Yang laughed. This 100 billion dollar bet was a trap that he had laid for the other party. Moreover. It was a conspiracy. Xiao Qingxuan's fighting strength did not need to be doubted at all. A truly strong person who had fought between life and death was not even in the same world of fighting strength as those combat fighters who scored points in the ring. It's like the difference between a tiger that hunts in the jungle, and an era that practices demolishing homes every day, between blood and fire. Xiao Qingxian could manage to kill the enemy with every move. Therefore, the win rate on his side, was 100%. The wealth of the other side only added up to a billion or so, and it looked like their own 100 billion was a rash battle of wills, but the truth was not so at all. After all, their side is a sure win. No matter how many chips are added, it is equivalent to not paying any cost at all. Song Xiao Several now is estimated to be in the Golden Entertainment Office to laugh at Yi Yang Yang and frivolous. Thinking of this scene, Yi Yang couldn't help but let a hint of a mocking smile flow from the corner of his mouth. Save this recording. After the results of the competition come out, let's make it public. Yi Yang returned the cell phone back to you Momo. 
The purpose of Song Zhao's and their phone call in the beginning was to frame Yi Yang and lure him to spend money on bribes and enter their trap. Then his own retaliation would not leave a single chance of survival for the other party. He wanted the entire Gene E entertainment, completely in this world, to be removed. Yes, master. Uomo looked at Yi Yang's cold and sharp gaze, and also nodded solemnly. The news of the match between the two sides was also fermenting more and more hot on the internet. Many people were specially driving to Magic City, ready to take a peek at the hustle and bustle of this match. The entire fighting hall was transformed into a temporary stadium in the past two days. It was enough to accommodate thousands of spectators. The Yunding Mountain Villa area had made a bloody fortune by buying tickets. The manager of Yunding Mountain was also secretly overjoyed. His decision, not only did he not lose, but he also made a huge profit. Sure enough, you can't lose anything if you follow the big man. The manager of Cloudtop Mountain muttered. Tickets for the Yunding Mountain Fighting Gym had been speculated online to $2,000 apiece. And there was still a price for them. The second day, it was finally time for the match to begin. The venue was stuffed with people. The scene could be described as boisterous and noisy. They were all waiting to see whether the combat champion was better, or whether Kung Fu Warrior was better. On the scene, there were also many journalists who had bought tickets at a high price to enter the venue, wanting to get first-hand information at the first time. After the host came on the stage, everyone was looking at him. This match, sponsored and hosted by Yi Yang, Mr. Yi, in his personal name with full authority, adhering to the attitude of friendly exchanges and sparring matches. We have invited the two contestants to debut. The first to appear is the previous Chinese and Island Combat Tournament champion, Fan Hu. Mr. Fan Hu. After Fan Hu appeared on the stage, he confidently waved his fists and then made his trademark thumbs up gesture. The boos and cheers took off throughout the arena. Those who supported him treated him like a god. Those who didn't support him felt that he was incredibly pretentious and couldn't wait to be trampled under the feet of the goddess in a while. The other contestant is Xiao Qingxian known as the folk heroine, M.S. Xiao. Xiao Qingxian had just appeared. The cheers of her face and support fans drowned out all the mocking voices. The popularity of the two sides was a matter of high and low. Hoof. Fan who was somewhat annoyed. With his incredibly proud nature, he naturally had no way to accept that he was actually less popular than a girl who had no reputation before. Last to appear. The sole organizer of this competition. Yi Yun. Boss Yi. The host raised his voice by two octaves and solemnly said, Wow. The spotlight instantly hit Yi Yang. The entire fight hall was filled with the screams and shouts of the girls, and it was impossible to hear any other sounds. Yi Yang cried and laughed. How was it that the popularity of himself, the caterer, seemed to be stronger than the two contestants combined? Was it himself who came to fight or the two of them? Who wants to watch a fight? I bought the ticket at a high price just to come and watch God of Man Yi. The God is so handsome, even from this far away. I feel like I'm flying with happiness. Gulu. Yi Yang. Yi Yang. I'm your wife's fan, look at me look at me, Yi Yang cried and laughed, this was great, the originally serious and incomparable martial arts competition had directly opened into a large scale fan meeting, chapter 104 chapter 104, trench to crowded server, the fervor that started because of Yi Yang's arrival, it had calmed down for a full 10 minutes before it slowly fell, Yi Yang was also escorted by Xiao Xiaoju, Yu Maimo and some of the Yunding Mountain bodyguards, and sat down in the most central viewing area, the host saw Yi Yang sit down and nodded towards himself before he smiled and proceeded to the next session once again. Now, please ask the two contestants to meet the salute. Fan who sneered and perfunctorily raised his fist as a salute. Little girl, if you get hurt by my beating in a while, don't cry? Xiao Qingxian smiled faintly and said sinisterly. In a while, you won't even have a chance to cry. The moment he saw Xiao Qingxuan's eyes, Fan whose heart trembled. It felt like being stared at by a fierce tiger. There was an illusion that he would be bitten to death at any moment. However, the other party was clearly just a young girl who looked even a little bit clean. How could that be possible? He shook his head, clearing all those illusions out of his mind. The provocations of the two parties instantly caused the audience to cheer. The spectators who supported Xiao Qingxian and Fan who were all raising their support signs to cheer for the racers they supported. Yi Yang swept his cell phone. The live broadcast had already started. The netizens who were concerned about this matter were flocking in. The online audience, in just half an hour, had reached nearly a million. This was a terrifying figure. Many big netizens with tens of millions of fans. If they didn't buy promotions, the number of people online on the live broadcast, at most, would only be a hundred thousand or so. Nearly a million online viewers was already a very impressive figure. It is not the same as the popularity of other live broadcast software. Jitterbug live broadcast, display, are real-time viewing numbers, unless you buy a robot to watch to make up the number. Otherwise, 
The data displayed is the number of viewers, no adulteration, it's not enough ah. The corner of Yi Yang's mouth was raised, wanting to completely make Fan Hu and the genie entertainment behind him completely finished. Then, the impact caused. The bigger the better. Two days ago, Yumomo had spent a few million dollars to help him buy Jitterbug's opening screen advertisement for today. As long as a user opened Shake Tone during this period of time, all they saw was the video of this match. Heat is not enough. Gifts will come. Yi Yang directly charged tens of millions of dollars and then began to furiously send out carnivals in the live broadcast room, at least a hundred at a time, depending on the mood. A little bit after a while, in less than three minutes, there were already a couple thousand carnivals thrown out. All the major live broadcast rooms, all of them were blown up by the carnival screen. All the melon eaters who didn't know about this yet were all blinded. What the hell? Carnival has become a cabbage. A hundred and a hundred to the departure. Damn. Still coming. It won't stop. Is there a bug in Shake Shack? My day. There's actually. This. Must have sent more than a thousand. Right? More than five. Zero 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 each. This gift is worth close to ten million Huaxia coins. Hiss. A few minutes to wildly smash tens of millions of Huaxia coins. This is too terrifying. All the viewers who were watching the live broadcast in the live room exploded. It was really the shocking feeling of 2000 or so carnivals that was just too full and too much. What did I say? So it's Yi Shenhao. Yi Shenhao, I just registered my number. I've never heard of it. Is this person famous? If you don't know Yi Shenhao, you can't watch the live broadcast. He's a newly registered white guy. Please popularize it. This Yi Shenhao is very rich. Rich? That's super. Super rich. Okay? A while ago, a night of real money smashed hundreds of carnival directly on the hot search. A video did not send. The account overnight rose 5 million fans. Holy shit. This is too awesome. I thought it was a publicity package. The result is that people have 8 or 9 million fans. And I didn't see him send a video to earn fans money or something. I guess it's a real god's honor. Plus today, people don't want money like spreading carnival. I'm convinced. I'm completely convinced. Without tens of billions of dollars at home, no one would dare to brush out tens of millions of dollars in just a few minutes. I estimate that this Yi fortune has probably exceeded 100 billion dollars. I'm going. I've seen what it means to be rich today. I see his video is still so young. Simply envious of me. Yeah. After seeing that it was Yi Yang who posted the carnival rain, the viewers in the various live broadcast rooms were relieved. The image of Yi Shenhao's godly hero had been completely molded and was an unattainable existence in the hearts of the people. No matter how much money was spread out, it was all reasonable. It would only increase their envy and awe. What are you waiting for? Quickly go and watch it. Not for anything else. Go and give Yi Shenhao a big hand. Ha ha. Together together. This time, all of the Sheikh's anchors cried. The originally hot live room instantly became cold. The audience ran away for a large portion of the time, all saying that they went to spectate the divine hero spreading money. Some small and medium-sized anchors simply shut down their broadcasts directly and went to watch Yi Shenhao spread money as well. In just 10 minutes, Yi Yang's live broadcast room was crazily flooded with millions of people. The servers at the Shake HQ were almost bursting. Chapter 105 Chapter 105 Is it profitable to be an e-commerce company? Bike Company's headquarters. The phones were ringing frequently. The drastic increase in the number of servers requested by one of Yi Yang's live broadcasts was also keeping the staff busy. A normal individual live broadcast room would only have tens or hundreds of thousands of people watching online. This all of a sudden flooded in millions of people. It made the jitterbug live streaming system a little overwhelmed for a while. This is too exaggerated. The unimaginable power of a divine hero. After these technicians adjusted the parameters and deployed the server, they sighed with relief and lamented. After all, there were several hundred million users. Jitterbug's technology and adjustments were superb. And the problem was soon solved. Yi Yang took a look at the number of online viewers and it had almost reached 5 million. Not to mention 5 million, even before today. If someone said that anyone's personal shake tone live broadcast could reach more than 1 million viewers, they would definitely be sprayed into a dog, saying that this person was delusional and daydreaming. But today, Yi Yang realized it all, created an unprecedented record. If you ask him on what basis, don't ask. Ask is the ability of the banknote. The fight is about to start. I wonder who will win. Later on, the audience, and many of the melon eaters who still didn't know what was going on after figuring out what was going on in the live broadcast. A sense of full anticipation also rose. Almost there. Yi Yang nodded. There were only so many people online in real time on Shake Shack. Those who could still click in to watch the live broadcast. Almost a few million people would be at the top. Ugh. Some pity. I originally wanted to get 10 million people to watch it. He sighed lowly. If those with the goods anchors knew what Yi Yang was thinking at this time. 
80% of them would be so angry that they would vomit blood and pass out. This was millions of real viewers. They usually live room do not know how much money to spend to buy robots to watch. Powerful with goods anchor. The real number of people online can have a few hundred thousand are top day. Normally speaking, the number of real viewers of the ordinary cargo anchor, but also a few thousand people. Yi Yang and this can be described as a sky and a land. If this number of people were given to me, I wouldn't be able to sell hundreds of millions of goods a day, and then go to the pinnacle of my life and win the rich and handsome. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. More than 5 million online. Envious of spitting blood ah. Uh. Che, I feel like this is a new mode of marketing. Take tens of millions of dollars and smash it in. Attract millions of people in. And then start bringing in the goods. It must be. Don't be sour. If you can randomly take tens of millions of dollars to market yourself, you can too. Many of the carry anchors had just entered the live broadcast room, and their heads were smashed by this number of people. And heinous jealousy bubbled up in their hearts from the bottom of their hearts. At this time, it was unknown how many e-commerce companies were frantically calling you Mumo, wanting to take advantage of this heat to talk to Yi Yang about a carry contract. Even a direct 280 split with Yi Shenhao would be happy. After all, this popularity was too scary. No matter how many goods, they had to be sold out when they went up. Boss, this, Yu Momo asked in a pleading manner. It's profitable to do e-commerce? Yi Yang raised his eyebrows, didn't avoid the live broadcast at all, and asked directly. Eh? Yu Momo whispered. Master, the total price of the goods these e-commerce companies have given you has reached $1 billion. If all of them can be sold, the share to us is estimated to be at least two or three hundred million dollars. See? I told you he was going to bring in the goods. It's all to fool you guys. No way. People have money to smash. Even if they bring goods. What can they do? He ate your rice? Shut up. Sour dog. Cut. Yi Yang waved his hand. Trouble. Forget it. I guess the game will be over in a few seconds in a while. This small amount of money. Bring a hair. Holy shit. A few hundred million dollars is small money. This is even more bullish than Wang Si Lin's 100 million small goal. Terror. I'm fucking crying. Because Yi Yang didn't avoid the live broadcast audience at all. The moment he said this, the live broadcast audience could all be listening. At this moment, the entire live broadcast room was shaken with terror. The electricity supplier was begging to send a few hundred million to Yi Shenhao. Yi Shenhao actually gave a refusal because it was too much trouble. Ah this, a conscientious anchor who doesn't sell goods. Love love love. Yi Shenhao, is really rich, in the past, those who pretended to show off their wealth in Jiayin. I don't believe, from now on, I only believe in Yi Shenhao. That's right, that's right, me too. The old brother who just said that people this is a new mode of marketing just to attract people to come in and bring in goods. Does his face hurt? The crowd of viewers were all exclaiming love love love. Yi Yang's temperament and vigor that regarded a few hundred million as nothing was simply handsome. Yumaimo was instructed and also directly turned his cell phone into the no disturb mode. Those e-commerce companies directly couldn't find anyone and secretly cried out in pity. But they also have no complaints. Boss Yi even said the words a few hundred million very much. Obviously not looking at his own list of a few hundred million at all. People's status was too high. These e-commerce companies naturally didn't dare to climb too high. Boss Yi, I think it's almost time. Can we start? The manager of Yunding Mountain asked Yi Yang from the side. Yi Yang nodded slightly. Start. Start. The manager gave the host and referee an okay. This big scene that tens of millions of people were watching. Just under Yi Yang's slight nod. It officially started. Chapter 106 Chapter 106 A Carnival Kick? Still a few seconds to end the match. This kid, a bit wild. Song Xiao of the Golden Ease Entertainment Company, who were sitting around the big live broadcast screen, sneered and judged. I'm afraid I'm talking about that little girl being knocked out by fan who within a few seconds, right? Ha ha. Several of the other gold masters laughed. It's starting, it's starting. Look, all of these gold masters were even looking over with their full attention. After all, behind this match, there was a hundred billion dollar bet involved. Once they won this bet, they would be able to split that hundred billion, to these people of theirs, one hundred billion, it was completely astronomical, making their eyes redden, inside the Cloud Peak Mountain Combat Pavilion, the referee entered and blew the whistle for the match, Fan who suddenly was charging out, having already made a grandiose statement to the media that he would KO his opponent in ten seconds, as an internet celebrity, one had to live up to their word, otherwise it will be mocked, a boxing champion beating a weak woman, not even resolved in ten seconds, Xiao Qingxian sneered and sidestepped a straight punch from Fan Hu, turning her fist into a palm. She was fast into a stump, running directly at Fan Hu's throat to strike. This speed, this reflexes, Fan Hu's hair stood on end. The moment they exchanged hands, he realized that he was really too gullible. 
that day wasn't a pose at all, but the other party's true battle power. Vomit. Like lightning. Xiao Qingxuan's palm slapped directly on Fan Hu's throat. If it wasn't for Yi Yang reminding her that she had to keep her hands off when competing in public in China, this strike would have directly shattered Fan Hu's throat knot and killed him. 2 2 2. Fan Hu covered his throat. His body couldn't stop retreating, and his face instantly turned red. The throat was struck, and the entire brain went white with it. The respiratory system all went into temporary shock. The deathly feeling of not being able to breathe haunted Fan Hu, causing a strong fear to flash through his eyes. Dang, because of the sudden lack of oxygen, cerebellar balance couldn't even be guaranteed. His feet were disorganized, and his entire body lay on the ground covering his neck, sticking out his tongue and greedily trying to breathe. Xiao Qingxian subconsciously had to follow her instincts and go up to make up for it. However, she was directly stopped by the referee. The referee himself was one of Yi Yang's men, and had been instructed to keep an eye on Xiao Qingxian before going up to the ring, so that he wouldn't be in trouble if he accidentally really killed someone. Don't worry, I have my measure. Xiao Qingxian smiled faintly. The referee stepped aside after thinking about it. In theory, in a ring match, after being knocked down, one could not continue attacking, checking the second timer. And if one could not get up for 10 seconds, one would be considered a loser. But Fan Hu and her set up a no guard, no rules fight. This is something you asked for. A hint of an excited smile flowed from the corner of Xiao Qingxuan's mouth. A direct kick was delivered to Fan Hu's stomach. Put. This kick directly kicked out all the acidic water in Fan Hu's stomach. However, that feeling of not being able to come up for air was also eased a lot by this kick. Aren't you bullish? 10 seconds to KO me? How come you can't even stand up? With each question, Xiao Qingxian kicked the other party viciously. Soon, Fan Hu was bruised and swollen. Just as he struggled and prepared to get up, he was then kicked off and flipped to the ground, continuing to be stomped on. Xiao Qingxian chose the most vulnerable but not fatal positions of the human body. The soft ribs, the lower abdomen, the chest compartment, the arms and leg and foot joints. The pain caused Fan Hu to wail and scream. The whole room was silent. Everything happened too fast. Everyone was confused. It was just a single glance. They just watched Xiao Qingxian casually stretch out her hand, and then it was Fan Hu covering his neck and falling to the ground, being kicked all over the place. It wasn't until Fan Hu screamed out in agony as he was beaten. Only then did the audience gradually react. What the hell is this? It's over. You guys call this a match. It's clearly just a one-sided masochism. Agu, this man is too miserable. I can't stand to watch it here. Fuck. Good beating. What a fucking relief. This kid was so pretentious before. He got his comeuppance. Ha ha. Chinese martial arts can still fight. So you think. The horse's five lashes are not good enough. The viewers who gradually accepted reality were all discussing enthusiastically. Only fan whose original fans were unhappy. Fake match. Definitely playing a fake match. How is it possible to be beaten in one move and not be able to get up? It doesn't conform to common sense physics at all. That's right. He's a wrestling champion. So he can't take a punch. Impossible. If you can't beat him, you can't beat him. And he's crawling all over the place like a dog. What are you still talking about? Is this the way to fight a fake match? What a laugh. That's right. The fans on both sides once again tore up. Inside the live broadcast room, all kinds of gifts were flipping. Beat the hell out of him. I'll brush a hundred carnivals and kick that pretender to death for me. Dare to insult Chinese martial arts. I'll also brush a carnival to kick him. Finally, I see the authentic Chinese martial arts showing their power. I'm so moved. The viewers in the live broadcast room were all jubilant. Brushing carnival here and there. Yi Yang smiled and shook his head. In that case, it seemed that maybe in a while, he would have gotten his money back by rewarding those gift money. Chapter 107, Chapter 107, Shocking Exposure. The Crumbling Gold Masters of Genie Entertainment. Pying. Fan who had just struggled to climb halfway up. He was then kicked in the jaw by Xiao Qing Shen. And even his teeth flew out. He directly flew backwards and fell three meters away. Stop fighting. I admit defeat. I admit defeat. Xiao Qingxian laughed coldly. In the fighting pact we signed. Admitting defeat doesn't work ah. Fan who then was remembering. The match would only be terminated after falling out of the competition area or after one party was completely knocked out and lost all ability to resist. He directly gave up hope of getting up and struggled to crawl towards the edge of the ring. On the top floor of Golden Eclipse Entertainment. In front of the live broadcast big screen. Several gold masters originally had their champagne ready, holding it in their hands ready to celebrate the $100 billion being in their hands. As a result, Fan who was actually knocked out in an instant, then he was also chased and kicked. Miserable as a dog. Woeful. Snap. The champagne in Song Zhao's hand fell directly to the ground, snapping and shattering. His mouth was wide open. 
looking at everything in the live broadcast screen with disbelief. This, this, his hands started to tremble. This bet was more than just Yi Yang's 100 billion. They had also pressed their entire fortune, even including the company, Gene E Entertainment. Ah, it can't be that fan who received money privately, right? How could he lose the match just like that? It was only one move. If it was Fan Hu who heard these words, he would have died of anger on the spot. Although Xiao Qingxian had collected some strength, if that palm poked at an ordinary person's throat, he was afraid that it could directly poke the person to death. It was good that he didn't die, but he had been kicked so many times. At this time has long been completely lost the ability to resist. Shouldn't be able to. He's not stupid. This has been beaten face to face. Unless he holds the mentality that from now on he can't be mixed up in the entertainment circle, the wrestling circle, and the netizen circle all together. Only then will he accept this kind of bribe. Yeah, this being stepped on by a female and abused so much, the champion's face is lost. Unless he doesn't want to mix anymore, it's impossible for him to take this money. If he didn't take the money, a trace of shock flashed through the eyes of several gold masters. That weak girl, did she really have such a strong practical combat ability? Inside the fighting hall, spare me, I'm going to be killed if I fight again. It's my mouth but I can't help it. I was also instructed by others to mark it to rub it in. Spare me. Fan who begged for mercy as he was beaten. With Xiao Qingxuan's skill, it was simply too easy to keep her opponent from passing out or from leaving the tournament area. Wasn't this a rule you set yourself? Why did you change your mind yourself? Xiao Qingxian sneered. After kicking so many times, her feet were a bit sore. Fortunately, she also lost her interest in toying with the other party and began to ask about the matter at hand. You said that someone instructed you? Who instructed? I. Fan who opened his mouth and closed it again. Do not say? Then let's play a little longer. I do have plenty of time. Xiao Qingxian sneered, raised her foot, and was about to step down. Don't don't don't. This action of Xiao Qingxian left an endless shadow on Fan Hu. And at this time, subconsciously, he directly knelt down and begged for forgiveness. His heart's defenses collapsing. I'll say it all. Behind me is Golden E's entertainment. It's all because Song Xiao, the boss of Golden E's instructed me, he also said for me not to stay my hand, to torture you properly on stage before putting you in a coma, he also set a trap for Yi Yang, the boss behind you, when this competition is over, he'll take the call evidence to blackmail him, in this way, it has both promoted me and gotten your boss's money, Fan who was scared by Xiao Qingxuan's action of lifting his foot and directly collapsed in his heart, telling everything to his face, this, with Fan Hu's narration, the entire audience was in an uproar, so the truth behind this matter is like this. These entertainment companies, their deeds are really stinky, aren't they? It's this day and age, and there are still such mischievous people. Oh, also this era, there are interests will inevitably have shady and calculating. You are afraid of living in a dream. Listen to me so angry ah. The audience in the live broadcast room were erupting with countless greetings to Fan Hu and Song Xiao of Golden E's Entertainment, the top floor of Gene E Entertainment. Several gold masters were all confused. This kid, is he really only 22 years old? The means of doing things are actually so meticulous and decisive. Don't be too busy blowing people off. This pussy has already shaken us out. You guys better think about what to do next. What else can we do? We've gambled away all of our companies. There's nothing we can do. Well, words are useless. They don't have any evidence. We just need to be rogue enough not to admit it and we'll be done. Do you think that superstars who can afford to bet hundreds of billions of dollars are weak children? This group of Golden E's Entertainment's gold masters all sat paralyzed on the sofa with ashen faces. The champagne flowing at their feet exuded a sweet fragrance that they had no intention of appreciating at the moment. Chapter 108 Chapter 108 30 million red packets. Reward for Hong Fong National Martial Arts Center. Whom? Fan who was of no use after he had told everything to the others. Xiao Qingxian kicked the back of the opponent's head. And Fan who fainted completely. Slumping to the ground. Motionless. The winner has been decided. Xiao Qingxian wins. The referee saw that fan who had finally fainted inside in relief as he declared the result. This one-sided abusive fight just now was the first time he had seen it in all his years as a referee. He was really worried if Xiao Qingxian would actually kick her opponent to death. The audience was roaring with laughter. Hadn't the winner and the loser been divided a long time ago? Everyone has given quite a lot of gifts. And the match is over. So I'll also give everyone back some benefits. Yi Yang was also not polite. Directly charge tens of millions of dollars to send red packets, live broadcasting room to send red packets. Thank you for everyone's support. A total of 30 million dollars? Everyone feel free to grab. Holy shit. Tens of millions of red packets. I've grown up so much. Even one million is not clear what it looks like. This one red packet. Actually tens of millions of ah. Yishan atmosphere. Mighty. Invincible. 
Mom, I've grown up. I've actually started grabbing tens of millions of red envelopes. The live broadcast room went crazy again. Everyone was marveling at Yi Yang's bravado. Ding. It is detected that your cumulative recharge consumption has reached 50 million today, rewarding you with the ownership of the Hongfeng National Arts Hall. National Art Museum? Yi Yang's heart stirred. Today's consumption was indeed related to the national arts. Directly rewarding a national arts pavilion was in line with his own guess. The 30 million red packets once again caused millions of people to flood into the live broadcast room. This was a great event for Shake Shack. A red packet of tens of millions of dollars. Who had ever heard of it? Who had seen it? Seeing that the popularity of the live broadcast room had reached its peak, the corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up. It's time. Regarding what fan who said just now, the matter of Genie Entertainment Company bribing to lay a trap. I will be here, providing everyone with recorded evidence. This matter, I will hand it over to my team of lawyers. Don't worry everyone, bad guys with evil intentions. None of them can escape. Yi Yang was not polite in the slightest. He directly released the recording of the blackmail just now. Boss Yi right? I'm Song Xiao, the chairman of Golden Ease, and the biggest gold master behind Fan Hu this time. The moment Song Zhao's voice came out, it disgusted the viewers in the live broadcast room enough. Why is this person talking like a human demon? Is this the legendary man with the Yin and Yang? If you don't speak human language again, I'll make you shut up completely for the rest of your life. After hearing Yi Yang's warning, the audience expressed comfort. It's still Boss Yi who is domineering. After that, Song Xiao brought up the verbal trap of taking $10 million to fight a fake match, and then heard that Fan Hu, the wrestling champion, was nothing more than a packaged and marketed internet celebrity. It made the audience hate his guts. This person was just too bad. How about we make a bet? Yi Yang's proposal instantly made everyone's spirits focus again. All of them were curious as to what kind of bet Yi Xianhao was going to make. If Xiao Qingxian loses, I'll give you guys $100 billion. If Xiao Qingxian wins, all of your entire fortune, you lose to me. And after that, get out of the entertainment industry. And if you dare to color this aspect, he he again, you'll have to bear the consequences. The entire live broadcast room seemed to be silent for a moment. Is this the godly ho? Directly taking out $100 billion for a big bet. $100 billion for a big bet. This was simply too terrifying. This matter will definitely be the number one hot search tomorrow. If I don't super double my grocery shopping, a $100 billion bet, then how rich must bossy be? Previously said that people at most only a few hundred million. Just take the money to hard to pretend the guy wear. Roll out and kowtow to the master. Ha ha. And all those people who said that goddess Xiao was playing a fake match before. Come out as well. Take a beating together. That's it. Yi Yang looked at the repercussions of the live broadcast in the scene. And also nodded with a smile. Regarding the authenticity of this call. I'll ask the relevant people to show me the evidence. And none of you will be able to escape the punishment that should be meted out. At this moment. Several of the gold owners of Genie Entertainment started to pack up their belongings. Some were ready to run away. Some contacted their lawyers to prepare for a lawsuit with Yi Yang. Only Song Xiao was paralyzed on the sofa. As the person who directly fought with Yi Yang this time, he deeply felt the fear of this young man. This kind of guy who had a meticulous mind and treated his opponents with ruthlessness. It was impossible to leave himself any chance of survival. No matter how much one struggled, it wouldn't help. I'm really a death wish. What's the point of messing with such a superb person for nothing? Song Xiao was on the verge of crying, directly giving himself a few big slaps. Yunding Mountain Combat Hall. Although the match was over, but the discussion and the heat, instead of ending with this match, festered hotter and hotter on the internet. Some people said that this time, Chinese Kung Fu had finally been righted for once. Others said that Xiao Qingxian had won by sneak attack, and Fan Hu had lost because he was too careless but the second kind of barbarian retard was usually mobbed by a group of people with a collective reply, if you think you're awesome, go challenge goddess Xiao, and when you get stomped to death, everyone will pool their money to buy you a coffin, Hongfeng National Martial Arts Center, while the internet was arguing over this, Yi Yang was inquiring about this new reward given by the system, chapter 109, chapter 109, the wave set off by the 100 billion dollar gamble, Hongfeng National Martial Arts Hall was once the largest national martial arts hall, but because of the impact of foreign culture, new students ran away to learn karate and taekwondo. It led to a midway decline. But the skinny dead camel is bigger than a horse. And there are still a few hundred million dollars in revenue every year. Yi Yang finished reading the introduction about Hongfeng National Martial Arts Center. Nodding slightly. There is time to go and take a look. Some years ago there were indeed a lot of people who worshipped foreigners. Everything was foreign good. The air was foreign sweet. The moon was foreign round. What led to the decline of national arts and the loss of traditional culture was also this kind of thinking. Now the competition has just ended. 
he still had to contact the Jean Chang law firm to go and fight the lawsuit against the Genie Entertainment Company. There was no rush to collect the National Martial Arts Center. Boss Yi, we already know about your matter. With this recording evidence, don't worry about leaving this matter to us. We guarantee that we will make them fulfill the contract that they uttered. It didn't even take Yi Yang to find Fang Han. Fang Han directly sent a message to Yi Yang. And even the rough negotiation plan was already done. That's quite a high level of efficiency. Yi Yang laughed and shook his head. He had just said that he would give him a good car. And he was so active at work. When he returned home, it was only in the afternoon. After all, the match was played too quickly. Although the game didn't start until noon. But it didn't take long for it to end. Fan whose previous boast of 10 seconds to KO his opponent was not expected to be realized by his opponent. You've worked hard, boss. Having just returned to the Hentaying Mountain Villa, a group of maids lined up to welcome them. I've worked hard for nothing. I'm just sending out gifts and red envelopes. Yi Yang rolled his eyes. The laborious work is still done by Qing Xin. If it wasn't for her letting Fan who account for everything on the field, this matter wouldn't have been so influential. Sister Qing Xin worked hard. The maids all spat out their tongues and mischievously began to welcome Xiao Qing Xin. After this period of time, these maids had also completely figured out Yi Yang's nature. The boss was still very easygoing. As long as he did his part of the job, the boss would be pleasant, and would even occasionally bring them along to play exciting little games. No hard work, no hard work, I've always loved fighting since I was a kid, Xiao Qing Xian said with a hefty smile. Big sister you purely like to abuse others right you. Yi Yang rolled his eyes and inwardly spat madly. After having the dinner, the relevant reports and hotspots were all organized. It began to top the major video and media platforms. Station B, male silence and female tears. The Chinese martial arts have finally regained their rightful name. Forced to be, through this martial arts event, can we assume that the Chinese martial arts can win over the strong with the weak? Shidu, sinful entertainment companies, filthy human nature, a huge gamble of money. Weibo hotspot, a hundred billion dollar big gamble between Genie Entertainment and Yishenhao. Penguin watch, shocking. I actually grabbed 30 million red packets today. This matter, there were too many stocks and too many explosive points. It came with countless traffic, and after the match was finished, the topic instead became even hotter than before. Ha ha, the names that these sand sculpture editors came up with really made my stomach hurt from laughing. Xiao Xiaoju swiped her cell phone messages and rolled on the sofa with laughter. Xing Xian, you're going to be mythologized online. What with one kick you can kill an elephant. One punch can hammer Tyson to death. There are also people saying that you're some kind of transformation realm expert, and that there's still the mastery of the 18 dragonfall kicks that you haven't used. You've read too many martial arts novels. Yu Momo was also amused by these entertainment news. Che, Xiao Qingxian rolled her eyes. Her skills, honed between life and death, were considered the ultimate level of humanity. Isn't it only right to blow up a combat champion with so much water? As for blowing it up so much, although this matter has been on the internet for a long time, but for Yi Yang, this matter was basically over. Directly waiting for Fang Han to bring him the results of the battle was over. In the evening, when Fang Han came to pick up the Rolls Royce, he said that he had basically reached an agreement with the other party, and that the Golden Entertainment Company would be transferred to Yi Yang's name within almost a week. Although he said it easily, but Yi Yang knows that he wants the entire body and name of the company of those guys, wanting the other party to let go. Fang Han must have put in a lot of effort. Well done. Yi Yang smiled and nodded after. Also once again to Fang Han transferred a billion, this is considered your activity funds. Recently I want to do a lot of things. You have a lot of need to spend money. This, Fang Han's hand shook when he saw the amount that arrived. Boss ah, did you transfer a billion dollars without even blinking? However, after all, Fang Han knew exactly how much assets Yi Yang had. It was understandable to act so boldly. Then, Fang Han will take it first. With Fang Han's understanding of Yi Yang, if he did not accept this money, Yi Yang would only be unhappy. Aha. Uh -huh. After sending off Fang Han's few people, Yi Yang went to the private hot spring under the mountain to mix baths with the maids. He had just gotten a little more comfortable. The cell phone was ringing. I go. How is it her? Yi Yang's heart trembled when he saw the caller ID. Chapter 110, Chapter 110, Lu Chanchian is back. The caller was not someone else. It was Lu Chanchian. For Lu Chanchian's feeling, in Yi Yang's heart, it was definitely different from others. When he was still renting a room and looking for a job, found Aunt Zhang's rental room. Lu Chanxian has been very caring for himself, although he has not been substantial to accept her favor, but the heart is still very grateful to Lu Chanxian. He also knew that Lu Chanxian was like himself, this kind of girl who was good to him before he had no money. To Yi Yang, the meaning was different from an ordinary girl. Naturally, cough cough, Chanxian, 
Aren't you studying for your master's degree at the Ivy League? Why did you suddenly remember to call me? Yi Yang picked up the phone and asked. Brother Yi Yang, didn't I tell you in those two days when you just moved away that I would go back to look for you? Lu Chanxian said as a matter of course. Ah, Yi Yang remembered. When Lu Chanxian said that she wanted to go back to find him to play. But he thought at that time that Lu Chanxian was just joking. It was impossible to come back just by saying that he would come back. Unexpectedly, it hadn't been long, and she really ran back from the country of Murray. Chianxian, where are you now? I've already arrived home ah. When do you have time? Come out for a meal. Lu Chanxian said with anticipation. I don't have anything going on lately. Tomorrow. Yi Yang thought about it and said with certainty. Good then I'll call you tomorrow when I'm ready. Waiting for you yo. Lu Chanxian happily said. Good. Yi Yang put down his cell phone. He was now able to return the favor to the other party. It was always a good thing. Master, who's looking for you? The hot spring water turned over. Yumomo all of a sudden came up close. The silky feeling made Ji Young feel very comfortable. An old friend. Tomorrow I'm going out to hand over the matter of Genie Entertainment Company. It's better for you and Fang Han to go with them. Yi Yan laughed. Ah, okay. A trace of disappointment crossed the bottom of Yumomo's eyes, but in the end, she accepted the reality. The second day. Yi Yang wandered around the garage for half a day, preparing to keep a low profile. A Kalman King SUV was chosen. This car was priced at about $20 million, which was considered the cheapest in Yi Yang's garage. And this brand of SUV, in the ears of outsiders who do not understand the car, the popularity is not high. He did not want to let Lu Chanxian, an old friend, on him to produce a bad impression of the rich after the rich like to show off their wealth. Lu Chanxian itself is by no means a gold digging girl. Three views are very positive. If he let her misunderstand, it was not what Yi Yang wanted to see. Rumble. The 6, 8 liter V10 engine roared, and the luxury body of close to 6 tons instantly started. This time, Yi Yang did not bring Xiao Xiaozhou and Xiao Qingxian. Xiao Qingxian was busy because of yesterday's heat. After agreeing on the time and place, Yi Yang was driving the Kalman King towards the rendezvous at the agreed location. North Street Avenue, next to the intersection, Lu Chanxian was waiting for Yi Yang. Ha, this isn't Chanxian, long time no see. A surprised voice came from the side. Ha, little red? Lu Chanxian was a bit surprised. Such a coincidence? Li Yue Hong and her were high school classmates, and at that time, their relationship was quite good, and they had kept in touch during the time they were abroad. What a coincidence, Chanxian. Why did you suddenly come back to China? Back to find your little boyfriend? Li Yue Hong hemmed and hawed. Go, don't talk nonsense. Brother Yi Yang hasn't promised me yet. Lu Chanxian blushed and said shyly, he he he, shy, Li Yuehong touched her chin and proposed, it just so happens that I'm also shopping, idle and bored, as a good sister, it's just the right time to help you keep an eye on things, ah this, Lu Chanxian scratched her head, she let out a bitter laugh, how come this little sister was still so unseeing, originally, she wanted to create a couple style date with only brother Yi Yang and her ah, why are you getting involved, as a light bulb? And what if brother Yi Yang misunderstands that I'm a person who brings his girlfriends out to dabble in food and drink? Although there was some internal struggle, but looking at Li Yue Hong's expectant little eyes, she couldn't refuse, so she could only reluctantly nod her head. She just wanted to instruct Li Yue Hong to pay attention to something in a while. A black handsome SUV stopped right in front of the two of them. The car windows rolled down. Yi Yang smiled handsomely at Lu Chanxian. Get in. Yeah, brother Yi Yang you are so fast. Lu Chanxian was a bit caught off guard, originally thought that it would take a while for Yi Yang to come over. I'm a great driver, by the way. This is? Yi Yang looked at Li Yue Hong suspiciously. Are you the little boy who likes Chanxian? Sure enough quite handsome. Well, I'm Chanxian BFF. You have to perform well today, otherwise I'll let Chanxian kick you. Li Yue Hong spoke to herself. Little Red. Lu Chanxian's heart panicked. Clearly she was chasing Yi Yang. So if Yi Yang was angry and dumped her how hard it would be. Yi Yang a burst of speechless, but look at the face of Lu Chanxian, also did not say anything, come up, don't worry, don't I understand men? Li Yue Hong ignored Lu Chanxian's dissuasion, glanced at the car label, a trace of contempt crossed her eyes, and got into the car on her own. Lu Chanxian sighed and smiled apologetically at Yi Yang before she got into the car. Chapter 111 Chapter 111 Dare to take us to eat at the Purple Light Pavilion? Where to eat? Yi Yang asked with a smile. You choose. Lu Chanxian also sympathized with Yi Yang and wanted him to choose a more ordinary restaurant. Although her mom had previously said that nowadays Yi Yang was so developed that he was living in a big villa, she felt that this was 80% Yi Yang's excuse. Even if it's true, at most, he made a small fortune and bought a house to live in. 
but in order to save face, said to go to a better place. From the car Yi Yang drove today, it was obvious that although he definitely made more money than before, but it shouldn't be much. In the girl's impression, except for Mercedes-Benz BMW, they were all junk cars, occasionally a few famous brands, Rolls-Royce or sports cars or whatever, can feel expensive, but a niche luxury car like a Kalman King, and the badge doesn't often appear in the public eye, or subs, in the girl's eyes, it was just a miscellaneous brand, the kind that wasn't worth more than $300,000, don't say, although it's a miscellaneous brand, it's quite comfortable to sit in, Li Yuehong satisfied moved a few buttocks, hey, I say you ah, after marriage have to buy a good point of the car, although this car is quite comfortable, but a good car is ultimately the brand, like Chan Chan such an excellent girl, you must not buy a Mercedes Benz S class for people, Xiao Hong, Lu Chan Chan cried and laughed, ye young brother you don't care ah, she is like this, the nature is a little too, it's okay, ye young shook his head indifferently, but the corner of his mouth was picking up a hint of a smile, Mercedes Benz S, a money can not buy a King Kalman tires are not allowed to say, the difference in eyesight was just too far. The other party's words sounded like pure stupid jokes to him without offending him. After all, ignorance wasn't a sin. The restaurants in Magic City. Choose whatever you want. It's not easy for you to come back once. I have to take you to have a good meal. Yi Yang smiled lightly. This is good. Wait for me to look for it. Brother Yi. Lu Chanqian took out the Loda map and prepared to pick a moderately priced restaurant. What else to pick ah? People have said casually choose. Not directly pick the most expensive, cheap who can, but not cheap their boyfriend. Isn't he making money just to spend it for you? Li Yuehong sneered. Little Red. How did you become like this? Lu Chanqian instantly blew up a little. Previously when she was in school, Li Yuehong was not like this. After this meeting, why did she suddenly say such trippy words? How have I become like this? I'm doing this for your own good. Man you have to test him. Even the most expensive restaurant can't afford you. How can he be worthy of you? Li Yuehong snorted coldly, a little aggrieved. In her opinion, she was all about helping her sisters. Yi Yang frowned, but the other party is, after all, Lu Chanqian's classmate. If it is an unusual person yelling poisonous chicken soup here, according to his temperament, he would have already given that person a kick off the car. He hated two in his life, a poisonous chicken soup woman, an iron licking dog. One is full of poisonous flavor, infinite harm, one in human skin, net do dog things. Bitch you hate to eat goddess shit. So which one do you think is the most expensive? Yi Yang asked indifferently. The most expensive western food in Magic City. Purple Pavilion. Was his own. The most expensive Han Pavilion for Chinese food. He was still the only Black Dragon card VIP. To him. It was the same wherever he went. Then of course we have to go to a high class place. Let's go eat French food. That Purple Pavilion is the best restaurant in Magic City. It has three Michelin stars. It's very honorable to go there. Li Yuehong fantasized, I've wanted to go for a long time, but I've never had the chance to go, don't see that I can only earn $4,000 a month, but spend a month's salary, go back to be a superior person, even if I eat noodles for a month is worth it, Lu Chanxian more and more feel that Li Yuehong become her some dare not recognize, earn $4,000 a month, spend $4,000, don't you save money, save money, save money for what, that's for boys, girls dress themselves up beautifully is not good, Li Yuehong took it for granted and was justified. Ah this. Lu Chanqian didn't know what to say. Are you going or not? Seeing that Lu Chanqian ignored her, Li Yuehong's eyes turned, and repeatedly urged Yi Yang. Go. Yi Yang smiled. Although his face was smiling, he now had the urge to kick Li Yuehong directly off the car. Well, barely counts as you passing. Li Yuehong waved her hand and excitedly started to call the Purple Light Pavilion. Hello, Purple Light Pavilion? I want to reserve a seat. She was beyond excited. Imagining herself eating in the highest class restaurant in Magic City made her feel extravagant. Upper class. I'm sorry ma'am. The Violet Light Pavilion only receives 10 tables of guests per day. Now that the 10 tables of guests have already been booked. If you want to make a reservation. It will be at least 3 days later. The customer service lady over there smiled sweetly. Ah, there's actually this rule. Li Hongyue's face was bitter. The fantasy of being an upper class person rose and disillusioned in an instant. This sense of discrepancy was just too difficult to accept. Give me the cell phone. Yi Yang freed a hand and hooked it towards Li Yuehong. What's the use of giving it to you? Li Yuehong rolled her eyes, but finally handed the phone to Yi Yang. Chapter 112, Chapter 112, The Bite You Just Sip. It's more than 10. 000. It's really strange. Is it that if I say it's not good, you say it's good? What kind of overbearing president are you pretending to be? Li Yuehong frantically spat inside. Hello, this is Yi Yang. 
Yi Yang said indifferently after receiving the call. There was a moment of silence over there. And after the customer service lady reacted, she immediately smiled. Boss, may I ask if you have any instructions? I'm going for dinner tonight. I'll be there in about half an hour. Yi Yang directly said. Okay boss, I will immediately inform Mr. Paul of your itinerary. The customer service young lady respectfully said. Well, that's it. Yi Yang returned the cell phone to Li Yuehong. Okay. Ah, ah. Li Yuehong was confused. Didn't you say that all ten tables have been booked? You're not lying to me, are you? This was a good opportunity to pretend to have a photo. Can't be childish. Must ask clearly. Yi Yang, however, was too lazy to pay attention to her and directly drove and ran to the purple light pavilion. Lu Chanxian, on the other hand, looked at Yi Yang with a light in her eyes. Could it be that brother Yi Yang had really made a fortune? Purple Light Pavilion is not a small restaurant, as the authentic Michelin 3 star, Magic City's most expensive western restaurant. Les said the owner also took advantage of a few hundred million ah, one word and you can book a seat. At least it is also with the boss relationship is not bad ah, brother Yi Yang is really great ah, for the person you like, of course, the more outstanding he is, the happier you are. Seeing that Yi Yang might actually be related to that kind of big shot, Lu Chanxian was also happy for Yi Yang from the bottom of her heart. This, Li Yuehong grunted in anger, only feeling that it was unfair. There was always a part of the world that complained about heaven and earth when they encountered things they couldn't understand, never thinking carefully about why exactly. The King Kamaner SUV sped along, carrying a heavy whistling sound. It eventually stopped in the parking lot of the Purple Light Pavilion. Let's go. Yi Yang waved his hand. He brought Li Yuehong and Lu Chanxian into the Purple Light Pavilion. Welcome boss. Welcome boss. The waiters and waitresses were all lined up in unison to welcome them. Yi Yang nodded slightly. Li Yuehong looked at the battle in shock. Was this the world of the upper class? Calling out bosses when they see people. This was also too wonderful. As for Lu Chanxian, when she heard this name, her heart was stirred. Thinking of that phone call from Yi Yang just now, an amazing idea was born from within her. But this was just too outrageous for her to believe. Yi Yang looked at the expression on the two women's faces, smiled slightly and did not say anything more. He would not deliberately pretend to be poor, nor would he deliberately show off his wealth. The other party would believe it if they wanted to, or not. Anyway, it wasn't like his own identity would have any transformation because of other people's opinions and thoughts. Wasting his words for a few retards would be a waste of life. Boss, Paul and Alice also came out and set out the ingredients. Made by the top private chef on site, the highest ranking treatment of the Purple Pavilion. Ah, isn't this the French five-star chef from the pictures on the official website? Even he is called the boss? Li Yuehong glanced at Yi Yang suspiciously, sensing something was wrong. Have a seat. Yi Yang casually said, this aura and temperament of brother Yi Yang, that respect in Chef Paul's eyes, it doesn't look like he's faking it. Lu Chanxian's heart moved. Her eyes measured Yi Yang with a hint of color. It's hard to believe that brother Yi Yang, really, after sitting down, Paul and Alice started to prepare the dinner for them. Don't even need to order food? Seeing Paul directly start cooking, Li Yuehan was a bit confused. The boss is coming. We naturally have is using the highest level recipes. Alice smiled and explained. Li Yuehan was shocked beyond words. Is he really your boss? Of course. Alice shrugged. Rightfully so. Li Yuehan's mind went blank. Lu Chanxian blinked her eyes and scrutinized the calm-faced Yi Yang. Her heart was also sweet. It didn't matter if brother Yi Yang would like her in the end. As long as everything was fine with brother Yi Yang, she was relieved. Today, we are using Lafite red wine as an accompaniment. Just so we can make the golden spice blossom its purest, most original and exquisite flavor. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly. Wow. Is this the legendary Lafite? It seems to be very expensive. Right? It's said to be over 10,000 a bottle. Li Yuehan was surprised. Alice's face was a bit ugly. Why was the boss following such a low-class girl around? You're talking about the low-grade, non-good vintage wines of Chateau Lafite Rothschild. For this bottle, 10,000. Might not be enough to cover the value of the sip you just sipped down. Ah this, Li Yuehong was so shocked that she almost spat out a mouthful of wine. However, in order not to waste the flavor of this bowl, she even bit her tongue and hissed cool air in pain. After the dishes were all made, Paul and Alice all bowed and left, leaving Yi Yang and Lu Chanchan to savor and enjoy it carefully. Chapter 113 Chapter 113 I, Yi Yang, would like to call you the one with the thickest skin, it's really delicious. I'll tell you guys, back when I went to school that bout was just too naive. Luckily, after reading the remarks of many masters on the internet, I was able to live to understand. Li Yuehong ate while excitedly talking about herself. Ha, I think you were quite good before ah, 
Instead, now I think you are a little strange. Lu Chanxian sighed. The heart is very disappointed. If I had known that Li Yuehong has now become like this, just said what? Will not let her on Yi Yang brother's car. She does not want to let Yi Yang think she is a bad girl. No, no, no. Girls have to be strong enough to be good to themselves. That way it's not a wasted life. The hard work and stuff, the pressure, the money making, whatever, is all men's work. Otherwise, what do we need them for? Look, we can give birth to children and do housework. Air, I don't seem to know how to do housework, but it's okay. I can make babies. Men are inherently indebted to us. We should be spoiled like ancestors. Do you hear me? If you dare not treat our Chanchan properly, I'll come to your door and beat you up. Li Yuahong showed her teeth. Yi Yang blankly glanced at her and simply ignored the other party. Cough cough. Even if we really give birth to a child, don't we still have to call us mommy? Child is not only for male students. Lu Chanchan frowned. Yuahong you say a few words less. You should find time to reflect on yourself. Where do you know the fake master? It's really a scourge on earth. The poison is flowing. Humph. It's clearly Chan Chan you yourself who didn't think it through. Li Yuehong grunted. Girls should learn to love themselves and be their own queen. Ha! Yi Yang couldn't help but laugh out loud. Learn to love yourself? It's just a reasonable excuse for your own unreasonable and reckless behavior. What do you mean? Li Yuehong glared angrily at him. You are discriminating against women. You're being chauvinistic. Yi Yang frowned and didn't intend to give the other party any more face. If it wasn't for Chan Chan's face, I would have kicked you off the bus just now. Women like you, who are delicious and lazy, substituting yourself as the victim and the weaker party every day to brutalize others, taking other people's sympathy and forbearance towards you as a benchmark for your own independence and success. Be complacent and smug. It's simply disgusting to the extreme. If the stench of dog shit can only smoke an ant to death, a hint of the stench from a woman like you can smoke an elephant to death. You, Li Yuahong's eyes widened. She was not bad looking, and the men around her, since she learned the queen's true scripture, were all obedient to it? Where had she ever been stigmatized by pointing her nose like this? She may not not understand these truths in her heart, but the dog licking dazzle made her completely drifted, thinking that these are the truth. At this moment Bai Yi Yang poked through the last layer of veil, suddenly annoyed and angry. I'm a woman. What's wrong with a woman? Grow more head than others? Or grow an extra ass? Yi Yang sneered. You are a woman you are superior? No, you're only superior to a dog licker. Can a dog licker be considered a human being? Dog, it's just an animal. In that case, you're not much of a queen. I'll give you a title that suits you better, Dog King. You, Li Yuehong was disliked to the point of having a heart attack. Sitting on a chair and gasping for air. Qian Qian, you just watched him scold me. I think, Brother Yi Yang, the words are rough. Li Yuehong, you really should go wash your brain. Lu Chanchan was very disappointed and shook her head. Even so scolded did not scold the other party. It is really poisoned too deeply. Alas, after all, I'm the one who carried it all. Li Yuehong shook her head and mourned. Although she was poked and prodded, she did not intend to leave. This big meal, the money she earned in her entire life might not even be enough for one meal. She still had to take a few more pictures to deceive herself and continue to create her false and fantastic dream of being an upper class person. Even Yi Yang was looking stunned. There was actually this number of people in this world. After being scolded like this, he still had the fucking cheek to pretend that nothing had happened and continue to eat there peacefully. Admire admire. Although he despised the poisonous chicken soup woman, but the other party's thick skin. Yi Yang was sincerely admired. I, Yi Yang, would like to call you the one with the thickest skin. Lu Chanchan scratched her head and was also confused about what kind of path her BFF was in. Three views crooked to the bomb. Poisonous chicken soup after brainwashing. Brain circuit and normal people are not in a dimension at all. Just like this, in an awkward and strange atmosphere. Finished the meal. Check out. Yi Yang casually said. This was the rule he set. Even if the boss came to eat, he couldn't waive the bill. How much should be how much. And the final profit was calculated separately. Although he is the boss, but responsible for the operation is Paul and Alice. He can't let them pour ride money to work for the boss ah. How much money? Let's AA it. Lu Chanchian said in a row. Just now, Li Yuehong had acted really toxic, and he was afraid that Yi Yang would also think that she was a bad girl, so he offered to pay the bill together. What? Come out to eat and you still need a female to spend money? Qian Qian, your thinking is horrible. Li Yuehong seemed to have heard something that turned her worldview upside down. Men and women are equal ah, boys have to pay for everything. Isn't that discriminating against women? I'm all like this in the United States of America. Lu Chanchian simply couldn't understand Li Yuehong's brain circuit. Ah this. Li Yuehong was dumbfounded by her dislike. No need. This meal is on me. Ha ha. 
There is a chance Chan Chien will just treat me back. Yi Yang swept a glance at the bill and laughed. Although Lu Chan Chien's family magic city four sweets, but this meal the three of them ate out millions. He also had to take care of each other. Ah this. Lu Chan Chien saw Yi Yang's clear eyes, so she could only nod obediently. Oh, good party. Humph. Li Yuehong on the side clenched her fists, wanting to punch, but did not know where to exit. She was suffocating her body. Chapter 114 Chapter 114 This waitress has a future. Ding. Detected that the host spent 1 million for dining consumption. Rewarding 188. 8 million deposits. After swiping his card, Yi Yang turned around with a smile and looked at Lu Chanchian. When he came over, he incidentally chose a gift for Lu Chanchian. After all, the other party had once treated him well before, and now that he had made a fortune, he naturally thought to return the favor to Lu Chanchian. Seeing Yi Yang smilingly looking over, Lu Chanchian instantly froze. Yi Yang was already handsome, and now his temperament was even more incomparable to before. Such a sudden smile back, directly making her a little infatuated. A gift prepared for you. Bring it. Yi Yang took out an ice green jadeite bracelet from his arms. Yikes, Dragonite seated jadeite. Although Li Yuehong didn't have the money to buy these luxuries, but she couldn't help but aspire to the upper class. And every day she painstakingly looked at various luxury weekly magazines to learn about them. By the way, she used these luxuries to help herself dream. Dragon stone seed. This color. At least one of them has to be more than a hundred thousand. Li Yuehong was envious. Yi Yang rolled his eyes. Over a hundred thousand dollars? The edge remnants couldn't even be bought. He bought the top grade dragon god seed. This one. It was more than ten million dollars. So beautiful ug. Thank you brother Yi Yang. Lu Chanchen said sweetly. What are you thanking? Boys for giving girls gifts isn't it natural? Li Yuehong spat. Lu Chanchen opened her mouth, but felt that this high school classmate had already been poisoned too deeply and there was no way to save it, so she lost the interest in admonishing her. Instead, she looked at Yi Yang with starry eyes. Brother Yi Yang, how much does this cost roughly? I want to send you a similar one back when I treat you to dinner in a few days. Eh, it's not expensive. Just buy it as you see fit for the return gift. Yi Yang scratched his head and laughed. Gotta tell me a few digits, right? Lu Chanchian said with some unhappiness. Brother Yi Yang are you afraid that I can't afford it? Or do you think of me as? She glanced at Li Yuehong. The implication was self-evident. Ha ha, how could it be? Yi Yang mused. Since Lu Chanchian asked, he wasn't interested in telling a lie. So he had to be honest, just now. I ordered it at Devil's Sixth. It's just over 18 million dollars. Lu Chanchian's face was full of question marks. No way, brother Yi Yang. This is too expensive. After reacting, Lu Chanchian tried to take off the emerald bracelet on her hand as if she was electrocuted. Good fellow. A bracelet is worth a big house in Magic City. If this is the return gift, that will not let mom sell a house. Take it. I just worried that after really say the price, you will not accept this gift. Yi Yang grabbed Lu Chanchian's wrist. His eyes sincerely looked at her beautiful eyes. You really helped me a lot before. I all remembered in my heart. This money is not much for me now. Take it. Lu Chanchian looked up at Yi Yang's sincere eyes. Her face instantly turned red, and her heart was also a deer in the headlights. Messing up for a moment. The first time to be in such close contact with the person you like ugh. The breath on his body smells so good. His eyes are so deep. He is so gentle and handsome. By the heart of the small fortune of a blank brain Lu Chanchian ghostly nodded, good. Aha. Uh -huh. Yi Yang nodded slightly and touched Lu Chanchian's small head. That's right. Ah. Lu Chanchian was baffled. But when she reacted, Yi Yang had already backed away. So she could only accept the bracelet with a red face and happiness. Li Hongwei on the side looked incomparably envious and jealous. Where's my gift? She asked with a straight face. What gift do you want? Yi Yang frowned, feeling a bit puzzled. I'm a female. If you meet me, you should buy me a gift. Don't you know that? Li Hongyu frowned and continued to rationalize. Yi Yang sneered. You want to be scolded again? Li Hongyu inserted her waist. It didn't matter if she was scolded, but if it was something that was actually about money that didn't satisfy her, then she wouldn't let it go. You scum. Even giving a girl a gift is motherly. Can you be good to your daughter-in-law in the future? Believe it or not I'll go back and persuade Chan Chan to break up with you. I'm her sister. You're just her boyfriend. In a woman's world, sisters are always more important than boyfriends. If she has to choose between us, she will definitely choose me. Scared. Yi Yang rolled his eyes. I say big mom. Where did you get the confidence? Who's a big mom? Li Yuehong looked at Lu Chanchian angrily. Chanchian. Am I right? This kind of scum. You still don't break up with him. He doesn't deserve you at all. Li Yuehong. You're a bit too much. Aren't you? Lu Chanchian was also completely unable to stand it. 
Even the name calling was completely nonchalant as she disliked back. Li Weihong looked at Lu Chanxian with disbelief. This was not what the success mentors taught. Could it be that Lu Chanxian looked at Yi Yang more than herself? This is simply out of the ordinary. Illogical ah. Are you going with me or with him today? She was infuriated and asked directly tearing her face off. Of course it's with my brother Yi Yang. You'd better stay wherever it's cool. I really regret that I was blind in the beginning. How did I choose someone like you as my best friend? Knowing you is the thing I regret the most in these years. Lu Chanxian finally vented all the anger and dissatisfaction she had accumulated along the way. What Li Yuehong had done had really disappointed her to the core. At this moment, there was also no intention at all to maintain this friendship anymore. You. You you you. Good. You don't deserve to be a girl at all. You can't tell who's good to you. After all, I have to fight all by myself. Li Yuehong was so aggrieved that she was about to cry. Humph. She brusquely pushed Lu Chanxian away and was about to run away by herself. Leaving here? I invited Chanxian for dinner. But I didn't say I invited you. The dog king? For dinner. Yi Yang said in a cold voice. Originally, he sympathized with the other party as Lu Chanxian's classmate, and did not intend to pursue the matter at all, and also intended to invite the other party for this meal. But now that the other party even dared to scold Lu Chanxian, he didn't need to show any mercy with the other party. I'll pay by myself. I'm a new age independent woman. Can I afford to eat a meal that costs a few thousand dollars? Li Yuehong rationalized. On the contrary, you're the scum. You will definitely get retribution in the future. Hello miss. This consumption totaled 103W. If you pay personally, you need to put 33. 3W you on. The waiter next to him was very eagle-eyed and quoted directly. Showing no mercy. Ah. $300,000. Why don't you go rob? I'm going to report you. Li Yuehong was simply furious. It's a clearly marked price. Lady if you can't pay, then it's our restaurant that will sue you. The waiter was justified. Yi Yang nodded. This waiter has a future. Chapter 115 Chapter 115 I also want to keep a low profile, but the strength that does not allow ah. You. This. Li Yuehong was completely confused. She has always pursued the life of an independent woman, spending more than she earns in a month, not a penny of savings in her hand. Only Chanting had a few thousand dollars of credit to borrow, and this was where her bottom line was just now. But more than three hundred thousand dollars, this is not want her life. She can't get it out even if it kills her. However, Yi Yang had no intention of paying attention and directly led Lu Chanxian out. Don't go away. I was wrong. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Don't leave me behind. I don't want a squad in jail ah. Uh. Li Yuehong was completely afraid. So scared that she was about to cry out. Boss. This. Paul and Alice looked inside. Yi Yang looked at Lu Chanxian, looking at the way she was a little bit anxious to speak. He also smiled slightly. Lu Chanxian was still a kind girl after all. Scare her, make a show of it, let her go if she's scared. There's no need to make a big deal over a few hundred thousand dollars. Yi Yang smiled and said, Li Yuehong is poor all over with that fake name brand. Really want her to take hundreds of thousands of dollars out. Afraid to force her to die. Understood boss. Paul nodded. Also relieved. Really if that woman couldn't think straight for a while and ran herself headlong into the purple pavilion, it would be a loss of a lot of money in return if word got out. Let's go. Yi Yang smiled towards Lu Chanxian. Stirred up by this woman. We didn't even have much time to catch up just now. Good. Lu Chanxian smiled sweetly. The fact that Yi Yang was so disposed also made her heart feel a trace of warmth. Boom. King Kelman roared open. Brother Yi Yang. What exactly is the brand of this car? Lu Chanxian sat in the co-pilot and asked curiously. King Kelman, about 20 million dollars, originally drove this out to be low key. Alas, Yi Yang sighed. What's wrong, brother Yi Yang? Lu Chanxian asked suspiciously. I also want to lay low. Just a pity. Strength that does not allow ah. Yi Yang lamented from the bottom of his heart. Eh? Lu Chanxian cried and laughed. It turned out that brother Yi Yang was dwelling on this, listening to brother Yi Yang's tone. This is still not your most expensive car ah? Well, there are a few Rolls Royces and stuff but that kind of recognizability is too high. I'm afraid that you will think that I'm rich and become a show-off, so I didn't drive it out. Yi Yan laughed. Ah this. Lu Chanxian was sweating profusely. This is simply too scary. Then we are going to. This? Rainbow neighborhood cackle. Yi Yang hemmed and hawed. Take you shopping to make up for the unpleasantness just now. Lu Chanxian instantly blushed. Brother Yi. Just now that thing. In fact, should I apologize to you? If not for me. What's the point of saying that? Yi Yang smiled and shook his head. It's not your fault that she has an incorrect outlook on three things. Seeing a once good sister become like this, you are also a little sad, right? Well, being told by Yi Yang, Lu Chanxian pursed her lips and nodded. 
So go shopping and take a break. Yi Yang vacated a hand and patted Lu Chanxian's small head. Hey, Lu Chanxian enjoyed Yi Yang rubbing her head and hummed comfortably. Dropping. King Kalman stopped at the Rainbow Block's dedicated parking area. What kind of car is this? It looks a bit strange, but it's quite handsome, mighty and domineering. The parking lot's eyes lit up when they saw King Kalman drive in. This is King Kalman, right? It costs over $20 million for one. Those who came to Rainbow Block were those who could afford the real first-rated luxury goods, and their vision and insight were naturally not comparable to the likes of Li Yuehong. Hiss. Envy ah, my house is only $20 million. Buy a car to spend $20 million. I really can't afford it. It seems, still have to continue to work hard ah. People in the parking lot are tsk tsk tsk. Until they saw the car, Yi Young pulling Lu Chanxian's hand walked out. Only then they were all shocked off their jaws. So young. This is only in his twenties. Which family's super rich second generation? Put. I've worked hard for half my life to earn $20 million to buy a house. And people have a $20 million sports car to play with as soon as they're born. Amidst the envious gazes of the crowd, Yi Yang held Lu Chanxian's hand with a smile and confidently walked into the middle of the rainbow block. Mr. Yi. It was not Yi Yang's first time coming to rainbow block. Many of the stores here he had a supreme VIP status. A big shot that these guides had to use their brains to remember in a special way. At this moment, he had just stepped into the rainbow block. There were quite a few shopper beauties smiling and flocking over. The scene pomp, Si Lu Chanxian exclaimed to see. Is this the happy life of the rich? Chapter 116 Chapter 116 Lucky Draw Carousel Rainbow Neighborhood Yi Yang is already familiar with. Under the guidance of the shopper, a large bag to buy a bunch of. In accordance with the old rules, each brand first four seasons of fashion models, clothes, shoes, bags, watches, necklaces all match. As for the collocation, there are Lu Chanxian own choice. There are also sales clerks with a professional dressmaker for Lu Chanxian tailor-made. Lu Chanxian's figure and looks were all superior. Every time you change out, you can make Yi Yang's eyes bright. This night, it is also full of eye candy. The black card crossed. Another 10 million level of spending. Brother Yi Yang, really doesn't need so much. Lu Chanxian cried and laughed. She was going to try a few more bodies and then pick a better set. But the result was that as long as she tried, Yi Yang bought them all. This way my family is going to transform a suite into a pure checkroom. Yi Yang also smiled. It's okay, the checkroom is not enough. I'll just send you another set. Don't don't don't. Lu Chanxian waved her hand repeatedly. Just these gifts today. She didn't know how to return the gifts in a few days. Yi Yang smiled. It wasn't that boys weren't willing to spend money for a girl. But the premise was to spend happily and spend happily. Spending any amount of money for such a good girl would only feel fulfilling. But a poisonous girl like Li Yue Hong, no matter how rich he was, as long as he spent one point on her, Yi Yang would feel sick to his stomach. Ding. Detected that the host has triggered the hidden reward of gushing spring, triggering the super strike mechanism, rewarding 88. 8 billion deposits. Yi Yang's heart fluttered. Nowadays, although he had assets of a few trillion dollars, the liquid deposits in his hand was a little over 100 billion dollars. This instantly gave 88, 8 billion, almost doubling the deposits at his disposal in his hands. This reward wasn't weak. Gushing spring reward? Interesting. Yi Yan muttered. Ding. Detected that the host's deposit exceeded 200 billion dollars. Meets the unlocking conditions. The system lucky carousel has been opened. The host can obtain a chance to draw the carousel by triggering a hidden task. Lucky draw carousel? Yi Yang's heart stirred as he swept the system page. And sure enough, there was an additional roulette wheel. It was just that he didn't have a lucky draw opportunity nowadays. So he didn't know what exactly was in the roulette wheel. Could it be some black technology? What exactly could be drawn out? When there was a lottery opportunity, he would naturally know. Yi Yang also stopped dwelling on it. All in all, tonight, he got a reward of more than 80 billion surges. And also opened the system's lucky draw roulette wheel. So it could be said that it was a full harvest. Lu Chanxian was held by Yi Yang's hand and her heart was full of happiness. She had always felt that Yi Yang was an ambitious boy. And now that he had finally succeeded, of course she was happy for him. It's already more than 9 o'clock. Shall I send you home or? Yi Yang looked at the time and asked. Today he was asked out by Lu Chanxian. Of course he had to ask her how to arrange it. M. Lu Chanxian pulled the green silk in front of her forehead. Bulging face. After thinking about it, only then is said, Brother Yi Yang again accompany me to sneak around. It's not easy to see one side. The male god has become so good. Lu Chanxian also really did not want to easily separate there. Yi Yang smiled and raised his eyebrows. Then what are you going to do in a while? 
Didn't Brother Yi Yang say before that you are the top 10 contestant of the campus singer competition? I want to hear Brother Yi Yang sing. Lu Chanxian heatedly laughed. Good. I'll see if there's any KTV nearby. Yi Yang smiled. Singing this talent, and the system has nothing to do with it. He has been singing better since he was a child, when he was also the top 10 singer of the school competition. Aha! Lu Chanxian wanted Yi Yang to accompany her more at this moment. As for where exactly to go, it didn't matter. Golden Source KTV? That's it. Yi Yang tilted his head. Get in the car. All right, brother Yi Yang. Lu Chanxian answered cheerfully. King Kalman sped along and soon arrived at the Golden Source KTV which was very close to the Rainbow Block. This KTV is so grand. Lu Chanxian marveled. Built next to a luxury area. It's natural to be more grandiose. Yi Yang laughed. This place is an inch of gold. Hello sir, may I ask if you are doing a card or a single opening? The receptionist lady's eyes lit up as she watched the pair of handsome men and women come in as a pair. Swipe a supreme card and open the most expensive box by the way. Yi Yang passed the black card over. Gulp. The front desk young lady had been hanging out in this and other luxury area KTV for a long time. Naturally she had heard of the centurion black card. At this time, when she received the card, her hand trembled a little. This youth, what a great identity to come. Handsome and much gold ah. She looked at Lu Chanxian with envy. To be able to fall for this kind of boyfriend, simply happy to burst ah. Already done for you. Sky color no. 1. Box. Room 888 on the third floor. The young lady reluctantly handed the black card back to Yi Yang, wanting to rub it in a little more and make a fool of herself. But Yi Yang had already turned around and led Lu Chanxian upstairs. Alas. The receptionist girl sighed silently. Although she was good looking, she knew very well that she and this kind of super godly man, I'm afraid that they would not have any interactions in this life. Chapter 117 Chapter 117 Box 888 New Era Punks? No. 888. This should be the place. Yi Yang pushed open the compartment. Inside, it was also worthy of the title of Supreme Box. The decoration was extremely luxurious. Even the microphone was plated with real gold. What do you want to listen to? Yi Yang smiled and spread his hands. Anything. That said, I haven't heard you sing yet. So you can try your voice later? Good. Lu Chanxian also chose a few songs that she liked a lot but were not very difficult. How about this? If brother Yi Yang sings one, I'll take the next one. Okay. Yi Yang, along with the melody, was singing porcelain. This song, back then, could be said to be a fire in the north and south of the Yangtze River. Establishing Zhou Dong's position in the music industry is very important song. Yi Yang likewise liked this song. Good to hear. Lu Chanxian starry-eyed shook her petite body along with Yi Yang's song, and it had to be said that Yi Yang's voice was full of magnetism, and he also had his own insights on singing skills. It was enough to capture the hearts of the majority of girls with just his voice. Just as Yi Yang and Lu Chanxian were ordering songs in the sky color no. 1. Front Desk The front desk lady's face was a little pale as she looked at the man with a cigarette in front of her. I'm sorry, the Supreme Box has really been booked out tonight. Booked out? The man with the cigarette sneered. Are you fucking new here? Do you know who is taking care of Golden Source KTV? If it wasn't for Master Qian, you would have closed down a long time ago. We are Master Qian's people. Master Qian's men are here now. And you're still stalling? Tell those ungrateful ones from Skycolor no. One to get their asses out here. This, the receptionist lady was trembling with fear. Although the atmosphere has gotten a bit better in the past few years, and there are no more explicit black slash social societies, but when there is light in the world, there must be darkness the darkness wouldn't really disappear. It would only change its ways and hibernate amongst the corners where the sunlight couldn't find it. Master Qian is one of them. Some years ago in Mordor Beach, he was a big shot. A big shot in both the black slash white world, doing all kinds of business, killing and setting fires, smuggling across the border. But a real tough role. In the past few years was a wave of severe beatings, killed a few to take the blame of the scapegoat underlings, the flame has been reduced a lot, but a hundred feet of insects die hard even if not as arrogant as before, but still few people dare to offend the ruthless. There are too many ways to do evil in this world. Kill and set fire to this kind of illegal things. Even if it is the money master now also dare not easily do. Even if it is done, also dare not be as arrogant as before to do in the open. But wandering in the gray area, do not touch the law. There are not know how many can harm the means. Therefore, not many people were willing to mess with Master Qian. Hear that. Shit, think our Master Qian is really on the decline? Even a trash KTV dares to not give our Master Qian face. A few big men shouted angrily, feeling offended. The KTV manager rushed over in a panic. So it's Master Qian's people. Uh, Skycolor 1 is indeed booked out tonight. 
I'll open another supreme box for you. The manager could see that these big men had all just come over drunk. These master chins men, in today's society, were like a few rats hiding in the darkness under the light shining through, living a stifling life every day, only at night with the strength of alcohol dare to come out to have fun. Obviously, today it is a mess to yourself, and it is also your own bad luck. Don't bluff the old man. Fuck, don't think that I don't know that there is only one supreme box in golden resources. You're looking for death, aren't you? The leading scarred man directly lifted the manager up with one hand, blaring with a fury. Tiger master, tiger master you don't be impulsive. A moment later to make a big mess we do not call the police. The police will also come to patrol. The manager couldn't catch his breath and said repeatedly, humph. As soon as he heard the police, tiger directly wimped out, throwing the manager aside in a flash, grunting. You recognize me? Of course I recognize. Of course I recognize. Master Tiger you are famous. Who does not know? The manager said repeatedly. Some years ago when the magic city was still chaotic. This called Wang who was responsible for the scourge of this piece of the small leader. On the face that you recognize me, tonight's matter is settled. We are new age punks. Civilized and reasonable. Since your KTV won't do this for me, I will personally find them to talk about it. Wang who waved his hand. Go with me. Behind him. A few hunks on his left and right were all drunkenly holding bottles of wine, shouting strangely, Go! Just stepped on a step. Wang Hu footsteps, holding up the empty bottle, pointing at the manager's nose, by the way, in a while, but where the police come, in the future you walk in the magic city, you have to give lousy careful. After saying that, only then several people were all relieved to go up the stairs. Manager, this, the front desk lady can still remember the sky color one is their favorite that little brother's box. At this time also some for Yi Yang worry. I, the manager at this time is also somewhat at a loss. Originally wanted to call the police, but just now the other party's threat also let him not dare to act rashly. In the face of this kind of former gangsters, he cannot dare to take their own body and family safety to gamble. I can only hope that the two guests of the sky color know. One can be a little smarter. Not to be tough with these people. Managerly let out a bitter smile. Inwardly praying that nothing serious would happen. Chapter 118 Chapter 118 You're in a big trouble. A few big men carrying bottles of wine accompanied by demonic girls. Under the leadership of Wang Hu, they also walked up to the third floor aggressively. Fuck. Now the days are really bad. Tonight we have to find a girl to relax and relax. Wang Hu's heart crossed, and the bottle in his hand was just smashed on the ground. However, just when he walked to the 888 sky color no. One box, his footsteps were lapped, and with a wave of his hand. He stopped a few of his men who were about to kick the door in. What's wrong, tiger? The few gangsters were a bit puzzled. This song, it's quite melodious. Wang Hu closed his eyes, enjoying himself. At this moment, inside the box, Lu Chanxian was also singing. Yi Yang laughed. I didn't expect that you sing so well too. He he he. Not as good as brother Yi Yang La. Lu Chanxian was also blushing a little at Yi Yang's compliment. While the two were saying something, the door of the KTV was suddenly opened. Hula, all of a sudden, seven or eight big men were pouring in. Sure is pretty. People beautiful voice sweet. Simply absolute. Wang Hu eyes are straight. Rouge and vulgar powder he has seen do not know how many. But Lu Chanxian this kind of Ivy League beauty masters, where he had the opportunity to contact. At this time, drunk, fixed his eyes, directly drooling, unable to control his heart. Who are you guys? Lu Chanxian frowned, looking at the aura of these people who barged in. They didn't look like good people. The one who hit the head was also looking at her colorfully, which also made her feel dangerous, and subconsciously she was hiding behind Yi Yang. Yi Yang, on the other hand, looked at the intruding drunken man indifferently. Nowadays he had long been different from the past, and his bottom line was so strong that he wouldn't have any fear at all. You kid, if you are sensible, get the hell out of here and leave that bitch behind. Wang who let out a cold smile, his eyes were incomparably ruthless. If an ordinary person was surrounded in the room by this group of people with fierce eyes, he was afraid that he would directly goad. Lu Chanxian, a girl, seeing this battle was also a little weak in the legs, shrinking behind Yi Yang. Where did you come out as a dog, and pair me up to talk like this? Yi Yang frowned and sneered. Yo, looks like there is also a bit of status ah. Uh? When Wang Hu heard this, he didn't care and sneered. However, this is Master Qian's territory. You are a dragon that has to be coiled and a tiger that has to lie down. Master Qian? Yi Yang let out a cold laugh. What era is it? You're still doing this here? Put, where did you kid come out from? You're from the magic city. But you haven't even heard of Master Qian's name? If you're a rich kid, call and ask your old man. If you're a rich kid, call your old man and ask him. 
He'll tell you to get the hell out of here if you hear the name of Mr. Chen. Fire flared up in Wang Hu's eyes. What he hated the most was when someone said that Master Qian was no longer able to make it. Lu Chan Chen's eyes shook. The Master Qian you're talking about. Is that the one called Chen Bo now? Yo, look at you. Your inside is not even as good as a little bitch. Wang Hu scoffed and smiled at Yi Yang, proudly saying, That's right, it's Qian Bo Xian. Master Qian, I'm his right hand man. You if tonight with brother over. The future fucking glory and wealth. Want what I can give you to get. This set of rhetoric memorized too skilled. As soon as he opened his mouth, he subconsciously set out. You recognize? Yi Yang asked with a raised eyebrow. Listen to my father said. Is a super big brother in the early years of Magic City? Mixed mob kind. Lu Chanxian was terrified in her heart. This kind of character whose hands were stained with blood. After all, the accumulated power was too heavy. And now when he said it, it all made people's hearts fearful. Although Yi Yang's brother was now the boss of Purple Light Pavilion, with a fortune of several hundred million dollars, but having a beef with this kind of ruthless person was still a bit of an egg on the face of the earth. Oh, so it's an over-the-top gangster slash mob boss. Yi Yang smiled and shook his head. You're fucking looking for death. Wang who instantly exploded. Brother Yi Yang, why don't we just let them have the box? That Master Qian is really bad. Lu Chanxian shook Yi Yang's arm. Don't worry, it's fine. Yi Yang smiled and patted Lu Chanxian's little head. It's fine, you're in a big mess. Oomph. Wang Hu tilted his head. Two big men then blocked the door of the KTV. Dare to insult Master Qian. Now, you can't even leave if you want to. A trace of cold sharpness flashed in Wang Hu's eyes. I want you to watch us screw this compatible pussy of yours. Ha 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 ha. Pying. Halfway through laughing. Wang Hu was directly hit by a sudden heavy blow to his cheek. Directly smashing into the door of the box. A rat living in the darkness. What's so arrogant about it? Yi Yang sneered. Not to mention mongrel minions like you. Even if your master Qian comes in front of me, he wouldn't dare to let out a single fart. Chapter 119 Chapter 119 Shall we make a bet? Damn. Against the sky. Wang who directly red eyes. Give me fuck him. He was just beating up a rich second generation. Which generation in the magic city must not give a few points of face to master Qian. The rich second generation he had beaten up over the years could not be counted on two hands. Pa pa pa. Several big men pushed away the accompanying girls around them, and directly rushed up to Yi Yang. Lu Chanxian also looked a little flustered. It was very worried about Yi Yang's safety. Ha! Yi Yang's eyes flinched, except for the time when he punched Jin, and gained proficiency in Chinese national art. It was the first time he fought with someone. Boom! A fist was swung forward without any frills. With the unparalleled speed of the fist, the big man in the head had no time to defend at all, and was directly punched in the nose. His nose blood instantly surged out, and he fell to the ground, covering his nose and screaming. Pying. Yi Yang followed the trend of a roundhouse sweeping leg, once again swept down the two behind him, one foot at a time, stepped on the chest of these two people, in one go, stepped on their chest ribs, making them lose the ability to resist, rising up, instantly squeezing close to the next big man, a knee lift, disliked the opponent's bottom, directly disliking that person. He doubted if his little brother would still be able to stand up for the rest of his life. Pung. After the knee lifting impact, Yi Yang stomped the big man out. In passing, he picked up a nearby stool and swept it around, bluffing the remaining three people to take two steps backward and get out of the way. Seeing the right time, Yi Yang a aerial flip. Air stepped out three feet. Each foot stepped on the chest of a person, kicked the three people together and flew. They crashed into the wall behind them. Pretending? Fighting? Whom? With each sentence, Yi Yang carried the stool in his hand and hammered angrily on the heads of those three people. After three sentences, all three people were hammered with bruised brains and fainted. Ah, this, Lu Chanxian froze. It turned out that brother Yi Yang also knew martial arts. This is also too handsome, almost less than a minute, not counting the Wang Hu who was punched away without reacting. He fought seven times and wiped out the opponent's group. Handsome all right. Yi Yang turned his head and smiled lightly. It's all been said. Just a few scum. It'll be fine. Aha! Lu Chanxian nodded repeatedly and looked at Yi Yang adoringly. This kind of fighting and powerful, singing and good looking, good looking and multi gold brother Yi Yang, is simply a super treasure ah. Her face unconsciously turned red. Such a super male god. It really is called the first sight is wrong for life ah. Squeak. Yi Yang placed the stool in front of Wang Hu and sat on it without a care in the world, looking down at the other party indifferently. What else do you have to say now? You. A deep fear appeared in Wang Hu's eyes. This was the rich second generation. How is it so strong? Simply outrageous ah. At least a few brothers are also experienced gangsters who have walked in the shadow of swords and guns. 
but they actually told others to clean up in the blink of an eye. This youth, how strong must be. Ha! Just when he wanted to let out a couple of harsh words, he realized that he had already warned manager Lee just now so that he wouldn't call the police. The police didn't come, and if he young didn't let himself go tonight, then he simply couldn't be let go easily. He was inwardly mute, unable to speak. How come he had become the victimized party who wished to call the police instead? Times have changed ah, what other means are there? Bring them out ah, I'll play with you to the end. Yi Yang sneered, looking down at Wang Hu with a cold expression, and in passing, he stopped on his shoulder joint, directly crushing it. Crap, this fierce look, you're the fucking villain, a gang leader, right? Wang Hu was about to cry from the pain. You kid don't be too arrogant, do you have the ability to make me call and shake people? One phone call and I'll make you cry until you can't find your way out. After all, he was a reigning black slash Dao leader, although Wang Hu was scared to death inwardly, but he couldn't lose the momentum on his mouth, and said fiercely, make a phone call? The corner of Yi Yang's mouth picked up a hint of mockery. Fine, then let's each make a call, compare who comes more? He he, kid, this is you looking for death. Although Wang Hu's mouth did not lose the battle, his heart was truly flooded with fear. He was not a fool. Tonight this youth's various performances were too terrifying. It would never be empty words. However, in the matter of shaking people to fight, after all, he is Master Qian's people. This magic city is also Master Qian's territory. If in shaking people to fight in this aspect are conceding, then the last trace of his self-confidence and dignity are to be completely destroyed. That is the most cherished thing of these old-time gangsters. More important than life. Since you're looking for death, I won't be polite. Wang Hu pulled out his cell phone, a ruthless look in his eyes, and made a direct call to Big Handle Head. Yi Yang looked at the other party unhurriedly and gave Lu Chanxian a reassuring expression before he slowly flipped out his address book and punched out a number. Second shift. There is one more shift. Thanks to book friend 1108-0646, 9 asterisk Lee's Moon Cake. Thanks to book friend 1931-1297 for the likes.